Hey yo, I'm Andy and welcome to the 30 day autofill challenge. While I get my paperwork all sorted out with Timmy and Tommy, let's talk some rules. Rule number one, no villager hunting. All villagers must be autofills because this is the autofill island. Rule number two, no external help, no getting gifts, no treasure islands, and no sending things to myself. Though I will be sending myself a storage shed for convenience. Rule number three, villagers can move away, but they have to be replaced by an autofill, and I can only accept five moving away requests in total. Rule number four, we must have 10 villagers with all their yards decorated to best suit their style and personalities. Rule number five, we cannot re-roll our island after choosing the map. Once we're in, we're in, but I can re-roll the map selection as many times as I'd like. And rule number six, we must complete this challenge in 30 real life days. All right, we're checking out the first maps. So this is the only thing I really have control over other than decorating the island. I don't really want to build a lot of bridges or inclines. This top one looks pretty cool, but I think resident services being a little obnoxious in the corner there. So I think right off the bat, I am going to reset. All right, this time I got a green and pink plaid shirt. All right, map time, map time. Oh, okay. Oh, that is a geometric map right there. This one is kind of cute, but again, there's like an in-island bridge. That's kind of weird, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this one too. Ooh, a little sailor outfit. How cute is that? Sailor Andy, coming to get ya. Ha! Huh. Look how cute this is. I really hope the maps are good on this one. Uh, let's go. You can't go wrong. Oh, this map is super interesting. Ugh, it's like supernatural looking. Where would you even put a bridge though? Somewhere. Three bridges? I don't, I don't know. Well, I, I guess that's our problem when we come to... I love this map. Okay. And we got a little sailor outfit. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Ah! <laughs> Ah, uh, perfect timing. Come on, let's all bird the plane together. Together. I, I'm just going to sit through this because I'm prolonging the inevitable. I don't know why. I cannot rip off a band-aid. It is not something I can do. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Come on, come on, good starters. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> I can't. Oh my gosh. What? No. What is this? What have I done? <laughs> the toxic bear and a sickly horse. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're at in there right now. If you'd like to move, follow us. I gotta stay right here. I'll change my mind. I'm sorry. What? What? Why are you toxic? Charlize, come on. We gotta follow the guy. Did you fall in a puddle? What happened? Oh my gosh. Hey, excuse me. Oh, talk later. Jog now. Let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. 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 They have radiation. You, you have radiation poison. What is going on? Well, what color was the airport? Was the airport like toxic green too? I, I, I don't, I just, no, it was orange. Okay. Ah, uh, Tom. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hello? We're finally here. I wonder what the guides want to tell us. I wonder if it's important. It probably is. You should listen to your guides more often. How did you fall into, or you, you like fall into a vat of uranium? What is happening? Hello? Orientation time. You ready to get oriented? You look ready. Go show the staff how ready you are. <laughs> all right. All right, Buck. Good pep talk. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We're in. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Charlize here. Oh, there she is. Oh, Buck. Yeah, you can't miss them. <laughs> they're, they're green. And there is Andy, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nug. There are three adventures ready to get started. <laughs> Let's see, how shall I begin? Be giving a public service announcement about not going into vats of radiation. Stay away from radioactive bear. I don't know. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. Ah, I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and uranium, clearly. All right. Uh, we're gonna, uh, here you go, Andy. Your very own tent. Thank you. 
you'll want a little breathing room, so take your <laughs> take your time finding a space that works for you. Yeah, far away from the radioactive bear. Huh. Okay, where's the? We gotta stand still for the map, right? Okay, there it is. Where do I want my house? Can't do too much thought. We need to collect some villagers. <gasps> radioactive bear. Where would the radioactive stuff be? Probably over where she. Uh, what's her name? Charlie's. Hello. Yeah. Your wait. I got it. Don't tell me. You're Andy, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Charlie's. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Oh. What? <laughs> you got something stuck in your throat? No matter where we settle down on this island, at least we'll be neighbors. No, 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 no. I'm putting you far away from me. <laughs> ah, I can feel the, I can feel the radiation meter ticking up. Tick, 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 tick. Okay. Can I put my house on the, on the peninsula? Is this a good spot? Yeah, well, we can always move it. All right, I set up tent by the peninsula. Woohoo! Yeah! Set up my tent. That's a big first step. Yeah, it is. All right, let's go talk to Buck. Can I pick that up? I can't pick nothing up yet. All right. Where's Buck? Hey, bud. Yo, I'm Buck. You're Andy, right? Nice to meet you, partner. We're good. All right, partner. You are ready to set up your 10 a eh? I'm still trying to find a perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have a lot of fresh air. There's nothing of fresh air here, Buck. I think this is the spot to do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Andy? Uh, I'll find you a spot. You're like way too close to my tent. Okay then, <laughs> can't wait to see the epic spot you picked out for me. Ignorance is bliss, isn't it, Buck? My tent is in your hands, partner. You got this. Run, Buck, run. Run. All right, where's this, where's the bear? Where's the radioactive bear? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Hey, I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking over it forever, so I grabbed a stick and I threw it, and here's where it landed. Is that is that how you ended up falling in a, a vat of toxic waste? You're like, I don't know where I want to be right now. I throw a stick and I fell in. So this is my spot, okay? Now there's only so far I could throw this stick, but I'm liking this. Uh, I'll find you a spot. Whoa, for real? You're going to pick out this perfect spot for me? Yep, whatever makes you feel special. And that case here you go it's your show now er run run she does look so cute when she runs though okay we're gonna keep the radioactive people on the other side of the island over here probably like right here all right this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna stand here go like that no i want to i don't want to kill that tree is that gonna kill that tree probably is there much we can do about it not really right let me imagine it yeah yeah, that's all right. It was a good spot. It was a great spot. All right, Buck is there. Woo! Yeah. And then we need the radioactive bear. I think I'm gonna... I'll just put her a little further away. Give Buck some space. Like, he's, he's only, like, slightly radioactive. But, you know, when you're neighbors with Charlie's, you do, you do get a little radiation poisoning. There we go. <laughs> Charlie's got a place for her tent now. Yay! Looks like everyone has a spot picked out for their tents. Now, I need to get back to the plaza. All right, let's go. Timmy, Charlie's, Tommy, and Buck can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Andy and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little stack. Yep, good choice. We, we don't want uh, Charlie's touching any of the food. Tree branches. Oh, now we can pick up weeds too, right? Yeah, might as well just like pick up some weeds. And then we're gonna shake this tree. We're gonna need a lot of sticks because we're gonna need a lot of supplies. A lot of materials for the nook's cranny and the bridge that we need to build because we need to do that before we get our other villager houses. And I want to try and get as many villager houses put down as soon as possible so we can start planning out, you know, how we're gonna decorate. What is going on with this tree? Excuse me. Fine. I think I'm gonna leave a peach in front just to remind me that this is a, a peach tree so I don't viciously shake it for, for sticks later. Yeah, to get the weeds because we got to get nook malls too and I, I, I think that you get nook malls for selling weeds. These trees are mean. I don't like them. At least I look adorable in my sailor's outfit. As I'm going around doing this, I do want to talk about some of the goals that I have for this island. I do want to get a five-star island. I also want to build a couple of like community areas that have nothing to do with the villager yards. And I want to try and fully upgrade my house and have it decorated. I know it's not going to be like perfectly decorated or anything like that, but you know, 
I want to try. This lovely music that the game starts out with is definitely calming my nerves after seeing those starter villagers. Shigan of peaches of trees. Again, my stick collection. So I can be set up for this epic adventure here. 60 sticks plus the 10 that uh, Tom needs. I got 20 fruit plus the 6 that he needs. I got a lot of weeds. Yep. All right, Tom, let's do this. Charlie's kind of glows in the dark, eh? Ah, let's get started with the festivities. Now, we don't have the kind of numbers that I really originally envisioned. <laughs> you found like a lonely sailor and two radioactive animals, but that just means we have to <laughs> rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that the hard work and perseverance would shape this deserted island into toxic wasteland. I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? We are going to name this island Hod Podge. So the official Oxford definition of Hod Podge is a confused mixture. And uh, I think that's exactly what this island is going to be. It's going to be a confused mixture of decorations, animals, personalities. I don't even know what's going to happen. It's definitely going to be a Hod Podge of something. Yes. Welcome to Hod Podge. <laughs> Yay. Andy, could you please say a word or two? You can count on me to make this island a confused Fused mixture of stiff. Cheers to Hod Podge. Well, we're learning one thing about uh, Buckier. He really likes his uh, country music. And I, th I think he might be a country guy. You know, like he says partner or, or partner. Maybe he's in a band. Maybe he's a rancher. Ah, hey. Sitting around the campfire with a cup of peach juice almost feels like we're family. You can call me bro. All right, bro. Sounds good. Hey, girl, what's up? Ugh, I did. Ugh can't stand between you and the fire. I'm gonna get like burnt or something. Hot podge, this is gonna be rad. <laughs> All right, Tom, I'm gonna go to bed. Bedtime. Be oh, I missed a tree. How dares it I? I missed a tree. We need bells. We need bells. I just went west because I've been playing on Tar Tupelog for like six months and my, my house is to the west. Now it is to the east and I don't even know where it is. Where is it? Oh my god. Ah, this is going to be a challenge. Okay, there it is. Found it. Found it. I am Sailor Andy. Okay, let's go to bed. Woohoo! My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! No, you can't, Andy. This is a challenge. Ay, ay, ay. Oh yeah, we got miles. Rah. We got our first uh, 500 miles. All right, 4,500 left to go. And we need to collect 5,000 miles for Tomnick. I don't know, can we find our, our dudes? Oh, oh, hey Buck, what's up? Yo, Andy, that spot you found for me is just incredible. Thanks. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good out, buddies, partner. Oh, right, I've gotten something here for you, partner. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. All right, what do I get? That's an outdoor hat. It's perfect for Odd Podge. I bet it is. We got our first hat. Oh, I'm so awesome. Okay, where's, where, oh, there you are. Hey, yo, Andy, I'm getting a real good vibe from the tent plot you picked for me. Thanks for the end. We've got to look out for each other here. If you need anything, don't be shy. Ugh. Doesn't, doesn't feel like you want me to reach out to you when you go, ugh. I was thinking about how to thank you and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Yay. Thank you. I'm gonna go do that. And then I got points for talking to all my villagers. All two of them. There we go. 300 miles. All right, let's go take that workshop so we can get like a gnat and a fishing rod and an axe and, 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 and a bug catching net. And then we can like set up blathers. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. Funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm. <laughs> You're telling me, okay? I live on an island with radioactive animals. Jeez, let's do that work workshop. Crafting my first fish and rod. Crafty, crafty, crafty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I can't, I can't craft a hammer yet or an axe. I, I can craft a net. Okay, I'm going to craft a net. Then I'm going to sell some fruit because that gets its miles, I believe, I think. Oh, look at this. That coach is so Charlie's. Oh, wait, I can't, I can't buy it. I can't buy any of this. I need to sell some stuff. How do I sell stuff? I mean, sell, sell. Oh, we're not just sellers. We also buy things. Okay, good. Good. Give me monies. 3,000. Perfect. Thank you. I'm gonna buy that radioactive sofa. All right. Sold the weeds. Gotta collect 83 more and then we'll get more miles off the weeds. And I sold fruit. Did I do anything else? Seller of unwanted stuff. Yes. 
Is that it? That's it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't get the coach. All right. Uh, all right. Well, well, we'll, we'll come back to the coach. We'll come back to the coach. I, I don't know. I don't remember how to get... I don't know how to get an axe. Okay. I'm gonna... Pressing up to get to my tool wheel. Ah! Okay. We're gonna get, get some fish. I think I need five things. And then we can get Blather's tent going. So I got a mackerel. Of course, mackerel. I think selling shells gets us uh, some miles. Lots of weeds. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Our first bug, our first bug. hi -cha! First try. Yeah. Tiger butterfly. That was the first bug that I caught on Tartupolog, actually. Huh. Ooh. Wee. Seashell. Weeding all day. Come on, bug. Don't you like grass? Do horses eat grass? Come on, come on, eat some grass. Come on. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Or should I leave the grass for you? Okay, I'll leave the grass. The grassy ones. Those are for you. I'll take the clovers. Clovers are for rabbits. I just need one more different thing. I'm collecting weeds while I go. All right, there we go. Come on, be something else. Yeah, Kurt. Nice. All right, let's go back. Hi guys, what's up? Gotta sell some stuff. Shells and more weeds. Did I get miles? Yes, miles. Greedy weeder. Yeah. I'm gonna points for selling shells. What's going on here? Excuse me. Found a creature, Tom. I found five of them. There you go. Oh, okay. I just sent you a DIY for an axe. Okay, that's how we get the axe. Nice. Hyacinths, nice. All right, that's my last one. Since you've done so much scouting around collecting already, would you be able to help find a spot for bothers? Sure. All right, I want to make an axe. I can make three. I'm going to make three axes. Yeah. Hey, this, this was the benefit of shaking all those trees on the first day. Yeah. I got Nick Miles. I guess we should take a picture, shouldn't we? Not with you, Tom Nook. Ew. Do, 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 do. Should we take a picture with Buck? Is he still over by my house? There he is. Hey, Buck. He, he like blends in. Literally blends in. What's happening here? Take a picture with me. Where are you going? Da, Nick Miles. Shutterbug. Yay. We're at 3,100 already. Nook phone life. What's that? I use my Nook phone. Perfect. Got it? All right. Uh, oh, ooh, I gotta make myself some eyebrows. Brows and freckles. Woohoo! All right. Do I look cute? I look cute enough. Oh my gosh, a balloon. I forgot about the slingshot. I don't have a slingshot. Wee! I got Nook Miles for that. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go right on the board. I gotta go right on the board. Do, 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 do. Nook Miles. Hi. Done. Nook Miles. Oh, we're so close. 800 left. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Do you need to do our passport? Beware, beware of the radiation. There it is. I'm an inexperienced enthusiast. Yeah. Okay, done. And then I got miles. 500 left. Oh yeah, slingshot. Do, 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 do. Uh, hello? What? I'm trying to get in there. How silly of me to forget. I need to give you a brief introduction to that box there. I think that's recycled. No, give me my box and my stick. Mm. All right, so we're going to buy the inflatable uh, sofa and I'm going to buy a slingshot, five tulips, because I think we get miles for planting 10 flowers, I believe, I hope, uh, DIY for beginners, and I guess a slingshot recipe, get my nook miles, Ooh. first time buyer, yes, okay, there we go, 200 left, okay, let's go plant those flowers. Where should we plant flowers? Oh, burr, 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 burr. Maybe make like a row of them by the airport. Like, boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Okay. One, two, pop, 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 pop to plant. And then I got two more. I'll put them by my tent so we can have like a little pretty place by the tent. Boop, boop. There it is. There's my miles. Flower power. There we can play Tom Nook off now. But before we go in there, I want to place Blather's tent. Okay, we get our DIY workbench and a slingshot recipe. I mean, we gotta find a place for Blather's tent. Where are we gonna put the museum? Hmm. I'm thinking it would be pretty cool to have one of the builds that we do, like a little place that Blather's has, like all his research, and maybe he's doing like ocean 
research. He really likes the ocean part <laughs> of the island, maybe. So I'm not, I, I'm not sure if we're gonna want it on the beach or, hmm. Look, yeah, okay, let's just do it on the beach. Let me imagine it. Like, that's pretty cute, right? He's even got, like, a bucket and stuff. Okay. Yay! Woo! All right. Do, 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 do. Hey, Dom. I take it you found a suitable spot for Blather's tent. Mm -hmm. I did. Also, also, I got my moving fees. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees. Yep. Very well. You owe me 5,000 miles. All right. Take them. I want to upgrade my house, please. Yep. Nook Miles Quest. Woohoo! Let's see what our quests are. Plant more flower seeds? No way. Fish, catch sea bass. I could probably do that. Spend bells to buy items. Five th- These quests are nuts. Nutsos. Brr. Except for catching the fish. And the bugs. I think I can do that quest. And I can use these as decoration. Start getting our score up. Collect these shells as, as I go along. We need to catch a sea bass and five fish. Yeah, my uh, grand intellect of being island representative of Hot Podge tells me that sea bass are in the sea. Ba -da 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 -da. Come here. That is not a sea bass. All right. That's okay. Um, I'll put it right beside Lather's tent, which will be here eventually. I mean, we'll put the butterfly over here. Boop. Doo -doo. There's another butterfly. Come here, butterfly. Where are you? There you are. What the? What the? What the? What the? I have a feeling the rivers might be toxic around here. They're attracting the locals. Ooh, but there's a fish there. Don't get too close. <sighs> oh, gotta get closer to her. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. Woohoo! A can! Yeah! Ooh. I got an idea. Wanna, wanna, what's my idea? I guess the, that, right? Yeah, probably. Look at all this stuff we got. Oh, you know what we should do? Put that toxic sofa by Charlize's house. There we go. Yeah, that's for you, girl. Right there. And then, I guess, bucket of a, a cardboard box. Why not, right? Yep. Okay. I caught a dab. Really? When, when you need to catch a sea bass, you don't. And then when you don't, you do. Right? Right. Alright, I'm gonna add a couple of fish to this, cause my pockets are so tiny. All we got is tiger butterflies. Put it like that and then stack this one on top. Here. Excuse me. On top, please. Thank you. Very cute. That's nice. I like this. That's cute. Oh, and we got that ugly fish. Oh, the ugly fish. Right there. And I got the nook mouse. Oh, cut the bugs. And decorating. Okay, I got to catch a sea bass. There we go. Woohoo. Oh, well, collect my mouse. And we gotta chop wood. I can do that. And it'd be good to, to get some supplies. Gotta sell shells. I don't have that many shells. You got a sea bass though. I'm gonna put the sea bass here. Ew, no. Yuck. Ooh, ow. Yeah. But um. Oh, okay. there we go. I get my axle. We're gonna collect some wood supplies. I got three axes, so I could probably add a bunch of trees. I don't know, should we get those rocks? We're gonna need, what is it, 30 of each wood for the next cranny? Oh, 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 oh yeah. Okay, I forgot, I forgot, I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot. Ah, no, no. Ah, I haven't hit a regular tree in so long. I, I, well, I guess they're all gone now. So there you go. Oh no, I'm doing it again. Okay, okay. I gotta shake these. Oh, money. Oh, also we could get the furniture piece from there. I don't think I have the pocket space to pick up all this materials. Oh, there goes my axe. I got two more. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. I'm thinking before her, all my axes weren't where all I should hit the, the available rock, right? Because, you know, potato bugs. Armadillo dilii. That's what they're called. Armadillo dilii. Oh, there it goes. Oh, this is a money. Money. Woohoo. Come on, money. That's really good find. That's awesome. All right. And then I'm going to use the rest of this axe to add all these trees. We're gonna time travel to tomorrow, and I believe. Oh no! 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 no. Oh! 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 I. Oh. Yep. Ah. Uh, okay. 
Well, what was I saying? I said, <laughs> okay, I was saying that we're going to time travel tomorrow because I do believe that uh, when Blathers gets here, he gives you a recipe for the shovel and the vaulting pool. <laughs> Until my axe breaks. There we go. All right. Okay, I'm going to go around. I'm going to pick up all these supplies. It's going to be awesome. Oh, oh, first balloon. First balloon. Ay, oh, and it's toxic green. What's going on on this island? Ay, ay, ay. Ah, ah. Two bucks. Two bucks. Oh, we put that by uh, Blather's tent. Boop. Oh my gosh, and it matches. Are you kidding me right now? That's perfect. Oh, wow. Wow. This island's great. It's green. It makes sense. Well, I went around. I got a full st stack of soft wood, a full stack of hard wood. I, I almost got a full stack of regular wood. I got enough materials that I can make a workbench. So, ew, Tom Nook. I'm gonna make a workbench so I don't have to come here and be uh, stared at while, while I do stuff. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da. Boo! -hoo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But down. Yeah workbench. Woohoo. Nice. I'm gonna sell the rest of this stuff to Nookie dudes. See how much money we can get. Hey. Hey. Take my stuff. Take all this, please. A zinko. Oh. Oh. And the wasp nest. 2,000 bucks. We got like 10,000 bells on our first day. Oh uh, yeah. And the wasp nest. Thank you. I don't need medicine. Thank you. Yeah. And I think that's it. All right. Now we're going to time travel tomorrow, meet Blathers, get our shovel, and our vaulting pole. Hey Tom, what's up? Testing, testing, test, test, test. Hello, every... Oh gosh. Oh dear, sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Yeah, well don't yell into the microphone. Hello everyone, hey. The Odd Podge Airport is now open for business. That means I can send myself a storage shed. And as of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on Odd Podge. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, we got more mail. Mail! Oh, mom. Oh, oh, she sends us fruit. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about that. Apples. Yes, I was open for red fruit. I really like the red fruits. Wooden mini table. Like, oh, I won't be using any wood unless I have excess because we need to open the nook's cranny. I'm gonna craft this because I, I, I thought of it myself. I may, may as well craft it, right? This takes soft wood. I'm cool with that. Let's build that. Burr, 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 burr. Any of this come in toxic green? A leaf umbrella. You know what? We should make this and give it to Charlie's because you know what? She, she, uh, oh wait, we can't yet. We're not friends yet. All right, we'll just put it by your house then. Put my wash tub there. Gotta scrub my clothes daily from all the radiation. Hey, hey girl. Hey, hey. I need to catch my breath and I kind of just flopped here. You know, watching the sky is real common. Yeah, I don't think she's well. I don't think she's doing all right. Put the leaf umbrella. There you go. That's for you. I'm gonna put the succulent plant by Buck's house because you know I he's kind of a country guy and that's kind of a country thing. Kinda. Of. Ew. Okay. Ooh, a bottle. Yes. Wooden table mirror. Nice. We're doing good. We're doing so good. Let's go say I to Blathers. That's not Blathers. That's resident services. The tent looks almost the same. Hey Buck. Hey, hey, uh, partner, you good? Yeah. What's up? I gotta learn some more stuff about you. This weather really gets my muscles glistening, partner. No, that's the radiation, Buck. That's the radiation. All right, let's get in here. I honestly love this setup, you know? Why can't your, you have an office in the museum? Huh? This is adorable. Who? a pleasure to meet you. Name's Blathers. I'm excitingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Good, because I think there's something wrong with the ecosystem. It's turning all the animals green. If you could get to the bottom of that, that would be great. All right, Blathers, I will not be helping you upgrade this museum. Nuh-uh. The museum is staying a tent, and that's it. That's the final word. Hey, bud. I think we might get the quest to do the next cranny. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Okay, talk to me. Talk to me, bud. I have something I would like to chat about, if you have a moment, that is. Yeah. All right. 
Yes, yes, you could gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and rock. Our environmental review even suggests that there will be zero <laughs> impact to native flora or fauna. <laughs> yeah, I'm really starting to think this place has a radiation problem. I'm convinced. Okay, let's see what we can get. For our nook, Miles, we need the essential, yes, we need the essential ring. Oh, I can't afford the pretty good tools recipe. Okay, we're gonna get the, the pretty good tools recipe eventually. What I do got to do is make a shovel so we can plant those fruit trees that mom got us so we can make some bells and then hopefully leaf stop by us at some point. feel like we're gonna be making our money from selling vegetables and fruit. I don't think that I have the time nor the patience to do uh, fishing. Okay, we'll go down here. We'll do, we'll do them by the museum. Apple tree, another apple tree. Are these not properly spaced all? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Mwah. Grow my pretty apples. Grow. And I, uh, I know you're worse. I know you like apples. I know. How you doing? Good morning. Oh, jeez. Oh, what a partner. Did that wake you up? I've been up. I've been up. Where it is, you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. Good hustle. Thank you. I found something that might help. Oh, iron. Thank you. Let's go talk to Charlie. She's fishing. She's always fishing. Stay away from the lakes. They're toxic. Per perfect fishing weather. Time to catch a few fishies. Ugh. Killing me. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do now is invite myself over. Get me that storage shed. Do, 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 do. Hey. Hello. Dodo Airlines. The crew may be flightless, but that doesn't mean you have to be. Oh, thanks, Orville. I just got a Nook Miles ticket from Tom Nook with Andy written on it, which makes it yours. Oh, yeah. I want, I want to invite myself over. All right, gates are open. I'm gonna wait outside for me. Looks like someone's on their way here. Andy from Tartupaluk is here to play. Woohoo! Yay me! Hey, cheater! Not a cheater. I've come to give you your cheating shed, cheater. That's for you, cheater. It's not cheating. It's part of the rules. Yep, yeah, whatever. Okay, bye. Man, I'm so negative sometimes. Ugh. Looks like she's leaving. Good. And it's going home. Safe travels. Yeah. Get out of here. Well, you can see the, the, the plane trails in the air there. Because we had a plane visitor. Oh my gosh. I love the little details. All right. Well, you know what? That was a pretty eventful day. So later on tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shake some more trees. Okay. I'm going to hit some more trees, get some sticks, get some wood, and hit these rocks. And then tomorrow, we'll collect more resources and maybe even go on that Nook Mile, free Nook Mile tour to get even more resources to get the shop built. Because we need to get the shop built, get the bridge built to get our villagers in. All right. So today, what I want to do is collect the rest of the supplies to open the Nook's Granny because I really want to get that done. <laughs> Let's see. What do we get? A shamrock wand. All right. The globe camo pants, safe, and a tricycle. All right, I'll wear these camo pants. Oh, very nice. Oh, they're pink. Sea globe. Oh, maybe we could put the sleek sea globe by Blathers. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the fish in like the big glass jars. Oh, that looks so cool. There's a fish in there. Okay, I think our jars, containers. I don't really think that that's the, the vibe that we're going for here on the tent though i do know it does boost our score so i'm just gonna place them i don't know randomly over here i guess we are trying to uh get to a five star island but first we need to get to three stars there we go wow i'm going to <laughs> place the pants a safe and a tricycle oh also yeah i i, I ended up helping gulliver so let's see if he got us anything Stonehenge, perfect. Oh yeah, that's like the best one. Okay, hmm. ooh, money tree. Okay, I guess I could just like place it anywhere. There we go. I am focused on money right now and hopefully Leaf shows up. I don't know if Leaf, sh I don't think Leaf shows up until we have resident services upgraded. That might be an issue, but <laughs> that's okay. That's okay because that's our goal. We're gonna try and get resident services all sorted out. I found a money tree last night as well. So I'm gonna, guess I'll just plant them there on the peninsula for now. I'll show you where I'm at for our supplies. Oh, 
I should take those out and put them decorate with. So I already have all the wood. We're good on that. And we have 17 iron nuggets and we need 30. So I guess the first thing to do would be to hit the rocks. We're just gonna because we want we want three stars right away. Oh, hey, Charlie's. Hey, my little radioactive friend. I need to catch up my breath. It kind of just flopped here. You know, watching the sky is really common. She's only been here two days and she's just like, I'm too exhausted. So I keep flopping myself down. I, I really do think that she is uh, suffering from some serious uh, uranium exposure. Hey, Buck. Hey, partner. You good? Yeah, what's up? Gotta start the day off right. Muscles are a lifestyle, partner. All right. All right, bud. All right. All right. Let's put the tricycle by Buck's place and then the safe by the museum and start it in some rocks because, you know, that's the goal today to finish the next cranny, build a bridge, and put down our first three lots. There we go. That's a safe. Blathers keep stuff in there. I don't know what uh up all right let's go come on iron or there's one there's two three that's it okay now we only need 10. collecting nook miles oh okay that's enough for extra pocket space nice all right we'll, we'll buy that when we go into the resident service tent pocket space okay money money not bad not bad. Not iron. Not bad though. Gotta gotta get the money. We gotta buy decorations for the islands that suit our villagers. Ugh, our toxic, irradiated villagers. They're contaminated. They're contaminated. All right. Here's one. Ba -da -da -da. One, two. Two's good. Oh, and if you're wondering, oh, I got this iron shovel. Charlize actually uh, gave it to us to help get supplies for the shop. So that's really nice. But this is the only one I have. I definitely did not use an iron nugget on a tool. Oh, wow. That was really good. Were you impressed by that? Are you acting like you weren't looking at me? Side-eyeing me? Now you're just going to stare deep into my soul. All right. Stand your ground. Stand your ground, book. Is that all the rocks? I don't know where all my rocks are, to be honest. I think we should jump over the river. I did make a vaulting pole. Uh, we're gonna find the rocks. Now, we don't have a ladder yet. I think we have to build the three plots to get a ladder. I guess I'll, I'll scoop these up. We're not gonna donate them, but I guess we could, uh, oh, what'd I do? Oh, I found a fossil. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. What was I saying? I guess we could get blathers to assess them and then we could use them as decoration to help get to three stars so we could get pathing and stuff like that and then sell them for bells later on. Yep. All right. Let's see what this bottle has for us. Iron wood bed. Ooh, nice. I will not be making that yet. That takes iron. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, yes. All right. Where's the other rocks around here? Is there any rocks? I just need three more. That's all I need. All I need is three more. Oh, I see a rock on top of the cliff. We can't get to. Oh, and we got lilies. Lilies are nice. This is so cute. Oh, I'm loving the back of this island. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this, look at this cute little river. Oh, man. Oh, a balloon. Oh, there's a rock. Okay. What, a balloon or rock? All right. I'll wait for you, balloon. I'll pick some weeds while I wait. Bah! Outdoor generator. All right, that's pretty cool. Watcha! All right, iron nuggets. Come on, let's go. We just need three. So one, two, three. Okay, now we can go get the shop. Let's go get the shop. I just had like this idea. Okay, you know how uh, our villagers are like radioactive, and Buck is kind of like I guess like a country boy, I suppose. What if Charlize? was like poisoning the water and she was like on the cliff okay and then Bach had like his farm below and it was contaminating his produce which was making him green i don't know okay well there, there oh i forgot the other supplies no sorry get the storage shed down all right let's go in excuse me Hello, I'm in for real this time. All right, hey guys. Pocket organization. Woohoo. Okay, bud. Eat to me. 
Welcome, Andy. How can I help you today? Oh, building a shop. Right now, we're asking for donations to get materials we need to build a shop. Yeah, I know. I'd like to donate. Oh, you'd like to make a donation. Thank you so much for helping us. No problem. Let's see. You brought in all of it. Are you really going to provide all four kinds of materials right now? Not right now. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, these are for you. There, take it. As a thank you, please take a mini cactus set and a standing toilet and, <laughs> wow, these prizes are super serious to me, a paper lantern. Okay, thank you. All right, I'll set up your shop, no problem. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. What's in the box? A rest apart. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. Okay, bye. All right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Where should we put the shop? We could have the shops beside residence services. Like right there? Yeah, that's fine. We're probably gonna move it anyways. Yeah. Right now. Okay, now I think we can build a bridge. Hello? Hey, hey, I put your shop down. Andy, you put up the shop construction kit. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, what about you, Tom? Can I do stuff with you? I should thank you for gathering all those materials for the shop. You're quite resourceful. Maybe I should be asking you for advice on how to build up this island. I'm the island representative. Wait, what? Okay, I think we got to time travel to tomorrow. That's what we're gonna do. Yep. All right, let's go. Oh, Stonehenge looks so good in the back. My staff, Timmy and Tommy, opened their new shop today. Yay! To celebrate the open of a shop, we added a new catalog service to Nook Shopping. Yay! Ah, one moment, please. Yay! Okay, yeah, they're calling. They want they want places to live. And, and Tom's just saying yes. He's got no game plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waddle away. Okay, perfect. Perfect! What do we get? Oh, Daisy May. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be time traveling a lot, and I'm just not gonna, not gonna remember. Nope. All right, come on, let's go. Hey Tom, what's up? Oh, not at all. We'll set up your moving date at a later time. <laughs> He's stressing. I'm stressing too. Andy, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you ever heard that call I just got? Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. For some time now, I've been advertising the Hot Podge getaway package. Yeah, how's that going for you? And you wouldn't know, all of the blue, we had three interested parties. <laughs> They're like, oh my God, there's a deserted island with a radiation problem? That sounds like the place for me. That's great. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Er, wonderful, except for one minor detail. I'll do it. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're gonna need some top secret instructions. Top secret. Okay, look left, look right, look behind us. All right, we're alone. Tell me what the plan is. Here's what I'm thinking. We really should start by building a bridge across a river somewhere. Brilliant idea, Tom. Brilliant. It's good that you're only speaking to me about this. All right, give me the details. Give me the deets. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what this bridge log stakes clay and stone okay i can do that okay bye all right let's look at the map let's think of where we want to put it i think i want to open up the west beach yeah okay let's do that gonna build a bridge it's gonna be awesome all right there it is the bridge ba -da 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 -da. i made a bridge yeah all right let us make a bridge make a bridge let's go to blathers on our way since it's right here get our fossils assessed hey dude what's up what's up i was tent life what's going on good morning andy what's up make a donation what do you mean make a donation do i have to donate one here indeed there can be no doubt this is a fossil oh you're so intelligent blathers i aspire to be just like you I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? No, I'm taking it with me. Assess it. Okay, gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. In order to open the museum, we need 15 more exhibit items. I do look forward to your donations. You'll be looking forward forever. All right. T-Rex torso and a wing. Oh, that's sad looking, eh? Uh, oh, look at these flowers. They're so pretty. Okay. Whoa, look at this house. That's Charlize's house. That's interesting. That's Buck's house. Yeah, see, Buck is like a, a, a rancher duder thingy duder. Outdoor generator. Let's put that there. There we go. Need some electricity, bud. Give her a mini cactus set. That kind of goes with her house a little bit, eh? So now that they're in houses, I guess they can be crafted. Let's go see what Buck's doing. He ain't doing nothing. Okay, 
let's put this bridge up. I think I'm gonna put it like right here. Seems like a good spot. Yay! Woohoo! All right, that's done. I guess we should go to the next cranny, see what they got, just in case we wanna decorate with some stuff. Hey guys, oh yeah. Oh, hi little duder. Bye little duder. Hey, thanks to your help, we've opened an amazing new shop. New shop. Should we buy any of this stuff? I guess we could buy this bear. Mama Panda, she's so cute. Okay, take her. And a bench? Might as well. Mine. But a but but. All right, nice. Okay. Oh, and all the peaches are back on the trees. Cool. Okay, I think we can set up the plots now. Hey, hey, what's up? So did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? I did. I set it up. Andy, the bridge won't be ready until tomorrow, but you want to start on the homes now? Yeah. Please take these three housing kits. Oh, wow, thank you. Okay, cool. Oh, this stuff. Oh, that's a cool item. All this stuff takes iron. What are you doing to me, Tom? Let's go set up these tents. And by tents, I definitely mean housing plots. That's what I meant. I meant it when I said. I think we're gonna like probably move every single building we place down. Uh, can I fit one here? No. Okay. Wacha! Well, we just built the bridge over this way. So I'm assuming this is probably gonna be a pretty good place just to like store these houses for now. Okay, we'll put one right there. Hay hey, bad swing and bench barrel. So we're, we're gonna need iron for the first plot like right away. Okay, we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's just place the rest of these. I think I can stick one over here. All right, right here. That sounds good. Woohoo! All right, got me a recipe for a ladder. A balloon. Oh, brine shrimp aquarium. Nice. I'm gonna put the other one as close to the beach here as I can. Yeah, beachfront house. Hopefully whoever lives there likes the beach. We don't know yet. All right, we're gonna have to build this stuff. We need to collect supplies for them. Check out what we got. All right, we're good on hardwood. We need one more softwood. We need 43 more regular wood. We need 13 iron and we need three more clay. All right, not so bad. Let's do it. Oh, balloon. Eight. Eight. Excuse me. Eight. Ta. Ladder shades? What's that? Okay. I got the better tools recipe. So I got a regular, oh, I should probably pick these. Regular wooden or regular, what is it called? Stone axe. I got a stone axe now. So that's cool. And I got to build that ladder so I can go pick some lilies. Ah, I got shades though. So it's going to hide it. Eh, see? Barely see it. Bah, ba -da -ba -da. Okay, I think we have exactly enough of everything to make everything, I think. All right, I'm gonna get some pocket space by decorating a bit. I gotta put the lantern. We got that paper lantern from Timmy. Boop, because Blathers is doing sea creature research. So I think the, the brine thing is probably a good idea. Yep, I'm gonna put the piano bench by my house. I don't know, maybe I'll sit there. And the stand-in toilet. Well, that's a urinal. Ay, 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 that's a urinal. That's not, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put that by Buck's house. You know, the saying about uh, having a go like a racehorse. So there you go. That's for you, Buck, right by the tree. No water in the trees. Water the toilet. Let's start crafting. I'm gonna make my ladder so we can get those lilies and see what's up on the cliffs. All right, let's go. We need three of each color. Yeah, oh, it is nice up here. This is nice. This is a nice little formation. This island is, I really like all this island looks. Now look at this big space up here. And the little pond in the river. Yeah, the terraforming for this island is just, so cool. I did not know that there was islands like this, but then again, we did see that really weird geometric looking one. Yeah, look at this, look at this river. Ah, oh, so cool. Okay, we can't wait to get these villagers so we know who we're building the island for. Yeah, let's craft these last items. Lily reef. All right, last, <laughs> last item. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 
peach surprise box. Like, why is there like this potato baby inside the peach? What is happening? Why? Oh my gosh. Oh, this game. Okay. Let's go decorate these houses. Yay. Wee. All right. Plot number one. Smith all the items. So these guys need the swinging bench. I thought probably towards the ocean there. Like a nice ocean view swinging bench. Also want a bed and a barrel. Boop. All right. Let's get this balloon. Excuse me. A metal can. Metal can. There we go. This gal in the front. They want the log dining table, the log bench, and the wooden bucket. And then we'll go over to the last plot here. They want an iron garden table, an iron garden chair, a birdhouse. This is the autofill challenge. So see, we are obviously going to let these all autofill. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go tell Tom Nook that we done did it. And then I'm going to not check the sold signs and we'll time travel to the next day and see who's moving in day to day, right? So then after they move in, we can actually go and see what these little guys look like. Huh? All right, let's do that. All right. <laughs> At this point, oh, Leaf is here. Yes. Okay. And at this point, if they were like bright green, I wouldn't even mind. Let's find out. Come on, Tom. Who's moving in? Now for today's news. Odd Podge gains new neighbor today. Broccolo. Broccolo. I think I've met Broccolo. Wait, did I? Is that a mouse? I think it's a mouse. I'm not exactly sure. We'll do your workshop later. Not right now. We gotta see who Broccolo is. I'm like pretty sure it's a mouse. I think. I think it's a mouse. Oh, Arv's here too. Okay, well, no, we're not dealing with you guys. Oh, hey bud. What's up? Hey Andy, have a minute? Check it out. Uh-oh. You met Brocklo, right? The one that just moved here? <laughs> no, I'm literally on my way to go meet him right now. Well, if we get enough hyper athletes like that to move here, we could start our own Cavaria team. Okay, you know, or just have a bunch of cool workout buddies to hang out with. Either way, partner. So my idea was to stick decorations around and then we can attract some first round neighboring talent. I pitched this to Charlize and we both agree. Oh no, the radiation's gotten to your brain. What did you guys, what did you get? A public bench. Your call. Game on. Okay, not bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna go meet Broccolo. Oh, I really like the exterior of his house. That's kind of cool. He has a mouse and he's bright blue. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Odd Podge, the multicolored radiation island. Come on down. Hey, oh, nice to meet you. I'm Broccolo and I just moved here today all on my own. Aw, you're so grown up. I can't play yet because I gotta unpack my snacks and other stuff like furniture and stuff. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at his little nose and his little smile and his little teeth. Oh, but come say hi tomorrow. Okay. Aw. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to it. Oh my god, he's so cute. Too cute. Okay, we gotta go and time travel tomorrow, but before I do that, we gotta check out what Leaf is selling because we gotta start a vegetable garden to get some income on this island. Hey, uh, and welcome. What should I call you, friend? Call me Andy. Did you say Andy? What a happy name. Oh, yes, and I'm Leaf. Hey, Leaf, what do you got for sale? Oh, tomatoes. Radioactive tomatoes. I kind of like the idea of cosmos because the pink cosmos are like so pink. So that might be cool if everyone's going to be like radioactive. You know what I mean? And then I guess I'll just pick up the mums for good measure and a couple bushes. All right. I'm just going to I'm going to save the 7000 for myself. Thank you, Leaf. Let's see. Just come and pop in here. Oh, the fireplace. That's such a good item. 900 bells. Okay, I take. The record player is a good one too. 4,000. Okay, that's all my bells. Oh, the desk is nice. How much is this? 7,000. Okay, yeah. No, can't afford it. Thank you. I will be starting a tomato garden soon and I'll purchase more later. All right, all right. Next villager, next villager. Ah, so good. Excited! Whoa! All right. I never thought I'd be saying this in my entire life, but please be neon colored. Please be neon colored. Come on, toxic colors. Sprinkle. I don't know who that is. All right. I have no idea who Sprinkle is. If anything, that sounds like a 
cat name like sprinkles come here girl or oh maybe a dog come here girl come on sprinkles i don't know okay 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 ah uh, hello sprinkles who are you oh she is kind of neon that's a penguin i was not expecting a penguin hi i just moved here my name is sprinkle you're andy ray yeah hey i'm deep in the middle of unpacking but when i'm done you should totes come over all right oh my gosh you're gonna freak all about my adorbs place once it's finally finished frappe she is kind of neon hey that's not bad she is so cute okay see ya bye Ah, the sprinkles. The sprinkles. <laughs> ah, they're all blue. Oh, blue. We got the green team and now we got the blue team. Okay, so we should talk to Label over here. No worries if you forgot. My name is Mabel. Oh my God, I've been calling you Label. I'm sorry. Well, welcome to Odd Podge. Uh, what do you got for sale? Let's see. Oh, we got a bright green fitness tank oh and a construction a safety helmet and some glass okay i'm gonna take the glasses because i need to see i'll get these hikers too oh wait i can't never mind sorry i don't have enough bells thanks though oh yeah that's the look all right last villager oh yeah let's go team blue come on please be blue please be blue oh she's here again that's nice i still don't have any bells for you girl Odd Podge gamed a new neighbor today, Stella. I don't know who Stella is either. Who are these guys? Hope she's blue. Resident service is going to be in a legit building. So we're gonna get Isabel. Hey. Oh, right. Hey, sorry, Arf. We're on a mission. Oh my god. Go. Look at them go. Though Sprinkle may not be like blue enough. She She's cute. I like her. Whoa. Is she gonna be pink? Purple? Who's this guy? Hello. Oh, she's pink. Hello. Wow, I already have a visitor. Oh my god, look at her little beady eyes. Yeah. You must be Andy. I am. I'm new here, so it's great to meet someone who knows their way around Hound Podge. I barely know my way around, but she is too cute. Oh, my name is Stella. Hey, yeah, you're in the morning announcements. What's up? Probably should have told you that first. Bada bing. Bada bing. <laughs> she's so cute. She's pink. She's pink. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Well, she wasn't blue. She's pink. So that's pretty cool. She seems really sweet. I'm glad she gets the beachfront property there. I like it. I would say so far, I mean, with the characters that are all running around, the only character right now that's not really matching the rest of them is Sprinkles here. I mean, she's cute. She's too cute. You know what I mean? I mean, and look at Broccolo. He's so cute, but he's toxic green. So, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I think the last order of business is to get resident services all set up and then we'll we'll, we'll call her a day. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mabel. I, I don't got any bells. Okay, I got 500 bells. Not enough bells. All right. Woo! Yay! Resident services! Woohoo! Yay! Come on over, Isabel. Yay! All right. Yeah, what an awesome eventful day. Ugh. Oh, hey, hi. Very good morning to you, Andy. Bada bing. I've managed to finish putting things away at home, so I finally freed up to meet you and greet all my neighbors. I'm really grateful that you came by on my first day here to welcome me. Until next time, bada bing. Aw, that is so sweet. Yay. My phone is ringing. What's going on? Hello, Andy? This is Tom Nook. Are you busy? I have a visitor here that I'd love to introduce you to. Oh yeah, happy on paradise. Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna be doing happy on paradise. We're kind of on a time crunch here. All right, nice to meet ya. Bye now. By the way, you haven't been to my workshop on customization yet. Okay, I'll come by. We're gonna customize everything. It's raining. All right, let us go to Tom Nook and see what he wants. Oh, Broccolo. Ah, uh, Andy, hello, hello. Hey, Tom Nook, come for the stuff. Welcome to the new and improved resident service tent. Yup. All right. Let's see. What do you What do you gotta say? Yes, yes. This is the construction consolation counter. Thank you. Before we begin, allow me quickly to explain the services offered at my counter. Ugh. Okay, make it quick. Very interesting. Thank you. 
And with that information in mind, what do you think? How can I be assistance to you? Uh, I need your help? You wanted my help? What? You wanted my help? I don't remember you saying that. Oh, you're already eager to hear how you can help out. Hmm? I wanted to do something grand to celebrate. Oh, yes. I have big plans. Well, why do you look so depressed, Tom? That's not the face for someone who has big plans. Good luck with that. What? You see, our goal uh, is to have the incredibly popular musician K.K. Slider come and put on a show here on Odd Podge. Yay! All right, what do you want from me, bud? Ah, I take this means you're all ready to hear the details of what my plan to draw KK here to hold a concert. Yeah, tell me about it. It's called Project KK. All right, that's all I needed to know. So, for the first step, we'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. Oh, yay, campsite. I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island for a new campsite. I'm counting on you. All right. I do, Dad. Okay, I gotta make that wardrobe to participate in his workshop. Ugh, and it's raining, which is perfect, because I got ideas. All right, we're gonna have to make a campsite. What does this need? Lots of stuff, right? 15 of each wood and 15 iron nuggets. What is wrong with these people? Oh my gosh. All right, fine. I'm not talking to you, Arv. I'm not talking to you today. I know I said I would talk to you today, but I lied. I lied. Gonna hit some rocks and see what we can get. I ended up making some improved tools for myself, but if I knew I needed iron for the campsite, I might have not done that. But I did, so. Oh, oh that's money. No, we need iron. We need iron. Oh, we're getting really close to being able to pay off our first loan. Oh, we only need like 7,000 more. But I think we got to put a plot down. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. What are you doing? Come on, fishing rod, do your job. You haven't caught anything. Aw, poor girl. All the ladies are gonna get water today. All right, I'm officially hitting the last rock we got here on the island. I just need two more. So I just need one more. I need one more from you. One more. Come on, one more. Yes. Oh, oh, that was stressful. Oh. All right, let's make a campsite. That crafting workshop's gonna have to wait. This is important. All right, where are we gonna put the campsite? Where are we gonna put the campsite? I don't know. Maybe we should just put it in the back of the island and just leave it there because we're not going to use it ever again, right? We're just going to get our first campsite villager and then that's it. So maybe back here in this forest? Could we hide it in here? Oh, got rid of one of the trees. That sucks. All right. This is good. That's campsite. Woo-hoo. Well, that was unexpected. We should definitely fill that campsite by the end of the day. But what I want to do is plant those tomatoes we purchased from Oleaf because we need to start making some money. I was thinking like right here. Yesterday I had the thought that maybe Charlize could be, I don't know, polluting the river. And that's why they're all irradiated and stuff. Like right, right up here this r river thing and maybe Charlie's could live up here and like pollute the waterfall that comes down this way and comes all the way over here right and then it winds down this way and then it comes all to over here so it's the same river also it's raining so these are gonna get watered which is awesome so let's just plant these up Whoop. Tomatoes. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. We're one short of having a perfect patch. Oh, that's sad. Oh, oh wait, no, no, no. Ah, I see the solution. I scoop this one up. Boop. And this one. Boop. Plant there. And plant. There we go. Cute little patches of tomatoes. Okay. So, I think we should move the story along and see if we get a visitor in the campsite tomorrow. Hmm, hmm Broccolo? Hmm? Hi, it's me, Broccolo. Yes, it is. What's up? I wondered if something fun will happen today. It could, any second, any time now. I'm so excited. Well, you'll have to find out because I'm leaving for your tomorrow. And yeah, I'm not gonna stay today. L oh, let's drop in here and see. What are you selling? I might take this board game. Thank you. And I'm gonna take this typewriter. Thank you. Oh, can't you customize that? A garden faucet. Isn't that something you can make? 
Wait, I'm gonna take that. Okay, bye. All right, time for another resident of Hod Podge. Yeah. All right, we're gonna time travel tomorrow and see what Isabel's got to say. Good morning, everyone. Now for today's announcements. Starting today, Odd Podge has its very own campsite. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. All right. Okay. So, Old Leaf is here. Hey, Leaf. He's got sugar cane today. And Arv is still here. I wonder if we should open Arv's island just in case we want to unlock Reese and, and Cyrus. Oh, should we do the, the sugar cane over here as well? Ba -ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Plan sugar cane. Do, do, do. All the money. Planty, planty, plant. And we're planting all the sugar cane. I made myself a proper watering can because there was no way I was going to go around individually watering all these. This is just, that was just not going to happen. No way. Make me lots of bells so I can pay Tom Nook. Is that it? Should we check for a bottle in a money tree? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Man. Okay, let's check for the bottle. Here, sorry. Oh, there it is. Free standy. Ooh, nice. Now that I'm looking at this, I think I should move my house back a bit. And then have like a little private beach or something here. So I got a, a lawn chair from a balloon. Oop. Let's just decorate this beach a bit. We gotta go to either a Nook Miles Island or a Captain's Island. We're gonna need palm trees for our beaches because there is no way we're gonna be decorating our beaches without palm trees or something like that, right? Here you go, Mama Panda. You can play a board game. We got something for open and resident services. And Luna sent her us her bed. Right. Okay. Uh, maybe I should put some items in my house, huh? We haven't been in here yet. Oh, yeah. It's not great. I guess I'll, I'll put the typewriter and Luna's bed. Perfect. Or, you know what? We could always uh, use that one little Nook Miles ticket to get our sister fruit, but I don't know how important that is. But we definitely need palm trees or coconuts. All right, let's switch to tomorrow. See if we get our smug little villager. Look at him. Look at him with his sports outfit on. He thinks he's so cool. His glasses match his ears. What's going on? Oh, man. Now for today's announcements. That's a good sign. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. All right. Thank you. This is so exciting. I think the villager is like always smug, I believe. Do we gotta talk to Tom Nook about it? Maybe. Hello, Tom Nook. I thought you might wanna talk to me. Our campsite is impressive. And Isabel mentioned it in today's broadcast, but today we have our first guest over at the campsite. Andy, if you have time, or even if you don't have time, make time and go check on our guest. All right. And if you get an opening, try talking them into moving to Hod Podge. The bright future of this island depends on you, Andy. Yes, it is very colorful, very glowy. Radiation glows. All right, let's go. Ah, all right. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Looked at him, but I don't want to forget about it. So look at our little, little glowing dude, the little glowers, and she's fishing again. The lake is toxic. That's why you're green. I keep telling her. She's not listening. She keeps eating the fish out the lake. Oh, oh where am I going? The campsite's this way. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I hope he's like bright green too, eh? That would be so awesome. I don't even know. Probably gonna be like cute and adorable. Now, now that we want him to be toxic looking. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, all right. Our first and last campsite villager that we can accept and I have to accept here on Odd Podge because after that, anyone that comes to the campsite, they're just visiting because they are not autofills anymore. That's too much agency on our part. For them to belong you're on the autofill challenge so you ready Ooh. okay let's go ah close your eyes oh my god ah okay who's that kyle bongiorno you're like right in my face bud name's kyle glad to see i'm the first one using the campsite and you live on this island don't you i do i figured yeah i'm pretty good at reading people it's because you're like literally right in my face. I can't even tell you you're really gonna enjoy having me here. Okay. 
Okay, step back. Just, just step back. Step back. Let's, uh, that's Aina, I think. All right, welcome to Odd Podge. Move here. I command it. Kyle. 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 He's not green. He's Aina. Cool. Okay, bye. All right, let's go invite Kyle. Going down, gonna invite Kyle to the campsite. Gonna invite Kyle to the world. Hey, Charlies. What's up, girl? She's okay. She'll be okay. She'll. Be, she's fine. What are you doing today? Yo, Andy, long time no see, partner. I don't know. It's just like just here. You're looking strong. You've been working out. What a coincidence. So have I. I see you working out. I see you doing the squatties. Hello. Hey guys, what's up? Tom, Tom, hey Tom, there's Aina. Ah, Andy, welcome back. Thanks, there's Aina. My senses tell you you've been to our guest at the campsite, hmm? Yeah, it's Aina. How did it go? He wants to live here. It's Aina that wants to live here. Then this means we have no time to waste. Hmm, our next course of action will be building a new home. All right, I'm busy right now. Okay, I'll do it. All right, let's go find a place. Since this housing plot that we're gonna put down is gonna be like, pretty small i think in maybe we just like put put it over here and then we'll we'll move the houses after we figure out where people are gonna live mm, maybe we shouldn't put it here you know what i was thinking also i was thinking that the beach that we put the museum on is a little small and maybe we should move it to the other side maybe we should move it to the beach on this side because it's much bigger so this is our sixth villager we have four more to invite and after we have four more to invite we can only kick five of them off the island so then we can kind of start really decorating to their you know personalities or or whatnot <laughs> so oh uh, yeah i guess we should just like try and put them on the beaches and then we'll move them from the beaches okay i don't know if i'm gonna do the front beach there and i don't know why i'm taking the long way there let's see if we can do it on the side beach so I'm going to go to the very end of the beach here. There's a giant boulder and see if I can fit it over here. No. Okay. What a wall right here. Okay. It's not going to fit there. Is it going to fit here? It's going to fit there. Why wouldn't it fit on the other side if it's going to fit here? I don't really understand, but okay. Right here. There we go. Woohoo. Okay. Then we're going to go tell Tom that we put him on the beach because we still need to plan out the infrastructure. Hey girl, what's up? Hey Andy, I found this epic relaxing spot during my walk, so I'm taking a break. Awesome, sprinkles. That's awesome. It's not sprinkles, it's just sprinkle. There's no S on the end. There should be, right? It should be sprinkles. I like so. Okay, Dom. What's up? I did it. Ah, Andy, welcome back. Thank you. Well, did you find a place for us to build a new home? I did. It's in the corner of the island on a beach all by itself so I can move it later. Oh, uh... I found a place. Hmm, this has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to move here, but scrambling to secure a plot only when the need arises is much too haphazard way of doing business. I agree, you're on Odd Podge. We want to fill those plots. Ah, yes, yes, of course. As part of improving infrastructure, we'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. Andy, I hope I can count on your help again. Yep, no problem. Not today though. Oof, oof, not today. We're gonna try and get a three-star island. Yeah, we're gonna start. Okay, we're gonna do stuff. Bye. All right. Mm. We have to decorate. I'm gonna decorate a bit. We only have so much stuff to decorate with. I got all the fence in. What else do I got? I got flowers. There's fossils here that we can dig up and add oof, to the, you know, fossil pile that I've started because Oh, all right, we're doing good. We're doing fine. We want to get to a three-star island so we can start mapping stuff out, so we can start pathing stuff out, so we can start planning, as Tom said, the infrastructure. We need the infrastructure. That's what we need, infrastructure. So should we move the museum to this beach? And if so, can we? Uh, I don't know. But what I do want to do is plant some flowers. Purchased quite a bit. Oh, also, 
harvested some apples because I think that we should probably plant more for some more bells. Where's resident services? This is resident services. Okay, so I'm gonna just plant flowers here. So I got like a red cosmo and a white cosmo, a white and a white. I don't remember the breeding. We're not we're not really gonna do breeding. Red and yellow. I don't remember. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna spread them out. There's a cosmos. Just get these in there. And then we'll have them grow. And hopefully they'll do something for our island score. I'll go over here. And we'll do mums. You know, in like no particular way. We're just trying to get three stars so we can get stuff done. Get a good score. We're just gonna plant the rest. I don't know. I have no idea. There we go. And then we have the bushes. Now the bushes, I'm not too sure what oh, balloon. We gotta get as much stuff as we can. And then we eventually we gotta start gifting our villagers because our villagers get us some good stuff. It's an outdoor table, that's nice. Let's see. Let's add into our score. We got the public bench. I guess we'll put it in front of Nook's cranny, that makes sense. And then eventually we gotta get serious. Ugh decorate things right. Oh, does that match next cranny? Kinda. I like that bench. Cool. Got a garden faucet. Oh, maybe we should just put it by where the produce is. Whee! And eventually I'll take that workshop <laughs> so we can recolor things eventually. Eventually I'll do that. I promise. Maybe I'll even do that tonight. Maybe we should make an orchard. <gasps> oh, what's her face is pink. She's pink. Wouldn't it be cute if she had like a little apple orchard? Oh, she's not pink. Is she pink? What we'll color are you? Okay, we're going in. Oh, she's crafting. Awesome. Yeah, she is pink or purple. Thanks, man. All right. Maybe, maybe she would like some. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can make her some sort of pink. Or I guess she's like pink purple. Your house is pink and purple, so I guess she's a pinkly, pinkly purple. A pinkly purple. That's a new word. Pinkly. Write it down important. I do want to get these bushes out just so we have them. Okay, so. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Okay, I'm gonna plant all of these. Okay, there are shrubberies so we can decorate with those. I'm gonna get these fossils assessed by Blathers. We're gonna put those on the ground. Hey Blathers, assess my fossils. Okay, fossils assessed. Uh, should we spread them out? Do we have to spread them out? I don't even know. Well, we're gonna take them down after, so... Boop. Oh, that's actually good for his museum. Boop. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, that's good for his museum, too, because it's, like, ocean-y, right? Like, it's a turtle? Okay, that's super cool. Now we're gonna have to plant some apple trees. I, I kind of want to make a nice place where I can harvest apples and wood. Uh, I'm gonna... I don't know. Plant these in a row. All right. Up. Oh, hey, give me one second. I don't know. Bop. Okay, what's up? So, do you know what reactions? No, I don't. And I was wondering when I was going to learn some. I mean, like, when you feel full of joy and your body just starts moving on its own, like I'm doing right now, you're glowing. You've been spending way too much time with Charlize. I knew it. Yay, now I can glow with radiation. Woohoo! Awesome. Huh? I got one, two, three, four. Are those even gonna grow? My island is such a disaster. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave those. All right, now I want to build some fence in and I wanna move my house and I wanna move everyone else's house. So I'm just gonna build some fencing. Well, I guess we could build some across the river here. I don't even know what side we would put box house. Like would we would we put it over here or Oh, you know what? Yeah, we'd probably put it over there. Okay, I think I'm going to just up and just build. Just put it out because I think this makes your score go up and then we'll just take it down after. Eh. Boop, 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 pop, but up. Well, there's some fence in there. All right, so mm, eh, and eh, you know, boop, boop, pop, pop. I have 22 left. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna fill this whole area up with 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 fences. Daisy, you know, bopping, but a bopping, bopping. I'm making the fencing train. Ugh. At least this will be easy to pick up after. I've never tried to rush an island before, so 
This is what's happening. I see the shadow of a balloon. Ooh. Oh, and that was it. Oh, okay. Oh, it's going right over our fence in. Come on over here, Mr. Balloon. It looks like a, kind of like a war trap or something. Excuse me. Something to decorate with, please. Sweetheart dress. All right. We can decorate with clothes, can't we? Oops. Okay. Well, now we got uh, two pieces. We got a, a fitness tank and some pants to decorate with. This is bad. We're going to clean all this up. We're going to clean it all up after, eventually. I want to, I think I'm going to move box house. And I think I want to pick up a bridge. Probably log bridge. Because this, this bridge is going to go to box house, I think. Right? And I think he would, he would do well with a, a log bridge. So I think in, we move box house around here somewhere and then this is his farm and then his farm can be also be up there and by his farm i mean like my money making spot i'm gonna stick box house like right here Ooh. and then i can't afford i can't afford the bridge anyways yet but where's resident service okay this is resident services we could have the bridge this way or like directly in front eh I don't know about that. So if you see where we are on the map, there's no way to get to that spot. We might need some pathing and stuff to figure out where the bridge is going to go for Buck. And I do think we're going to stick with the log bridges. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. Also, oh, Lloyd, my phone's ringing. Oh, no. Hello, Andy? Oh, Tom Nook here. Yeah, okay. 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 I'm going to pay him. I promise. Yeah. I think we're gonna go for the log bridges because uh, I'm not gonna get rid of the original bridge that we put down over here. Therefore, I think the log bridge is really just gonna like solidify the style that we have going on. Probably gonna move the next cranny anyways. And we're gonna figure it all out, but we need a couple of more villagers, but I think that I'm going to fast forward tomorrow. And you know what, actually I'm gonna fast forward four days so those apple trees grow up and the bushes grow up and that'll be like i think they're worth more score when they're grown up yeah okay oh no today on my stroll i found the loveliest decorated candy egg uh okay no 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 way no way jose okay yeah check out all these apple trees i am I am not, I am not in the mood for bunny day. No way. I'm definitely, like, how, how are we going to assess fossils? And, no. 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 Okay, hello. Ah, uh, Andy, hello, hello. Hey, Tom. Andy, we're getting more inquiries about the campsite you all build. And yes, my plan to draw visitors easily with a campsite has proven itself to be a masterpiece. We've laid the groundwork to increase tourism, and I hope the number of island residents know if a positive word of all marketing or hodgepodge will just spread. I admit it, though, this is the most difficult part of our whole venture. Okay. Don't worry, Mr. Nook. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll reach our goal of having KK all the concert here. You feel the same way I do, don't you, Andy? Uh... Uh, I guess we're going to have to do more house building. And then tonight, what I'm going to do is do... See, look how cute Buck, Buck is over there with this firm. Aw. See? Little firm. That is cute, eh? Okay. Oh, I got distracted. And our flowers are all growing up. Like, look at this. Look, look We're going to have hybrids and stuff. It's going to be awesome. Okay. So, what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna make a lot of money. I'm gonna make so much money. I'm gonna do a little bit of time traveling tonight. I'm gonna do a harvest. I'm gonna water the harvest. And I'm gonna collect a bunch of materials. I'm gonna chop some trees and catch some bees, as Wilbur likes to say. I'm gonna hit some rocks and just get prepared for getting a three star island so we can start mapping out the joint and really figuring out where, like where we're gonna put people okay all right <laughs> well that was something should we go say hi to kyle ew no i'm okay i'm fine like oh i don't need i don't need anything all right so today my goal is to make a lot of progress in getting 
three stars. As you can see, I organized the flowers a bit because uh, they were getting out of hand. Leaf came to visit while I was time traveling, so I bought some roses and some wind flowers. I, I missed the red ones. I don't know how I did that, but... I did. I watered them. I ended up getting a couple of hybrids here. And as you can see across the river, I also bought some pumpkins from our dear friend Leaf and he gifted me badges. Now I've been a really busy time traveling. Over here, I have all of the things that I popped out the sky from balloons and I've been visiting the Nook's Cranny and these are all the things that I purchased from the Nook's Cranny. And yeah, they're not in my storage because I've run out of storage room, even though even though, sorry Arv, I upgraded my house for an extra room. So I have 120 storage now. It's, it's just, it's just not enough. I ended up buying a couple of more things from Mabel here. So hopefully when we talk to her, she wants us to build the Able Sisters because that would be awesome. Oh, hey, Andy, you just came at the right time. There's something I'd like to ask you today. Could I bend your ear for a bit? Yay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got the Able Sisters. That's awesome. Now let's go talk to Tom Nook and see what he needs. I've been checking that. I've been checking that. I've been trying to get my points. I, oh, time travel is such a whirl. Okay, I do have my points. Nice. Let's see what kind of fences we got. It, it's so difficult, you know, to remember exactly what you're doing. Did I find my bottle? Did I water my crops? Did I hit my rocks? And then all of a sudden it's the next day and it's like, oh yeah, I hit my rocks today. It's like, no, that was yesterday. Ay, ay, ay. And I'm trying to check this to see, <laughs> see what we can get. Oh, we got maracas. Outdoor bench. We've got the outdoor table. Place some orders for that. All right. Let, okay, Tom Nook. Come here. Come here. Yes, yes. I'll explain the last major task for Project K then. All right. Okay. We got to talk to Isabel. Come here, Isabel. Let's get a rating. Come on. I know it's not. I don't think it's going to be three stars. I don't, I don't think so. As Mr. Nook mentioned, I'm leading a task force that compiles feedback related to the image of our island. Okay. It's just me, though I've always wanted a task force of my very own. I'll be part of your task force, Isabel. Let's do an island eval. As it stands, we currently have a one star. We don't even have two stars. What's going on? Folks feeling like we still have some room for improvement. Allow me to read the excerpt from the feedback I gathered. It's great that there isn't too much going on. I hope it'll stay nice and unassuming like me. We need more residents to get some word of mouth going on at our island if we want higher rating. For now, I suggest we focus on growing our population and gathering more varied feedback. All right. Oh my gosh, one star. I was thinking we'd at least have two stars. Okay, maybe it's because we don't have the Able Sisters down. How can I help you? Um, let's talk some infrastructure. We're gonna we're gonna need to sell some land, okay? Does that sound okay to you? Will you find out prep a plot of land? Uh yeah, that's what we're doing here. This is the autofill challenge. We need to autofill some land. I think I wanna move my house. It's in the way. All right, hold on. Hold on, we're not done here. We can talk some more infrastructure. Uh we need to build a bridge. We're going to do a log bridge. Okay, thank you. All right. We have <laughs> we have four things in our pockets. Oh wait, maybe I should just learn that. Yep. All right. Iron fence. Woohoo. Eat. Okay, tailor kit, bridge kit, my house and a moving kit. Oh wait, no. Housing kit and moving moving kit's my house. Okay. Okay. Hey, right, thank you. Bye. Okay, we do not, we do not have anywhere close to a three-star island. We need more stuff. Okay, my house is just like, <laughs> just in the way. I'm thinking maybe I can move it to the beach for now. Because we were going to move, we were going to move the museum to the beach. But, you know, should I move here? Yeah, okay, for now. There we go. Woohoo! All right, thank you, Lego. And then we need to fit the Able Sisters. Can I fit the Able Sisters down here? Okay, we can put the Able Sisters here. Okay, woohoo! Look at us. Oh my gosh, so much. This is crazy. <laughs> and then we're gonna have to build a bridge to Buck's place because he's just stuck there. He's just stuck over there. Where is he? This is probably a good spot for a log bridge. Yeah, that ain't half bad, is it? It's good. It's not bad. Okay, there you go. Woohoo! Okay, Lloyd, I got money. Hey, yeah, I'm in a great morning, pal. I'm having a busy morning. I just placed a tailor shop. I'm moving my house. Um, and I have one star rating, so I, I, I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a mixed feelings wool today. You're taking donations for a log bridge. No, tell me more. Of course, I'm gonna help. 
Oh, this bridge ain't gonna get built by itself. All right, there you go. Take it. Great work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Now, I gotta go. Go to Buck. I actually, yeah, I, I bought some cowboy hats. Maybe we should give Buck one because Buck is our little rancher dude. I got myself one. Maybe I should wear it. We could be twinsies. I'm just gonna put that on. Oh, yeah. We, we gotta do our harvest like every day. That's how we're getting money. Hello. Oh, you're uh, crafting, Mr. Buck. That's nice. Hello. Woo. I nearly sprained my creativity. What do you think? What do I think? Well, what? You're not gonna believe it. I made a tulip wreath. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Can I gift you stuff? Awesome. Yeah. And then remembering to talk to all my villagers like, oh my gosh. Okay. Take this cowboy hat. Oh, an outback hat. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Buck. Oh, you look great. Ba basketball tank. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's orange. Bye. Okay, what do we have left? We got to place a plot. Oh, wait. wait. Ah. Harvest this first. There's too much. It's so much to do. <laughs> Day four. We're going to sell all this. We're going to be rich. I think it's like, well, 60,000 bells per harvest. That's pretty good money. As much as having like even bigger fields, watering all this and harvesting all this, if this was like two times the amount, I think that the time spent doing that wouldn't be worth the money gained. Also waiting on wheat. So I want to get wheat in here. I want to have all the veggies, also carrots. We're making money for now. We don't even have three stars. We can't even decorate, so it doesn't matter. Also, wouldn't it be cool if we color coordinated? Like, he just had, like, green, orange, and white produce. Well, I think about it. Like, a little color coordinated. Because uh, as much as I would like to decorate the villagers' yards to match their personality personalities and uh, styles, I, I kind of also would like it to match their, I don't know, color scheme. <laughs> in a sense. Buck is orange and green. Oh, I knew that my I've been bead watering so much. So I just got so many watering cans. No way that I'm not going to be watering every day or skipping out on doing my harvest. This is how we're getting money. Okay. So go to the next credit, get some money, and then place down that house and keep keep going oh and i got mail okay oh wait no wrong place ah we need to expand our catalog we really do okay let's go into the next cranny all right hello hello oh look at that a uh, punching bag mm. okay i take that and they've been selling a sewing kit for like forever and i don't understand why i'll buy that thank you I, I guess i'll buy a tv tray why not thank you all right now we need bells, please. I need to sew. I can't believe we only have a one star rating. What is up with that? Ah, ah, 72,000. Way more than 60,000. Look, we're back at 100,000. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Let's place this villager. Villager place. I was ex expecting at least, I don't know, two stars, but I, oh, maybe I left wood. Oh, this is my problem. I was chopping trees. I probably left wood everywhere. I'm gonna pick up fossils as I go to. Oh no. How much wood piles do I have laying around? Oh no. Oh, there's some more wood. Oh no. Urgh. We gotta talk to our villagers. Excuse me. I see you. How's your day going? Bada bing. Oh, oh, we can give her something. I don't know what. For me, really. Yeah, um, basketball tank, safety helmet. No. Here, take a fossil. That's for you. I can't always identify fossils by sight, but I can see that you've chosen well. Bada bing. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks so much. Aw, oh, Stella is so grateful. Oh, she didn't give me anything. Fossils that are not assessed should not be gifted. I would really like it to fit right here. Too close to the water. Okay. And then it's going to be too close to the other house, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not? That's insane. Okay, yeah. Woohoo! That's it. Yeah. Okay, let's find our bottle. And hopefully whoever randomly wants to live here doesn't feel too gypped when they realize their beachfront property actually won't be a beachfront property and we'll be moving them soon. Also, uh, poor Kyle. Can you imagine? Good morning. <laughs> like, you just get the butt of someone's house. 
Like, oh my gosh, that sucks. Sorry, Kyle. Sorry. Next, next stop, moving that. Assume, oh, bottle. Mom's cushion? Mum cushion. Oh, mum cushion. I was gonna say, I thought moms could only make mom's cushion. Yellow mums and clumps of weeds. That is too cute. I love it. I didn't know you could make that. I've never had that recipe before. And then let's talk to Irv. Okay, we're gonna unlock Irv's island because we might want to customize things for our villagers. Because if we're gonna color coordinate stuff, we're gonna have to do that. Also, in here i have ordered so much stuff plus flick was here i got some butterfly models i'm gonna leave it in there because i don't have any storage space yeah i want to see what place in the stuff has to do with our score hey uh hey you live on this island yeah kind of wait this little noodle just had a casserole of an idea you should visit my island hit the airport and tell them you want to go to harv's island Anyways, nice John with you. I'm gonna stroll around and see what makes Hot Potch tick. I, I don't know what makes Hot Potch tick. <laughs> Boom. I'm just gonna add this stuff here. Bop. We'll find them homes. Bop. Okay. I'm gonna quickly go to Arv's Island and we're gonna do that. All right. Do 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 do. I wanna go to Arv's Island. Wee. Arv's Island. Okay. Uh, do we have to take photos? I don't know. Okay. Let's just let's take a terrible photo. There we go. Capture taken. Okay, thank you for coming. Bye. All right, we done did good. We're doing good. We done did good. Let's go back. Thanks. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, Arv calls you. My phone's ringing. Oh, no. Hello? Hey, it's me, RV. I'm calling on the phone part of your phone. That's awesome. Considering that Tom Nook told me that it was a phone that could not be used as a phone, but he calls me all the time, but I can't call anybody. So this is, I don't like this phone. This is weird that I can't call people on my phone. Let's collect some posters. Then we'll time travel. Woohoo! Brocco, oh, he's winking. Oh my God, yes. Okay, and then Bucks, and then I think that's Max, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. To tomorrow. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, good morning, everyone. Today is Stella's birthday. How wonderful. Oh, that's nice. We'll get her something better than a fossil. Thanks to everyone's loyal patroness, business at Nook's Cranny is booming. The shop will be closed tomorrow. That's all for today. I have a fun day out there. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, the Abel Sisters is under construction. Okay. We got to give Stella something nice. So maybe we got to go shopping. I, I don't know what to give her. She's so cute. Let's see. Oh, we're getting up to it. No, it's not sold yet. All right. That's okay. We're cool with that, I think. Maybe. Oh, money tree. Bop. Perfect. Oh, CJ's here. No way. I ain't got time for CJ. Nah. <laughs> It'd be cool if he would do models of the things that we go sea diving for. If he did that, I would definitely consider it. But, you know, where's your at, bud? Where's your at? You know what we're gonna do? Hey, I'm gonna give you your orange tank top back. Bolt. It's orange. Here, that's for you. You should take it. it looks super familiar, but nah. My iceps are playing tricks on me. <laughs> He knows I gave it to him. I did not know they knew that. That's that's cool. Awesome. Should really help highlight my delts. Yeah, put it on. Ah, you're so orange. Ew. Thanks. Looks great. You really know my style, partner. No, you know your style. Time to flex my gratitude muscles. Cat grass. Yay, more cat grass. Thank you. Put it right there. We're gonna go to the next cranny, see what they got before they upgrade. Hey guys, what's up? More cat grass? Are you kidding me? Everyone's just giving me the black potted version. Like no one can give me anything else. I'm gonna take the, the spinning wheel. Thank you. There's a little blue mollus on the, the, the cat tower. I picked that. Thank you. I really I really need three stars. I need three stars. Please give me three stars. Ah, thank you, thank you. No, thank you. This is like the biggest yard sale of all time. There we go. Ugh. We gotta get an incline. What's up, guys? Nothing. Oh, vertical board fence. Yes. I take mountain bike. Oh, mountain bike. In pink? That's awesome. Okay, that's all we can get. Do, 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 do. Okay, we gotta get something for Stella. Oh, that that's not- my house isn't there anymore. I'm just gonna do a little water water. 
We Nothing too crazy. We're just doing stuff. Whatever pops up, pops up. Then we got to do our harvest. And I totally forgot to buy that incline because my brain is broken. So we got to go and get an incline. <sighs> and what do we get for, what do we get for Stella? I don't know, man. I don't know. We definitely want us, her to give us something. We want her to sell, send us something in the mail. We need as much stuff as we can possibly get. Ugh. See, watering cans are just going. I guess it's okay because so many, because I, I know they break so easy. We, we'll get five stars. I know we only have one star, but that's not our fault. That's Isabel. She's clearly not collecting her data properly. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. We got the bridge here. We bridge. And then we would probably get the incline wet up this way. But we can't even do terraforming. So I don't know if we should do an incline. We got this over here. That comes up this way, down this way. Would we want to get up here? I want to get as much done every day as possible, you know? So this is very small little stretch of land. Where does that come up to? The campsite, right? Yeah, the campsite is here. Got this area here. We can get across that way. Who's that? Is that Charlize? Oh no, it's Buck. Weird. I'm thinking the, this is kind of this is kind of awkward. Wouldn't it be nice if there was like a bridge here instead of right here? Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, we still don't have anything for Stella. Hey Kyle, wait, I gotta talk to you. What's up? What kind of day will it be today? It's off to a good start. I can tell you that. All right. Okay, we also have up here. This is a big space. This is pretty good space. We should probably utilize this. Okay, so maybe we should build an incline to this area. I'm gonna go get that incline. All right, I changed my mind. I actually picked up a bridge instead because I don't, I don't think I wanna build any inclines until we can terraform, but there's this bridge here. And then if you came down this way, we could have a bridge right here. Right? Uh, oh, Ooh, ACJ. Huh? Right? That's pretty good. Okay. Oof. Ah, hey, Lloyd. I gotta pay you. There, take it. Donate. Now we only have 47,000 bells. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I think I have an idea for Sella's birthday present. It's not a great present, but it's a present. And I think it goes. You know, we're pretty limited right now. And uh, look, I got this, I got flowers and stuff. I think she would love a purple rose. And I'm gonna give it to her because she's purple. She's pinkly purple. And uh, yeah, that, that's my reasoning on that. See, it is really awkward to run all the way down there. It would be much better to have a bridge here. Okay, let's go say happy birthday. Hello. Oh my god, look at that little top bat. Are you kidding me right now? Ugh, broccolo. It's so flattering to have visitors on my birthday, and I'm really touched that some of my friends had gifts for me. I brought something for you. I brought you a purple rose, because you're just a rose. Oh my god, it matches her perfectly. Yes. Your gift made me so happy. Thanks so much, bada bing. Yeah, no problem. Okay, Broccolo, nice to see you, but we we got we don't got time. And an old already, thank you for, again for coming and see me and bringing me a present too. No problem, bye. No, I would like to skip all the way two days at a time, but we gotta make sure we're watering our crops. So I'm gonna skip to tomorrow so we can water our crops, check out the Able Sisters, all that, and, uh see if our plot got sold because that's exciting it's exciting all right do 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 uh oh our crops growing in great okay now for today's announcements nook's cranny is closed all right and we got the able sisters perfect oh right, let's see what stella sent us did she send us anything oh she did our air pen let's see oh that's cute Aw. That. Yeah, I'm cute. Okay, let's go into the Able Sisters and get this going. Oh my gosh, is that a face? Oh no, it's a mask. Okay. Woo! Scare it. Scare me for a second there. It was giving us the rundown. Sorry, Mabel, but I'm not listening. We're on a time crunch here. Ah, da, blah, 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 da, 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 da. Okay, we gotta talk to this girl so we can get some patterns. Sorry, can't talk. That's fine. Oh, that schnazzy outfit right there. That is schnazzy. Schnazzy. Nothing really in there. Thanks though. Bye. We can't go to the next cranny today, which is fine. Fine. That's fine. So I'm going to search for my bottle, do my harvest. Oof. No, that's a scene. 
Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wait. No, I can't do my harvest. I can't sell my harvest. What am I? Oh my gosh. Like, oh, okay. All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Possibly get another bridge. Wait, no, we can't pay for a bridge either. What's going on? What's going on in my brains? See, time travel got me crazy. Draw a fence. Ooh. All right, let's see. Woo! There's like nothing to do today except for get our bottle. I okay, we gotta go down the beach. <laughs> Maybe we'll see if that uh, plot got sold. Oh, the, our bottle's in front of the museum. Hyacinth Reef. Nice. All right, it's just gonna be a mystery. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go see if the plot got sold. Woo! Now for today's announcements. Ah! Give a big odd podge welcome to Eloise. <laughs> also, Nick's Granny is celebrating its grand reopening today. <laughs> Okay, Eloise. We uh, I've met Eloise. She is. Oh, hey. They say you've been trying to get KK to notice our island, so I'll come perform here. Bada bing. I'm grateful to you for trying to make this happen, Andy. Oh, thank you. Between you and me, I think I might be the biggest KK fan on the island. Actually, I have something right here that might help. What is it? Thought maybe you could use a lawnmower. Oh. For your big odd podge promotion, I mean, are you, are you saying I'm not keeping the lawns nice? Are you saying I'm not keeping the lawns nice? Bob. Oh, it's yellow. <laughs> oh, maybe Eloise would want that. Eloise is yellow. She's very, very yellow, which is great because we could make our yellow section. Oh wow, she's got a fancy house, eh? Let's go say hi. Hello. Eloise. Wow, her wallpaper is intense. Hey girl. Excuse me. Hello. And who might you be? A pleasure to meet you. I just moved here today. Call me Eloise. Take it you live on this island? You know, I moved here because it's quite the up and coming destination. I bet you heard you, there was a beachfront property for sale and you're like, I just came from the Happy on Paradise Island. I love beachfront properties. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, Eloise. What a good autofill. That's a good autofill. She does smell bad though. She toots a lot, like a lot, all the time. Every five seconds, she's like, toot, toot, toot. And she's a stinky elephant. Stinky elephant. At least she's not, you know, have radiation poisoning like some people I know around here. I should check if Kyle was on me. I couldn't even see because Eloise's big elephant house is in the way. No, he's not on. Uh, oh, Sprinkle is home. Hello. Hey, Sprinkle. What's up? Oh, hey Andy, how have you been? I haven't seen you around. Have you been avoiding me? Nah, I just haven't bumped into you. I've been like time traveling. It's been chaos. You goof, I'm always happy to chat with you. Aw. All right, thanks, bye. Why did I thank her? She literally did nothing. I don't know. I don't know. Let it, let's find out who's crafting. Buck's crafting. Is Buck crafting? Buck you crafting? What's going on? Hello? Oh yeah, crafting in his cowboy hat. And there we go. All right, Andy needs something. Uh, I, I, I need your recipe. You're not gonna believe it. I made a rose crown. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool. Now we just need our bottle. Ah, ay, ay, ay. Okay. <laughs> we get it. I'm gonna do my harvest. We're gonna check out the new Nook's Crannies, sell our harvest out, and uh, check with Isabel and see if we increased our score by at least one because I'm on a one-star island. Like, what the heck? What the heck is going on? Okay, there's stuff everywhere. I've decorated the entire front of the Nook's Cranny. All right? Like, come on. Come on as well. Open your eyes. There's your bottle. Oh, foxtail. Worst, worst DIY in the game. Don't like the foxtail. You can't change my mind. Nuh-uh. Got our money tree. No, I really should be scooping these up and putting them somewhere where I can find them again, but eh, no. All right, new Nick's cranny, be good. Oh no, it's Charlie's. We haven't talked to her in like forever. Uh-oh, what's this? What is this? Interested in a flashy flower sign? Uh, yeah, I'm interested. It's purple, I know. What, what, what's your problem? Hey Andy, what are you here to see? Uh. I'm just, I'm trying to decorate the island. Nick's Cranny is way roomy. Like, I was half expecting a stage for rock shows to be in here. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, look, a dryer. Oh, washer. Oh, 76 Nuts. So, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, oof, ah, burns. Take my produce, my shells. 
77,000. That's enough to buy that washer. It is. I like the scrapbook though. I'm taking the scrapbook. I'm gonna take two of them. And this should be upgraded, right? With better tools. Oh my gosh, it's purple. Are you kidding? Purple awesomeness. Stella's gonna love this stuff. This is like Stella's shot. Oh, look at this. That's cute. I take it. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you, Charlize. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to uh, scrub everything she touches, okay? Okay, bye. All right. Flashy flower side. There we go. Purple. She loves it. That's her favorite. Purple net. Purple watering can. Maybe Stella would like a uh, purple pink flower garden. She's a normal villager, so she just likes being nice. And flower gardens are nice. So, yeah. Well, there's a urinal by the tree still. I'm gonna just place a ball on the beach. Place the scrapbooks. We might change that later. We're gonna change everything later. We're gonna have to do an island cleanup before we start decorating. But that's okay. I'm gonna get some stuff out my storage. That's not where my house is. Oh my gosh. My brain. Okay. Come on, brain. You can do it. You can do it, brain. I believe in you. All right. Let's get some stuff that I ordered. Oh, a bear tea. I'll show you that when we can gift stuff to uh, Charlie's. I mean, actually, it's not that much stuff. Now that I look at it. Okay, like most of it fit in my pocket. I'm gonna give Stella the pink mountain bike. She's just doing pink stuff. We'll give her the mini cactus set too, because there's like a little pink flower on it. The lawn chair came in pink. Uh, Mrs. Flamingo we'll have on the beach here. Get two Mrs. Flamingos. There we go. They're cute. Ordered another beach chair. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're just trying to get our score. I need pathing. All right, we're gonna go over here. Who's got the wash bucket? Someone's got a wash bucket, right? No, I have a wash bucket. Oh, I'm crazy. All right, whatever. There's drying rack. So I got a blue butterfly model from Flick. So it's blue. It can it can be over here. I got this plant, which has got a blue pot. So I'm I'm just gonna give it to Brockolo because he's blue. <laughs> all this is gonna change. It's all gonna change. When I got this yellow butterfly model, it was literally the only butterfly model that I could because uh, it's the only butterflies that I was catching. That could be for Eloise. You know, Kyle's still not home. Maybe Eloise is crafting. I'm gonna put this here because it's kind of yellow. Okay, let's see what see see what Eloise is up to. What are you doing? Hello. Oh yeah, she just moved in. Oh my gosh, see? Time travel. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know. I'm just gonna put a garden gnome there. I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to put things. Okay, um, I'm just gonna drop stuff. Outdoor bench. I'll put the garbage can down. We'll go over to Buck's place, give him the hand Kirk, because he is a farmer. Bup. And the toolbox, just because it's green. That's it. That's all. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Hey, come on. Come on, Isabel. Let's go. What do we got? Oh, Mrs. Another Mrs. Flamingo? Hmm. A lot of ladies on this island. We got a barbed wire fence. All right, I take. Okay. All right, Isabel. Let's go. Island evals, please. Two stars. Two stars. Yes. Okay. All right, well, we're doing good. We're doing good. All right, we need more residents. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. And then for the last thing, I want to build that diagonal bridge. Boop, boop, boop. So I'm going to place the bridge. Where, where, where did I want to put it again? Oh, yeah, this way. Ooh. Ooh. And I think that's it. Yeah, tomorrow we'll work on getting another autofill so we can have eight villagers and maybe that'll appease Isabel into getting us our three stars. All right, all right, day five, let's go. Isabel just told us that it is, in fact, Charlize's birthday, and I did pick something up for her a while back, but I couldn't give her anything. This is from the, the Nook Shop in the Special Goods right there. <laughs> if this t-shirt wasn't made and hand-tailored with Charlize in mind, I, I don't know what to say. That's her shirt. That was made for her. Go team Charlie's. So I picked up a couple more things from the Nyx Cranny. As you can see, I made an extra pile here and I moved the Nyx Cranny to the beach so we could uh, start 
pathing and stuff when we get three stars. Because we will get three stars today. A flat garden rock. Cool. All right. Starting off the day strong. I guess we should stop it. Let's see. Let's see what's going on in here. I don't think I want any of that. And I don't think I can buy this. In the interest of safety, we're only allowed to sell to folks with a pro decorating license. All right. Okay. Yeah. No, can't do that yet. Thanks, guys. Bye. So, Charlize's birthday. And then we're gonna get three stars. Look at Kyle. He's such a rebel. Look at him. He's like, ugh. What am I doing on this island? Like, I'm way too cool for school and Odd Podge. <sighs> and then Brockle's like, yeah, let's do it. Yay. Oh, he's so innocent. Okay, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna go in here. Hello. Hey, guys. What's up? Ooh, an old tire. Very nice. And a radio. Ah, oh, really good. Really good stuff. Check out the special goods. Ooh, a Raynaud. Oh, oh, we can be awesome big sturdy huh okay i'm just gonna buy some of this stuff cool globe oh i take all right we got some business with tom nook before we go say happy birthday to charlie's we gotta sell some land ah so y'all prep some land for future home excellent yeah isabel demands it just use the kit when you find a good location now off you go now <laughs> yeah okay i'll be here when you need me okay i'll be right back i just remembered uh I'm gonna pay off my own loan. I'm completely out of uh, storage space. I can't pay my loan, what do you mean? Loan balance, 2,960, I can do that. I can do that. Never mind. I was gonna like upgrade my house and everything, Mr. Tom, but never mind. All right, you go, go sit back down and I'll be talking to you later, Isabel. We do need eight houses. Apparently, you need eight houses to get uh, three stars. So Isabel's just like following the rules or whatever. But you know what? You know what? She could bend them every once in a while, right? Like, come on, Isabel. Oh, and Flick's here. Okay, we're gonna give him a butterfly model later. Ugh. Yo, Andy, you made it. I did. The party's just getting started, so get ready to rock till you squawk. Oh, gosh. I don't want to find out what's gonna make me squawk, but... Uh... Happy birthday, Charlies. I'm so stoked you're for my B-Day. I know how busy you are. You rock. Uh. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel like you think I rock when you're like, you rock. Uh. She's the Regina George of Odd Podge. I don't want to be rude, but you didn't bring me anything, did you? Uh. Yeah, I did. Uh. This, is, this is for you. Yes, I've had my eye on a bear tea for like ever. You're amazing. <laughs> Uh, that present rocks so hard. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, all right. Have a good B day or whatever. Bye. Oh my gosh. That was awkward. Super awkward. All right. Let's, oh, let's clear up some storage space. Give Flick some bug models. I think I have like regular butterflies. Okay. Yeah. Common butterflies. There you go. I want, I kind of wanted a paper kite, but I've only found two. Hey, bud. Oi, remember me? Flick? Uh, yeah? What bug have you chosen to act as your guide? Uh, the common butterfly? The noble common butterfly. Can you part with three of them? They'll be happy and safe with me. I don't think noble and common in succession like that to describe. So okay, whatever. Yeah, sure. Here, Flick. Take, take, take. Give me model. Thank you. Oh, yeah. The bridge is done. I, I didn't get rid of this one. <laughs> Forgot. But whatever we got i think it adds to the score it adds to the score we're good we're good do, 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 do. we're gonna put another house on the beach right there nope okay move down there yeah okay this is the spot don't even need to imagine it mm -mm. look how good that looks yeah I'm, block I'm gonna be blocking uh, Brocklow's view, but you know, whatever. I'm really interested in seeing the inside of Eloise's house. I, I wanna know, I wanna know. Oh, wow. Oh, this is nice, Eloise. You exercising in here? Where's your bookshelf? I thought you liked reading. She's got like makeup and stuff. She's got a little makeup corner and a kitchen. This is nice. What's up? I'm so very happy you stopped by too. Ew, stinky. Stinky elephant. By the way, how did your crops come in? I heard you picked a pretty peck of pro- Bleh. I heard you picked a pe pretty pe peck- Okay, you can read it. It's right there. 
I can't say I can't do that. Yes, I did. If you're gonna have a harvest festival to celebrate, be sure to invite me to to Ugh, stinky. Stinky. I gotta go. Ooh. <clears throat> That's the stinkiest elephant in the world. I, we saw Kyle at the plaza. I wanna see what his house looks like. I don't know what's going on. Alright, can we make can we make a quick buck to pay off my my home? We just need 2,000 bells, you know? Like, that's all we need. Still gotta do the, the daily grind of, like, watering and stuff. I know we don't have to water these, but I kind of want them to throw it up. And I gotta continue watering my harvest every day so we can afford this place. Really hope Leaf comes into town so we can get, like, carrots and wheat. I would at least like carrots for buck, you know? Horses like carrots and apples and stuff, right? I think so. Check out... If sprinkles it or sprinkle, it should be sprinkles. It shouldn't just be sprinkle. Oh, hey, Buck, what's up? Yo, you been training, partner? No, give him something. What for me, partner? Yeah, take a giant clam. That's for you. Gotta give as much as you take. Please take a jumper work suit. Oh, well, thank you. We. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Shells and clams and stuff. We're gonna pay off our own loan. It's gonna be amazing. Let's see. Where's Sprinkle? Yeah, Sprinkle is crafting. Hey girl, what's up? Oh my gosh, fine. I should have read the instructions. Whatever. Ah, hey, hey. Enough people say uh to me, okay? Okay, not you too, Sprinkle. Ahem. Well, I'm making a wooden block wall clock. Do you want to know how to make a wooden block wall clock too? Yes, I do. Thank you. Woo, it seems like you gotta do a lot more when you're time traveling. It feels like, oh yeah, I gotta do this, and this, and this, and that, and then the more of this. But you know what? It's worth it. We're gonna have a three-star island today. That's what's gonna happen. Gonna pick up all the shells. I don't know if that's gonna be enough, but we'll see. Ugh, stinky. Look at all the stinky, stinky farts coming out the chimney there. Stinky elephant. All right, let's see how much bells we can get for these shells. I can buy these for four. Oh, that's great. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Do, 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 do. We're gonna get three stars today, and then we're gonna have enough storage to clean up the disaster that I made. Are they best friends now? Kyle, have you taken Broccolo under your wing? He's trying to, he's trying to phase me out. That's fine. I understand. Do, do, do. There we go. And we got a thousand left for us. Yay, thanks, Isabel. Thanks. Now, I have that kind of enthusiasm when I ask for my score later. Okay, Tom, come over here. I need to upgrade my house. Well, mm, for your home, I think adding a new room would be nice. It would. This will require taking out a loan for 348,000 bells. What do you think? You want to proceed? Uh, yes. I don't have a choice. Everything should be ready for you by tomorrow morning. So exciting. Exciting indeed. Yay. I'm so ready. To tomorrow. Woo! All right, we got our house. Nice. Also, oh, Buck sent us something. Happy Home Academy. And then I want my Raina and my oval glasses. Charlie sent us something for our birthday. That stuff. Okay. Bathroom towel rack. I guess that's pretty jimmy. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. This is from Buck. What a bucket? A toilet. He got a toilet for the gym. My lord. Okay. Well, there we go. I'm trying to blend in with the locals. What did Charlie's get us? A ventilation fan. We got a lot of wool items. Okay. Well, Buck sent us a toilet. On Odd Podge, we put toilets by the trees. Oh, that's actually a really nice toilet. That's a good one. Let's go see. Let's go find our bottle. We're, and then we will try and see we'll see if someone got the house done gotta check her farm or produce section as well said that cj was here uh so i'm not too worried about that like, I, don't, I don't really care about cj i do care but i don't care you know like i care but i don't care there's our produce oh my gosh look at her girl oh look at these guys oh pink oh pink ro pink roses See? The magic of hybrids. Are those yellow or orange? They're yellow. That's okay. Boop. I don't really need yellow. I'll just plant them here. Stella's gonna have the most beautiful pink and purple garden. Look. See? She really wants the purple ones to grow. She loves it. We gotta make her a garden. She loves the garden. And, and Sprinkle's just like judging Buck's stuff right now. It's not ready. It's not ready. 
All right, I'm gonna harvest all this stuff, water it, and then we're gonna search for a bottle. Buck might be crafting, so let's go say hi. Not, nah, he ain't doing nothing. Bye. Let's go find our bottle. Oh, it's not here, but I'm gonna go sell. All right, we got money again. Woohoo! Woo! Ooh. Meow. We gotta do this. I gotta talk to this girl. Sorry, kind of focused on this so I don't wreck it. Yeah. Okay. We'll be friends eventually. <gasps> a Canadian tuxedo. Okay. Excuse me. I look gorgeous. Of course I'm wearing it all. Look at me. I look fancy. I'm so fancy. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm so ready. I am so ready for three stars. I'm going into three stars looking like this. All right, sneak peek, sneak peek. Coming over the horizon. There's our bottle, it's not sold yet, come on. Grass dandy, this is the best day ever. Yes, look at it, it's like my favorite. I mean, other than the spooky, I don't know. Grass dandy might be better than the spooky carriage. I'm just saying, because the spooky carriage, like you can only use like one. I mean, I guess you could use more, but now we have the mountain standy, the tree standy, and the grass standy. All right, we're gonna continue time traveling because we need to fill this plot. We're gonna do the, the regular chores. I'm not gonna chop any trees or any rocks or anything like that because like I'm spent on that. It's only been like five days, but I'm, I'm spent. I'll do it later, okay? Okay, let's go. Ew. See, that's the problem with having your house on the beach. Uh, can't even get by Gulliver. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh. Hey, what's up? What's up, Andy? Words even been pumping up the island for KK Slider Show. Yeah, well, you know, Isabel doesn't want us to have KK Slider here, so she won't give us a good star rating. KK songs are the best. I play them during cardio on my jogs when I'm trying to fall asleep all the time. What I'm saying is KK is kind of the secret to my old swollenness, so thanks for helping bring them here. And speaking of both swollenness and thanks, this is for you, partner. Oh, thank y'all. KK will come if you show enough hot pot spirit. Go flex your garbage bin. <laughs> okay, okay. I know the island is a mess right now, Buck, but Odd Podge is not a garbage bin, okay? The spirit of Odd Podge is not garbage. Wow, Buck. Wow. There. Ugh. You happy now? Ugh. Oh my God. Gosh, my villagers are cruel. Oh, another little pink flower. Nice. Okay. Sprinkles, you crafting? Yep. Okay, it's not sprinkles. It's sprin sprinkle. Okay, that's it. We're calling her sprinkles. Oh my gosh, she's so grumpy. Ugh. You and Charlie's gonna be best friends? Ugh. Give me... I, I wanna know what you're doing. Thank you. Okay, bye, Miss Angry Penguin. Oh, it's sold. It's sold. Okay. Oh, bottle. And then we're going. Beekeeper. Nice. Yay. Time to find out who's moving Odd Podge. I'm so ready. Hey, girl. Tell us the good news. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Isabel. Now for today's announcements. Yay. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Odd Podge welcome to Vladimir. Is that the bright pink bear? I, th I saw him on a villager hunt once. Is And he's like really creepy looking. And he's like, what? Okay. Okay. I think I, I think I know exactly who's here. I think I met Vladimir on a villager hunt once. Oh my gosh. Look at the pink house. Arr! Oh, what? Whoa. Whoa. Look at him. If that's not an odd podge resident, I don't know what is. That's terrifying. He's terrifying. Hello? Hey there, you live on this island named Vladimir. I just got here myself. Yep, I'm starting over. They said I was mad to start over. They were right, but I'm here. Uh, this is probably the perfect place for you to start over, bud. Now I gotta deal with a world of boxes. My back wants no part of the starting over business. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna be at this while. Why don't you visit later? Nyet. <laughs> what? Nyet? Nyet? Or Nyet? Yet what the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we got Okay, hold on. We got bright pink Vladimir. We got bright blue Broccolo. We got bright green Charlie's. We got, I don't know, bright green or bright yellow, but bright yellow Eloise. <laughs> Odd Podge. This is Odd Podge. Okay. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, I have, I've never been so happy to see a grumpy, bright pink bear in my entire life. I mean, as creepy as the, all these villagers are and as just out there as they are, it's meant to be. The game was like, oh, are you doing an autofill challenge? Uh, oh, we just give you all the toxic, bright colored animals that we can find. And then there's Kyle. Let's go. Okay, come on, Isabel. Let's go. Okay, girl. Oh, Andy, good morning. How can I help you today? We need we need to know. We need to know what our evaluation is. Right now, Odd Podge has a three-star rating. Yes. Allow me to read an excerpt from feedback that I gathered. Odd Podge, man. You're in a wall how chill it is. I'd go if I had the chance. K.S. Whoa, whoa. Am I hallucinating or was that feedback signed by a K.S.? Hmm, yep, yeah, there it is, very clear. Could it be? Can it be? It must be. He's like, oh no, oh no. KK Slider is gonna come here and he's gonna see Vladimir. Yeah, he is. That message is from the one and only KK Slider. Then what are we waiting for? Yes, yes. Let's offer him the chance to hold a concert on our shores. We don't have shores, we have houses on the beach. All right, Tom, you call him up. You just got his number, he's chill, he's cool. Tom's cool. So, what did he say? Yeah, what did he say, Tom? He'll do the concert. That's right. KK Slider is coming here. Yay! We'll spread the news of the concert via our island broadcast system. I do hope you'll be in attendance. You simply must hear KK play. Yes, you must. I don't think skipping the concert is an option. Is it? I, is it? I don't think it is. Ooh, these are good fences. Yes, okay. While I'm here, I'm gonna get the pro decorating license so I can buy like ceiling stuff. Garden gnome, world map. Ooh, projection screen. We can build an outdoor theater. I have a projector, I think. Do I? I don't remember what I bought. All right, guys. Woohoo! Should we clean up before KK gets here? I don't think I can fit all this in my storage. Let's see, 240. Okay. We're gonna, yeah, okay, let's, at least let's clean up our own resident services because KK is gonna be here and we need to clean up and we gotta, you know, make it nice and, and we're gonna start decorating. We gotta do clean up. We can't let KK know that this is all we got a famous island by having it like the world's largest yard sale. Oh, he's spinning the globe. He's so cute. At a three-star island, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. That's a film projector. See? We have one. We can make an outdoor theater. I'm super excited about outdoor theater. That sounds awesome, actually. And then we'll we'll work our way to a five-star. We're not gonna get overzealous with just dropping stuff for five stars. We're, we're gonna do it right from now on. All right? It's Andy. What? My batteries are low? Do I have to talk to you? Yay. Okay. Hold. H hurry up. My batteries are low. Yo, time for a semi-professional lesson in reactions from yours truly. This is for when you just can't even. I can't even all the time. It's like when you get so much chocolate on Valentine's Day that you can't even eat it all. So give reactions a try and watch the sympathy roll in. Ugh. It's okay, I guess. No. Oh, we are filling our storage up. We're not gonna have any more storage space. <laughs> well, we gotta do it. We gotta clean up the, oh, I should pick up the urinals. KK can't know that we pee on trees. Mm-mm, mm-mm, it's not appropriate. Ugh. Bro, we got KK, we can, KK's coming. Everyone clean up, come on, act your best. Ah, this is okay, we're good with this. Oh my gosh, what are you guys talking about? Guess what, Eloise? Other day, I was outside and you don't know, sound so confident in when it was or where you were. <laughs> Broccolo, what happened? I was running and then the ground tripped me and I hit my face and it tore up my shirt too. Oh, Broccolo. Girl, I'm so mad at the ground. <laughs> I'm cleaning up. I'm cleaning up, Broccolo. It won't hurt you anymore. I'm sorry for leaving everything everywhere. Now, now, my clumsy friend, don't forget they call me the queen of couture. I'll design you something even more stylish than before. You can help if you'd like. Aww, really? Yay, I'm really happy I told you. Hey, hang on. Who calls you the queen of cutlery? I've never heard that, Eloise. 
I've been thinking this for a while, but you're simply curlish at times. Oh, I love churros. You calling me a churro is, wow, that's an honor. You can't insult Broccolo. He doesn't know what that is. Hold on now. I wasn't, oh, whatever. As my assistant, you've earned the title. <laughs> Uh, Broccolo, the churro master. Yay. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna get rid of Buck's bin. Oh my gosh. Come on, Buck. Why is he, why is Buck so, ugh, sometimes? Come on. <laughs> ah, we got three stars. Guys, we got three stars. Woo! Woo oh, where am I going? This way. <laughs> Woo! Woo! -hoo. What else? What else do we need to do? I gotta, gonna do my harvest really quick. Wee! And then we're gonna invite KK over. Yay! Gotta clean up this fencing too. Oh yeah. Ooh, open this beach up. Get rid of our war trap. Okay. Ah! Okay. Ooh! I'm so excited. Okay. Ah! Uh, okay, let's go. Let's give some KK. KK. Yeah. Hey, it's a ball. Good morning. Now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Go meet our guests. What about KK? Now let's see. To wrap up today's broadcast, I have a very special announcement. All right. The incredible, amazing musician KK Slider is here visiting Odd Podge. <laughs> Stand by for a direct feed from the concert venue. Hope you all enjoy the show. <laughs> yes. Look at us. Look at us weirdos. Hey, Odd Podge, it's really groovy being here today. <laughs> Time to get your finger snapping. Right on. This one goes out to all you cool cats on Odd Podge. We call it Welcome Horizons. Ah, look at us goofy goofers. What an awesome way to go into the weekend. Three stars. It is a lovely Saturday here on Odd Podge, and, and we have a three-star island. That is right. We are so excited. And as of right now, the, the island's kind of chaos. Yeah, we cleaned up before KK got here, but there's no real place for anything. I mean, yeah, we were going to have the museum on the beach, so let's just ignore that. But we have almost everybody on the beach, except for Charlize. I got myself on the beach. We got the Able sisters on the beach. Ooh bottle. Cool hyacinth crown. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Continue. We got almost all of our villagers over here except for Charlize and Buck. We've placed Buck already. We like Buck. But they're all stacked over here just chilling. Just having a great time. And we got Vladimir on the island. So that's exciting. And then these ones are a little bit more spread out because those were the original three plots that we placed down. We need to start mapping out this place. So yeah, let's just look at the map. It's not great. It's not great. We got bridges everywhere. <laughs> we don't got any inclines. We have no way of knowing where we're going. We do know that Buck and Charlize are going to be living in the northeast corner. And that's about it. That's all we got. That That's my whole plan. So I want to figure out the path in because maybe we could make a clearer picture of where we're going to put all of these uh, fantastic characters that we have here on uh, Odd Podge. So, oh, I'm gonna stir it up the construction. Ay ay ay. No, I don't need. I don't need any guides. Thank you. All right, get my art add on. Woohoo! I think the best thing to do would be seeing where the path to the airport goes off to. I was thinking that we make a path down because I know that the airport and residence services doesn't line up, which is fine. We're cool with that. We can make it work, but I would like a path at least down. And no, I didn't buy anything else on the paths. I got, I bought the dirt dirt path. Oh, excuse me. But that's about it because I, I don't have that many miles after buying. Oh man, come on, come on. Come on. After buying the cliff terraforming and the river terraforming and all that stuff, I, I have a limited amount of miles. Yeah, I'll collect some more, but, but I'd like to buy the paws as we go. And just because we're laying them down right now, we can always change them. We, we don't have to have to have anything like this. So basically this path almost matches up. It's such such a shame that it doesn't. And then this is the center line for resident services. Ew, excuse me. 
No. So I was thinking that at some point we should probably like veer it off, but we would have a reason for it. Maybe we'd have like the Nick's cranny or something like that in the way. So the path would end up curving all this way and connect over there. Or we could even do what I'm doing right now and have this triple path. No, we can't. No, it looks terrible. No, Andy, no, no. Hey, Buck. Hey, how you doing? Looking built, partner. What's up? I don't know. Just doing stuff. Don't mind me. I'm just keeping the peace on Hot Podge. I try to do a few patrol jogs every day. Oh, right. Thank you. See, he's like a sheriff. He's like a, a rancher, sheriff, cowboy dude. There we go. We got this going on. I, I don't know if this even makes sense. But maybe we could have the next cranny over here. And then, so when you come up, it's like, oh, there's the next cranny. That's why I have to go this way, right? Okay, well, we'll think about that later. Because then we have more stuff. We got more bridges and more things that we need to connect. So we got this one over here that we need to connect up. This bridge comes over and then comes down to this one. Now, I know you can't make diagonal path 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 you can do that that's what it right so we would come down this way and then up or what i don't know probably like this down as far as we can go and then down this way so we would have it like oh up Ugh. watch me struggle i'm struggling i'm getting excited but i'm struggling and then we would curve it like so it I don't know what's going around here either, though, eh? That's okay. We'll bring it up. ba da da ba pa -thin on Odd Podge. We're gonna know where we can walk. Cause we're pathing on Odd Podge. We're gonna bring this down. And I think we're gonna have to get rid of some trees. I wouldn't mind chopping some trees. We can always grow them back. Cause this area here, this is a pretty open area. Go back to the map. There, that's where we are. Well, that looks so bad. Uh, ignore the path on the map for now. Okay. Okay. We'll fix it. So this tree's gonna have to go. I got a regular axe. Eh. Eh. Ah. Mm, get out of here. Blocking the path. Eh. I don't think I want to add another villager to the island until we've kind of figured out where we're gonna put people. Because I just don't want to store them on the beach, you know? I feel bad. We're at the point where we can be nice, okay, to our autofills. Even though, you know, the autofills aren't being very nice to us. So that looks pretty weird, what we got going on right here. Like, coming down like that. I think it's probably just the fact that there's this on there. I don't think that goes. Oh, wait. Oh, hey. Mm nah. There we go. Yeah, it just, like, leads to this bridge. That's alright, I think. At least we got a path right and then this tree's gonna have to go so we're just gonna chop it we're not even gonna deal with it no we're not dealing with nothing today we are making paths and if you're in the way you get chopped down yep mm -hmm. one thing i do have in my pockets here is a uh, incline a natural incline we can figure out where we can put an incline if we want to. And the reason why I'm going for like the natural inclines and the wood bridges or the logwood bridges is because they're cheap and we get nice little development points for doing it. So that's what we're doing. All right, that looks pretty lined up, but I'm gonna pause for mirror and that's towards Buck's house. So Buck has a farm and we're probably gonna use this dirt for his farm. His farm looked nice, but we're still waiting on carrots and I think a horse that has a carrot farm sounds awesome. Yep. Pretty simple path. And then we got this nice little space for like a perk or something. We'll come up this way. We got a rock there. Uh, if the rock doesn't get in the way, it can stay. So we'll come up this way. This is Buck's house here. So I don't know how big of a patio you'd have or what kind of pathing would come down. But I think something pretty simple. You probably just have like the path to the house and then his farm would start over here. So I'm gonna just lay that out. Oh right, that tree's in the way. We don't like that tree. Sorry tree, you know what happens. You know the deal. You can't stay here. Ow. This is gonna be awesome. Ugh. And then we're gonna do the incline. And I have terraforming tools. <laughs> mm, bop, bop. 
I don't have any rules against getting patterns or codes from online, but I'm not sure if we should do that. You know, let, let me know if you think we should do codes. I was thinking about putting the incline up this way because it was flat and I just, well, I think that maybe we should put it up like right here. So I am going to get my terraforming tool out because we need to make that flat. And I just want to see, okay, yeah, we're going to have to push it in more. I don't want it like over top of my stuff, which means this tree is going to have to go. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Then we got the campsite over there. I don't know if we want the campsite to be <laughs> over there yet. I have no idea. So I'm just going to leave it. We're not going to worry about it. So we're going to just... Mm, mm. Mm -mm. Oh wait, no. Ah, eh. Imagine this one. So that's okay. So we gotta get up there and do some pathing up there before we make any decisions. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm assuming that the path will disappear right here if we continue down this way. I don't know if that would be curved off. We'll see. And we do have water, water tools. I think what I am gonna do is just fill that in a bit. Eh. Just, eh. And then curve it off. Yep. I'm just gonna continue the path. I do like the two width path. I think that looks pretty cool and I'm not sure what we'll have over there but the idea that I have is that Charlize who is toxic green is uh, poisoning the water and that water flows down a river and through the waterfalls and that's the stuff that uh, Buck is using for his firm there. <clears throat> that goes like that and then we could have an incline there possibly have a bridge coming this way across the river towards the campsite let's go down for a second check out our map see that's starting to come together eh i think so okay let's stop thinking about that let's move on we're moving on Woo! as this is the path to resident services and i like these little middle markers hey buck how you doing i'm planning stuff out He's okay. He's patrolling. He's doing good. Up, up, up. That connects up like but ah, Yeah, this is awesome. Let's see. It could come down. I just don't know how big the next cranny is. Would that be enough space for the next cranny? So I'm just gonna path it all. I don't want to get rid of the rock. Should I get rid of the rock? I don't want to. Okay, trees that are in the way must move. Rocks can stay until I figured it out. Those are the rules. That peach tree is giving me the side eye. I can feel it. He's like, you chopped down my friends. That's favoritism. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. So that's not bad. If that was... Ugh. Oh my gosh. Ugh. That was the next cranny nestled in there. It would have a lot more room for like decorating the next cranny. At least we could have decorations or bushes, trees, that kind of thing come down this way. And then this is resident services. The question is, do we want another path that runs off resident services on that side? Like, would we continue this path down this way to the beach? possibly the tree the, uh, the trees are looking at me weird now I, I know they are okay so we can yeah we can bring this down and then we have this little oh my gosh a blue one oh my god that's awesome okay sorry got a blue hybrid Woohoo! then we have this old space bind resident services so we're we're not of lack of space that's for sure yeah this tree's giving me a weird look it's gotta go sorry <laughs> Now these apple trees on the other hand are very valuable. <laughs> Speaking of favoritism. So I'm gonna scoop that one up. Nom 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 nom. I would like an orchard somewhere. We don't have anyone who's red though. I'm not sure if the orchard would be part of someone's build or we just have one. Figure it out. There's another rock in the way. Ay ay ay. I'm trying to do symmetry here. Come on guys. Pay attention. Ah. So that comes out to the beach area here. Now these trees are giving me a look. You're gonna kill me and you save the apple tree? Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Ugh. There we go. And then we have this peninsula area, which is pretty cute. I had my house there, but I'm not too sure about it. Okay, so 
I'm not too sure what this path in exactly, how it would come up, but you know, let's see. Let's look at the map again. Huh? That's not bad. Now I want to figure out how we're going to get to the bridge. Let's go to the bridge. Where is it? There's so many bushes. <laughs> Okay, this is our diagonal bridge right here. So we'll come up this way towards this way. What's this line? Comes right by... Huh. Okay. So... Mm -mm. And we're gonna chop this tree down. Uh, we might bring the trees back. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. Eh. Boop. And we'll come out this way. And we'll see how far this goes. Building a path. Going this way. Do, 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 do. Oh, that goes like right by Charlize's place. So maybe we should move Char Charlie's. Maybe. If this is going to be the path down this way, then we're definitely going to have to move Charlie's. Because we need to do their yard. So they can't have like really, really small yards. I mean, I guess we could do a backyard, but at the same time. Okay. Uh oh. Then uh. we got all these bushes in the way. These are all these. Uh, boop, boop. Where would we put them? Oh, hey, Stella. How do you like to play a treasure hunting game with me right now? No, no. No worries. It was just thought. All right. Some other time, maybe. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to figure this out. Just trying to figure it out. So we'll probably have, like, maybe a bush or something. Boop. Uh, ew, boop. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Still just, just, just figuring it out. We're mapping out the joint, figuring out where we're going to put people, figuring out, I, I don't know, even all the Able Sisters, like, where are we going to put the Able Sisters? I don't know. Somewhere. Okay, so that comes up, and that's along that side of the Nyx Cranny, and then down this way, up this way. Okay, so we would probably bring this path this way, which means this tree's going to go. Ah. Mm. Get out of here. I am the tree destroyer. I'm gonna continue it down. Just so we got some pathed. So we can figure it out. Talk about it. Get it out in the open. Well, we could have houses here. Like, that wouldn't be a bad idea to have houses near resident services. I could put my house here too. Like, I, I want to have a yard. I could be on the main stretch. All right, so that comes up to over here. Comes down this way, all the way to resident services. Okay, and then this comes down to the airport. This comes down to nothing. Okay, and then this goes this way to the bridge here. This path and that path, this should create something. I'm gonna... Uh, 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 almost. Almost. Mm, and then that tree's gotta go. Alright, uh, we're just gonna... Uh, Sorry, tree. You're not a peach or an apple tree. Oh, wait. We're not saving peach trees. That's right. We're only saving rocks and apple trees. Oh, man. Huh. So this little area here would be like maybe a little tiny park, maybe a little flower garden just to even out this so it's not so awkward. Yeah, I think a flower garden might do. So that could be like a little flower garden that you got to like walk around, I guess. And then... This could be maybe just a bigger spot, like this way, comes up this way, and then that's like that, I don't know, what do you call it, uh, plaza, it's a plaza, and then maybe we'll have like a double garden on this side, mm. how big is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. I'm just going to do the same thing on this side and just enclose it and then bring it back up. There you go. I mean, it's a little awkward. It's a little awkward. We can fix it. We'll fix it later. <laughs> we'll fix it later. This comes up and goes down that way. All right. Well, it's an idea. Nothing's permanent. We could always fix it. It's not like we only have 30 days to do this. Sorry. Sorry. This area here, probably going to want a walk that comes down... I think that's pretty center. Oh yeah, that's like perfectly centered. Okay, and then we come down this way. You can get over the bridge. And then there's another diagonal bridge right here. Very least, we're gonna have this come this way. I'm gonna bring this down. So there. So this bridge can come 
this way? Is this even gonna line up? Yeah, no, it's not. It's not gonna line up. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this up. We're gonna bring this up. Kyle, stop judging me. Stop it, Kyle. Stop. Come up like so. And then down this way? So you can come up or that way? It looks pretty bad on the map. Maybe we have to redo that bridge at the top. Because I'm definitely not redoing all the stuff that I made line up for the airport and resident services and the beach down there. Okay, this tree's gonna have to go. And this one. Which means Sprinkle is probably gonna have to move so we can get the bridge to work. Like when I look at my villagers, Buck is a rancher or a farmer. Charlize is the, the lady that pollutes the island, right? That's an important job. You can't just not have that job. Eloise smells bad, so that's a thing. And she's yellow. Broccolo is adorable. We're gonna do a pink and purple flower garden for Stella. Oh, who else do we got? Oh yeah, we got Vladimir. He's pink and he's terrifying. And we need to invite two more villagers to complete our island. Okay, let's go get the blueprint for the next crazy and see if we can even put it in that little spot, right? Okay, next cranny. Next cranny. I'm just digging holes to see exactly where it would go, like how much space we have. This might be good. That's kind of cool. So it'd be there and then there would be like a garden like right in front of it. So maybe we would move it back just one, like right there, so that we could put benches by it and bushes out front. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Yeah. And that rock disappeared. Well, we'll have to find it later. This, this path here, this one can change. Like, we could, we could have it out a little bit more. I don't want, I don't want to do that right now. I'm thinking we take Stonehenge with us and maybe we could put it there. And that's, this is our Stonehenge part at the very least. I think the incline should be right here. I'm going to accept that. Okay. Now, I don't think we can move more than one person in a day. We're going to have to wait for the next cranny to go. It would be safe to say we could have bushes around the next cranny. I think I'd have a bush right there. Boop. And over here. You know, up and put it there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This is nice. That's a cute little entrance to resident services. And then we have Nook's Cranny kind of blocking it off. Uh, this area is a little odd. This is, this is kind of weird. We could extend the plaza this way and have like a bench to sit on so it's not so awkward. This way comes down this way to this way, which is a super awkward bridge. Okay, I'm gonna ask Tom to get rid of this bridge because it's causing troubles. Oh, we can't demolish a bridge at- okay, 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 fine. We got pay Lloyd. Let's go pay Lloyd. Ugh. Mm, thanks. Yay! Okay, we made one decision today. That's awesome. All right, now that we paid off Lloyd, we're gonna travel tomorrow and delete that bridge. Okay. Ooh, it's raining. It's only rained once since we started and I've had to water the harvest every single day. This is awesome. Yeah, can you imagine? Maybe we'd have like a flower garden here. Maybe we'd even put like a tree, flower garden over here, come up. We could put a tree here, we could put a tree here. And you're like in resident services. Hey Leaf, you got wheat or carrots? Tomatoes. Uh, I don't want tomatoes. Okay Leaf, thanks though. And then we come up this way. Let's check out our incline. Oh yeah, this is great. Okay, you come up, you come this way. Oh, it is nice. Okay, I'm gonna ask Tom to remove that bridge. That's what we're gonna do. Hey Tom, we gotta demolish something. Uh, burp, 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 that one. Get out of here. Yes, demolish, demolish. Message received, loud and clear. Thank you. It's gonna be gone by tomorrow. Oh, oh wait. Ugh. We gotta talk more infrastructure. We gotta move Sprinkle. She's in the way. All right, thank you. Now Sprinkle's cute. And I don't know where to put her yet, but stick her on the beach now that the Nook's Cranny's moved. Okay, we're just gonna dump her right here because, yep, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my harvest and then we'll go to tomorrow, figure out that path in, and then, then I think we did a lot. Okay. Oof. Let's see. Let's see if our plans worked out. Do, do, do. Yeah. Sprinkles is gone. Woo wee. Do some construction. What I'm going to do is fill this in, move it this way, because I'm starting to realize that diagonal bridges kind of suck if uh, you don't have custom pathing which we will debate like so and then the path will come out and then that will be the bridge right here and then we'll jump across we're gonna curve out all this stuff make it a little even so this path is not gonna come down this way so we'll get rid of that so we'll bring it this way and i can't see across I think this is right. And then I guess we could have an incline up there. And we can only build one. We can't build both. Chop this tree down. Ugh. I'm surprised the trees haven't come back with a vengeance and stung me to death yet. But you know, if they don't want if they don't want to do stuff, they don't have to. You know, I'm not, I'm not arguing. Who's up there? How did you get up there, Charlie's? She's crazy. She's wearing her t-shirt though. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Ugh. What brings you here? Rude. Just saying I. See ya. Ugh. What's your issue? What is her problem? Like, for realsies though. It could be like a circle. Because the natural incline will cover it up. You can't put anything on it. I think we could probably put a bridge over to this side. And that's how you get up here instead. Oh, that works. Okay, so that's something to think about, but I don't think we're going to plan out that path in too much. I'm going to jump across this way. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Ugh. Lloyd. Ugh. So that path goes to the bridge, so we're probably going to have someone that lives up here by the the lake, the river and the lake up here. What, I'm, what I think is we should add a path in that comes down this way, so we'll bring it up all the way up this way. I still like the visual, you know, figuring out the, the visual on the map, seeing what's what. We have these like big block sections now. Uh, this, I, I don't know yet. And then I was thinking possibly up this way. And then when we put that bridge here, we, we could have a little path that comes up and we could have Stella up here and maybe maybe even like all the way up here because she seems like kind of a you know foresty kind of girl and we could set up a little orchard up here for to chill in and this orchard will not be tainted by charlise's toxics because this is another another river source so what i think i'm gonna do is get charlise's house and move her out the way because she's just in the way. Hey Buck, we're gonna go poison your rivers with Charlie's toxicness. That's what we're doing. We're gonna go do it. Ba, 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 ba. So I don't know if we're gonna have a bridge this way that then comes up or just have it straight up, but somewhere around here is where I want Charlie's. So if we did have the incline coming this way, We'd have a little path. Huh. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to like terraform this a bit for the path in. I don't see why she shouldn't go like right here. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, we'll put her there for now. I hope she likes it. Yeah, all by herself up here. And then we'll figure this out another day because we're gonna have to do terraforming and path in and all that. And I, I think, I think my brain is done skis. So. I think we did good. Look at all this path in. Look at all this stuff. Look at all these connecting bridges and paths. Oh, hey guys. Hey, I said stop asking Broccolo. They're not ready yet. Hey, don't yell at Broccolo. I just want to see, okay? I won't tell anyone about them. I promise. What? Hey, Andy, can you help me out? That depends. I kind of told everyone I was going to throw a party to show off my brand new eight pack abs. Only now Broccolo keeps trying to sneak peek before the big premiere. Broccolo. I don't know what the big deal is. He's always talking about how much he works out. How can his eight pack not be ready? Come on, Andy. What do you think? You know what, Broccolo? Buck's been through a lot. 
okay? He's green, as we all know. It ain't easy being green, so let's just be patient. All right? See, Annie knows the wait will be worth it, partner. The premiere is going to be epic. It'll have fireworks, celebrities, catering, my eight pack abs, the works. Fireworks, catering, why didn't you say so? Aw, Rocklow's always happy at the end, no matter what. All right, I'll let you off the hook for now. I didn't know it was going to be that awesome. That was really close. My abs aren't anywhere near ready, and uh, nothing else is either. Aw, it's okay. You'll be You'll be okay. Brocklos, none the wiser. All right, yeah, okay. That was awesome. Pass, woohoo, woohoo, pass. I am completely broke. I got 12,000 bells in my pocket and my storage is completely full up. I have 240 out of 240 slots filled up. But last night I did a big grind. I funded the ramp up to this way. I also funded this little diagonal bridge across the river that we talked about. And I straightened out the bridge to the south here because I just wasn't enjoying the diagonal bridge. I, I didn't like it, so I changed it. There goes all my money. So with our 12,000 bells this uh, Sunday morning, I was thinking we either move out or invite another autofill villager to the island. Now my harvest is not grown in yet, but I think it'll be grown in by tomorrow. So we'll have a lot more funds to move everybody. So I'm thinking we just put an autofill plot down get our money and just start moving our villagers around so they're no longer on the beach so we can literally start decorating because it's the end of week one. <laughs> we haven't decorated a single yard. That's the challenge, decorating our autofills <laughs> yards. The ah, okay. <laughs> I would pick this up. I don't know why I'm here. I can't pick it up. I don't have any storage space. I'm ready to sell some land, please. We got 2,600 bells left. Oh man, okay. Give me that housing plot. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, you cost too much money, Dom. No. These guys are too cute. They're so cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna try and stick this little autofill duder on the beach. There we go. Woohoo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was something. Also, we have like all these bushes and everything that we need to start placing down. Ugh. I'm thinking it would probably be a good idea to just do that real quick. Just organize these bushes a bit so we have room. Room for what? I, I don't know. At least we can feel like we're doing something. <laughs> flowers are spotted on my sidewalks. We're gonna have to change the texture of the sidewalk so flowers don't grow on it, but I haven't really decided yet, so we'll leave it for now. I think I was actually gonna extend the... So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Scoop up these flowers. Maybe we'll just add them to the flower grid in there. So we can't do much else. We're broke. We're broke. I don't put a mart at, uh, extend this out just to hold that fur, just to make this like a really big plaza. Now I don't have any benches or anything, but we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll get a bench eventually. I'm just gonna plant some bushes around, make it look nice. I'll plant a bush right there. Just kind of line this place up, you know, decorate. Sara's here, but you know, we don't have money for her, so too bad. So sad, Sara. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna pile out the garden that we were gonna put here. There's that tree there. I could free up one inventory space by getting a stack of peaches out and picking up some of those trees. But we were gonna have a flower garden on either side. Do I know what kind of flowers? Uh, no. <laughs> but we're gonna try. We're gonna try our darndest. I might wanna do like a checkered pattern. That might be a good idea. So we'll clear out this area and then we'll stick them over here. I did end up making some fencing thinking that it would clear up some of my inventory space by using like some supplies that I had that I collected. It kind of did, but I ended up, you know, needed more <laughs> inventory space. So there's a grid in there that's uh, red and white. It's pretty cute. Maybe we'll just take the white roses. I think I can do red mums and we'll just go and plant those. I might regret this if the next villager we got is a red <laughs> villager. Okay, we're just gonna fill in with the roses. There we go. 
cute little uh, flower bed we got going on. Two flower beds. No, I don't think that we can have a tree beside the next cranny. So I'm gonna put a tree right there. This is a money tree. So that'll turn into hardwood eventually. I'm gonna stick it on this side. So that's kind of like a little entrance to the plaza there. I'm gonna scoop this tree up and that can go back here. There we go. Nice. Okay, and then we'll probably have another one right there. Okay, that looks cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I also got edges. That might be something that we line the entrance with. That's our, that's our entrance. I want to get some more of these bushes. We just need to organize the place. We need to have sets so when we do find items or we do get awesome DIYs for villagers, we could start decorating. We don't have to, you know, be at the mercy of <laughs> whatever's happening. There's just too many bushes. <laughs> Gosh. I'm gonna come down this way. There's an entrance to resident services again. So I'm just gonna plant some more bushes. Oop. And we gotta unlock our xylan too. So we can have leaf, you know, whenever we need them. We don't have to wait around for them. Boop. Perfect. It's looking a little bit more natural already. I really like it. We got Stonehenge over here. We'll just, you know, I'm just gonna stick a couple bushes here just to make this part look a little bit more, you know. Get a picture with Stonehenge. Boop. Cute. I could stick another tree there. Right there. Yeah. That's cute. I like that. I like this little stone edge area. I really do. Okay. <laughs> and we got like this area. I'm not really sure what just yet, but we are get making use of our bushes and stuff, right? I think I'm going to continue the bush thing like on this side. Maybe we could put a bench in between so the path ends and then there's like a cute little bench or something. And then I'm coming back around this way come up here, do a bush. Yeah, I know they're not all the same bush, but I kind of like the diversity in that sense. And then we could have another one of those bench situations, like so. Put a bush on this side. No, this is kind of awkward. Okay, I'll come down this way where our bridge comes this way. Why can't I scoop? Can I plant? No planting. Okay. Okie dokie then. I'll just put one there and over there. And we're pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We're doing all right. <laughs> we're getting rid of our bushes. We're clearing up space because I want to move some of our villagers and I don't want like a giant pile of bushes in my way. Right? Right. Perks need bushes. Bushes are nice. Perks need bushes. There we go. I'm going to go over to Buck over here. No. I'm gonna put the, the orange ones. I don't think they're gonna bloom. Uh, they're not gonna be orange. I don't think we're gonna be doing this island in the fall at any point, but you know, it's nice knowing that they're orange. I got four more bushes, which I think I'm just gonna place along the path on this side, like so. I don't think we're gonna stick a villager house on that little spot, I don't think, but still, there we go. Now I did pick up a couple of these plants and we have the public bench so i'm just gonna stick that by resident service or resident services the next crannier because it, it looks pretty nice place the plant there it's already 100 percent more inviting <laughs> i'm pretty happy well the, the garden and everything and the hedges but uh let, let's go to tomorrow okay woohoo tomorrow Let's see. It's not sold yet. That's too bad. But we can move out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to move out. KK's here. Sorry, KK. We don't got time. But before we do that, we need money because we don't have any money. And my herb is grown up. So I'm going to do that quick. Okay. We We got to sell this stuff. Let's check out what the Nook's Cranny has in store because I haven't bought anything from there in a while because I haven't had the money. I've been building bridges. All right. I'm going to buy this. It's pretty cheap. Nothing in there. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye now. Okay. Plot time. Woohoo. Moving stuff. Oh, Broccolo. He's so cute. He's too cute. Okay. Come on, Tom. Let's go. We're going to talk some infrastructure. We could sell more land. Okay. Let's see if we can move someone and sell land at the same time. I want to move 
Stella back to her kind of Kaji forest area. Hey, <laughs> Stella. Moving my entire home sounds like it'd be thrilling. I'd love to have you move it, bada bing. I make you a nice cottage. All right, let's see if we can sell land too. Let's sell some land. Yeah, we can. I sure will. This is awesome. Okay. Almost broke again, but you know what? That's fine. Walking out of resin services and getting a look at that butt. Come on, man. Can you ask for anything? Oh, where, where am I going? All right. So now we got a plot. We got Stella's house. Hey, Eloise. I was in kit. Too close to the water. Right there. Too close to the ledge. There. Too close to the water. Too close to the water. Too close to the ledge. Nee, 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 nee. Okay. Right there. Okay. Perfect. Woohoo! I'm excited. We're gonna have 10 villagers and then maybe we can start picking them off. Picking them off. Yeah. Okay, so Stella's gonna live up here. Uh, yeah, this isn't the way. We gotta go up and over. It's a little secret. It's like a little secret cottage area for Stella. It, I, think it, I think it would be nice. I think it would be super cute that she has like a little riverside and a pond. I might make the pond smaller. Just a little bit. Ooh, no, smaller, please. Thank you. She don't need that big of a pond, right? I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna mm, curve this in a bit. Mm, mm. Make some interesting shapes. We don't want it to be, you know, completely flat. I'm gonna make this pond even smaller and then we'll have her just in here. Yep, that's super cute. I like that. Woohoo! There we go. So then we'll, we're gonna have to figure out, you know, like her orchard that's gonna run along this way, all that. But we, we still don't know who else is living here, so that's okay. Money trees are important. Boop. And then we're gonna continue. Let, let's continue. Let's mo continue moving stuff. Yeah. All right. Is it sold? No. We've got a bottle. Water pump. Oh, a water pump's good. That's a good item. It's a good farm item for buck. Yeah. Okay, you're next, buddy. Oh, 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 hey there, Andy. You know what burns my beans? The sun? Wait, what? Radiation? Wait, what? When somebody's got troubles, but don't show any reaction and they expect me to pick up on it. Oh no, oh, yeah, that, that's gotta burn your beans. I'm worried. I'm worried about your health. I'm worried about your skin. You spend too much time in the sun, Vladimir. Too much time in the sun. Next on our list is to move Vladimir. Okay, so Vladimir is bright pink. He's also extremely grumpy and he looks like he has a permanent sunburn. So he seems like the kind of guy that would just, you know, be grumpy all the time. And if he's not standing around being grumpy, he's, oh, that one's sold. Or if he's not standing around being grumpy, hating everybody and just, having a permanent frow on his face, he's fishing with a captain or, you know, spending time on the beach, getting a sunburn. So I thought that Vladimir could have a little beachfront property over here where he's getting uh, sunburned. All right, I'm going to play some right here. I think this is a perfect spot right by the beach. Woohoo! Then I probably will want a path that comes down this way and I want to put Eloise on this side because she's an elephant and elephants like water and what makes grumpy pink bears more grumpy than living beside cheerful yellow elephants right I could only assume I think and eventually we're gonna need to do a captain's tour because we're gonna need palm trees to decorate these beaches because oh my lord do we need to decorate beaches all right awesome and that plot is sold so we can figure out who's moving in Yes. All right, Isabel, give us the deets. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big hodgepodge welcome to Violet. I don't know who Violet is. All right, let's go meet Violet. We gotta meet Violet. You gotta meet Violet. Hey, Sprinkle. Well, this is a nice house. Oh, what? what? Hello. Oh, oh, you got an angry brow too. Does being pink make your brows wrinkly? It's a theory I have. Okay. Honest opinion on Violet. What's happening here? <laughs> what? Who and what? I, I don't know how I feel about Violet. I Okay. Awkward. Pink gorilla with a grumpy brow. Okay. We'll think about Violet. I don't know how I feel about Violet. We have five move away requests that we can accept. Ah, uh, and I don't know. And that's still not sold. What the heck? All right. Oh, Leaf is here. Hey, bud. 
Do you have any carrots? Oh, I forgot about potato. Thank you for the potatoes. Oh, money. Need that. It's important. What's he doing? No, I like Buck. Buck's not going anywhere. Marvis is growing in, so we're gonna make a couple of balls today as well as move somebody. So let's get in here. Hey, Tom. I'm gonna go ahead and move Kyle. What do you think, Kyle? Of course I do. Andy hasn't led me astray yet, Alpha. I haven't done anything actually for you. I mean, is not leading someone astray because you literally haven't done anything that affects them the same as gaining trust? I, I don't think the absence of stuff gains trust. Kyle's a bit of a weirdo. So I did end up going in Kyle's house and he has like musical instruments and stuff. I'm thinking he would be very comfortable near resident services. I don't know what that close. We still want to give him like a yard. I think he'd probably have like a side yard. Move Kyle's house down so we could at least have like a front walk for him, which means I'm going to have to scoop up these flowers. A balloon. Clay. Okay. Pick up the panda. Kyle might like a panda. Maybe. He's kind of edgy like that. All right. This seems all right. Okay. This is good for Kyle. I gotta do, I gotta do Marvis, <laughs> get some more money, and then we will continue moving people. Nook's Cranny is selling decorative bottles. I'm gonna buy a bunch because that seems like something that like a rebel rocker like Kyle would have. 30,000 bells for an SLR? Oh, come on, you're killing me, guys. It's a good item. I take it. Ah. All right. I have my pockets are full. Thanks. Oh man. Okay, what am I gonna do with all these bottles? Oh, we got all this beach space. Yeah, okay. Just gonna put them all. Eh. Just start collecting all the things I got from the next cranny on this beach, which is apparently a lot of beer bottles. Oh, guys, don't, don't be running along the beach, okay? There's broken glass, probably. You don't see all these beer bottles. This is not a place to be running around the beach. All right. Why did I buy so many? I think I zoned out and buy way too many bottles. So much for cleaning up the island. Oh well. Okay. There we go. As I'm finishing up doing the harvest here and I bought all those decorative bottles because I zoned out and just press, kept on pressing A until they said my pockets were full. I remember when I first saw Broccolo and that was in Apio in Paradise. Now in Apio in Paradise, he wanted a wheat firm I don't know if that is part of his personality because it seems like the Apion Paradise personalities that people have are like a lot different than how they are on an, an actual island. But that's all I got for Broccolo. I got that he's adorable. He's a little bit clueless. Uh, maybe he makes, you know, a nice wheat beer and, and potato vodka or something. And he could be like a wheat and potato farmer, right? Right, and we got all the beer bottles now. We got way too many beer bottles. All the beer bottles. Oh. <laughs> all right, oh, sorry, Vladimir, my bad. Let us keep going. We're gonna keep going. Okay, ooh, it's gonna rain. Eh, eh, is it sold yet? Seriously? Okay, <laughs> that's fine. It's fine. And the money tree, on it. And we're gonna move someone else. Uh, hopefully it starts raining because I don't, I don't wanna do my, my, my harvest. Okay, oh, I just, don't want to water every day. Please, please, rain. <sighs> we gonna talk some infrastructure. So, Broccolo uh, is gonna be a wheat farmer? I, I have no idea what to do with Violet. And also, we already have a Violet uh, or a purple character, and that's Stella. Okay, you're infringing on S Stella's personality, or I don't know what you're doing, Violet. I don't know what she's doing. Okay, we're gonna move Broccolo. Yay! Ooh, do, 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 do. Gonna make broccolo a potato and wheat firmer. And he's gonna supply all of the booze for Odd Podge. So he's over here. I think that this would be a really good space for a wheat firm. I kind of don't want him to be beachside. Does that make sense? I think, yeah, I think right here would probably be good. Yep, there it is. Cause then we could make a wheat field here or we could start making a wheat field here. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this tree and maybe this tree. I'm gonna put one behind his house like right there. I think I'm gonna put one at the corner there. Cause this is gonna be like a whole wheat field. It's gonna be like a whole shenanigans thing. Take this like so. There we go. Well, I don't have a lot of wheat right now, but 
I do want to plant the wheat that I do have. And then I'm gonna just I'm gonna plant potatoes on this side. That makes a perfect row of 15. And then we're gonna have to figure out how to get blue tones <laughs> into this build because you know that's what we want to do. We want to do blue stuff. Broccolo. Fucking broccolo. Hod podge farmers. I do like firms. I don't think this is gonna be a farm core island, especially with Charlie's around. Like the farms are starting to fail around here. Charlie's poisoning the waters is what gives uh, Brock Lowe the kick that he needs to make his uh, alcohol. But this is pretty cute for now. I'm gonna wait for it to rain. I think that's what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wait for it. I'm gonna get myself a nice late, uh, late morning coffee. I'd rather take a 15 minute break, wait for it to rain, than take the five minutes it takes to water the garden. Yep, that's what it's come to. Woohoo! Got a couple more houses to It's still not sold. Like, come on. Come on. So we're probably going to want the Able Sisters to get out of the beach at some point. Not super interested in doing the, the whole harvest. I think I want to do it in like one run or one weekend. The grind's getting to me. It's getting to me. Woo! Tommy got a problem. The plot won't fill. I got to move somebody though. We're going to move. Eloise, I think that covers everything. So Eloise, you want to move where Andy thinks you should move? It's good to shake things up every now and again to, oh, come on, you can't hold it in. We're, we're in a public place. Stinky, you stinky Eloise. All right, okay, all right. Ooh, gotta get out of here. Ooh, yeah, Tom is so professional. He just stood there and didn't even acknowledge the fact that she just farted right in his face. That's professionalism right there. Okay, so Eloise is gonna be Vladimir's neighbor and we're gonna have to move some of this stuff. Beach chair or lawn chair. Yeah, Vladimir needs a lawn chair. He's a grumpy old man. He needs to sit there and, you know, grump on people. Grumpy bears need spiky cactuses. It just makes sense. It just, I don't make the rules. It just makes sense. Okay, pretty nice. Pretty nice place. All right, there we go. Moved. Dunskies. Oh, she likes it. Yeah, me too. This is looking good. This is looking great. All right, let's go. All right. Ooh, come on. Come on, be sold, be sold. Seriously? All right, let's move the Able Sisters. Oh, sorry, Broccolo. Hopefully it wasn't important. Let's move the Able Sisters, Tom. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. All right. All right. We got this space over here. So I'm thinking... The Able Sisters should go here? Yeah, right? I think that's a great spot. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> please, Phil. Please. Please. I'm begging you. It's not sold? Sprinkle! Why don't people want to live next to you? Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, what? Like, what is even happening? Like, what is happening? Come on. Let's see how the Able Sisters looks. Pretty cute. I like it. Okay. All right. At this point, I'm not doing my harvest. I'm not searching for my bottle. This needs to fill. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <sighs> Come on. All right. Isn't it like most people dread filling the plot? Who knew auto-filling a plot would be so difficult? I... Uh... I can't even... Okay, so I've been scouring the internet on why this plot will not fill, and there's not a lot of information on it because most people don't want their plots to autofill. They're trying to figure out how to not get autofilled. So what's happening right now is that I have nobody in my moving queue. So to get someone in my moving queue, I have to visit someone else's island, and then any villagers that they have kicked out will be in my moving queue, but that will reduce the pool of villagers that I could randomly get to only the villagers that have left their island. So I don't really want to do that. And the second option would be to look for a villager on a Nook Miles island. There is a little bit of information saying that you just got to time travel a little bit more. Now, plot is supposed to fill between one and three days. So we're way over that threshold. But tomorrow, I think that I want to try some of these tricks by like time traveling. 
backwards in time and then forwards in time. If that doesn't work, I think that our last option would be to use the free Nook Miles ticket and take whoever is on that island. If we go on the Nook Miles tour, it opens the pool of villagers to like all 400 plus villagers, which kind of sucks because this is the autofill challenge, but I do want it to be as random as it possibly can. And that seems like it might be our option, but we will find out tomorrow. We'll continue time traveling tomorrow. We'll figure it out. Okay, it is a new day. It's a new time. This plot is still not sold. And yesterday, you you might have noticed, I didn't move my house, I didn't move Sprinkles' house, and I didn't move Violet's house, because honestly, I I don't know where I want my house. I, I don't really have any ideas for Sprinkle or Violet yet. So I'm just gonna leave them there until inspiration hits. We do, we do have five move out requests, so that's all right. But today I wanna work on fencing. So I got the vertical board fence in and we have Vladimir and Eloise living next to each other. And the fencing comes in yellow and pink. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it yellow and we're gonna give Eloise some nice fencing along our property here so we can create a nice property line. We know whose property is whose. So I think I wanna leave a gap in between the pathway here and the fencing. Maybe we could put some bushes or trees or flowers or benches. So I definitely want to have a backyard fence and then we want to have pretty big fences on this alleyway because, you know, good fences make good neighbors, as they say. I don't know how far down we want the fence or maybe we want like a little opening kind of, bah, there we go. I'm just gonna get rid of that one. Eh. I also have the little picket fence, which we can customize, I think, to the same colors. These are the ones that Tom Nook got us. Oh, it doesn't come in yellow. That's unfortunate. It does come in blue, so that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Blue's good. Oh, I'm just gonna do a little bit more fencing down this way and have, like, an open space. Is that, does this work? Maybe we would continue it on just a little bit down this way so people know it's private property. I think that's okay. I do think make this up a little bit more. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, let's make it, let's make it pink now. Pink fencing. Now, Eloise lives here on the beachfront because she's an elephant and elephants like water. That's all I got. <laughs> That's the big plan. Vladimir lives on the beach here because he is sunburnt and he spends a lot of his days on Captain's boat getting sunburnt and stuff. <laughs> That's kind of his prerogative. Just being grumpy and if he's not wandering around telling people to get off his lawn and his beachfront property, he's getting a good sunburn from fishing all day. So I do think that I am going to bring the pink fence out this way. It doesn't have to be exactly matching with Eloise. You know, they have different property lines, so. Okay, yeah, I am thinking that this is a bit much. Okay, well, we'll extend it down, I think. So, like, right there and down. And then I'll have, like, palm tree maybe uh, which i don't have so maybe we should do a captain's tour <laughs> right i think i think that's good good fencing all right pick this up let's make a nice little firm fence well, this property is blue but it is a firm so there's no real harm in having a short fence now it is right along the road which makes sense because if you are a farmer, you, you want most of your property to be yielding produce and veggies and all that. We're utilizing the space. Hopefully we have enough fencing. Oof. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. This is definitely going to be his property line here as well. So I think I'm going to build it up. Let's get some construction going. I think like a side entrance would be pretty nice. Like this way. And yeah, I'll, I'll see the lost item. I see, I see it. 
<laughs> I see it. It's there. There it is. And then we'll continue this fence. I don't know what it looks like on a diagonal. Oh, that is kind of cute. Okay, so this is the opening. We could probably make a couple more barrels. And he does deal in wheat, so hay, ba hay, ba hay bales. I know it's just a bed, but hay bales would be nice. Can I get that balloon? It could be something awesome. Give me coffee grinder. All right, yeah, that's not bad. Coffee grinder. So he's making um, alcohol out of potatoes. So he's making vodka and maybe whiskey and beer from the wheat. So barrels are pretty good. I think I will block this off just a little bit. Nom 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 nom. Let's keep this up. And that creates a nice natural end to the fence, I think. I'll just chop these down and skip that up. We got the blue butterfly there, which is so sweet. Pick that. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna put it on the barrel. It's cute. I do like this tree, so I'm gonna leave it. And I think we will extend this patch of potatoes out a little bit. As when you're going down and you see a firm, it's usually in really nice, neat rows. I think that's what I want to do here. Make nice, neat rows and just a giant wheat field. Coming down. Yeah, this is just going to be like the biggest wheat field ever. Yeah. It's going to take a while to plant. We got patience. I will plant it. <laughs> It'll happen. And then we have this area over here, which could be another field of something and i'm just gonna utilize this, the natural curves of the the cliff there because that's gonna be a path to this entrance here now we can't really use the dirt path for the entrance otherwise it's kind of gonna mess up our like lines here i am gonna extend this out though just a little bit maybe we'll plant some more potatoes i'm just gonna stick some of this stuff back here i got the wooden bucket i think this is a pretty cute item get this plant there we go yeah okay we will continue working on it as time goes by this is a pretty good idea for now now we're gonna go to where eloise's place used to be because there's some stuff we got a flower there's so many shells <laughs> i'll pick the i'll pick them up eventually i promise i promise also, these flamingos. I don't think they... Oh, I was gonna say, I don't think they belong where Eloise lives, but probably by Vladimir. Hopefully, you find Mr. Flamingo. I think that we can customize this to be a more toxic looking pink, which I wouldn't mind. I'm just gonna put her around. Nice Mrs. Flamingo. There we go. Nothing says grumpy like garden flamingos. There we go. I think a nice beach chair is fine for Eloise. Get out the little butterfly model and set up a garden for her with yellow flowers. We're moving on. Woohoo! We'll come back eventually, but we're moving on. Woohoo! We have Kyle's house over here. And Kyle's uh, kind of a rebel. So I want to make him some black fencing and then maybe mix it up with some white fencing. Ba -ba -da -ba. There we go. Sorry, Flick, you're gonna be in the way fairly shortly, so you, you just gotta go. I'm, I'm sorry, but you, you can be here. Thank you. I think I'm gonna put a, a tree right there, bring it down, and this is gonna be Kyle's kind of property line, and then I'll stick it in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I'm gonna boop, boop. Yep, looks good. Now I'm gonna take the white version of the fence and bring it down this way. Find the house here. Oof, pink flower. I'll take that. These are like Vladimir pink. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da. And that's it for the white. I'll bring the black fence back. There we go. I think this is super Kyle. I'm gonna cap it off there. And because I don't love the way that looks, I'm gonna build it like that. And this is just like his little yard. Now, Kyle is kind of like 
artistic, rebellious type, I suppose. So I'm thinking he's gonna have something to do with something eventually. I mean, we gotta find some musical instruments, but maybe we could bring this up. This could be a way to a musical theater or, or something like that. But there's an idea for now. I'm gonna bring this up. And I still really haven't decided what kind of path that I want to use, but you know, here it is. I'm gonna break this rock. Oh, it was a money rock. Oh, that sucks. Oops. I think that's a good look for Kyle. So I kind of want to build some edges coming down this way. That's the neighborhood and this is the perk. Now, I don't remember which one of these are cherry trees. Okay, I'm gonna go like that same on this side. Uh, when those grow in, I will arrange them. Oh, hey Buck. Andy, how you doing? We haven't caught up late, new partner. I saw you around the other day. You had quite a spring in your step. Have you been skipping leg day? No, I'm good. Thanks so. Oh, there you go. That's a nice fence line. And then this is a perk. I think edges are really good at perk. Oh, hey Sprinkle. There are reactions for everything. When you're sleepy, you can use, wait for it, sleepy. Yay, I'm sleepy. Thanks, Flick. Thanks for clapping. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, edges. So I'll do like that and like that and we'll continue it down this way. I don't know how far though. I think that's okay, but I do like the fence in here. This is nice. This is kind of weird that it's open. Yeah, I'm gonna want a tree or something right here. And then I am just gonna hedge it off. You're, you're not really supposed to come this way, I suppose. This is just the back of residence services. You know, it's shady business. You can't, you just can't be walking around the back of uh, residence services, okay? Bop, you know, bop. And then we'll have a tree right there. I guess same with right here. We'll edge it off. Oh, that's not even. This tree needs to be more on the corner. Nom 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 nom. Yeah. Move you over it to right there. There we go. And then we finish off our edges. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I think this place is like really coming together. Really, hey Stella, sorry. Really coming together. So we'll get a, a tree right here. There we go. I think it might be a little awkward to fence this area off, but I don't think it would be weird if it was a nice little flower garden. I think that would be cute. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flower garden this area. We do have the, the board fence in, in blue though. Maybe I'll change that, but it does kind of go with like the next cranny and stuff. So. so what I think I'm gonna do is I got those pink flowers in my pocket. May as well add it to Vladimir's chaos over here. I'm gonna give him a little garden. He probably takes care of a little garden. There we go. I think, yeah. Oh, this is cute. Okay. There we go. Nice little garden for Vladimir. Would he have some by his owls? Probably, right? Okay, I'm thinking the four like that is just, yeah, it's too much. I'm sorry. It is. It's too much. I'm sorry. I'll put something else there. A garden flamingo. There we go. So I'll pick that up and I'll put like the smallest garden over here. Like so and plant these ones in there. Yep. Put the cactus is back. Yeah, it's not bad. It's like really bright and pretty obnoxious. So maybe we need some other colors to work it out, but it, it's okay. And then obviously they're gonna have like a little bit of a path that comes up to their houses, like a little bop bop bop. That's nice. It's not exactly symmetrical because I think the door is kind of on this side. Yeah, because their windows are on this. Yeah, okay, that, it's okay, it's fine. And since we're, we're doing flowers, I think I'm gonna get these blue flowers here and move them to Broccolo's place. Hey, Broccolo, you like that flower? Eh? Okay, bye. Yeah, he's cute. And then I'm also gonna take some of these yellow ones as well. And then if we do end up getting pansies, those are a nice kind of bluish flower that I think Broccolo would like. So I think Eloise is a bit more, you know, free. She's more of a free loving kind of gal. I don't think she would really have a flower bed, but maybe just flowers that grow around. So we could just like plant these by the riverside, just going back and forth. And she's got this cute little umbrella too, which really matches up, I think. Yeah, I think that's so cute. And then we'll go and get Broccolo some nice flowers. 
Because, you know, this is his little firm, but it's also his property, right? I think I'm just gonna line the river with a little bit of a garden. Just get a couple blue flowers in here. Oops. Scoop that up. Move it on that side. There we go. That's nice. I am gonna take this money tree and stick it on this side. I think that would be a good end of the fence line. Yeah, I'm really liking the feel of resident services now. It looks really good. And then coming down this way, Kyle's place is looking good too. I'm gonna take some of these yellow bums because they're cute. I'm gonna take some tulips. A little yellow record. Actually, yeah, a little yellow record player. Let's give that to Aloise. She might like that. We can put it by our beach chair. I am gonna take the mums. I'm gonna put them on the beach as like little beach sprouts. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I'm doing. There we go. And we definitely need to get palm trees. Put the yellow record player. I think Aloise would enjoy this, especially if we add like a palm tree or something. And I think that's definitely what we're missing in Vladimir's area. Some more trees, maybe bushes and things like that. Ah, uh, I, I, uh, Violet. Okay. I think that we should give it uh, another goal in seeing if that villager will move in. I think I do have a couple of things that we could put in front of the Able Sisters before we time travel. So, I mean, in classic Able Sisters fashion, right? We'll just put the sewing box there for now. I guess just as like something gimmicky. I'll put the bin there just to make it look like a little bit more lively. Uh, I don't know if it does, but I think it might. Hey guys. All right. All right. That's it. Please autofill. Please, please fill. Woo. Well, it's raining. Uh, nope. Nothing. Okay. Gulliver is here. Ugh. Gulliver came and it still didn't autofill. Now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Okay. We have a campsite villager and no autofill. Okay. <laughs> nope. It's been about two weeks in game time, so I'm gonna travel to May 1st and see what happens. All right, so I traveled back to May 1st, saved, exit, and then traveled to May 2nd, nothing. Okay, I traveled two weeks in advance, nothing. Okay, I've, I've been Googling it as I've been, I've been traveling and clearly this isn't working. I it's not working. There's been a lot of things that say something about your move-in queue and no one's in your move-in queue. Other places say that you have to invite somebody over. And uh, well, I still haven't used my Nook Miles ticket, my free Nook Miles ticket that Tom Nook gave to Orville. Now what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is this is the game's way of saying you can't just autofill everyone. That sucks. I don't understand why. Okay, but what if, what if, what if we use the Nook Miles ticket, okay, and invite whoever's there? That's who's coming in because <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> it's, it's been like over a month in the game. I, I just don't that... It's supposed to be empty for over a month. I, I could travel over a year and see what happens first. Okay, I'm gonna do that. All right as well. Yep, yep. It's 2025. Now for today's announcements, we have a visitor. Okay, we're getting a lot of visitors in the campsite. I get it, we can't take them. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, I look good. Yeah, woo! Ah, there I go. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Nothing. Okay. That's what we're gonna, we're gonna go, our villager, we're gonna use our Nook Miles ticket and we're just gonna get a villager because apparently traveling all year forward and traveling for a month and, and going back in time, and going forward in time, it's just not working. It's just, it's just not working. Okay, we'll see, let's see. <laughs> uh, hey Orville, by the way, I got a Nook Miles ticket with your name on it behind the desk here. So use it whenever. I'm gonna use the Nook Miles ticket and this is not cheating. Okay, the, the game is bugged out. It's not cheating. We can't choose. It's just whoever is on this island, we're gonna take, okay? I went out, when I went out to do the autofill challenge, I did not realize that plots would not autofill. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, all right, okay. We're gonna go. 
we're going. You want so you want to use your Nook Biles ticket, Roger? I feel like I'm cheating. This sucks. Okay, in that case, I'll just take this ticket I got from Tom Nook. Good. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute, but let's check. You all pack tools already? Sure. All right, let's get airborne. All right, we are two down in dock. Target Island, Delta Oscar, Delta Oscars, go. First time getting your platoons wet on a tour? Let me brief you on Mystery Island procedure. Nah, nah, I'm just here for the coconuts and the guy. Okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Uh, I don't see anybody. Okay. Okay, there we go. Hey. Hey. Uh, hey. So, array for first meetings. Okay, Graham. Gra- Graham? I'm visiting from another island. My name's Graham. All right. You're Andy from Odd Podge, huh? I like your name a lot. <laughs> Meeting you here feels like pretty much the way I always thought Destiny would feel. Indeed. Well, we're not supposed to meet. I was never supposed to meet anyone on an island. Ever. But here we are. Yep. I love island life. Peaceful and pure. I just wish I could live here. Uh, come to my island, but your island, Odd Podge, is the name, yeah? Come here t took some nerve on my part, so I'm not too sure we'll go to another deserted island. It's not deserted. It's full of radioactive creatures. But I believe in destiny we met for a reason. I have just decided to move to Odd Podge indeed. Okay, good idea. <laughs> Thanks again for being so welcoming, even though we just met, Andy. You're all right, dude. Anyone's allowed on Odd Podge. Like, I I've never invited anyone to, to Odd Podge. Wait, no, I invited Kyle. That's right, I invited Kyle. Well, that's it. All right, we went village hunting. I mean, technically, not really, though. I am going to take this opportunity to get coconuts. I would like to put coconuts on the beach. And I've been holding off on this ticket because I didn't want to accidentally run into anyone on an island. Well, okay, it's not cheating. It's not cheating. It's not. Um, I'm glad I made that decision. I, I honestly, I tried. I tried everything. I'm sorry. I literally spent the last two and a half hours time traveling to look at an empty plot when I could have been getting rich <laughs> and decorating the island. And we don't have time. We don't have time for this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, now that we do have 10 villagers, and unfortunately, they aren't all autofills, but having the first random villager on an island and you have to pick them, it feels pretty autofillish to me. I'm sorry. I understand. I understand. I promise. I'm never going on another Nook Miles tour ever again. No. Never. All right, so we officially have Graham on our island, which is, which is pretty great. And the story so far goes that Charlize is poisoning the water with toxic waste. And that water flows all the way through the island, through these rivers here. It's affecting the animals that live on Hot Podge and turning them bright colors. But we never really had a reason why Charlize is poisoning the waters, but I think our reason just showed up. Cram is a little bit of a nerdlet. The inside of his house is like computers and server systems. It's very suspicious. It's a suspicious house and he's over here right now inspecting the area, but I think that maybe Graham right there with his glowy green ears is actually the mastermind of all of this and Charlize is just being mind controlled by him. She's not exactly the brightest bear in the world. I mean, she is the brightest in color, but in intellect, you know, she's like, she's always goes, Ugh. like there's something wrong with it, right? So maybe, just maybe, Graham is mind controlling Charlize into poisoning the water. He's trying to cover his trail. You know, like, look at her. Look at her. She don't know what's going on. She's got this, like, huh, I don't know. Uh, look on her face. She's like the Frankenstein of Odd Podge. Sup, Andy? We haven't spoken in a while. Yeah, sorry. I traveled over a year. <laughs> Glad you stopped by. I miss talking to you. Uh, you're such an awesome listener. See? Something wrong with her. I think that might be a good idea. Also, Graham's house is like a little cottage. So maybe being up here, 
in the back with all like the trees and the forest and things he's like hiding away trying to be all not suspicious even though he's totally suspicious like who has a wooden log cabin and then all those electronics and servers in them right the campsite is over here and charlie's is up here but i'm thinking we switch it out a little bit and we kind of create more of a bigger area for Graham and Charlize to poison the rivers. So I think that's what I want to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. We got to move the campsite though. That That's definitely something we got to do. And it looks like it's going to rain eventually, soon, <laughs> maybe. So I would like to do my harvest, get some money. Our money troubles are over. We have so much produce. I'll show you what I did to Brocklow's wheat farm. Oh, it's so epic. Ah, it's so cool. Ba, 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 broccolo's wheat firm yeah so i planted more potatoes and look at all this wheat that's crazy right so much wheat oh yeah violet still lives here that's right okay i moved the sugar cane over here and added a little bit more because i i don't know much oh make an alcohol but i do know that you need sugar so yeah i thought that that was a pretty good touch i think it's great so many bells growing out the ground all mine yeah all right let's go make some big bucks big bucks oh no <laughs> we got a flower situation i will fix the path eventually okay boop, 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 boop. i gotta put some bells away because they're taking up valuable pocket space. Well, hello there, Andy. Oh yeah, I upgraded my house. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, stop talking. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna deposit some money for safekeeping. I think I'm gonna buy some of these. Maybe I'll just buy all of them. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. Woohoo, we got all the paths. Yay. Thank you, thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Tom Nick. As per usual, we're going to talk some infrastructure. We're going to move the campsite. 10,000 bells. Yup, I'm rich. Thank you. Bye now. Wait. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, the cutie cutie patootie patooties. Oop, sorry. Bup, bup. Oh, yeah. I added a little. I added some flowers to the garden here. I thought it looked nice. This is a couple of changes. Nothing too serious. Nothing to write home about, at least. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, right. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. We're gonna move the campsite. So the campsite is currently right there. And I'm wondering how would we get to Graham's secret lair thing? We got Stella up here in our little cottage area, which is super cute. She's got a little waterfall and stuff. So maybe we just stick the, the campsite up this way, all the way up here. And then if you wanted to come to the campsite, how would you get up there? From from here, you would, what, come down this way? And then up this way? Alright, yeah, that works for me. I don't want it too close to where Stella is, so I think I'm going to put it back here. Right here seems like a good spot. I mean, it's sad and lonely right now, but yeah. Alright, and then we want to figure out this area a bit. How would we get here originally i was thinking maybe a bridge over this way but that's too that's too obvious like buck would come across and like figure out what's going on right so i'm thinking we change the direction of the river and i'm gonna save these trees because probably gonna want to decorate with them i'm gonna om nom 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 all 10 peaches come with me trees Come with me. Do do do. Bop bop bop. Okay, gotta take the flowers out too and the fossils, I guess. All right, I can start up some construction. I'm gonna pile this up. We're gonna extend the cliff up here. That yeah. Okay. Bop bop bop. I'm gonna make this a lot bigger and maybe it'll come out this way. But it up. And then the waterfall can probably be from this side. 
I suppose, instead. So I'm going to build this up too. And I think I have immediate regrets on putting the campsite where I put it. Because we're going to have to make like a super secret area. And I just don't think that campers should be stumbling across it. You know what I mean? I'm doing your bidding, Graham. I'm making you a super top secret lair where you can poison Odd Podge by using Charlize as your minion. What are you doing? What the heck are you doing? You suck. You suck. Mm, mm. Stay over there. Okay, fine. Don't stay over there. Boop. I'm gonna curve this. Uh, put that out. Curve that. I really like this natural thing that's happening over here. So I'm gonna continue that just a little bit. I think I want to match it up, make it less flat on this side. Yeah, that's nice. And bop, 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 bop. Yeah, this is going to be a good spot to hang out in. Or not hang out. Poison the island. <laughs> I don't know if I like it so flat either. Back here. Let's just like dimple it a bit. Yeah. Yeah, see that campsite's way too close. Way too close. Eh, eh. There we go. Just going to fill in this whole area as much as I can. Hopefully it rains because I didn't water my crops. I don't think it's going to rain. It looks like it's going to get, it's getting sunnier. Yeah, it's getting sunnier. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Graham, I know you're overseeing construction, but you're in the way. Thank you. It'll, it'll come to be, I promise. We will poison the island. Oh, you will poison the island. I'm not, I have not, I, I got nothing to do with this. Ah. Graham is a mad scientist who's poisoning all the animals. Not very nice of you. I just had like kind of a different idea and I don't know if, if this is a good one, but maybe this waterfall will stay and that's kind of why Buck isn't completely green because this waterfall won't be poisoned by the water and then the other waterfall will be poisoned by the water that's what i'm thinking so this clip can end right here that's going to be more of like a natural water spring not poisoned and by natural yeah by natural i mean not poisoned <laughs> so i'm going to continue this up running out of space uh, i was really hoping it would start raining while i was doing construction oh well what can you do bring it all the way to the edge and that's why there's no bridge here if you could get across you'd probably naturally build a bridge but you can't all right i guess i could leave this space open a little bit you know just for some interest we'll put like trees we'll put the trees back yeah we'll put some trees back come back this way curve this off like that and then we'll have the water come in this way so, and then i'll make a little bit of a waterfall right there so i'll double it up and there we go come up this way and i'll have the waterfall come in here and it looks it's gonna look so nice right it's gonna look like a really good place to have a farm with all this natural irrigation but it's not Yep, and this waterfall over here that's also going to be contaminated. I'll bring that out just a little bit because, uh, yeah, and we're, yeah, the campsite's not going to go there. We've got to find a different place for the campsite. Before, I kind of decided that uh, Stella's orchard wouldn't be contaminated, but eh, plans change. Waterways get contaminated. It's just something that happens. Mm. All right, I like this. I like it can't really do anything all with this because the campsite is still there let's see let's see all this is looking from buck's house we oh yeah that looks cute that looks nice what about over here that looks cute too and it doesn't look like it's gonna rain it does not look like it's gonna rain so i'm gonna water this and we gotta water all that wheat and then we're gonna go to tomorrow also before we go i think i'm gonna pick up an incline all right ba -ba 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 -ba. let's go let uh, figure out where they're gonna come up. They're definitely not coming up this way. This is this, this too suspicious. Okay, we'll come down this way. If you were a mad scientist, where would you put your secret incline? Like over here? Cause we can get up here. So if we had like this really suspicious trail, we could have it come up this way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, well, Lloyd, hey bud, I'm rich. I give you monies. 
Yay! All right, going in tomorrow. Okay, do 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 do. We're gonna have to move the campsite. Aw, Charlie, she crazy, she crazy. Lock some infrastructure, Tom. We're moving the campsite again, I made a mistake. Get and go, bye. Oh, Charlie says so cute. She's so happy, she's so innocent. She don't know what's going on. She don't know. I'm gonna put it right there. Not even gonna think about it. Probably gonna move it again, so I'm not I'm not too worried. Let's keep going, let's go. That other spot is probably cleared out now, so we can continue the terraforming back here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make it look a little bit natural on the back end. I don't want it to look too staged or, you know, we'll just fill this in. And then we just gotta fill in this square. Bop, 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 ba up, boop. And then I'm just gonna curve this stuff. And that's it. Perfect. It looks great. Oh wait, no it doesn't. That doesn't look, that doesn't look great. Now, now it looks great. Now it looks great. So we'll get up here. And we want to poison this water. So we're gonna curve it probably this way. Let's see. Oh, we could put a tree or something. Eh. Eh. No trees. Yeah. No trees. Oh, you know what? I just had a great idea. A fantastic idea. Okay, maybe it's not like a fantastic idea, but it's an idea. We could use the standees, the tree standees, and they'll be intentionally used, you know, as decoy trees by, uh, what's his face? I don't know what his name is now. Graham. So he, you know, built these uh, tree standees to fill in the forest so it wouldn't be so suspicious, I think, possibly. Uh, I can make them. And they're one by twos. So we could fit them in, in quite a few areas. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bring this down this way a little bit. There we go. See. <laughs> this goes down here, right? And there's a pond or something? Yeah, there's a pond here. So we're going to contaminate this pond too. Let's bring it up this way. Perfect. Doop, doop, doop. And this is going to look really pretty from like down there. But in reality, it's toxic, which is awesome. So I'm going to bring this river down this way. Get rid of this. We're going to have to get rid of that tree, though. I'm pretty sure. And an item that I would really like is some, like, glowing moss items. And then that brings me to another thought. I got some advice a while ago about doing Apio in Paradise to make things... Oh, come on. Hey. I was just gonna say to make things easier and we could expand our catalog and get a lot more items to decorate with and I really really like that idea. I like the idea of doing Happy Home Paradise, excuse me, and then we could collect Pokey. I'm not actually gonna design any of the houses. I'm just gonna go in, open boxes, and then say your house is done. Also we get glowing moss items if we go to the the Happy Home Paradise, which is great because those look pretty toxic and I wouldn't mind having those spread around. Also vines. Vines are really cool. I really like vines. I think that, I think that's a pretty good idea. I like all this is. I'm gonna check it out on the map. So yeah, where the campsite is right now, that's where the toxic waste stuff is gonna be happening. That connects to all of the rivers on the island. So everyone's gonna get contaminated. Okay. And yeah, we're not gonna access this area. I don't think this area is gonna be accessible. So I think I'm just gonna add a little runoff. Connect it up if I can. <laughs> I think I can. There we go. And I'll curve that off. Yeah, it looks nice. Let's see. We'll think about it. I, I'm not sure if we'll have access to this area over here, but I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller and just narrow this in. I like that. And then that's just like really nice waterfalls in the background. Yeah, you would never, you would never know. You would never know what's going on up there if you came up to Buck's place because the runoff's just there. And then, you know, we'll decorate that with like trees and stuff. All right, let's start moving houses. Let's get Graham and Charlize moved up. All these guys. And if you're wondering why Kyle's not uh, gonna get poisoned by the water or why he's not, see, they are best friends. I'm talking here though. Kyle is not gonna get poisoned by the water because Kyle is super bougie and he only drinks imported water from Italy. Uh, excuse me. Being able to rock a fab smile, major life skill, Andy. All right, check this out. Boom, smiles. 
can't see your face. Come on, Andy, smile with me. Smiling. Apnea's reactions are awesome. Let's go smile at people all day. Some folks find that unsettling. Okay. Kyle only drinks water that has been uh, imported from Italy. Natural spring water. Also, he only eats, you know, imported foods from France and Europe. You know, he's just too fancy. Too bougie. All right. Where are we going? Oh, wait. We need, we need a plot. My lord. My lord. My villagers. I love you guys. Go, go creep some people out there, Sprinkle. Creep them out. Ugh. Graham, don't tell anybody about your master plan. I don't want any of it, okay? Of course I do. Andy hasn't led me astray yet, indeed. That's right. Don't overplay it, though. People will get suspicious. Nothing weird happening here. Scout's on her. All right, let's go. Oh, so charming here. Too bad it's toxic. Too bad it's contaminated. What can you do? I keep going up that way. You know, that other way is really, really suspicious. You know, you can't get to it easily, which is perfect. I mean, you gotta come all the way over here. And then you gotta come all the way up. And then you gotta, you know, find your way through this area. And then come all the way up. And then what? And then we'll have toxic waste. <laughs> toxic waste. All right, so we're probably gonna want Graham kind of like back here so it looks like you know cute cottage country i guess maybe we should have put the ramp here right gosh why do i make decisions yeah maybe we should have put the ramp over here and then when you come up the ramp and then it's like oh look it, it it's just a cute little cottage and then you come down this way and it's like oh you know what i mean okay let's do that Okay, so if we have it like that, we can stick trees around, but I kind of want it over one. I'm gonna eat my peach. Ah. I'm gonna take this tree and stick it right there. Bop. And then we could have another one here. And bop. Okay. 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 I think that should work. Yeah, all the trees stay. Okay. There we go. Woohoo! And then we could terraform this up a little bit different. We can give Graham more space, right? But the idea is that we're hiding it. And then we're gonna have Charlize around here. And I guess we're gonna have to build a different incline. Yeah. Okay. Now that doesn't look great. I'll, I'll rethink it. I think I'm gonna build the incline later. I don't know how... Stella's orchard is gonna go. I think I want to figure that out first before I do any other changes so I, I don't get stuck with, you know, spending all that bells and changing my mind and all that stuff. I think that, yeah, we'll just move Charlie's. Check on my harvest. Yep, it's grown in. Okay, we're good. Let's, let's go to tomorrow. Let's go tomorrow. I don't know why I keep running. There we go. Woo! Do brr, 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 sprinkle. Sprinkle is so cute. Do do do. We're gonna go get halls. Hey, hey. Nah, -uh. thought bubbles are for Violet. All right, thank you. Oh dear, what? Oh dear, what? No, 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 no. no. Oh, CJ's here. Uh, yeah. Don't mind the water quality. Don't eat the fish either. Not a good idea. Oh, sorry, you're in the way, bud. Should Charlize move here? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Woo! -hoo. Nice. And then we can get like tree standees and stuff and like hide it up. Yeah. This is great. That's so awesome. Okay. All right. So what I think I'm gonna do now that everything is all you know sorted to be toxic. Should you be able to see Charlize's house from here? Not from here. You can see. Graham's house, but it just makes it look like cottage country from over here. Oh, I love this. Okay, so then we would have to figure out a ramp. Uh, I don't really want to fiddle with it too much right now. I want to figure out, you know, the entrance to Stella's place first, and I'm vaulting right next to a bridge. Okay. Now what I want to do is just get Apio and Paradise rolling, and I think that's it. I want to collect some moss or whatever and get that going. Let me check in here. Hey guys, what's up? Not much happening. Can you, can we make that toxic green? I don't know, but if we can, I'm buying it. There we go. Gotta unlock Arv's Island too. Yay. 
All right, let's go to the airport and get to work and open that dialogue and just do that. By the by, plane Andy, is this your first time flying in this particular skies? Uh, yeah. Yay, we're going to work. Okay, this is your captain. We're almost at our destination. All right. Hey, yeah, um, whatever you say, I'm not listening. Blah, 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 blah. I'm Nico. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, get in the way, Nico. Get out of the way. 30 day challenge. Move faster. Ugh. Beat ya. Hey, welcome. I've been waiting for you, Andy. Yeah, I thought I wasn't ever going to come here, but here I am. Thanks, Nico, for leading the way. Are you kidding me? I beat his butt here. I beat him. All right, let's do this. Let's do stuff. Yay. Yay, I don't know why we're clapping. Wordle, you're gonna be my best friend. I'm gonna buy so much from you. So much dialogue. So much. Ah! Okay, let's go get dressed. I'm ready. Let's go. Hey, I'm gonna do your house. You're gonna love it. I think doing the vacation homes is gonna be like the easiest part of this, but the dialogue. Oh man, the dialogue. Look at all that glowing moss. It just wants me to pick it. Okay, uh, stop talking. I want to open the boxes and tell you the house is ready. Ah, I don't need to know any of this. <laughs> I'm literally not going to do any of this. Ah. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the box. I'm going to open the box. And then I'm going to be like, okay, it's ready. Oh, goodness, you finished the job so quickly. You really are a true professional. Yep. Can't you tell? My first job is a huge success. Nice. How did it go? It went awesome. It went perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Just stop talking so I can do another one. <laughs> Oh yeah, Pokey. Very important. Oh, she's gonna tell me about Pokey now. No! I wish there was like, I know everything already button, you know? That would be okay. All right, yeah, so that's basically what I'm gonna do. Get a bunch of Pokey. I'm gonna just, th the plan is, th okay, sh stop, sh stop talking. I'm trying to tell people what my plan is. Okay, my plan is to skip all the dialogue, okay? Okay, step one, skip the dialogue. Step two, no. Uh oh, we're still on step one. Hold on. All right, step two. Step step two. Pick the first person we see on the beach and do it. Yeah, say yes. Repeat step one. There we go. I like her. She's a hot pod resident. Okay, I gotta tell people about step three. Hurry up. We're still on step one. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna pick a random island. No one cares. We're never coming back. And then I'll, I'll, we're just blah. Step three. Open the boxes. Step four. Tell them it's ready. We're on step one again. Take a photo. All right. Okay. It's ready. Oh my, that's so good. There's a photograph that I wouldn't be too embarrassed to show to others. Oh man. Yay. Okay. Oof. Yeah, step one is the worst part of it. It's the worst part of the steps. All right, before we keep going, I gotta take a picture of this cat's house. I'm glad you like it. Uh, step one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Woo. Oh, you need a tutorial. Don't need a tutorial. I can take a picture. There we go. I'm done. The photo gave a good sense of what you think is important to highlight in a vacation home. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thanks. All right. Step one over. Step two. Guy. Get him. Step one. Continue talking. Step. Th step three. Back. Back to step three. Open the boxes. There we go. Nice. Tell him it's ready. Step four, take a picture, then cancel out the video. <laughs> Tell them you gotta go. Tell them you can't stay. All right, you get the idea. And then we're gonna have to do all this dialogue stuff. But yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna do the whole DLC in uh, one day or one night. I'm gonna periodically do this, you know, break up the monotony of doing all the chores, watering and stuff. But, and then we'll hopefully earn a lot of pokey, get more items. You know, I think I, I'll do that later on tonight. So now I got I got some more stuff to do. And we're definitely going to be abusing Wordle for sure. That That's the plan. The plan is to run through and abuse Wordle, <laughs> even though he's the best. All right, as you know, as you know, I started doing Appium Paradise last night. And as you can see, I got super, super distracted. 
and uh, change some of the pathing around here to, uh, oh, hey, man, I'm trying to tell people what I did last night. Tired of using the same old reactions? Well, you're in luck. It's a random acting lesson time with your host, Kyle. Okay, so let's say you want to look self-satisfied, but in a charming movie star kind of way. Grease up those teeth and get ready to smile wide, just like this. Yay! Self-satisfied. You ain't seen nothing yet. That's right. That's right. You ain't seen nothing yet because I haven't even told you anything. All right, so I uh, redid some of the paths in here. It's in the exact same spot. I just made it the terracotta and some of the wood path in. Eh, you know, just just so the flowers would stop spawning because I was having an issue with the flowers spawning everywhere. I did end up doing some Apion Paradise and I got to the point where Nico gives you a DIY, right? And Okay, this is where it's getting exciting. I gotta find an open spot. Where is it? Right here. Okay. And Nico gave me the DIY to make this. Okay? And I got really excited. And then I needed more vines. So I said, hey, I'm gonna take a chance on a captain's tour. So I went on a captain's tour. And then I got the DIY to make that. Boom. Glowing moss ball. All right. So after that, I did, you know, the regular chores, watering my harvest and all that time traveling. I went back to HHP. Boom. They were selling that. Okay. Okay. I already had the DIY recipe to make the mum's cushion. Boom. Okay. And I had the DIY recipe to make this. Boom. Rose bed. Also, boom. I got the DIY recipe to do this a long time ago. A while ago, actually. Okay. Arr. And then we already knew how to do this from setting up the plots. See where I'm going with this. Do you see the master plan? Ah? Huh? Ah? Huh? Right? We're smirking now. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks for that reaction. Perfect reaction. You ain't seen nothing yet. So right now on the island, we got a little bit of a problem. And uh, there, the waterways are being contaminated, which is making our villagers glow bright colors like, like Charlize here. She's actually part of the, the contamination problem. She don't know. She's being mind controlled by Graham, who is like doing research and, and experiments on the island here, okay? So I was thinking, not only, not only is the contaminated water turning our villagers bright colors, but it's also making the vegetation grow really big and large. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. I don't know, <laughs> I'm excited about that. I don't know if you're excited about it. I'm excited about it. Also, I have the DIY recipe for the shell table. Boom shell table and that's like a gargantuan shell so you know there's the runoff that goes to the ocean oh and it's not there where is it it's over here there's the runoffs that go to the ocean over here which could possibly be affecting the coastline and some of the shell animals and, and shells and stuff that are uh hopping off the coastline now this is the only shell di re recipe that i have other than the the shell arch but i think the the shell arch looks a little too man-made to be like a you know disaster of a giant gantuan thing all right <laughs> <laughs> let's do this so we I, I and i finally kind of figured out what i want to do with sprinkle i think i just want to move her up here and then she'll have like a beachfront property because that shell table comes in quite a few colors and one of them is kind of like a turquoisey something color this bed comes in a few colors i think it comes in purple and black I think that comes in a few colors that doesn't the glowing moss comes in like so many colors like yellow pink blue it's great the peach i think comes in peach and yellow and this one i think comes in white and red so we got a couple of color options so we can like still stick to our little color coordinated theme that we got going on a couple couple more options to get this uh island going and oh yeah i got i gotta pop dad's off flowers now <laughs> so i can make those things uh, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, we're gonna get as many as we can. All right, options. Let's go. Whoa. Hey guys. So you go to the Nook Shop in. There is a promotion tab with all these Mario thingamabobbers. So we got this kind of mushroom, right? Which is pretty cool. We got these mushrooms. We got this glowing shell. We got the pipe. Maybe we could put pipes around the riverway. We got this big mushroom. We got this like very animated flower 
that looks like it might spawn from some contaminated water. We could use these. I'm gonna place a couple orders for as much as I can here. I'm gonna get the fire flower. You can see all those look. Also, we could travel to November and get mushroom DIYs. And October has the spooky set, which the pumpkins are a bit bigger. I might grind that out later. We'll see. But I do think we should get the spooky items. Hey, Tom. We're just gonna move Sprinkle and we're gonna put her down by the beach area because she's a penguin. Penguins love the water. Also, this area is very close to the Nook's Cranny and the Able Sisters. Over here it is. Okay, <laughs> not so close. We need to leave some room for fencing and trees and flowers and stuff. Yeah. I'm cool with this. Okay. Woohoo! And then she's gonna have this huge area with like shells and, and, and things and stuff and more stuff. I'm gonna move Miles. Miles doesn't belong there. I'm thinking maybe we could move Miles somewhere in the city as well because we have this spot where the Able Sisters are and I could put Miles in this area maybe to the side over here or on this side where all these flowers are we have a flower problem we have a bit of a flower problem we could move it up this way and i'm also thinking that we take buck because this is pretty small and we move them um, over to this area over here over here and then he could have like a true ranch and as you can see i planted some peaches and some apple trees so we can start working on stella's orchard and stella's thinking i don't like that no you're not going anywhere girl so at the very least let's move buck as well Whoop. Ba -ba 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 -ba. all right yay sprinkle this is gonna be cute yay sprinkle okay ba -ba -ba. let's move buck gotta move buck yep Pick the heads off these flowers too. Mm. My flower heads. Mine. Okay. Whoop. You can get Buck's house. All right. I got your house, Buck. I got your house, Buck. How you doing? Sup, Andy? You're looking pump, partner. I'm so excited. I'm not telling you though. I don't want. I don't want you to know what's going on. <laughs> what's up? Love the sunny weather we've been having lately, partner. It helps you work up a good sweat. Yeah. I'm running around crazy. Oh, wasn't Violet just here? What? Okay. Oh no, there she is. Hey girl. Well, well, Andy, long time no chat. We are on speaking terms, aren't we? I've, I've only talked to you once when you moved in. I'm sorry. I feared something was amiss between us, but I'm pleased to see I was wrong. It's good to talk again. I don't even know her catchphrase. What's your catchphrase? Oh my, what is it, sweetie? What's up? You're looking like a coiled spring in your jumper work suit. I'm gonna take that as a compliment, Violet. I've always said, ask anyone. That one's clothing ought to serve as a manifestation of one's inner being. This is my safety outfit because I'm I'm dealing with stuff. What? In your case, it is as if you made your own inner fire into an outfit and now you wear it for all to see. What? What's your catchphrase? Do you need something, sweetie? Oh, it's sweetie. Okay, just saying I. Sorry. Of course, of course. Until next time, sweetie. Okay. It's sweetie. Her catchphrase is so normal. Okay, okay. That was confusing. I got confuzzled. I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna move Buck up here. Not like all the way up. Maybe, maybe I should take one of these trees out. I just take this. Eat a peach. Om nom nom. Let's keep that up. All right, what, what is right here? What's right here? Nothing, right? Just water and stuff? We'll go. Yeah, that's just water. It's just water and stuff. Okay, uh, I'm thinking right here might be nice should i move buck here yeah woohoo i want to do stills orchard but i'm gonna work on that when we go into november so we can pop balloons and stuff oh hey broccolo oh yeah you showing me how you can run you showing me how you can run you're good he's good he's a good guy good guy all right now violet the question of violet no violet i'm not a fan of violet okay are you crafting are you crafting hello nope look how weird his house is though like what are you even doing in here what are you doing okay bye it's being weird it's a weirdo okay we're the same violet's kind of a weirdo right like i don't know i i don't know maybe it's she's a gorilla I, she's got like 
jewels all over her head. I don't know what it is. You know, actually, those aren't good reasons. I have no idea what it is, but I am super, super afraid that if she moves out and we have a plot to autofill that it won't autofill. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just gonna move her to where Buck was because gorillas are kind of like mountain, I guess there's mountain gorillas and maybe she's a mountain gorilla. So we could have her up here in this area, like right here. I think that would be nice, maybe. And then we'll figure out, you know, some other stuff for her. Maybe, okay, all right, let's go. Ooh. Okay, let's go get Violet. And uh, again, I have no idea where I put my house. Oh my gosh. All right, wait, no, ooh. Uh, get out of here, Kyle, you're so weird. Ooh, kicks his ear wrestling shoes. That might be good for my uh, protective costume that I'm wearing right now. I gotta protect myself from the contaminated waters. Uh, Zengo. And I'm currently wearing flip-flops with socks, so that's not great. There we go. Perfect. Feel safe. Okay, let's go get Violet. All right, I got Violet. Oh, hey, Eloise. How you doing? Well, hello. I take it you're done giving me the silent treatment. Oops. She's not only fierce with her farts, she is fierce with her attitude. What was I supposed to think, my dear? I see you running away at the island and not a word of a low. You know, it's okay to drop by and say hi without any particular reason. I'm always happy to chat with you. Hey, right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you gonna get met? Oh, they're neighbors. They love each other. Yay. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna talk to Vladimir. He's gonna give me a stink. He's gonna give me a super stink. He's gonna be like, oh my God, you leaving me alone with these crazy people. Yeah, this seems like a good spot. Okay, yay. All right, nice. All these little flowers blooming everywhere. Oh, we got an orange one up there. That's a black one. Oh, black one. Maybe I'll take that for Kyle. Do, 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 I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time in my brain. I'm just like imagining all the craziness, all the vines everywhere. Oh, look, another. Is that a black rose? How does that even happen? I don't know. I'm gonna take it. Cars, please. Pop, pop. Cute. Love it. Love it. Okay, bye. Maybe I should make a garden for him. Not today. Not, not today. We're doing other things. Last thing to do would be to move my house. Yeah, I don't know where to put it. I have no idea. Maybe I should put it in that perk. To the side? No. To this side? Maybe. Right here. Alright. Uh, Kyle can't live all by himself in the city, can he now? No, he can't. No, he can't. Got a good old rainy day here on the island. Aww. He's so grumpy and wet. You like that? You like that flower? You like it? Huh? Hey! It's already raining! What are you doing? Causing a ruckus. Causing a ruckus. Okay, uh, got my house. Uh, I am not positive that this, this is gonna be a permanent location, but you know what? Like, what can you do, right? Yeah, I think that's okay. Yep. Woohoo! All right, let's go to November and uh, hang out there until we get some nice uh, mushroom DIYs. Oh, it's all brown. Aye. Oh, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, right. Oh, gosh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so for the final dream address, we're, we're definitely not going to be in a fall season because it's just too drab. And I really like that bright, bright green that May has to offer. Maybe we'll go into June, but we'll stay around that season. Hey, bud. Oh, it's Andy. I can't believe you're back. Uh-oh, what have you done? What have you done, Graham? I didn't know what to do with myself while you were gone. Is that why you're contaminating the waters out of boredom? Huh? I took up learning new stuff, and for a while there, I was the very best on Odd Podge. What did you learn? Ah, but then learning new stuff fell out of fashion. Everyone stopped doing it. So you poison in them. Boy, did I waste a lot of time. Anyways, welcome back. All right. Vicious hamster. Vicious. Let's go. Let's go up here. I want to start working on over here. Oh, wait, no. Over here. Right up here. Where Stella's place is because we need to figure out where the ramp is going to go up this way. And I'm thinking that tree is in the way. So I'm just going to chop her down. 
There we go. And then we got a serious flower problem, which I'm not dealing with today. I don't think I'm dealing with it today. Come down this way. Now, Stella has like a pink and purple house. So obviously we're gonna give her like pink and purple flowers, which we have abundance of. So maybe we'll just clean up this. There we go. And then one last one to go. Come with me. Bop, ew, bop, ew, bop. All right, let's start up some construction. I think I'm gonna start by filling in this pond because it's not being contaminated, right? That's not what we're doing here. We're contaminating the place. So we're gonna fill in this pond. I think I'm gonna change the shape up there just a little bit so we can figure out where the ramp is going. We do have a ramp on the other side, but eh. I haven't removed it yet, but eh, I don't know if I will. I'm gonna build it up behind our house just a little bit here. Bop, boop. How'd you get up there so fast, Graham? Bah, mm. He's always got to oversee his master plans. His evil master plans. See what happens when hamsters get bored? They take over the world. Mm -hmm. They're done being experimented on. I was thinking of making a little cliff where Graham is standing there, but you know, he's standing there, so. Huh. Well, I just leave him there. Mm. Curve that in and that. And I'll build this up. Boop. Because we're going to have the ramp. Maybe right there? It looks all right. I do have the incline in my pocket. Huh. No. I think it's because this is too flat. You know, like so? Okay, we'll think about it. We'll think about that. Soul's gonna have like a little garden. I kind of want to push this in just a little bit to extend her patio area. It would be really nice if she had a patio area. So I'm just gonna mm, uh, and curve that off. The water gets a little thin, so I'm gonna mm, mm, just gonna get rid of this whole thing, get rid of this, and then I'm not sure if we'll have some more waterfalls for Buck. We could, but. I don't want to worry about that too much right now. What I want to do is kind of get some sort of orchard going so we can figure out that ramp. Maybe a little garden for right here with some purple flowers and stuff. I think that's cute. She could just have like a lot of different little garden areas. There we go. And then we're coming out this way. So let me grab some peach trees from old Buck's area. But Buck's not going to want peach trees. Nom 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 nom. Eating peaches. Scooping up peach trees. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Weep. And whoop. Go back up to Stella's orchard. One right there. Boop. Boop. And boop. And then we could probably have one right there. Boop. And then this would be like a little secret path. So I'm just gonna do like one of those circle things. So you, yeah, you can see that. And then it'll come up this way. Boop. 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 We'll get a separate kind of stone path in between. Oh, like that to this way. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Done skis. And that's the way to Graham's house. And then I'm gonna have more of this path come down this way. And then of course over here as well. And that'll lead up to Stella's place. This is gonna look a lot different in the summer. This is gonna look way cool in the summer. Just paste a little bit path. Okay, that's not great. That's not a great path. Uh, maybe the wooden path? Yeah, that could work. Or something else might work better. But I do like the idea of having a deck that probably extends out to at least the waterfall. So she can have like a little nice cup of tea or something near the waterfall. I think that would be super cute. Bop, 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 bop. Cute. And extend the little garden down this way. Cute. I like it. Now I don't have much, but I do have this little garden table on this chair. I think this, this is gonna work out. I think this is gonna work out just fine. <laughs> I would probably want the path to come like this and then swoop this way. So you'd be like, swoop. Thinking probably a tree right here to block the way. Boop, yep, that's cute. Oh, balloon, mushroom DIYs. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Oh, wait. Mm. What the? 30,000 bells. All oh, right, not bad, not bad. 
Okay, I take. I'm not sure if we should have apple trees up here either. If we could. Well, let's figure out the path first. Gonna do a little square and then round it off. Come up this way and it'll continue over this way. And we'll continue because this is cottage country, right? Like there's no real path in. I'll round them off in a second. I just want to see how it's going to come up this way. So we go ba 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 and then I think we would turn like that and then over. And so we'll probably have little markers in between. Now there's tricks to curve these as well, but that's that, that's a lot. So I'm just going to leave that for now. It's a very natural orchard that's going on. There's not going to be like rows or, or structure. Oh, hey bug. I'm just collecting peaches here. You want more reactions? You got it. Oh, okay. Check this out. What? Use that if you ever see me get beat at arm wrestling, because of course you'd be shocked if that happened. Ah, uh, that's not gonna happen. Don't worry about it. Woohoo! Wah! Oh, scoop up a couple more of these. I might want to stick an apple tree in there. I don't think that apples come in any kind of, I don't know, weird thing. I'm pretty sure they don't. I think there's like an apple chair and an apple TV, I think. Maybe I could put one there. Let's just see. Yeah, let's have some apple trees up on this area. Put a peach tree right there. Boop. Eom, bop, bop. It's mostly going to be peaches though. Cute little natural orchard. And that comes up. Possibly another one right there. Bop. Can I put one there? I, I always try though. I don't know why. Boop. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see how many of those peach items I can make. I got one. I, I left it all the way over here. Uh, got this one. I can make that purple. All right. I can make five peach things. We'll be able to make more. We have a whole peach orchard now. All right. We're good. I'm going to make the bed purple. I'm in my glowing moss stool. It comes in pink. I'm gonna do a couple of pink ones and then we'll see how those look. And I want to scoop up some of the flowers that we have over here. I'm thinking that natural accents of white might be good. I like the, the purple flowers are probably gonna be exclusive to Stella. Okay, purple. Thank you. Get the roses in purple and pink. Get some mums. I'm, I'm not going to take that toxic pink. I might take this white rose though. Okay. No. Okay. 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 Fine. Ah. Let's go. Woo. Ooh, someone's in the campsite. Want a last item. Nah, we're busy. Sorry. I don't want to just like drop that. This is like weird stuff happening. Like glowing moss stuff. I'll have like a giant peach that dropped on the ground right there this is gonna look so much better when everything's like bright green and crazy looking and we can make so many more peach surprise boxes yeah there's just be dozens so it like fell off the tree and it's like oh my gosh what is that i'm gonna take the glowing moss actually put it by the river because that's where the toxins are coming from the river Boop. yeah cute okay i mean it's cute it's weird but it's cute Boop. Oh, that one's green. Okay, yeah, we can mix some green into it. It's okay. Oh, oh, that one's green too. Huh, I thought I colored all of them. I guess I didn't. Oop. Oh, I don't I don't have any more stools. Okay, I'm gonna have to make more stools. We're gonna have those glowing moss stools like a lot of different places. I got another peach surprise. And then I kind of want to break up the pink with the neutral colors. I got some mum stools with white in them. And by mum stools, I mean uh, mum cushions. Yeah, just to like break up the green and the pink. We'll have like neutral colors. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and plant these purple mums. A pink mum. We'll go back and get some more. And I'll get the white mum there. Purple roses. Pink roses. And I want to get the rose bed in. Because that's like, whoa, that rose bed just, like that rose is crazy. I'm going to extend the garden out just a little bit. And bop. I think maybe I'll try another rose bed over here. Now I am thinking that having that rose <laughs> in the garden there, maybe having more of a natural garden. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll fine tune stuff as we go. But I do like the look of this rose bed. And I'm going to put another mum. You can't really see it, but there it is. Mm, it's cute. We gotta, I gotta pop that off a lot more flowers and collect a lot more glowing moss. 
but this is cool. There we go. Made the garden a little bit smaller. Let's stick that rose bed back. But I'm gonna pull it out so it's not in the garden. It's cute. And then these flowers will duplicate and stuff. And this is gonna be a lot brighter. A lot brighter. Okay. Let me just go get some more flowers. Wee. Yeah, and then the whole island is just gonna have like giant stuff. It's gonna be cool. I'll put the white one there and finish this garden off like so. And Stella's been home the whole time. <laughs> Let's go see how she's doing. Hey, Stella. It's been what? Five months, maybe? You seem different. I think a little more grown up. Yeah, I'm way more mature now. I don't feel like I've changed at all. Aw, that's okay. You're perfect the way you are, Stella's. Bye. Aw, she's so cute. And she deserves such a cute little girl, and it's gonna be good. Uh, woohoo! I'm excited. I'm super excited. It's going. It's getting there. It's getting there. And it's gonna be so green. It's gonna be so, so green. And then we'll have to go to October and get some big, big pumpkins for Buck. Big pumpkins for Buck. So I'm gonna grab this and that, and we'll just stick it over there because that's probably the more finished of the area. I'm not gonna do the Cosmo, I don't think. I think that's gonna be a Vladimir item, a specific item. I'm gonna stick big flower right there. We're gonna have these, you know, big items, like the giant vine in a lot of places, right? Oh yeah, okay. All right, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna skip back to May so we can kind of see the like the real direction that we're going for, actually see what we're doing, and then we'll keep it in November. See how great it is and how bright it is. I'm gonna try and find the perfect, bright, perfectly sunny, clear skies kind of day for this and the most toxic green I could possibly get. But yeah, th this is kind of what we're going for. I will find that day. I will find that day. But it looks so much better when the grass is green and the trees are green and everything is green. I would love like a perfectly sunny day, like the brightest, bright, sunny day without the clouds going. But you know, uh, I'll find it. I'll find it. Just not right now. <laughs> Okay, yay, giant flowers and peaches and glowing moss and giant vines and just contaminated growth and woo! Yeah, it's gonna be so great. All right, so today, this is my attempt into blending in with the locals. Hopefully uh, they don't notice anything suspicious because I am not suspicious. Oh, oh yeah. All right, so today I wanna start placing some of the stuff that we got from the Nick shopping. Why not? A bottle of it, right? Mom sent us stuff. Oh, mom. We'll check it after. Sorry, mom. Love you, mom. I don't know if all this is gonna fit in my pocket. Uh-oh. Okay, it didn't all fit in, but we got quite a bit, so that's all right. What I want to do is figure out all of this, and yeah, I went back to the summertime because I figured decorating for this island, we should probably be in the season that we're going to finish with. I'll work on getting mushroom DIYs. No, I haven't gotten any yet, but you know, you know. I did get some more peach thingies. I put them around. This area is pretty much the same, but... I do want to add some fencing around here. Also, you might have noticed I did like the most minimal terraforming over here because I feel like Broccolo's firm should feel a little bit separate from the orchard. I'm I'm not sure what we're going to do or how we're going to decorate that, but I got to fence it. And bah, I colored it purple. And I think this purple is so dark and so contrasty. I think it's the perfect fence. I don't know if we can put one there. Nope. I'm just gonna try to scatter it around just a little bit to get those dark purple tones into this orchard, but still trying to make it look a little bit natural. Maybe put one there. I could put two. I don't really know <laughs> what the purpose of the fencing is other than bringing purple tones in, but I do like it. I think I want to line the back. Oh, it matches the roof perfectly. Bop. Mm, yeah. Purple fencing. Woohoo! Also got the, the wooden fence in. I have it in white, 
I thought that maybe we could break it up, make it not look, you know, super, super purple because we don't want to take away from the roses. And then this is the way to Graham's super secret science layer. I don't know if we would block it off. Mm, maybe just a little bit. I'll put some over here. Yeah, it just pops. All right, so the story on Odd Podge is that Graham, who lives up here, is dumping an experimental toxin and contaminant into the waterways, which is turning all of the animals bright colors. And he's kind of creating this experiment and he's got Charlize mind controlled into helping him do this experiment. So what I want to do is kind of like create a a way of how these toxins are, are making it through the waterways and how they're kind of like being really sneaky about it. I got these pipes, obviously, from the Nook Knowledge program, and I thought that that would be how they're getting around. They're like dumping things in those pipes and then it's getting around. So if we add one there, we could probably get one over here and that would be contaminating this area. Now, I don't want them to be like super obvious in your face, but I do want them to be around. So if we go up, that's how they're getting to this area. There you go. So that's one way from the top. And we could also get over here. Bop. Yep. And then, hmm. well, I guess we would have that back up, wouldn't we? Would we have all the pipes up to the contamination source? Possibly. So we could have another pipe by Charlize's place. Bop. And then we, I accidentally ordered an odd number of pipes. So I'm thinking this is a nice waterway that we could contaminate over here. Or we could have it over here. Huh. I'm going to jump across. Can I jump? Ooh. Bop. Is that an off tile? I think that's an off tile. Okay, hold it. Bop. All right, there we go. And then we can get, I don't know some sort of flower or something around that way. And I also have the one-up mushrooms. And I'm wondering if those could be customized. Nothing suspicious happening here. Just doing some contaminating. One-up mushroom cannot be. Those might have to be recolored by Cyrus, possibly. I saw that you could recolor them, so I'm not really sure. All right, but I do want those around to make the place look, you know, a little suspicious. I'm gonna try to put that there and then turn it around. Yep, that does look kind of toxic. I like it. Okay, I'll put the one up mushroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Do, do, do. I'm gonna have to order a lot more of these because I feel like these are gonna be a better bet than waiting on some of the other things. Put one over here. Like that. Mm-hmm. Up. <laughs> they have eyes. Oh no. <laughs> hey, let, let's check out the fire flower. I'm gonna place that down. So it does move. What if we turn it around? Hmm. And then I am working on the Happy Home Paradise and I have cataloged the oil barrel, which I'm really excited about, but I still have to unlock actually being able to access the catalog. That might be a little bit of a feat. I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. How big is the small mushroom platform? Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Come down this way. Jump over. Bop. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I'm going to come down and see like what this looks like from down here. Yeah, it's not too suspicious from down here. So that's good. I want to see what colors the large mushroom platform comes in. Blue and green. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm going to try blue. Do, do, do. Over here, down this way. This is Broccolo's little wheat firm and his color is blue. So I would like to maybe have those kind of blue tones around here and place that down. Now that is big. Wow, that's big. Okay. I would like to also be able to put a tree. Yeah, I could put a tree right there. Oh, here. Nope. There. Nope. Yeah. I want to put a tree. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Okay. Probably put one 
up over here as well. Right there. And push it in. No. I also want a tree up here too. I want one right there. Okay, we could put a tree there. And right there. Okay. Yep. I think that's cool. Now, I guess we could get some mushrooms in this area. Though this area is pretty, you know... It's pretty full up and I like it and I want like flowers and more peaches and things but I still want there to be flow so maybe one mushroom and I'll do that in pink. Woohoo! I think I'll stick it right there. Yeah that's nice. Okay now be oh before we go that lattice fencing comes in blue. There it is. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Woohoo! I, wa I was thinking about putting some up here. But if that mushroom is going to be difficult, I think we could possibly stick some just right here and get some more blue tones in this area. Yeah, okay. Another thing that I picked up are these moss balls. And I want to decorate a little bit with that in like more of less suspicious areas, I suppose. Like in this, this area. Get them like little little gross. Of course I want to get some more glowing moss not only so I can make you know add glowing moss to our build but also so I can make more of these because those come in blue and pink and red and oh, a lot I can't remember all the colors but a lot of colors. Pick that up for a second. I would like to get rid of some of this stuff. I'll put a moss ball right there. I think I'll just put that one up mushroom right here. We could get a small mushroom platform in as well. Oh, I'm not sure if we can put a tree here. Might be nice if we could. Just gonna eat this up. Nom nom nom. Ducky ducky ducky. I haven't seen any of my villagers. I think they're leaving me alone. We're gonna try and put that tree right there. And we can. That's so awesome. And that's a little staged area. I definitely don't want the fire flowers to be in like the main area. I kind of want them to be in the more very toxic area where the toxins are really, really getting to it because, you know, they have faces. Yep. And go boop. There, you live here now. Isn't that nice? I think it's nice. So I was thinking we should probably, we could probably keep this ramp. Whoa, a balloon. Is it gonna disappear? Nope. Got it. 5,000 bells. Not bad. Get this out for a second. I have the safety barrier. I also have the exam examination room thing. Oh, and this. Stylish spotlight. We know that the spotlight is pretty much a spotlight, right? Ooh, eight. But it kind of looks like a security camera. I'm gonna place it right there. Kind of right a little bit if we turn it off yeah if we turn it off it really looks like a security camera and then maybe order a couple more of those as well and get the examination thing and put that by Graham because Graham's the one with the experiment he's experimenting with people okay he's he's not exactly the a good guy you know like there and then you can like see all the stuff that he's working on. And I can't wait to get those oil barrels in this build. It's gonna be so awesome. Fire flower over here. Boop. And we're definitely going to want to clear out these flowers because we're not having flowers up here, right? Like things aren't normal. Things are not okay. If anything, we're gonna have weeds maybe and glowing moss, mostly glowing moss. Yep. I also made the tree standees Oh, okay. We're not clearing all those out, I guess. Look at the mushrooms. These are red. Oh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna fit them around because I'm running out of storage too. I can't, I can't be fitting all this stuff in my storage. <laughs> I'm gonna make that large one green. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Let's go. Boop. Yep. All right. I think I'm just gonna get rid of the rest of these items before I get anything else going. So I'm gonna come around this way. Pop a couple mushrooms in this forest here. I also have bushes that we can plant. I think we might do that a little later when we have a, a little bit more stuff. But I'll plant like a lily and a yellow lily over here to hide that thing. Maybe we'll put a bush later on. Eh? 
maybe. I just don't want to block myself if I change my mind, you know? Come down this way. Jump over this way. Put a moss ball. Boop, 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 boop. A box plate. I haven't seen anybody. Where is everybody? I don't know. I guess they don't like me. They don't like the fact that I'm blending in. Feel like they're getting suspicious. I'll put one there. Boop. A uh, little gross. Boop. Ew. Boop. They're like little riverside things, I guess. Oh, oh, we found one. She's not interested. She doesn't like us. This area, I'm not sure what yet. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna jump back over on this side. I think you could put stuff on top of these things, can't you? Boop. Yep. All right. Well, we'll change it if we don't like it. Actually, you know what? Hey. Hey. Oh, Andy, there you are. We haven't chatted in forever, darling. I know. You always look so busy running around. I appreciate you stopping to say hello. She's kind of nice, actually. Yeah, kind of nice. Get back around, because I want to get those tree standees going for the secret layer. So the idea is that trees don't really grow up there because it's like way too scientific. There's too much science. Too much science going on. So we're going to skip these up. And Graham is kind of yellow. He's yellow and green. So I don't know if we should keep some of these yellow flowers around. We do need to clean up the flowers. We got a serious flower problem going on. Eh. And this isn't even the problem. This is regular flower growth right here. Maybe I'll just pick them up and we'll drop them off by our actual flower problem and deal with that some other time because I don't know. Okay, let's go. This is our actual flower problem right here. Yep. Yep. So, boop. This might not be wise. What I'm doing right now might not be wise. Maybe I probably should have sold them, but I did it already. Okay, let's go. We're gonna make it look suspicious because I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't make the rules. Do, 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 do. So I don't know if we should have a couple of trees by Graham's house, but definitely no trees by Charlize. So I'm gonna... Um, nom, 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 nom. No tree. We're gonna put tree standees. Oh, there's more flowers. We're oh just glowing moss up here. Just toxic. We're gonna have toxic waste. It's not suspicious. You're not suspicious. I'm not suspicious. You are. Pick this up and pick that up. Ba -ba. Okay, I'm just gonna de-weed the place. This this is not good place for organic material unless it's been severely altered by scientific experiments. All right, and we're gonna try and place them. These are two by one, so it should fit back here. Yeah. The idea is that this whole forest here is a farce. Graham just wants it to look like it's a forest and he's hiding his experiments from everybody. Oh, and then push it up all the way to the front. Yeah, that'll block it off. That's nice. Can't put anything on top of this cliff, but it does hide things. And we're gonna have like toxic barrels and all that hiding in the, oh, that's not a tree. There, okay, yeah. And there's gonna be toxic barrels around hiding within the midst of all these fake trees. And it's gonna be awesome. Nothing suspicious. Nothing suspicious happening around here. And you don't even worry. Just don't even worry about it. Those are normal trees, okay? Bah, boop. A. I think I turn it. Oh, there we go. We don't want people actually coming up here, you know. Oh, there we go. Does that look like a cottage that's pretending to be a cottage, but it's not really cottage? I hope it does, because that's the plan. Boop. That in. This is great. Okay. I go. Boop. Turn it. You can't push it in. Why not? Oh, like that. Oh, that mushroom is huge, eh? Mm. Okay. Well, I'll take that. And let's go plant some of these cedars elsewhere. I guess I could put one there. I'm gonna go bop, come down this way and put a cedar right there. And I think I'm gonna put one up this side. Oh, perfect. Actually, now that I look at it, I don't love that cedar there. It blocks too much of her beautiful orchard. Yeah, if you were gonna come down this, yeah, it, it's a total blocker. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna put that. There you go. Boop. This is so ridiculous. Oh, this is good. Push it in. Oh yeah, that's blocking. It's blocking stuff. Blocking all the suspiciousness. I'll come up this way. Brush that away. And we'll have a bit of a block over here. Nom 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 nom. Get up. Boop boop boop. 
we could push it in one more. No, let's kind of go. Ah, so good. Okay, I'm gonna get another one on this. Oh, I did not mean to pick you up, flower. Oh, it's okay. You live here. You can live here. It's okay. Push you over a little bit, though. There we go. Boop. Oh, yeah. And boop. Hey. Go boop. Boop. There we go. That's right. Follow the rules, buddy. There. Look at this. This is fake. <laughs> this is lies. Lies and deceit. Aha. I love it. Now, does this really not go any further back? Because of this mushroom? This mushroom is intolerable. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. Hold on. I'll push this. Boop. Can you put stuff on the big mushroom? Not protein shakers. Bop. Oh, you can. Okay, that's something to think of. Well, I'm gonna put the protein shakers over here. Oop, it's a little toxic toxicness. Okay, it's not super toxic, but we'll have barrels. We'll have toxic waste. It's gonna be awesome. All right. I like this. Now, I do kind of want like a fence barrier or some sort of barrier or something, but I'm not sure exactly what to put here just yet. But we'll figure it out. We will. I'm gonna come back around this way. Because I got the grass dandies as well. Okay, pockets are full. Up. I'm just gonna place these around to add to the mad scientist thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe these ferns are growing a bit better because they're off on the side, but grass, like tall grass won't grow or... I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to explain it yet. <laughs> Boop. And these are all gonna be like item barrels and things. Oh yeah. I'm excited. Boop. We might need to make more standees. <laughs> Possibly. Probably. We're probably gonna need to make more standees. But this is a pretty good concept so far, I think. Get out of your flower. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, and then the last thing I want to do. Last thing I want to do. Sorry, excuse me. It's kind of set up sprinkle a little bit. I think that the lattice fencing comes in a nice turquoisey tealy color and that's definitely sprinkle oh poor buck poor buck he's got nothing he's got apples he used to have a farm now he's got apples where's sprinkle sprinkle is right here so this lot yeah this lot is fencing just the regular not the large comes in this teal maybe the large comes in teal too i'm not exactly sure pick that up and I definitely want Sprinkle's area to be very teal. And I think that the glowing moss actually comes in teal as well. So that's cool. Not the glowing moss itself, but the glowing moss balls. And by balls, I mean stool. Yeah, the glowing moss stool. I ran out of fencing already. Okay. I'll just craft that really quick. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. Make it blue. It is nice and blue. Yeah, sprinkles is a different kind of blue though. I'm not sure what kind of things is gonna go on on our property line, but that seems good to me. And then I want to separate her yard a little bit from the public area, because she is gonna have a private beach too, so don't worry about that. We're not worried. I go like that. I'll do maybe like that, maybe like so. Should we have it right there? And uh, so. In that so just to, th this sprinkles place get out of here you know what I mean okay and I want to try making this these are really cool I I'm gonna make a bunch well I could probably make some more but that this is good for now okay this in a different color oh that's cool so yeah it comes in pink and yellow and purple and pearl and I think that pearl is kind of a sprinkles color maybe we'll get that on the beach maybe I think that's really cute and then we could have an, a white one and the the beach is just has these huge shells on them so I'll get white and yellow then I'm gonna come down the beach so we can't get down the beach this way there I don't know if can you build a bridge on the beach no probably not I don't even know why I'm thinking that nope no, don't even try it, Andy. You're wasting your time. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Eloise is yellow, and I did end up making, and by making, I mean placing palm trees. Look how cool that is. Yes. I'm gonna shake the palm trees and plant more palm trees around the beach as well. 
put that down. And that's pink. That's pink. It goes with Vladimir's stuff. Yeah, so I can make like, a, I probably can make a bunch more of these. Get like some color coordination going on with the beach. I do have to finish Abbey on Paradise. I do need to get those toxic barrels. I think I need to order more pipes because that's how everything is getting through. It's a process. It's a process. I mean, we're on what? Day 11? We're nearing the halfway point, but we got a plan and the plan is kind of coming together. You know, I, I'm, I'm th at this point, I feel pretty good. Everything's looking up. Hey, hey, Stahl, what's up? How's your day going? Bada bing. It's great. What's up? I'm glad for the weather like this. That's perfect for air drying my laundry. Oh, maybe she get a little laundry thing. She's so cute. So cute. Yeah, my villagers haven't been very chatty today. Usually they're running up to me all day and they don't recognize me. They don't recognize it. It's okay. I'm going to get this Cosmo shower up that way. Put it by Vladimir's house. And I also ordered a bunch of the parasols. Like these ones. Like giant flowers. We can start placing those places as well. I don't know what to do with the thing. I'll just place it there. There we go. Big giant flower that you can't see. It's right there. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. This is awesome. And I'll work on ordering more stuff stuff so we can just go boom 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 and start decorating boom 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 decorations figure it out right guys right you know i need benches i still don't have any benches <laughs> but i am i'm pretty stoked with this whole thing and i love this pipe idea i think it's cool i'll get more pipes don't worry i love this orchard too i gotta get more peaches i gotta more orchards i gotta detail this place we're just gonna start collecting stuff we're gonna start buying all this stuff from the happy home paradise check this out you come out stella's way right it's from stella's way you look up nothing nothing suspicious nothing weird it just kind of looks like a forest from here right nothing's going on then you come up here and you're like oh yeah yeah it's just it's just cottage country and then you come over here and you're like oh get okay then. what nothing suspicious happening here huh i like it Woo! So last night I did some time traveling. I made quite a bit of progress in HHP. I finally unlocked Wordle's catalog service, which is awesome. And I went ahead and unlocked a couple of vendors on Arv's Island. I unlocked Tortimer, I, I think his name, yeah. Tornimer, Reese and Cyrus, and Leaf, and that's it. That's all I'm going to unlock on Arv's Island. So I did make quite a bit of progress in the sense of getting the island going and not having to worry about grinding those things out anymore, but I didn't make a lot of progress on the actual island. I did travel to October to try and get some spooky items. I got a couple. I didn't really get the ones that I want. I got the spooky chair, which is pretty good. I didn't, I don't want to use this item. I don't want to use this item. Probably not this item. I'm not sure. I want the spooky tower and the spooky table and the spooky carriage. So I'll continue working on that. But the cool thing about traveling in October is that the Able Sisters has awesome costumes. And I think my disguise is coming along quite well. I think I'll look pretty good. Pretty good. But I am getting pretty tired of this starter air. Hey guys, so, uh, that's not filling up very well. I wanna, I wanna get more air. I wanna get different air. This air is okay. It's just not me, you know? I've been collecting Nook Miles. I haven't been doing the quests. I accept the not Miles, but I don't go ahead and, you know, actually try to do the Nook Miles quest. I just collect the points as they go. All right, let's get some more air styles. I need a mirror. Okay, yeah, that's right. I need a mirror. I don't have one. Like, I, I think I can make one. All right, I'm gonna buy the rest of these. And while I'm here, I think I'm going to get the custom design path permit. This is a lot of miles. All right, <laughs> my miles are going away. Uh-oh, that's all right. We don't really use them anyways. I think I'm gonna buy the custom design pro editor and patterns. And while I'm at it, I may as well get some reactions so I can sit and do stuff. There goes all my miles. That's about half my miles gone. 20,000. Probably a little bit more, I think. Yeah. All right. That's cool. I'm good. Woohoo. All right. Nice. Yeah. All right. And because, oh, see, miles. And get miles. Get miles. Just randomly. Look, 2,000 for doing stuff. Nice. All right. 
Because I finished Apion Paradise, we're gonna talk to Isabel and start complaining about some people. When you do Apion Paradise and you beat Apion Paradise, you can complain about their houses. So we have Buck and Charlize and Brocklo and Stella and Sprinkle. All their houses are those weird empty houses. So I'm gonna complain about Buck and I'm gonna say, I don't like the way his home looks. And that's gonna reset it to his real interior. And then we're gonna complain about Charlie, so we're gonna complain about everybody. All right, so now their houses should be reset, I believe. We could check it out. Poor Isabel, we just complained about half the island. And she's like, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, oh, hey guys, what's going on? What's up, what's up? What, why are you looking at me like that? Buongiorno, that means it's gonna be a great giorno in Italian. See, I told you he only likes Italian water, and that's why he's like that, I think. Another day in paradise, or as I like to call it, odd podge. Oh, hey, what's up? Have you been using reactions? I'm gonna teach you a real good one today. I just got like a bunch from resident services, but yes. Has anyone told you you don't have as many crumbs on you today, but you're too bashful to say thanks? No, but I feel like that's happened to you. No worries, just do this. Oh, bad. You know, so cute. See, you can tell I'm real flattered, even though I haven't said anything. Aw, so if you need to, just use bashfulness and everyone will understand how you feel. See? They're getting along. Look, even Violet's clapping. Yeah. She's like, I like your new style. Aw, they're getting along too. Everyone's getting along. That's nice. That's nice. No one's had an argument le yet, so that's cool. Let's go see if we can pop into one of these houses that we complained about and, and see what's in there. No, Buck's not home. We might have to go to Charlize or Sprinkle or no, Brockle's out. We just learned something from him. I'll go to Charlize. She's not home either. Okay. Or <laughs> that's not Charlize. That's Eloise. What's my brain? Oh my gosh. I'm okay. I'll be fine. Don't even worry about me. Did, I did do a couple of things around the island. Uh, not much. I did add a couple more pipes around and I added some things and I'll be doing that because it is absolutely impossible to do everything while recording, unfortunately. Hello? Really? No one? Oh, she's sleeping. Oh. Yeah, she's tired. She's not feeling good. She's got, she's got toxic poisoning. It makes sense. Well, what's Stella? Stella's not here either? Okay. Well, you know... <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing that we just did. I don't know if it worked right away, but yeah, I, I added like a lot of more pipes around things like that. You know, I'll be doing that. I'll be adding things. I go to the captain's island. I pick up, scoop up some bushes and just like add them around as well. Not there. I don't know why I went there. I'm just losing my direction. That's all. Don't worry about me. It's the green at. It's the green ears. Oh, okay. Sprinkles home, so we should be able to see what her real interior looks like. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you joking? She's got the pearl uh, seashell stuff and and oh, oh, this is so oh, Sprinkle. How you doing, girl? Oh, hey, Andy. I haven't seen you around. Have you been avoiding me? No, you goof. I'm always happy to chat with you. Aw, I'm happy to chat with you too. Look at this. Look at this palace of palaceness. See? Totally goes with the shell table that we put out here. Ah! Ah! Ha <laughs> ah. ha! All right. Um, no one's crafting? What's going on? Like, seriously? Who are we missing? We just, we just went up and saw Graham and everybody. N no one's crafting? Violet's not crafting. She's right there. Wait, who am I missing? Am I losing my mind? Am I? Oh, Eloise. Eloise is crafted. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm okay. I'll I'll be fine. No, she's not. Who's crafted? Oh, Vladimir. Oh. Okay, I'm fine. Hey, bud. Look at his little butt. Little butt go. Hey, Vladimir. Andy, you've been dodging your old pal Vladimir. Oh man, you look much cuter from behind. Look at that face. Ugh, of course I have. Look at you. The other day, I was waving my arms to get your attention, but my back started hurting, so I stopped. You're so short, I probably didn't even see you. Well, glad I finally caught you. Just wanted to let you know I'm doing pretty good. Take care now. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I need to know what you're doing. Careful where you're going, okay? Don't be knocking all my stuff over. Like your vending machine? I think I read a stat once that vending machines uh, kill more people than sharks. 
I'm not sure. I'm not gonna knock your vending machine over. I'm making some modeling clay. Give me that clay. Uh -huh. Thanks. See, look how cute he is. And then he turns around. Ooh. Ah! Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I'm so done being distracted. I'm so done. You don't believe me. I know. I'm sorry. I want to go to my house. I want to make a mirror. I want to change my hair. I want to I want, I want to look nice. I want to look good. Everyone's chilling in, the, in... I love this. I love this game. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Let's get in here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not looking good. We got cockroaches. Eh. Oh, it went to heaven. We need to make a mirror. I don't have one. Okay. Maybe I should try and put some stuff in the house. Maybe. But I need to change my look. What I look like is important, I think. Maybe. All right. Got up with that doll. Let's see all there. Excuse me. You're getting my my thing wet. I'm trying to do my mirror. Jeez. Let's see. I really like this hair style. I think it's super cute. We got all these colors now. We could like dye our hair. Is that too much? Oh, their hat. And their dyed hair. Maybe pink? There's blue. Got a blue hair. Yeah, that's cute. All right. I look great. Woo. Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Should we do this? <laughs> uh, it is a goal of mine to complete my house, but it's not necessary. It's just something that I want to do. And I can get rid of some inventory space by doing this as well. I got a couple of things. It's not going to be great, but we're going to try. I got, I just got stuff. We get a desk in here. This is like the living area, I suppose pink chair. Things that we're not going to decorate the island with, I would definitely like to put in here. Ooh, DJ turntable. I'm going to put a record player in though. I don't think we'll have a fireplace outside. I really don't have much. Oh no. Take a teddy bear. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I have bathroom stuff. Get the bathroom stuff going. The toilet and a urinal. I don't have a sink though. Oh, oh I got this sink. It's kind of cool. I have a vanity. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh gosh, this is not going well at all. Urgh. I get a cardboard box and a tea light. N no, that's not safe. Don't actually do that, but it's good for the stankies. Tissue box. Yep, this this house is not good. It's not good. I I don't know. I don't know, man. We got the back room. Maybe this should be the bedroom. There's like tons of cockroaches. Ooh, bed there. Right here. Oh, we killed a cockroach. Oh, I did not know you could kill cockroaches in this mode. Side table. Why not? Get an alarm clock. I got the paradise planting rug. This is the only rug I have. And I do have some florin. Probably carpeted. There you go. I think I'll stick. Oh yeah, the towel rack and stuff. Okay, we'll, we'll put that in there. It It's okay. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It It's going. I don't have an upstairs or downstairs yet, which is fine. It's fine. We'll deal. I'm gonna put the shower in the corner, get the towel rack and a ventilation fan. That just makes sense. The vanity. I don't know. I'll, f I'll fiddle around with this. I'm gonna do tile floor in and brick. Oh no. Okay. Maybe do a kitchen and I'll add things as I go. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Sorry. I guess I'll do brick and I'll do this floor in the kitchen. I don't think I have kitchen stuff. I have like this cupboard, a sloppy sink, a freezer. <laughs> a freezer. We're gonna put that over here. There you go. I don't have a lot of surfaces either. Oh, oh man. I got this and this. I got this table. I think I can stick it in there. Let's get some stuff on there. I got that. I got ramen. Oh, not there. Just having a nice little ramen lunch. I'm gonna get the curd bird box out for now and stick a microwave on there. That's all I'm surviving. It's microwave ramen. Uh, this is probably the better of all the rooms. All right, let's go. We cleared out some inventory and that's all that matters. Oh, I got miles again. See? Getting the miles. Nice. I'm gonna go in here. I got so much. I gotta go through all this. I don't... All right, I think that because... I traveled backwards from October to today that I didn't get the stuff I ordered yesterday. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, wait, Ooh. Ooh. okay, it's raining, yuck, Ooh. yeah, see, oil barrels and piggy banks, okay, 
I don't want to do the oil barrel thing right now because I want to get some custom designs before I start placing those around. But I do have piggy banks. This weather sucks. Also, it's it's going to add to our flower problem. Oh no. All right. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. Oh, much better. Much, much better. Uh, man, we got to deal with this. Yeah, we got to deal with this. <laughs> Okay, uh, what I was thinking of doing, hey, Charlize, how you doing? Andy, what's up? I feel like I haven't had any FaceTime with you lately. I didn't scare you or anything, right? I know I can be a bit much sometimes. That's okay. You're not too much. You're just the right amount. I was thinking over here with Buck's Place, I got these piggies. Maybe Buck could have a pig firm. Or pig ranch. I'm not I'm not sure if pig ranches are a thing or it's just pig firms. That would could be kind of cool if there's like a pig pen thing over here, maybe? Obviously they're not gonna be all in the open or anything. I could order more. It'd be the pig rancher. Pig rancher. I like that. I like that idea. I like it a lot. Also, we have a flower problem. Uh I did scoop up some flowers and I could place them some places, but oh my lord. Okay. I don't I don't know what to prioritize. Because I want to put a perk here eventually. Or ugh, eventually, right? Alright, I'm gonna scoop these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna scoop some mums. Hey, no, you're not a mum. I don't understand. Like, why do you... Ugh. Okay. Ooh, whoop, whoop. I'm thinking maybe we take these and we scatter them around. Ah. Oh, my plans. My plans for today are going all miss. I guess that's what happens. Flower problems. Ah. Got these pink ones. I'm gonna take off pink roses. Oh, there's too many flowers. This is gonna take forever. I'm gonna get the pink and white ones at least. That's yellow. Oh, pink. Is it a pink one? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we're not even, oh my gosh. Okay. I, def I definitely got to deal with this. Oh man. I want to build something back here. I want to do stuff back here. I just, ah! I just scoop, I just scoop. Okay. How are my pockets looking? Not great. All right. Oh, uh, I don't know if I want all these yellow flowers either. They're too much. It's too much. I need, I need, I need a plan. Oh man. Okay. I don't have a plan. I got pink and white. Yeah, pink and white mums. I think that we could probably get over here and make this orchard or at least the lining of the orchard. How do I get through there? I don't, do I? What have I done? Gotta come around this way. There we go. I think I want to plant some white mums and some purple mums around this side. Kind of get this area a little bit more natural. Pink and white. This might be the mum area. It is pretty sweet. It's cute. I think it's cute. Boop. You know, boop. And we'll make changes as we go. Eh, there's so much to do. Bop. You know, bop. Yeah, this is turning. It's going all right. And we got all that mum those mum things so that's gonna add to the all oh, the mums are mutating as well i'll get the pink around i do like the pink oh purple 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 oh hey not fair i got points for that what did i do 50 tools okay that makes sense i guess i've exclusively been buying tools at the next cranny I, I can't be bothered i'm sorry i just can't be get a purple one over here yep Probably. Hopefully it'll spread out. So the, this kind of flower problem where they spread out where we want them to be is going to be fine. And then we're going to use that trick where you put the clear ground. But I'll do that. I'll do that later. I'll plant these up. Get rid of all the mums. And then we'll stick. Well, I'll have to keep harvesting yellow mums so I can make that thing. Guess I'll put one there. We'll get these cosmos out. And then I'll have to like plant bushes everywhere. This is what's going to make the areas look a little bit more natural. So I like that idea. Uh, got pink roses. I don't know if we should put pink roses. I would kind of prefer purple roses, but pink and purple and white roses can come around this way. Or just, ugh, there we go. Perfect. All right, it's looking good. And then we're going to add bushes and stuff. Okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming together. I'm going to go up my foil. Oh, this is a serious flower problem. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, 
I was gonna make a pink brim today. What happened? Ugh. Just gonna get the, these ones, these bright pink ones, because those are very Vladimir. And scoop that up. Oh, uh, what do we want? Do we want something? I don't know if we were, we're gonna want orange flowers for Buck's place. Probably, right? Because he's green and orange. Yeah, we're gonna have like green and orange pumpkins and stuff, but orange flowers could be nice. Scoop some of these. I really don't know what to do with the yellow roses. Oh, we got, I guess we could put it by Eloise's place. We'll get some yellow lilies. What else? Uh, she already has these ones. And then I think I'm probably gonna have to sell a lot. I don't want to sell the red roses or the yellow mums or the red windflowers. Well, not all of them because I got another DIY. I can make this and that comes in a few colors. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's just, yeah, let's just get rid of some of this stuff. I make a little bit of a garden for Eloise on this side. Ooh, weep, just, just a tiny one. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I don't know what kind of dirt. I'm gonna do this dirt. I probably gonna wanna put like trees and bushes in between this garden as well. So I, I don't wanna put like all the flowers everywhere. So I'll do like rose, lily, rose, and then lily, rose. Lily. Okay, and then I'll have to put like bushes around here. Maybe a bench. I still don't have a bench. Oh my gosh, like what's with that? That's crazy. Vladimir already has these flowers kind of growing on his property there. So I think I'm gonna put some on the beach. Just plant them around. Oh, I think that's cute. I think it works. Okay. Oh man. Kyle! Kyle! Kyle, help me! Okay, fine, don't help me, jeez. Oh, there's this area. We could put some flowers, we could put a garden. I think I was gonna put benches here, oops. But now we're gonna put a garden, because we got a flower problem. And, uh, okay, you know what? I'm okay. No, I'm not okay. Okay, whoop, yo, whoop. There's a flower there. I don't like that flower there. I don't want it there. Can you, can you leave? Thank you. All right. Well, yeah, we'll have flower garden there. Ugh, there's so much. There's too much. I don't know what to do. Ah. I'll get some red ones like this. And I think the gardens outside of Nook's Cranny and the Abel Sisters are red and white. So I think I'm going to continue that with these flowers and those white flowers. It's going. We're going. We're doing it. Trust me. Okay, don't trust me, but trust me. <laughs> so I'm going to do red, white red white and same on this side so white red white there we go yeah i think that's cute it's cute enough maybe we'll put a bench there eventually i was planning on it but i still don't have any benches i don't know okay um i'm gonna plant these two flowers because i wouldn't mind some more of those i'm gonna get rid of all the yellow ones all right sit tight all right, I'm making pretty good progress here. Pretty good progress. The next cranny is, uh, bow my flowers. Is there anything mine here? No. Oh, I do like the red ones. I think they're cute. Uh, the red mums, mm, we don't need those, do we? No, we're good. We don't need any flowers that we can just grow from seeds, except for the ones that we're plucking the heads off of, which are the yellow mums. Lots of holes. Oh my gosh, so many holes. How do I get over? too much of this coming around this way do we have any spot we got this cute spot here i just i want to decorate a little bit i want it to look nice plant some flowers around make it look natural go over here uh yeah we could put like an orange one cosmo that kind of stuff Boop. just make it cute oh this is this is tough <laughs> tough times having tough times here on Odd Podge. I'm gonna get these orange ones. Oh my gosh, too many holes. Jump, 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 jump over it. Jump, ah. I'm gonna do like orange, get rid of the lilies here. We need room for like giant vines and stuff. I do like the orange, the orange looks toxic. I like it, I like it a lot. So I wanna put them up here. Okay. Uh, this is not what I wanted to do today, but my brain's saying we're doing this, so that's what, that's what we're doing. Oh, my shovel broke again. I think I'm just gonna get rid of all the lilies and then opt in for the orange flowers. Oh, cute little orange 
thing. And there's holes. I am not filling in all these holes. No way. Nope. Okay, fine. I'll fill this one in. Just so I can get around. Yeah, I do like that orange lily there. That looks cool. I'm gonna keep that one. Put a pink one. Orange. Yeah, white's too normal. Okay, I'll do one yellow. One yellow. Try to get around this way. I think that little pops of red wouldn't be bad for over here. Boop. Cute. And then I'm just gonna clear all of this. All right, okay. So this area is officially an untraversable dig site, but I've dealt with the flower problem, so that's good. That's good. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, wait, weren't we gonna out? Ah, whatever, it's fine. I will get to you, piggies. I promise. I promise. We're gonna we're just gonna use the drop box. That's what I've been doing. I've been using the drop box because ugh. Can use the garbage bin, but it's literally right beside the drop box. So I may as well get a couple of balls while I'm doing this. Get out of here. Ugh. Okay, this area over here. What do we got left? Lots of holes. Got the orange flowers. Uh, I just created like a huge mess for myself. I all right. Oh no, look at the cliff over there. Oh, no way. Okay, I'm, I'm doing that later. I'm not doing that today. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, put some more flower, orange flowers by Buck's place. Cause I think he deserves some orangeness. See, all up on the cliff there. It's pretty nice. There, jump, jump over. Jump, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go, a fossil. I'm gonna clear out this area now because I already started. I started already. Oh man, it, it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. I'm sorry. How big is this problem? This is a big problem. Okay. Weep. Whoop. Okay. I'm gonna leave that black one. Okay, I'm gonna leave those. They're fine. They're hybrids. We can plant red lilies and yellow lilies and white lilies whenever we want. We don't need them freaking out around here. Also, this is Violet's area and Violet is Violet. And so that's going to be your color scheme. We don't need yellow or white around here. I think we're almost done. I think we're doing really good on this flower cleanup. All right. I can't believe I have the energy for this or the patience. Awesome. We right? Right. Uh, what do we got left? Just up there. And we got a serious weed problem up there, which is fine. We'll, we're, we'll worry about that another day. <laughs> not right now. We're not doing weeds. We're doing flowers. Ugh. Yeah, Kyle, stop it. Stop it, Kyle. All right, I'm gonna scoop, yeah, I'll scoop those up. And the orange ones, I'm gonna put by bucks. So we'll save those. I really, I really should have cleaned this up before it became this big of an issue. I was busy, I was busy time traveling and it, it, it rained, it rained a lot. All right, this is the last area, the last area that needs flower cleanup, I think. I hope so, okay. That was my last shovel. <laughs> yeah, that was my last shovel. Okay, that's a sign. It's a sign I'm done. There we go. Well, 4,000 bells. With the price... Stop it, Kyle. With the price gone down because you put it in the drop-off box. But that's okay. We don't really care. We're just, we're just cleaning up. That's all. So, Buck's house is gonna have the orange ones around. I'm just gonna plant these last two. Boop. Oh, man. What have I done? What have I done? Okay. Okay, fine. I'm gonna clean I'm gonna clean up the rest of the flowers. I need shovels. I'm not building them, I refuse. Hey guys. Oh look a surfboard. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, caution sign. I'll buy that. Thank you. I'm gonna get some shovels. Oh that vase is really nice. Get my shovels. I'm gonna take this vase. Oh thank you. Alright, bye now. Bye. Oh hey Charlie's. How you doing? Just ignoring me. Everyone you're a big poo. Everyone's ignoring me. Everyone's like, this girl's crazy. She's crazy. I'm not crazy. Okay, I'm not. Got a cobalt beer. Almost done. This is the last of the flowers. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. Done. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Done skis. Done did it. We're ready. We're ready, Freddy. From now on, what I'm going to do is if it rains and I see a flower that's kind of like spawned out or duplicated, I'm just going to pick them up and move them around. Kind of like I'm going to put them just in random places and decorate the island that way slowly. Like over here, we got a bunch of these so we can just scoop them up and it'll just like really fill out 
the different the beaches and the different areas without putting too too much effort into it i think i did done did a good job i think so <laughs> like it's looking like a lot more lively I mean, we still got to put stuff around there we need giant vines we need, oh, we need so much stuff we were gonna do the pig farm we were and there's buck he's like yeah don't mind my piggies we can get the pigs in different colors too i'm not sure if we should just do pink pigs but that could be a thing and th this is the part of the 30 day challenge that i'm not super keen on i suppose is the fact that i i won't be able to show you everything that's going on you know i'll have to do some things off camera you know i i sit in in bed i hang out i chill I do some chores and I'm gonna have to start placing things around as I go. I do have this fence. This fence is pretty cool. It could border a little bit of Buck's property here. I think I can make the barbed wire fence. I can. Okay, let's do that really quick and just like line this up because I want to feel like I've done something today. I mean, I did. I did a lot. <laughs> that was a lot of flowers. That was a lot. But you know, this is, this is part of the challenge, dealing with all this stuff in such a short amount of time. So I'm gonna make some of this bird fence. And before we start doing Buck's firm, I think it would be probably a good idea to collect more of the spooky day items so we can get his pumpkin firm going as well. I think I would like to have some sort of a forest right here like a little a little forest you know that's happening but mostly just pig farming i suppose that could be open we'll put bushes and things around here we could move some of these trees right now sorry buck oh you're making me nervous buck i didn't eat the peach gotta eat it nom, 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 nom. quack i'm a duck kitty i'm a duck kitty buck i think i'm gonna put one right there I don't want peach trees around here either. Peach trees are kind of exclusive to Stella. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chop these down. We'll figure it out. Maybe I'll grow a forest a little bit. I do, I wanna get those custom designs. There's just so much to do. So much to do, Buck. Stop being shocked. Trees go, okay? Trees can't stay. I might, I'll leave those stumps though. Well, I guess that's the plan so far. And we gotta plant more trees and we gotta get vines. We, got, we gotta do a lot. All right. Okay, I like it. It's all cleared out. It's all cleared out. It's all ready to go. Yep, so tonight I'm going to try and find a good decal that we can use. I'm gonna continue placing pipes around the island. Very suspicious. We're gonna get some grass dandies and, and attempt to hide those things because, you know, can't just have them everywhere. But yeah, it's gonna be good. Also, I can't wait to start doing this, but yeah, okay. Just goes to show that plans don't always pan out how you want it to do, but you know, we got, we got the little piggies. Day 13, lucky 13. I feel lucky and I feel like I'm starting to grasp the concept of blending in with the locals. I'm a hot dog. I'm a duck bear hot dog. I do run the risk of getting eaten by broccolo, but you gotta take risks, you know? All right, let's see. I ordered stuff. I ordered more pigs because we are for sure, for sure doing the pig farm today. No flower business. We're good. Oh no, uh, they're starting to spawn up. Uh-oh, I might have to buy another shovel. Uh-oh, okay, we're good, we're good. All right, we're good. Don't you go anywhere, flowers. I ain't dealing with you today. Ah! All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I did a little setup here for Buck's firm. I moved some of the apple trees around that we had. I, I, you know, I moved some trees, created some stuff. I just came back from October because I got some more DIYs. Oh, where are they? Oh, I got the spooky tower pumpkin stack, the spooky lantern, and the spooky lantern set. I'm missing the table still, and I would like the spooky carriage, which you have to do Halloween for, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, I might do that. I I'll still do that. I promise. Promise. A hey, Vladimir. Oh, okay. All right, what's up? Oh, hey, kiddo. I got one humdinger of a reaction to share with you. Vladimir, you're creeping me out, bud. Your brow is way too high. Ooh, like that one? Caught it, right? Oh, are you still doing it? 
I, how could I not catch it? It's like burning an image into my brain. I use bewilderment to spread a bit of mustard on whatever I'm saying. Kind of mustard. Mm, spicy Dijon mustard. Reactions can really help if you want to make an impression. D -d -d impression taken. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, he smiles with his eyes closed. It's not half bad when his eyes are closed. Huh. What? Wait. Huh? Exactly. Don't do that. Don't don't ever do that to me again. Ooh. Okay. Piggies. Piggies. Ay ay ay. Buck. Buck. Vladimir is out here causing a ruckus. Excuse me. Hey bud. Oh wow. Look at this. Oh, he's got a carrot mug. See, I knew he was gonna be a carrot farmer. I knew he'd like carrots. Look at this train set. We stopped your train. Hey, what's up? Hey Andy, perfect timing. Come take a look, partner. What you doing? You're not gonna believe it. I made a tulip surprise box. There's a tulip surprise box? Oh wow. I am I'm getting so lucky with these DIYs. Building it was like a hard workout routine. You know, I'm all about sharing my routines. So what'd you say? You wanna make yourself a tulip surprise box? Uh yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, that's so awesome. Hold on. Oh, wait, no, I gotta learn it first. What what kind of tulips does this tulip surprise box take though? That's the question. Is this gonna be difficult? Urgh. Red tulips and softwood. Look at that. I don't have red tulips. Do I? I don't think I do. Hold on. So, as you know, the story so far has been that the, the toxic waste that uh, is coming from the pipes there. You see the pipes? They're turning the, the vegetation huge. Right? Oh, this is the best thing ever. Hold on. We'll make your pig farm. Oh my gosh. Uh, did I? Do I have red tulips? White tulips? Yellow? Yellow? Red? Oh, there we go. Okay, we gotta plant those. Vladimir, get out of here. You're weird. You're weirding me out. How's a hot dog supposed to feel safe around here? Mm. All right, this is this is my plan. Hear me out. I'm gonna plant tulips around here. I think I'm almost done with the roses. I don't know how many rose beds I'm gonna be making. I got, I can make three more now that I just plucked those. How many does this, five, it takes five. So that's perfect. So one, two, three, four, five. There you go. All right. Okay, yay, tulip surprise box. Woohoo! I wonder what's in the tulip surprise box. There's a potato baby in the peach surprise box. Okay, pig firm. Pig firm. Let's do it. All right, check that out. I still look good. I did collect some codes. Oh, I'll show you. This this green slime. All right. I what? I started collecting this one, but then it didn't have any top pieces. I couldn't find the rest of it. I'm not too sure what these vines. Ah, uh, you know, we got this stuff depending on what's going on. But I'll keep looking. I might get the path. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right now. Oh wait, I don't know how to get the designs on my phone. I bought everything. I gotta go to the Able Sisters though, I guess, and get the. That's where I got the designs, the Able Sisters and this hot dog suit. They're pretty great. This fancy place. You have fancy, fancy pants. Uh, sailor outfits and stuff. Got some fancy stuff. Violet's here. Hey, uh, she she won't give me anything yet. She's she's all sassy about her sister right now. Still, they're gonna have an argument. We don't have time for this. I need to get codes. Okay, guys, I understand. I understand. Being sisters is hard. I have a sister. I get it. I hear that someone from any aisle designed this. It's captivating, don't you think? Yeah, very nice. I gotta get the path. Excuse me. Just the path. There, search. Ooh, where's the, the path? These aren't the path. A lot of people call it the path. There's so many options. Look at this, the path. Oh, look at this, the path. Oh, look at art in it. This one's pink. Oh, green, the path. Okay, I'm just gonna favorite the green one. There's blue the path. I'm gonna fl favorite that too. I think I think I want to get this one. Sometimes the whole code doesn't go into when you search. I like to favorite it and then check it out. Look at this. Look at this fancy path. There's so many pieces. Okay, I'm gonna load this up. Okay, so got it. Then I realized there was no middle piece after a while. I will I'll organize this. I'll organize it better. I promise. I'm sorry. So I took a piece from someone else's path. I, I'm not sure which one of these go better. I, it might be this one, but you know, 
We could change it. You like my outfit? Goodbye. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's Broccolo. We're gonna make him hungry. Go, run. Woo, woo, All right, we're gonna make a pig pen. Vladimir has been weird. Like, why are you here? Why is he here? So weird. I wanna try. I wanna try the path. Pig pens are not nice. Look at that. That's so cool. Little, little Mickey Mucks. Mucky Mix. I don't know how big this pin, pig pen, sh it should be pretty big, no? I think so. Is this the same? Did I download the same one? Wait, no, that one has holes in it. This one has, okay, this one has more holes in it. Okay, I see. I get it. So, like, so? I'm gonna have to try this middle one. It It's a pretty good match. It really is. All right. Because I want to go like that to this way. All right, maybe not there then. We'll do the out part over here. So like that. And we'll bring it down this way. I'm not sure. I don't know if we're going to keep this specific path. But it's kind of cool, eh? I like it. Got a lot of things and stuff. I'm going to line this down. Make it an icky icky pin pig pen. And I think this is where the border of... The pig pen's gonna be, and we'll put the fence on there. I might try a different one. The The path is not concrete. All right, let me just fill this in. All right, that's not bad, eh? So I'm probably gonna want to curve it that way, around the stump, over this way, and then up. I don't think I'm gonna put it too far up, just like that for now, and then we'll, we'll figure, figure stuff out. Okay, I might do the bird wire fence. Oh yeah, that works. I'm not sure what this color for the code. I do like the idea of having this code. So I'm not, I definitely will switch it out for something else uh, eventually. It is a bit drab for Odd Bodge. I thought that maybe it would it'd be a bit a bit more contrasty, but I guess it's not. I'm gonna put something right there. Let me get rid of that. I think I wanna put a bush right there. Could work. Yeah. Now I have to go on a, a captain's tour. I decided that I'm getting all my bushes from captain's tours. It's so easy. You just go, you pick them all up, and then... Meh. All right. So this pig pan is open. We're gonna get some piggies in here. Or another one. Boop, pop. I like this a lot. Now we can't get around. Okay, hold on. Hey, no. Listen, this is not how we conduct construction. I just want to pick that pig up. Thank you. Uh, We should probably get like an A barrel in here, I suppose. And I would kind of like it to look like Buck left the fence open by accident. Okay, I'm gonna put a little piggy right there. Like he escaped. He's off. All right, let's make a hay bay, hay bale, hay barrel. And by hay barrel, I mean a bed. Let's see. Woohoo! I'll make a couple just in case. You know. Oh, custom. I think we can make it a lighter or darker green or green or something. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Alright. A, a bad thing. That there. Boop. I don't... I, I don't think pigs eat a... Well, do they eat anything? I think they eat anything, actually. Yeah. Put one right there. And... Wee. Over here. Boop. Oh, that's really light. Boop. I think I want this to be over one. Okay. Boop. There we go. This is making sense. Pull this guy. Make him look like he's eating the hay. I got this guy. He's the little black sheep of the pig family. Isn't that cute? This is great. I got another hay bed. Mm, I'm gonna put it there. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. This is great. This is so good. We'll go have some stuff over here too for the piggies. For the piggy piggies. I think I'm gonna cap that off. And do like a little trail this this way like so oh balloon bop think it ah. five thousand bells oh yeah i don't think i like that it goes so far i'm gonna try this and then that there we go and then the trail starts waning off this way put something like that curve it off just a bit and work so perfect ba -ba 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 -da -ba. not piggies escaping bop and that piggy's escaping. Mm -hmm. They're going that way. Escape piggies! Wait, okay, the reason I want the piggies to escape because I want to make it a little toxic over here. 
I don't have a lot of glowing moss. I haven't really been getting lucky with the cotton stir. Oh, actually, I lied. I got super lucky with the cotton stir. I ended up on a shoot and stir cotton stir, and I got all these different color fragments. Like, look at this. It even comes in orange. Like, how cool is that? Tulip surprise boxes, all this. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. What I want to do, I want to get the slime. This is what the code is called. The code is called slime. It also comes in like just this, just that. Put the pipe in the corner there. Huh? A little slimy slime. And then I want to do like the glow and moss. Look, the, sli the slime matches the glow and moss like a lot, which is super cool. Okay, there you go. See? Right? I'm gonna climb up here and I'm going to get the hanging vines on the diagonal ones I think it'll go I don't think oh no hey hold on no I'm not done uh, there we go because I don't think it'll hang if there's something underneath it no okay the diagonal is technically like one square so it'll hang here even though there's a flower there cause it's not the same square hang that up same on this side it's all diagonal so it'll work out there we go they're not very bright are they Maybe I'm not in the right season. Well, I'll figure it out. There we go, though. Right? Can I make a giant vine? I wonder. I don't know why I keep picking up my storage shed. His, you know, I would like a giant vine back there. I think it takes a lot. I can't remember how much it takes. It takes 25. That's so crazy. I'm making it. I'm doing it. And then I want to change the color. Maybe, like, bright green. Oh, yeah, look. See? There we go. Go, darn, go. I don't know if it'll fit here. I'm gonna try. No. Okay. I think it's a flower. Get rid of it. Stick it right there instead. Oh, let's see. Right there. Yep. It was a flower. Like, look. It's like creating a chaos situation over here. Okay. So I think I'm gonna do the slime. Not like that. Like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do the slime right here. I really like this slime decal. It's really gonna make Odd Podge super toxic, super contaminated. Put that in there. All right, and we're gonna plant some glowing moss. I want diff I want a variety. Okay, that one's too small. I'm gonna, okay, that one. There we go. Look, all the different kinds of vines over here. That's toxic. Yes, okay. Now I have the piggy. And you can't see it. That's sad. Where is it? Piggy. Bah. It's blue. It's a blue piggy. Wait, can you see it? No. Wait, I'll do that. Handhold camera. So they're coming over here, the little piggies. And they're they're starting to change color. Right? Ah, uh, I gotta move this tree. I like the tree, but it's blocking the it's blocking the story we got going on over here. Okay. I think I got a green pig. Yeah, I got a green pig. Okay. Alright, sorry tree, but no. You must leave. See, now we can see it. Hmm. What if we put it there instead? Because I, I don't want it to be too obvious, you know? That the pigs are back here. They're, they're kind of like getting out with the pen and, you know, doing their business over here. I don't know if I like the green one. I think I like the blue one. They're t These are a little too lined up, eh? Maybe over there. Well, something like this. Maybe we'll turn that guy. And they're both mowing down on that glowing moss. This guy's gonna join the party pretty soon and, and turn a different color. Right? Mm, buck, buck. Your pigs got out. They're turning different colors. Blah! Yay! All right. And then we'll probably have a patch of carrots and maybe the pigs are getting into the carrot. They're just getting into everything. You know what I mean? They're they're just getting in everything. That's what the pigs are doing. They're eating everything. They're they got out the pen. They saw some delicious food. They ain't gonna say no. They don't know. They don't know what's turning them green. Pigs are just you know. The pigs are pigs. What can you do? There, there's not much that you can do. If they want to eat glowing moss and turn blue, they're gonna eat glowing moss and turn blue. They ain't nothing you can do about it. Mm -mm. All right. So we're probably gonna put. A carrot frame right here. We'll have to get more glowing moss and stuff. I'm working on it. I'm working on getting glowing moss. <laughs> you know, actually, can I climb up? Thank you. So up here, we're gonna need a space for another vine. I think one goes here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. That's perfect. I want to see how this looks on a no. 
right there, please. This is gonna add a lot of dimension. Yeah, no, we can't put a vine here because I, I don't have, I don't have enough supplies, but we will put a vine there. We could possibly put another one on this side because this Buck's property is extremely close to the ongoings of that, uh, that place. It's like right on the edge. And he's got a water source directly into his farm that uh, is not going well. So probably have one there too. Oh, oh just pop the head off that floor. Mm. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna fill these in. I changed my mind. We're just gonna have the goo. We're not gonna have the sidewalk. I think that'll do a lot better. That I think I can get some vines up here. And then we're, we're pretty much gonna run out of vines at this point. <laughs> and Apio and Paradise, I keep going to Apio and Paradise, but they don't respawn very quickly. So I, I gotta take my chances on Captain's Islands. I think this is, oh, I think this is so awesome. Arr, why am I doing this? I could just climb down a vine. Huh, huh. Ooh, this, yes, yes. Okay, oh, well, this is great. Okay, so I guess this is a fresh uh, herd family, no, flock, flock of pigs. That don't sound right. Okay, well, this is a this is a fresh flock of pigs right here. So that's why they haven't turned the color yet. And Bach has settled down here to be firmer recently, and that is why he's not you know full on bright colors. He's slowly turning bright colors, but he just settled here. So that's why the toxins haven't really you know settled into the firm right away. And his his produce hasn't really been super super affected by it yet but he is getting his wheat supply from broccolo so it would have happened regardless of the pigs getting out of the cage and eating that but this is just speeding up the process you know what i mean you know what i mean okay right, let's get some carrots and i've been collecting the pumpkins and everything too i have a full harvest on the other side of the island that we can scoop up but i want there to be carrots for sure on this side. We'll leave like a little gap. This is like a fresh firm. It just started, right? So we'll get, oh wait, no, that's moss. I'm gonna get a few carrots in here with a couple of spaces. Probably more on that row. I have more there. I have two more there. I'll just extend this so and that. Okay, perfect. Carrot firm. We, I want this to be watered to full grown or at least some of them, you know. We could have some that aren't growing very well because this is a first harvest, right? And then this piggy, this piggy is getting into the carrots. There you go. Ah, ah, woohoo. Yeah, okay. We should get the pumpkin firm over here though. We'll paste this out. And there's a pipe right there. There's a lot of pipes by Buck's Place because he happens to be lining a lot of the rivers, right? So he's got a river coming out from there. He's got a river coming out from there. And there's a river... Ooh, pigs. So, right there. So th this is like a pretty affected area. His firm is a little bit more dilly-dally. Less structured than Broccolo's firm. Broccolo's been here for a while. You know, he's got his structure set. So what I want to do is go and get some pumpkins. Do, 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 do. Still got all the pumpkins on this side of the island. Oh, money tree. And we got the tomatoes too. I'm not sure what to do with the tomatoes just yet. But, oh, hey Daisy Mae. Want some white pumpkins. Definitely some yellow. Yeah, I want the pumpkin firm to be pretty diverse, I suppose. Get some bright orange and some green. I don't think we're going to be using all these pumpkins because I want to get the other kind of pumpkin, the one that I got from the October season. I think that would be good for now. Let's go, let's go check it out. All right, we'll spread these out quite a bit. Make it look very organic. Boop, boop, bop, ba -doop, boop, boop, bop. Get some of these pumpkins out and craft some of these pumpkin stuffs. Oh, we can craft this. Yeah, okay. Bop, 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 bop. I'm gonna make a couple of these spooky lanterns and a tower. Yeah, this is going great. All right, that's all my pumpkins. I can harvest some more and then I'm gonna change the color of a bunch of them. All right, and then we're gonna stack them over here. Put that down there and then we turn it so it doesn't look like a jack-o-lantern. It just looks like a pumpkin. Bop, bop, 
Oop. I'll get the glowing moss stool in the garden there. I think that's pretty cool. And then maybe some of this. Not the big one, though. Small one. There we go. Yeah. See? Extend this out. And that one. And this one. Plant another glowing moss. But it's gonna be the small one. Eventually, it'll happen. I'll think, uh, it's gonna happen. Here, well, okay. I'll settle for that one. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna pick this one up. Put it there. Oh, not there. Uh, uh. Get the spooky lantern set in here. And get the glowing moss stool on top of it. Okay, no, I don't love that. How do I... Oh, okay. I'm gonna grab one of these and drop it on top. There we go. Now it looks all like... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Get the spooky tower in this business. That. I'll plant a white pumpkin there. And another one right there. I'm going to switch this one for this one. Boop. Ew. Boop. We'll make this a lot. I think I'm going to make this a lot bigger. It, his pumpkin frame is probably going to like extend on to this way. But this is pretty much the concept, I think. I want to get another glowing moss, I think. But I don't want it to be the same. I want it to be like that really small one. So I'm going to be at this for a minute. Okay. 20th time is not the charm. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. This is evil. There. Did I do it? I did it. Oh my god. There it is. <sighs> okay. I'm going to get some of these leaf things. Leaf umbrellas. Grass dandies. I'm going to get a couple of the mum things. A couple more glowing moss stools. Alright. So along the river... I'm gonna place the stools like we did by Stella's place because that's where most of the toxins are coming from. Bah. I think I could probably get one in there. Oh, I can. I can get one like right by that spillage. Am I gonna accidentally pick the weeds? Yep. All right. I'm gonna get one right there. Giant vine. That one. Piggy. I'm gonna change. Yeah, I think I am gonna change that piggy to blue. And bop. Nope. Oh. There we go. I think that's good. I'll get another stool along this river. Boop. Get a leaf umbrella in here just to make it look like really big, crazy. And get one on this side. That and one over here. So yeah, and it just looks like big giant pumpkin leaves. And then I think we're gonna break it up with a little bit of white fencing for the pumpkin patch. Boop. We'll have to get like a berry hay bales and 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 barrels and, and things like that around this area. Oh, I ran out of fencing. <laughs> get a grass DND in there. I did in the thing not very well, but it's still trying. I'll get some grass dandies out this way. There we go. Get one over here. Love grass dandies. They're so good. And the mum cushions I got in white because when carrots flower, they flower white or mostly. They flower white. I made three. I'm gonna paste that there. That one. Boop and bop. Eow. Boop. There we go. I'm gonna get a little barbed wire fence there. We're doing the aesthetic. Maybe we'll put one there. I'm gonna get the simple wood fence in. I'm not sure if I want to make this white as well, but we'll see. It's a little bit orange, I suppose. I think, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. We don't need that one. Bop. Yeah, I don't want that one either. I think that's good. Barrels in my pocket, things like that. I want to come around this way. I need this side and get that straw, straw fence in if I can. Yeah, that works. Maybe over here. Up. Keep some, keep some straw over here for, you know, things and stuff. Well, oh, that's too big. That's a lot. Maybe just one. We'll just stick this around in random places. Get some barrels. Boop. Look it. Boop. We get a bucket in here. Bup. And barrel. Bup. Yeah. And then we'll continue working on this. Like, little by little. We'll we'll figure it out. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm going to take one of these apples. I'm going to get more pigs. I think I need more pigs. There you go. Eat the apple. I like what's going on here. <laughs> but we, yeah, we do have a lot more work to do. I'm going to... We got to extend the firm a, a little bit. Get some more vegetation. Possibly more bushes and things. This, this is working out. I am thinking that the path all the way out this way doesn't make much sense. And I'll see what I can do with unlocking the 
tractor or the firm equipment, both Broccolo and Buck would benefit from that. There you go. Maybe something like that. Or, or we'll use the pathing or something. I think I might change that. I do like it, but at the same time, it's, it's not the vibe. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. Get some stuff to line the river there. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Eventually. It, eventually, it'll make all the sense. Yeah, we just need to put something near it to block the little piggies. Maybe we'll just get a tree. Is there any hardwoods chilling? There's one. Probably gonna have to start planting trees and stunting them at different stages so we can get that going. But I think we made some pretty awesome progress today. This is awesome. All right, get my ears back on. There we go. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. We are officially two weeks into the challenge. I have collected so much stuff and I have ordered so many things from the mail order. 71. There's 71 things in here. It's just like a lot of stuff going on. In my storage, I have so many things that I've collected over the last two weeks. Got 385 things. Probably most of that is the supplies, but I got like all this stuff, all these things, tons of tons of stuff. Okay? And I'm ready. Captain Piggy Andy is ready to go. All right? Okay. So, the plan today is to get some of this stuff out of the storage. I think I'll start with this. I got some cool stuff. I think I got enough from there. Take my storage shed with me. Let's go. Woohoo. I got some cruiser bikes that I thought maybe we could put around the island. I thought that would be fun. They come in different colors. That one's blue. I'm gonna put that by Sprinkles place. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. What are you guys doing? Oh, who are you saying I do? Who's over there? Nobody. Sully, you're weird. All right. Woo. We're just gonna start placing things around because I think that's the thing to do. So, bop. Blue bike for Stella. Oh, I mean Stella for Sprinkle. Guess what? I have something I totes totally need to tell you. All right. Lean in close. Uh, okay. Wait. Um, what was it? Can you guess? No. Do you like reactions for curiosity? Because I'm doing it right now. Pretty neat, huh? Curiosity allows you to learn all the world around you and doesn't that sound trespab? So trespab. Thank you. All right. I got her some more stuff. I got her some cute things. Boop. Ranch chair. Why? Because it's awesome. I'm not going to worry about uh, doing any ground details or codes or anything like that. I just want to start placing stuff and kind of get an idea of how we want to set things up. You know, we'll we'll fix this up. We'll give her, you know, a nice little patio maybe. There's some things. There's some things for our girl Sprinkle. And of course we were color coding this stuff, but I'd, I've unlocked uh, Reese and Cyrus. So if we find something that's very characteristic, we, we can change it. We can change it up. Give her some flowers. Like, come on. Come on. Bop. Garden chairs. Cute. Relax. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Also got a cute little garden gnome. It's kind of tealy. Kind of yellow. Kind of tealy. You know, it goes. It just goes. All right. Continue. Continue on. We got over here. Although maybe we give Eloise a nice yellow barbecue. You know, I think she's snooty. Snooty villagers, they like to get in everyone's business. So they'll hold like a barbecue every once in a while. Chit chat, that kind of stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, I got something. I got something for Broccolo. Boom. Blue tractor. Blue tractor. Blue tractor for Broccolo. How cool is that? I think I'm going to put it up here though. Bah, perfect. Continue. We could set up a little backyard for him. Get this little wooden chair. Push that in. I have something going on here. Got a little side table. A little garden area. A little cozy tea set. Like, how cute is that? Right? It's cute, I think. I like it. I forgot about one thing I wanted to add over by these guys. Went to Cyrus. I colored some things. Pick that up. Turn up. Put that on the table. Bang. Yellow. Isn't that cute? Okay. I actually don't I actually don't like that on the table. <laughs> but there we go. And then we got Vladimir over here. Yeah, he's got some things. He's got some beach weird beach chairs and things. I think I'm gonna pick those up and go bop. Pink. 
And then over here, maybe, we could have like a little fishing area for him. There's a balloon. I'll see it. I'll see the balloon. I'll see it. Bah. Maybe I'll get a cruiser bike. Boop. Oh, that's orange. Boom. It's a little odd there, eh? Okay, pick it up. We'll put it over here. Boom. Okay, onward. I'm gonna go to Buck's place. I want to show you what I did over here. I changed the code to just the regular path and I made the pig pen a bit bigger and I ordered a couple more piggies. Boop. There you go. How cute is this? It's cute. Put one there. There you go. They're all just chilling. Pull it out. Uh, they're looking at that bucket, I guess. I also got a tractor for our good pal Buck. You know, he's running a farm. He needs a tractor. So that's pretty cool. I think so. I think it's awesome. And I did end up getting the spooky carriage. Get that out. And I got a couple of these flowers still. So I'm thinking... Uh, I think I'm gonna do the tractor and the spooky carriage. I like this trick. I like the whole tractor pulling the giant pumpkin thing. Uh, there we go. That's cool. I also got him a barbecue. Barbecue things. Do some barbecue things. I'm gonna get up here. I did end up changing the pig to blue, so that's cool. I'm gonna put the big flower there. Uh -huh. Come up this way. And put a big flower up this side. Okay, maybe I don't want that there. I'm not gonna work on this area because this is gonna be a totally separate build. We're gonna we're gonna go ham on this. This is this is an important area. We can't just willy nilly it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get in there and put a flower in between those trees if I can. I hope I can. It'd be nice if I could get it in there. Yep, I can. It's just growing in there. It's having a good time. Want another balloon? Okay, I'll I'll get this one. I'll get ya. I'll get ya. Bop. Hopefully it's something we can place down. Digital scale. What is that? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Gonna come this way. Get it always real down. Make it look like Fermi. And we got a cruiser bike for Buck. Right there. It's orange. We gotta set up Buck like a little patio or something. But I do think I wanna get a rocking chair. You know, that's pretty ranchy. And then I got some tin buckets. Bop. Fill her in, you know? Boop. Perfect. I do got a second tractor. Uh, it's red, but I thought maybe it would look kind of orange. I, it doesn't come in orange. It comes in this color. It might be a little crowded, I suppose. Maybe right there. Turn it. Push it in. Nope. It's okay. Maybe I'll change the color. All right. That was a lot of stuff. We got to go back to our mailbox. Ooh. Oh, hey, guess what? I got something here for you, Andy. Uh-oh. We're trying to get rid of stuff. What's this? Thought maybe you could use a striped shirt. Oh, maybe. Oh, we match now. Aw, that's so thoughtful. I like that. Okay, right, back to the mailbox. You know, I think I can take the mailbox with me. I think I should take it with me. Okay. Might. Okay. So, the inside of Kyle's house is kind of like... A sound recording place or a music studio I suppose and I got a couple of things I got a couple of cool things here I got like a piano and a guitar got an amp I thought that maybe you would like that I think that that would be cool I'll put that in there and start decorating Kyle's place because we kind of neglected it get him a bench right I think that's really nice Boop. We got a flower here or no, that's not a flower what is this it's a plant. There we go. Stick it in there. And he could have his own little outdoor session thing. Hey girl, I checking it out? You gonna water the plant? Yeah, and again, we'll figure this out. We'll put things, we'll put a patio. We just want to see how these things are going. Hey, Charlize. Yo, uh, what's the word? I don't know. I love how chill it is here. Like, you can sleep until noon and nobody even notices. Uh, you tired, girl? Tired of being green? Getting overworked. She's getting overworked by Graham. I don't know what's going on, but it's happening. All right. There we go. Because I also have a drum set. Ah, is that the wrong way? How do you go like that, right? Yeah. Okay, do we need a stool for this? We need a stool for a drum set. There we go. That's something. Okay, and come over here. 
this is a I want to do something here and I picked up this projection screen like a long 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 time ago yeah I'm gonna have to like clear out the flowers and things because I also picked up some cushions like zen cushions and regular cushions oh that's a little close but we could have our outdoor movie theater in this area. I even got like a simple stool, like a lot of little cute little seating things. Well, maybe this could be a table for something. People could sit on the ground. I got a boxy stool, picked up a Moroccan footrest. That would be cute around here. Yeah, we got to change the patterns on like the Zen cushions and things, but and really figure out like where we're gonna have stuff. But this is nice. It's, we're just laying down the idea that we're having. I do have a projector. I do. There it is. Also have PA speakers to make the movie louder. Get a book. Uh, telescope? Maybe. I got popcorn with a suspiciously green drink in there. Oh, in a cup with suspicious stuff. So maybe that can come around here. See? Movie night. It's movie night. Get a cup in there. Uh, it's kind of weird that the popcorn's just like right there. <laughs> that would be where like the movie projector is, right? Maybe we have too many pillows. So I'll get the TV tray. Grid the film projector on there. Which way does it go? It goes that way. Maybe get the popcorn set in in front. Get a PA speaker on the sides. I guess keep this far. Boop. Another PA speaker. That's kind of cute. We could move it down a bit. Get some trees in here. Not right now. I'm gonna get the bike right there. Just to add, you know, a little bit of detail. We got the telescope. Put it on there. We'll have like a little picnic area over here. People watching the stars. Put a cushion. And then we can get blanket decals. I do have a picnic basket and a little lantern. And then we'll get like decals on the ground it'll work out i'll get another zen cushion i got a book yeah okay i like this this could be like a little picnic spot and this is a little outdoor theater that we got going on oh come down this way oh yeah oh i forgot about this <laughs> uh we got beer bottles we got a lot of beer bottles hmm this whole beach ah uh, i forgot i forgot that i ordered all of these there's more ah uh. Okay, mm. Google table and a bench. And this, ah, uh, oh, that goes with this. Okay, so, oh, that's the museum. We don't want to deal with that. Oh, I can't pick anything else up. Oh, this isn't going good. Okay, mm. maybe we'll have like the little perk spot. So I could put the dining table and the log bench. Ah, uh -huh. may as well use some bottles. I could get mom's cushion in there, a radio, maybe a scrapbook, some scrapbook in. Okay, I'm gonna put that the other way though. Not that it matters. We're probably gonna pick this up after, but you know, we're setting the stage, we're figuring it out. And then we can figure out what we want and what we don't want. And uh, yeah, okay, we got a panda, I got a wash bucket. I guess the wash bucket can chill. I'm gonna put the panda by Kyle's house just because it's black and white and that's his color scheme. That's all I got for that. I got a beach chair. I'll pull it out. Turn it. There we go. I'm gonna put all these decorative bottles <laughs> in storage. Uh, we know we have them. We have way too many. Uh, yep. I'll put the mailbox down. Oh, I do have some of these bright mushrooms. I got a Dodo Airlines thing. Vladimir sent us something. Happy Home Academy thing. Oh man. Okay, we're doing all right. And a butterfly. We do have a campfire cookware. That's kind of cool. And a switch light. Huh. All right. I think I'm gonna put the switch light by our movie scene. We jump over this way. Maybe there's like a little campfire happening, like way in the back over here. Well, yeah, it could work. Maybe I could have one over here too. Maybe this could be part of the campground because we got the campground over there across the river, but I don't know. Oh, 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 we got five stars. We have five stars. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, okay. 
Okay, I'm good. Well, I was thinking maybe we could have the campsite where all those tomatoes are. Oh, tomatoes. Pumpkins are. And that's why there's so many like activities and like beach things going on. Outdoor things happening over here. Let's see what they got. Monarch butterfly. That's orange. What else? Okay, we got the one up mushrooms. There's another pipe here. Yeah, maybe we'll hide a pipe behind this area. Slippers. All right, let's do some one up mushroom stiff. Get rid of those. Oh, I gotta get my storage shed. I left it over here. Ugh, in my mailbox. Ah, ah, all right, let's go. Whoop, 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 whoop. So over here, I don't know. I don't think I want the campsite like right here. Also, we could possibly move the movie theater over here because there's probably a, a lot more room. It's not like right up against Kyle's thing. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let's get some mushrooms. Probably gonna do some over here. I should probably put a pipe like right there. Well, boop, er, er, boop. cool. All right, not too many over here. Ah, we spread them out. Probably up there though, eh? Yeah, okay, can I get across? Woo, do, 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 boop. There we go. Probably one over here. We should it in. There we go. Push it in more? No. Okay, jump across. One there. Oh, it's too green. Yeah. Is there a super one? No, just the green ones. Okay. Mm. Oh, there's another one. Must have just got five stars. Must have. That's awesome. Come around this way. I think I'm gonna get some one-ups around here too. All right, there. Come around this way. Oh, I did have a super mushroom. Okay, I'll go back and place it. That's another one. We're gonna get more mushrooms and stuff, but we're clearing stuff out right now. We can't get... All right, super mushroom. There we go. Wee. All right, what else do I got? Oh, check it out. I got the globe. I don't know if you can make the chainsaw orange or tan table. Oh, the little campsite drums. Ranch cover. I got another beach chair. Oh, and another rocketer. I have two of those. Oh, maybe Brocklos into baseball? No, Eloise likes books. Er, I don't want a pink radio. That's perfect. I got a cassette player and headphones. And over. Okay. We're gonna go place some stuff this way, this way, this way, this way. All right, I'm gonna get the cassette player out. I don't know if we could fit a table in here or something, but we'll figure that out another day. Gonna add over, try to get to Broccolos, give them that baseball set. I got some stuff I wanna drop off here first. Got the Nordic low table and that's blue. Bop. The plant is blue, which I think will do very nicely. And we got another vase. Buzz. Wow. Can I push it in? No. Pull that out. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, right, the globe I kind of want to put by the museum. This is kind of chaos, this, but I'm a feeling like there is creativity juice a flowing. We'll get the rattan end table because. Eloise likes books and the only reason I say that is because that's what she wanted. She wanted a, a, a place, a nice place to relax and read or, or something like that in Abion Paradise, I think. Yep. Yep. I'll put a book on that table there. Come around this way. Give Brock a little, little baseball set. Maybe he likes doing that. Who knows? Good. Boop. It's blue. And he's home. Let's go check out what his house looks like. Oh, it's blue and full of toys. Oh, this is so sweet. Hey, Broccolo. <laughs> Welcome to my snack castle. Why, well, thank you. You drinking coffee? You shouldn't drink coffee. Well, you know, you wake up early, you're a farmer. Okay, I'll have your coffee. What's up? There's a weird rumor going around. Some folks, they're saying none of it. this is real. None of it. Who told you that? Broccolo with the big thoughts, man. Well, technically, it's not. Is it? No. We're living in like the social experiment or science experiment. It's being conducted by Graham. It's making everyone glow, making all the vegetables and flora mutate in size. There's 
pipes everywhere. It is, this is seriously suspicious. And also, technically, you're not real. You're a little, cute, little pixelated, computer-generated mouse. Oh man, this conversation is way too deep, Broccolo. What's going on? They say the island is just a game and everything we say or do, it's just to amuse somebody else. I, I don't know if I can handle this conversation right now. And, I don't know, I kind of maybe believe it. So many things would make more sense, you know? Yeah. People just think you're crazy because you're a bright blue mouse and you're lazy and always hungry for snacks. So they don't take you seriously. But I believe you, Broccolo. Have you ever thought fruits grow way too fast? And ain't it weird that trees all have three kinds of wood? Yeah, what's up with that? Like, hardwood should have hardwood and pine should have pine wood and coconut trees should have coke coconut wood there should be more than three kinds of trees too you know you're bringing up some really good points broccolo and have you ever noticed there's pretty music everywhere it's great but it's weird it's super weird you know like i've always wanted my own theme song but you're right it's just huh and does tom nook make any kind of sense to you whoa your eye oh his eyes just glow yellow you're <gasps> Broccolo, the radiation's been getting to you. Tong Nook makes no sense. Yeah, I'll buy your shells so you can give me back my own money to pay off a house I'm selling you. Okay, first of all, who are you and what have you done with Broccolo? I mean, what? Oh, his eyes are going yellow again. Oh, this is freaky. Oh, I don't like this. It's all so obvious our lives are fake and we all should have saw it a long time ago. A long time ago. Better to have lived a lie than not lived at all? I don't know. I'm freaking out too. <laughs> I'm joking. It's just a joke. No one said that. You ought to see the look on your face. I'm freaking out, man. Broccolo. I ate six bags of chips last night and fell asleep with the TV on. I had really weird dreams. Okay, as your captain, as Captain Pig, I demand you never freak me out like that ever again. I don't think I can go on. What? Everything we've done just seems so pointless now. Oh man, Broccolo. Ah. Uh... Uh, hey, we're okay. We're, I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not weirded out. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. I don't know what's going on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ah. <sighs> I'll put on my tie-dye shirt. Now everything is much better. Come on, be a bench. Be a bench. Let's go. Let's go. The pile of Zen cushions. All right. That, that's okay. I can deal with that. Yeah. I got, I got bird rings for everybody. And I got flamingos for Vladimir because Vladimir is obsessed with flamingos. It's a side effect of the toxins, I think. Or it's the only thing that really makes them happy. I'm not sure. Huh, too many deep questions happening. I'm thinking too much now. Oh man, Broccolo. Oh man. Ay ay ay. Pinky blue one. That's for Sprinkle. Put an another beach chair out here. Maybe right there. Oh, that's the wrong way. Cute. Mm. I'm still freaking out. I'm still freaking out about Broccolo. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Ugh. Ugh. What is happening? What is happening? I'll pick that up. I'll put the little ranch cupboard in the back. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Yeah, that flower thing I put there. Because it's cute and it's purple. Eight. Hey, there it is. I'm going to put the little pink bike. I got a clothesline pole. Maybe I'll put it back here. Boop. There you go. Cute. Yep. Boop. Cute. I got a little flower basket. It's so tiny. Oh my gosh. That takes up a whole square. It's so small. I thought it was going to be bigger. Okay. Sofa. Well, that's good for sprinkles. I got the thank you dad mug. So this way it's got a tie on it. But if you turn it, it's just a purple mug. There we go. We did have that Nordic table over here, right? Yeah. I'm going to pick that up. I guess this is part of Sprinkle's yard. So maybe that with the Nordic table. Maybe the little basket on there. <laughs> it's just so small. Although I do got a beach towel to get in there. That's pretty Sprinkles-y. Or in that box that is not Sprinkles-y. Mm -mm. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yep. I think we're doing really good. I think I'm gonna come over here. The monarch butterfly, just because it's orange. Uh, and then I think the last thing that I want to do is move that campsite. Which means what? Which means we gotta get rid of all those pumpkins, right? We would continue the pumpkin farm up the side. Uh, yeah, we'll get the pumpkin patch 
this weight, and I'll just stick all those rest of the pumpkins here, just like non-discriminatorily, you know, no big deal. Just gonna finish the pumpkin farm, get that all the way. We'll, we'll try. Okay, I'm gonna go scoop those up. Wee! Not all these, I don't think all these pumpkins are gonna fit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop them up. Anyways, plant them around. Boop, pop, but up, ow. Pop, that one. So I'll stick one there. Boop, pop, ow. Boop. And extend this part of the grid in. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever's happening there is fine. Okay, no, it's not. You're right. It's not. Brush it away. Oh, this isn't fine either. Okay. Boop, pop, pop, boop. Put a pumpkin in there. I just got three pumpkins in my pocket. Maybe I'll just have some like wild pumpkins. May as well. The piggies are over here. We're on this way. Let's take a green one. Okay. Right. All the pumpkins have been dealt with. And then later on tonight, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the campsite over to where all those pumpkins just came from, over from that side. And then I am going to plant a bunch of trees and stunt them in different stages. And we'll see we we'll figuring out somewhere of the fauna around the island. So that was pretty fun. You know, just emptying my mailbox and storage and seeing where we could put everything. And we didn't get much done, but we did plan some stuff out right like we got the whole movie theater thing over on this side the picnic areas yeah we gotta recolor a bunch of stuff and get some colds on the ground but you know got got the imagination going right and then and and, and, and broccolo is kind of freaking me out who knew who knew what that who knew over broccolo who knew he's also smart i don't understand i don't understand it's freaking me out freaking me out ah. all right well <laughs> now with the the uh, oh yeah and also i'm gonna add some more giant pumpkins to that pumpkin farm possibly we'll see we'll see how it goes yep all right woohoo woohoo weirdo rocklow's such a weirdo weirdo okay we're officially at the halfway point of the 30 day challenge <laughs> Ay ay ay. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not do off the things that I said I was gonna do. <laughs> I did. I did plant some trees and I stunted them at the third stage here, and I'll move the campsite. Yep. I did not do anything with the uh, bucks pumpkin yard. Uh, I still gotta make those. I didn't do it. I, I didn't want to harvest the pumpkins and water everything. I was just, I was like, it's half time. It's half time. It's the half time point. Time for a, a, a tiny little relaxing break where I'm not grinding. <laughs> but, you know, okay, we're fresh. We're fresh. We're ready to go. It, it's an, it's a Monday. We're starting. We're starting the third week of the challenge. <laughs> Woo! I didn't even change my outfit. I'm gonna change my outfit. I ordered some stuff. There we go. Hey there, bud. I want a water. Yeah. Oh, I got a backpack on. Take that off so you can see my awesome cape. Um, Pig King Andy. Pig King, bow to your Pig King. Buongiorno, Andy. I've been brushing up on my Spanish since we last met. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm not the only one losing my mind. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. Before we start on anything super crazy, Broccolo and our conversation that we had yesterday, well, everything just being a game and nothing being real and we're all there for someone's entertainment really got me thinking, right? Like, yeah, yeah, this is all just a game, hmm? For someone else's amusement. This is the game of Graham and this is for Graham's amusement, right? So... I ordered all of these pro tape recorders. You know, little guys. And, and the spotlight that kind of look like security cameras, right? Hmm? And I'm gonna start sticking those around the island too to make it look like we're constantly being surveyed. It's not gonna be that obvious, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick them around, you know? Like, yeah, you're being watched. You're being watched. Like, Graham. I'll stick one back here. Bop. Security camera. There we go. Graham's watching ya. Graham's watching ya. And he's listening. He's listening to everything you're doing. Eh? See, it's hiding back there. It's hiding. Alright. Yeah, oh, I'm not gonna put that one there. 
But yeah, that's the idea, right? Like you are being watched. Put one by the tree there. So you'll see them. You'll see them. But you know, because Graham's being sneaky sneaky. He's not only playing a game with contaminating the waters and changing all of the animals different bright colors. Right, Sprinkles? Right, Sprinkles? Oh man, I'm a doomsayer now. <laughs> uh oh. All right. Yeah, that's what we're doing. He's he's recording everything. Whatever you gotta say, he he's gonna find out. That that's a little too obvious, actually. <laughs> we can take that away. To play it back. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back on this side. I think. There we go. He's listening. He's listening. Listening to everything you gotta say. You're gonna go around this way. Yep, Brocklow is right. One there. Uh -huh. Super secret, super sensitive secret information. One, put one back here. I might have to order more of these. Uh, I didn't order too many. There's one. He's recording Vladimir and all his shenanigans, figuring out what's going on in there. I don't even know what's going on in there. Put one in Brocklow's place. This one might be too hidden. Oh no, you can see it in certain areas. That's so creepy. It's so creepy. Put one back there, maybe. Should he be listening to the pigs? Should he? I don't know. Right there. We gotta put a bush in front of it, I think. I'm gonna leave it there so I remember, though. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sorry, Bucks Farm. We've been working on you too much, okay? It's not happening today. Here he is. The culprit. Hey, how's it going indeed? I'm doing your bidding. I'm placing around your recorders. Another day in paradise, or as I like to call it, Odd Podge. Yeah, yeah, keep up the charade, buddy. Keep it up. It's working. It's working. I think there's a spot back here that I can use. There we go. All right, before I uh, put that vine back, I'm gonna put some slime. I'm gonna do the slime thing. There we go. Oh yeah. Bah, perfect. Get everything back. Boop. Perfect. Okay, we don't need to put any tape recorders by Graham's house because he's the one. Get, get out of my way. Stop pretending like you're fishing. You don't even have a line on that hook. Or a hook on that line. Whatever. Whatever. He's got me stressing. Keep going. Keep going. We're hiding tape recorders. <laughs> All right. So we got Eloise. We got... Oh, we need to get Kyle. Well, we did get Kyle. Let's just put a, like another security camera. I won't face it right into his backyard. Where, where else? Over here? Oh, by Stonehenge? Yeah, by Stonehenge. How do we get it in there? How do I get in there? Put it in there. There we go. There. Pop Stonehenge in there. Now, we did have that pipe. Maybe we should have one on this side of the river instead. That down. Okay. Actually, I have one more. So I'm gonna put that by Violet's place. Oh, we need to do Violet's place. For sure. There we go. Just so I don't forget. We're being surveilled. I'll order more. I'll order a lot more. We'll put them everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, it's gonna rain. Is it gonna rain? I hope not. I want to do some building and construction and stuff. What I want to do, as you can see, I got rid of the water cedar because I needed to plant the trees. Uh, and I kind of want to work on this river line. I don't want it to be open like that. I'll pick these flowers. I gotta move these flowers. And we'll have to like save spots for the tape recorders. If it starts raining and I time travel to tomorrow, I will order more tape recorders so we can stick them places. Yeah, I really like it. Graham is an evil mastermind, you know? Evil hamster mastermind. Not much you can do about it, I guess. I'm gonna take all that and just kind of stick it over here. We'll have to do this area eventually too. Not right now. There we go. They're all stacked up there. Uh, I don't think the mums are in the way right now. I, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's do tree stuff. I want to do tree stuff. I want to just get trees along this river. So I'm just going to dig a couple holes and see where we can place them. And then we'll start moving trees. There's a pipe there. That'll be a break in the tree line. Then I'll have one there. No. Why did it jump? Why you jump like that? That in there. That'll be a pretty good tree line, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want one there. Okay, let's start scooping up trees. Okay, eat some peaches. All right, there's the peaches gone. We're gonna need more, but that's okay. All right. What? 
hey, that was my first tree, man. What's going on? Rude. That's not how you treat King Pig Andy. I get my crown back on. That's why. That's why they didn't know, because I was wearing my crown. I'll forgive you for now. All right, let's scoop you up. Let's get these ones a little spread out. Bop, 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 bop. That's nice. Then I'm gonna get some of these me medium. Lar no, these are large hardwoods, actually. Yeah, bop. Oh yeah, that's okay. And then I'll get one of these fern trees and go bop. Mm hmm. And then we'll stump both of them. Oh, I need a stunty. I'll take this one and go boop. There we go. Well, they're all pretty lined up though. So we probably have to have one there. Uh, I'm gonna do another, this one. I need more peaches. Um, nom, 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 nom. I'm a piggy. Um, nom, nom, nom. Piggy, piggy. Oink, oink. So delicious. Ah, I have been satiated for now. <laughs> okay, let's go. I got one right there. Another one of these. I'll put it right there. I'll put in that. That's gonna be an apple tree, so it's gonna bring like some red. I'll come back around this way. Do a young. Perfect. And we got way too many trees now. Okay. Oh, we know we only got like four. So we'll probably have one around Kyle's place. You know, give him a little privacy from the big perk. Put another one right there. And then this area, I don't know if we're gonna have it so open. I'll put a small one right there and right there. Probably have a big one right here. Okay, I'm gonna go get this one, this vine, because uh, we haven't figured this out yet. Is there any other ones on the side of the island? There's peach tree. There's big hardwood up there. Okay, I'm gonna go get that. Should have planted more trees. <laughs> Underestimate the trees. Poor Violet. Poor Violet. She's all right. She'll be fine. We're fine. She's all right there. We'll plant that big one over here. Nope, there's a small one and then a big one. And that's our little first line block off. I think I'm a doo 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 -der. So what I usually do is get bushes and things like that from captain's tours. I go and I, I go scoop them all up. So I think I should probably do that. Go on a captain's tour, scoop up some bushes, and then we'll add some bushes to the mix. But I like this. I think the outdoor movie should be around here that i think this is a good spot for it like right up there and then we got like this whole space to deal with other stuff i put like the high end radio in the front like that's where the the sound is coming from and then we have the pa speakers on each side yeah that looks pretty good i'm not sure if we can change the color of these i don't know black it, do it doesn't seem comfy. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this stuff. We know where we're, where we're gonna put it. We're gonna do a little bit of a round trip. We're gonna go to the captain's island and we're gonna go get some bushes and then we're gonna go to Arv's island and recolor those and that's my plan so far. Okay, all right, sounds good. Oh, bottle. Wooden toolbox. Ooh, very nice. Cool. All right, let's go, Captain. Let's go. What I learned recently is if you mash the B button, uh, yeah, he'll get mad at you, but he'll stop. I don't recommend doing that all the time because Captain's songs are nice, but uh, yeah, you know, it, it happens. It happens. You know, I think I might scoop up some of these trees while we're here. Some of these full grown ones. Oh yeah, I'm eating a lot today. I am a piggy. Um, nom, 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 nom. I was open for not this season island, but you know, but I will scoop up some of these. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these as well. Maybe two of them. Not a whole lot of bushes on this particular island. Get my bottle if it's here. Oh, conch. Nice. Collecting conches like conches. Sounds like conches. Collecting my conscience. Uh, stack of books. Heck yeah. Love it. Nice. All right. Cool. Let's go back. Sorry, Captain. We're not listening. How dare you? I'm having a good thing and you're all clicky clicky button mash and whatnot. <laughs> yep. He gets mad. He gets, he gets mad, but it's kind of funny. Is that a conch? No. Hey, oh. Hey girl, what's up? Sup? Ugh, where you at it? Island. Woo! 
Ooh. Well, all right. Hey, Arv. Do, 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 do. Let's see. What's up, Cyrus? Can't do the PA speakers. And you can't do the ion stereo. Oh, that sucks. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Let's get back. We're going back. Okay. Well, where are we going to put it right here? Boop. Mm -hmm. Oh, was it over one? Oh, cartoons. Nice. That there. Boop. Our stereo. I guess that's how it's going to be. I don't mind this. And then I don't want to put any of the pillows down because I think I need to search for some codes for some blankets and stuff. All right. I'm going to get my workbench out in yeah, my shed because we're going to start crafting some of these mutant flower things. And that's going to be part of our riverside decoration because that's where the contaminants coming from. What did I do? Oh, no, no, no. I want to craft. I only have pocket space to craft. Okay, I want to see what colors this comes in because it's so awesome. Yeah, I got no pocket space. What am I doing? White and yellow. White is cute. I think I'll do some white. There we go. Let's see what's in here. What's in here? A princess. Oh, she's gone. Shut the TV off for a bit. <laughs> While we concentrate. We're just gonna stick a bush back there. And then I did do some code hunting. And I got this kind of glowing moss stuff. Boop. And I want to see if that goes really nice. It kind of does. I kind of like it. Aw. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to plant some bushes just on the edge. We'll fill this space in. We'll put them in different places. Fill it up. Boop. Mm-hmm. It's cute. It, yeah. It's all going to come together. I promise. I promise. Mm. Oof. I think I'm going to put one in front. Boop. <laughs> I'll boop. 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 You know. See, we, we gotta get more bushes. Bushes go so fast. We literally placed every single bush from a captain's tour. Like, and it, it didn't even fill it up. I'm gonna craft some of these mum things. I'm gonna do a couple of these tulip ones. I haven't really collected a lot of tulip heads yet. Because, you know, we recently got that one. I can make like four more. So that's okay. All my pockets. Oh yeah, I scooped up these trees. <laughs> I forgot. I'll put one there. Boop. Right here. Boop. I'll put one by sprinkle. Ow. Boop. What do you mean, no? Right here. Boop. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. All right. See? Uh, Captain's Island. You just grab stuff and start putting it on your island. It's awesome. All right. Now, I'm just going to customize a couple of these things. All right. Let's see. I want to see how well the the red will pop up. So I'm going to get the, the glowing moss stuff and get a surprise box in here oh yeah you can see it you see it's going you see something's happening over there right well, i'm gonna get a mum cushion uh i don't toxic stuff will look good under the mum cushion let me try i have this uh oh no yeah that doesn't go i have this oh, excuse me Ex excuse me i picked up this carpet maybe for the movie theater but i need i need more than just one i think I'll try this one. I thought I was thinking about putting that on the beach. We'll stick the mum cushion under it. Kinda. I might change it. I'm gonna get some mum things over here too. Yeah, we can't fit much back here, but that's okay. Put a red tulip surprise box. You can barely see it. That's <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. Oh, this glow. Oh, I actually I like that a lot better. Let's see with the mum. Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Okay, get out of your other stuff. There we go. I'm gonna craft some of these windflowers too. Boop, 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 ba ba Let's see what colors those come in. Red, pink, ooh, and purple. Well, I think I'm gonna do pink. And maybe save the purple for violets, please. Yeah, okay. Let's try that. Get some of the glue. I'm gonna Boop. Aw. Can we stop it? Yeah, now it's just stop. It looks like a big flower. Cool. Okay, well, we'll get one of the, We'll get that red one. We'll get a red one over here. Get this kind of glow. Ow. Boop. Yep. Glow. And a mum. Oh, boop. Cute. Yep. This is working. This is working. Maybe I could get another mum cushion in here. Maybe if we made it white. I'm gonna make it white. There we go. Boop. Yep, and we definitely need more bushes and probably just regular flowers 
in and around and of course like glow and moss stuff right so beside this tank or pipe i want to put like a glowing moss or a goo patch like that and then glow and moss which i, I don't have a lot of but I do want to get it around the pipe and therefore it'll look super suspicious like what is even happening there oh stuff get some more goo that don't look right what i would like is more glow and moss ball things are uh, they're so expensive they take eight um i'm gonna make two just so we can finish that there we go i just want to finish the aesthetic you know what i mean so i'm gonna put that there i think that's it Okay, I didn't need to make two. I made two anyways. Maybe I'll put one over here. I'm gonna get the glow. I'm just gonna plant a rose. Put the glowing moss stool. Yeah, you'll see it when you're walking around, right? So this is basically what I want all like the river line to, to look like. Pretty much this. I'll put the tulip surprise box. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot more heads plucked off flowers. <laughs> Yeah, this is really good. And then we can just like plant regular flowers and glowing moss just like in and along the river. So I'll do some glowing moss and go bop, bop, boop, arrow. We'll, we'll make it a little bit more condensed near the pipes, I think. I don't want to double on that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to plant this actual pink wind floor. And then it's just, it's just toxic. It's just toxic. Yeah, okay. That river line is almost done. Pretty much. Okay, so there is, is there a pipe over here? No. Where's the next pipe? Hey, Sprinkles. There's a pipe over here. All right, I'm gonna craft some more. Pretty much, I think I'm just gonna, oh, oh yeah, the Cosmo showers. I forgot about those. Okay, I can't make any more tulips, but I can make the mums. I can make the rose bed. But I'm not too sure what the rose buzz right now. I'm gonna make the cosmo showers and the wind flowers. And I can make a bajillion of the mum things. Because I've had that recipe for so long. Okay, and then we're gonna have to cut. Yeah, we're gonna have to customize it. Hmm, red and white. Okay, we'll do white. Oh, look, a balloon. I'm not getting you, balloon. Let's go. Let's go over here. Mom. Oh, hey. All right. There we go. Oop. Cosmo shower. Cute. I guess we could put some more. Can I get that closer? Yep. There we go. We'll get a wind flower fan and our cosmo flower. Yeah, these are running out pretty quick. Okay. I'll put a mum cushion on this side. And we'll put one in there. Put a cosmo shower. And then I guess I'm going to put like some more bushes. Take that up for a second. Get the glow under. Mm hmm. I oh, will get the Cosmo shower in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this just needs like bushes and stuff. Or maybe a tree sticking up right here, possibly. I did get rid of all the trees already. So we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get some more trees. This is working. This is working really well. And that's what we should do around the pipes. Like always. We'll get the, the green stuff. The green. Oh, hey, no. <laughs> and if I jump back in, it's not going to take me to where I was. It's going to take me somewhere else. We. Oh, that's closer. Okay, that's good. <laughs> we almost got there. I was I was going to pull it out like this, but oh. Because I want to put the green stuff on the ground there. Get rid of that one. All right, pull this back. And then we'll get glowing moss around the pipes. Something fishy's going on around here. Get some glow and a mum cushion. I wonder if I can push that in an off tile. I can. Oh yeah. We're gonna need to go to a lot more Captain's Islands. Cause that's the This is the plan. That's the plan. Stan. Yep. 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 All right. Let's go. Do do do. And then I'm gonna get. I need to get like tree standees I suppose and we could try and hide them like really badly though right oh man this is awesome okay uh I'm gonna make some hold on okay we'll do some tree standees and some grass standees it really depends on where the pipe is because if it's a it's already kind of hidden we don't really need a tree standee to hide it I think this is a good idea maybe we'll even hide the recorders behind some grass standees oh yeah okay Thank you. 
Hey, sprinkles. Thank you all. Pretty proud of that idea. I really like it. Okay. Do, 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 do. This one is pretty obvious, I suppose. So maybe it's like being attempted to be hidden behind a tree standy. Excuse me. What the? Excuse me. This is not, this is not the deal. Okay. Push it in. Don't go in. Oh, it don't go in because of the moss here. Okay. And that's where this stuff comes in. So we, it still can look like there's, there's moss. Right? It's like nothing suspicious happening here. Yeah, you can jump in it from that side. Okay, I'll make sure that when you jump in it, you'll be able to get out and like water around and stuff, right? I think that would be a wise idea. So this one's just gonna be like a grass dandy, right? Like, oh, there, we hit it. You know what? May maybe the tree standy is too obvious. Maybe because it's so close up that it that yeah, Graham's smart in that. If I saw that, I'd be like, what is that? And I'd go investigate, right? But like just like hide in something like so would be a little different, I suppose. Yeah. Like that would be a little less suspicious in a suspicious kind of way, I suppose flowers in front and a, and, and a tree eat an apple we're gonna go get a tree quick i'll steal this tree and we'll stick it right there Bop. oh yeah oh yeah okay okay who's excited i'm excited this is awesome woohoo oh man i got so much more to do <laughs> okay i gotta i'm gonna i'm gonna actually do stuff today or tonight I'm gonna go on captain's tours. I'm gonna try and get a lot more glowing moss. I'm gonna get to put a grass dandy in. And then this spot would have to be open. Well, yeah, okay, I'll figure it out. That That's pretty good in regardless, right? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh yeah. All right, this is awesome. This is awesome. Yep. Don't jump into the holes when you come here. Otherwise you're gonna get lost. <laughs> and then randomly, I don't know, getting this dream address when it's ready, it'll be like, uh, where are all these pipes going? And eventually, eventually you will end up, hopefully eventually, if I jump through all the holes or all the pipes, you will end up in this area, which will be very evident what, uh, what's happening with the toxic waste. You might have to buy a couple more pipes for up here. It'll We'll have like the toxic waste and everything, or I keep calling it toxic waste. It's an experimental contaminant by Graham, turning everybody bright colors. <laughs> but yeah, okay, there he is. Uh, Graham, I've done stuff. Oh man, you're in trouble now, eh? Huh? You're in trouble. Apparently, Vladimir is as sick as a hamster right now, and you're gonna act like it wasn't your fault. You're gonna act like it wasn't you. All right. Sure. I know I feel better when a friend visits, so maybe you should think I won't stop and buy. Uh, no. Or you have a trap for me because I'm on to you? Get out of here. Get out of here. Nuts. Nutso. It's like he's, he's literally recording everyone right now. He saw. He saw what I was doing, and he was like, oh no. She knows what the pipe system. I'm gonna go send her over to Vladimir. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right. Okay. I'm excited. This is awesome. Halfway point. Halfway. Look. Look. Oh, the, this is gonna be awesome. The, the, come on. Come on. All right. It is the beginning. I am getting ready to start to work on this area over here. We're gonna start it. We're probably not gonna finish it. It's gonna take a little bit of time and we're gonna see what other items we need to order. But Graham's home. So let's go say hi. There he is, crafting. Hey, Graham, at last, it's Andy. What did I do while you were gone? Let's see. I don't, I don't wanna know, Graham. I, I don't wanna know. I mostly watched kung fu movies in my basement and then made kung fu movies in my basement. You have a basement? Did you know that no one can hear my me scream from my basement? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, what is going on in your basement? Graham, you're creeping me out, Ben. Anyways, welcome back. Oh, okay. Um, welcome, welcome back for another episode of the Graham Show. Uh, I, yeah, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Glad you asked. I'm making a stone wall. The recipe came to me in a dream. Do you want to hear more about it? Either the dream or the stone wall. I don't want to know anything else that goes around in that little hamster head of yours. Um, just, just the wall, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. Well, if you haven't seen the inside of Graham's house, this 
is what it looks like. It's super suspicious. And apparently he's hiding in a basement somewhere in here. Somewhere. Where no one can hear the screams. Also, I wanted to show you something pretty cool. If you look up here, there's uh, some posters of Francine and Chrissy, I believe. They are very bright little creatures. And these little guys, they're so bright. And I'm thinking that maybe they caught a little disease or something or some sort of issue or they ran in to some sort of contaminant and Graham is on a super secret mission <laughs> to cure them because clearly he's a little bit obsessed with their bubblegum record and them. Like, that's creepy. Come on. And, and people scream in his base. I, I don't even know what's happening anymore. I wasn't ready for that. I'm, I'm not ready for any of this. But basically, so Graham started contaminating the waters here, right, to spread this contaminant so he could then work on a cure to cure those girls. When he was conducting his research, he realized that his research would be best done on Odd Podge itself so he could monitor everything much closely and as you can see he is monitoring he is monitoring a lot i mean a lot a lot all those tape recorders that we placed down yeah all those security cameras it's all coming up it's all coming in here and uh he's recording his findings so he can come up with care for these guys up here. I am so glad that I was told about this because I absolutely would have had no idea that was there. And yeah, if you know any tips or tricks or, you know, little secret Easter eggs, please tell me. Tell me. I love, I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, so they're subject zero, I suppose, and their contaminant or what they got exposed to, gave him polka dots, and clearly that's not happening on Odd Podge. Uh, pe people aren't getting po polka dots. I'm gonna get out of here, it's creepy. Alright, people around Odd Podge do not have polka dots. They're just turning bright colors, so clearly something is going a little bit amiss with his science experiment, but he is still collecting data, and that's why he moved to Odd Podge. So basically, what happened is he started his little experiment and was surveilling from another island, but he realized that his research could be conducted more thoroughly if he actually lived on the island. So what he did was he hacked the system and made sure all applicants to move in to that last lot that we had did not make it to Tom Nook. And then, and then what he did is he paid off Wilbur to make sure that when I went to go find someone to live on Odd Podge, he, Wilbur would bring me right to him and it would just be like, oh, oh yeah, oh, I'm just saying, you know, maybe I should move to Odd Podge just so he, it would seem a little less suspicious. Like, oh, oh, just like a random guy on an island. Let's just, let's just invite this guy because we're not getting any applicants to autofill our, our plot. And, it, and and it's all going, it's all going to plan for Graham, except for his experiment. It's a little AA wire, but that's why he's here. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's the story. All right. So... I did realize that we have uh, the secret beach, like super, super close to all these guys. I was, I was wondering, like, how high are we? Like, could we make a ramp system up to the secret beach, or is this like this is two? So we'd have to make two ramps up to the secret beach. Hmm. Hmm. Should we do that? Should we try? And then maybe Red's in on it, and Red brings him all his super secret supplies from the back beach here. It could happen. I could try. Okay, let's try. Just gonna pick this stuff up, because we're, we're probably gonna have the, the ramp lead up this way, and, and maybe there's a load off somewhere. Okay, let's just, I'm gonna pick this stuff up, put it, put it over here for now. We'll, we'll, we'll sort it out after. Up. And the grass is not as bright green. I'm in summer right now. All right, let, let's see. Let's see if we can curve a ramp and where we'd want to put it. In the back of chart? I don't think we can though. How close would we, we be able to put a ramp if we cut this out like that? Hmm. We'd have to cut it in another one. I think we'd have to do four? 
and then out this way. Let's see. And then we'd have to cut it out more for the bottom ramp. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe it's gonna ruin everything. Who knows? Okay, I'm gonna go grab a ramp really quick. All right, I got a ramp. I got one. I got one. Uh, 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 uh. I guess we could just like put one this way right here. If I place it too close to another, it'll block the flow of traffic. I see. What about right on this side? This can be a ramp. That's something to think about. Maybe right there. Or go down this way. We could curve that in. Hold on. Curve that and that. We'll go here. Probably not. I'm going to try anyways. No. Okay. Up, bitty, up, up, up. Yeah. Excuse me. I don't think you can put ramps right beside each other though, right? No. Okay. Go back up. Get this up. And that up. Put it over there for now. Boop. Okay. We're gonna curve the other part in just a little bit more. Get out of here, please. I'll zink out. Hopefully this works. I, I hope it does. I don't know if it will. Get rid of this area then. And then... I don't know how well this is. Th this one. The ground isn't stable near these rocks. It's not even on the rocks. <sighs> I'm going to push that in one more. Come down this way. We'll fill that in. Right. And then come down this way. Alright. Curve that in. Get that. Like so. I hope this works. I hope so. Because I would like it to work. It would be great if it worked. Curve that off. And there. Okay. Come up this way. If I put one right here. Yeah, that's okay. So you come down and then that way. All right. I'm just going to build this. This is a spot. And Lloyd is right there. Freaking me out. Hello. All right. I'll get, I'll get you donations. Donate. Take my monies. All right. Now I'm going to go to tomorrow. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to need some bells. <laughs> I planted a few money trees. Just a few. Hey, Flick. I don't have anything for you. Sorry. Maybe next time. It's 98,000, right? Yep. All right. I'm going to go get another incline. Do, 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 do. A sprinkle. Whoop. Got it. Oh, hey, guys. What's going on? Oh, hey, Eloise. What's up? What a surprise to see you, my dear. Oh, and speaking of surprises, I have a reaction I'd like to teach you. What? There's a sale at Timmy's shop, and I'm missing it? Say it isn't so toot. She got so surprised, she tooted. I, I, I saw that coming, though. There. See what I mean? Shock. Surprise. Amazement. Unu reaction could say so much. Thank you. I will not be tooting after. I'm amazed, though. I'm so impressed. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, like, everyone is here. Ah, uh, crazy. I like the summer. Summer's kind of cool. Like, these bushes and those other bushes are blooming at the same time. That's cool. Maybe we'll do summer. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, also, I did end up kind of finishing the pumpkin patch. Added a bunch of pumpkins. It's looking a lot fuller. It's looking a lot organic. Much more organic. Ooh. Wee. All right, incline time. Inclines and bridges and how they work are not exactly my forte, but you know what? It's just how it is. I have a feeling it's not gonna work. It's too close. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Okay. Boop. Um, boop. I don't want anything that doesn't need to be curved away, curved away. And come back up this way. All right, we're gonna chip this side away because I think that's all we need to chip away. I am gonna fill this part in. Oh, no, 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 no. We're filling it in, bud. Filling it in. There we go. All right, you gotta go, tree. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I don't even know where to put it. Uh, up here, I guess? Nope. There we go. Bup. Cute. Might move Graham's house further up because we're doing this, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know where I'm getting my ladder out when there's a perfectly good ramp there, but I am. All right. So we'll curve that in like that. Let's see. Mm, mm, mm. 
like that and then I can curve that in and then it will work right here. Should I reserve this spot? This spot works. It works just fine. Okay, let me imagine it. Wow, that looks awesome. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh gosh, I'm stuck down here with Lloyd. Ooh, Ugh. awkward, awkward. Oh, I'm like literally stuck. Well, you suck. This is good angles. Lloyd's probably just picking my pocket as I help him donate. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, so this side here, you just come up in this way. And then we have this over here. I don't, I don't think I can fill that in. That, that's not going to be an option. But I think I'm probably going to move Graham's house up a bit. Give us more room for blocking stuff off. Okay, I'm going to go grab his house real quick. All right, I got his house. I'm thinking maybe over like this. It'll block the flow of traffic. It won't. It won't. Because it's the same. <sighs> Alright. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to move his house twice. Oh, man. Alright. We're just going to move him here. We'll be back. Alright. I got Graham's house. Flo's thinking. I don't like that. Everyone's hanging out. Uh, uh, you doing okay, Charlie? Sup, Andy? We haven't spoken in a while. Glad you stopped by. I miss talking to you. Uh, such an awesome listener. Aw, thanks, Charlie's. Oh, you're just sitting on a bench. Aw, cute. All right. Ooh wee, boop -boo wee. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta figure it out. This, this is. I wasn't planning on this. This, uh, this was not part of the plan. <laughs> what do we got going on here? Uh, the ramps looking good. So you come down this way, come down that way, and then you're in the secret beach. Perfect. I like it. Then Graham's house. I kind of want to like set something up there. So we could build that out more, couldn't we? I think we could. All right, hold on. Let's build this out. Let's build this out. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I'm just going to build this out as far as it goes. And we'll see if that makes a difference in our decisioning. Yeah, see, look how far we can build that out. Okay, I'm not too worried about this. Okay, I'm gonna fill this in. I don't know how much difference this part's gonna make, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Me as well. Boop, bop, fill it. Boop, boop, and bop. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of space. Come up here, and we're gonna build that top layer up too. I think that's it for that. Nothing will go there, right? No. Bop, bop, boop, boop, ba doop, ba doop. Okay, that's as far as it goes there. Bop, bop, boop, boop, rah, rah, no, hey, oh, I can still get in there. Ah, ha, ha, ah, boop, and I think that's as far as that'll go. And this one will do one more, yeah, one more. Okay, we're gonna curve all these off, make it look natural, and we're gonna get back up there. That's so much more space. Oh man, yeah, this kind of looks cool too, though, eh? She start working on her beaches too. All I got is palm trees. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, excuse me. Up, 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 up. Thank you. Can I push this in more? All right. This is a lot more space. Because the idea is that Graham wants to look like he's m he lives in cottage country. And then everything else behind here is super suspicious. Okay, let me imagine this. I think that's good. Okay. Okay, it's good. Yay. Yay. <laughs> That took a while, but it worked. I think that maybe I want to curve, you know, no, we didn't have this curved off, but maybe we should. This area looks a bit funky, but that's okay, right? Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. And then we get our stuff back. Where is it? It's over here. We got the pipe. We got this. There we go. I'm probably gonna make some more tree standees and things anyways, so that's gonna be okay. I wonder if I can still stick one back there. Let's see. No room. There. It's the wrong way. No. Okay, right, I'm gonna push that one in. There we go. A little bit more? Nope. That's it for that. I'll put that one in there. P push it in a little bit. There we go. Can I get around? Nope. All right. Well, yeah, you can kind of see that there's something. I mean, we'll put a grass dandy because it's not, it's an off tile. Yeah, it's better than nothing, right? Right there. 
Oh, no. Ah. Oh, no, man. That's okay. All right. Oh, uh, I planted all these flowers so I can pop the heads off them and start collecting all those ginormous flower things. It, it's a process. It's happening. I'm doing it. The thing is, is the glowing moss and all that. Glowing moss and vines. Oof. I'm having trouble finding those. I've been going to HHP. They just grow back so, so slowly. You can clearly jump into it. I don't know if you can get out of it, but there it is. I think that we should travel and get the whole picture of this with Graham's always there. Do, do, do. Oh my gosh, look at Graham's eyeballs. Oh, I was told Graham looked kind of cute if he was wearing different spectacles. I guess he does. It, I mean, the whole evil scientist thing is definitely in the spectacles. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Ooh -wee. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Hey, Stella, you enjoying your peach field? Huh? Yeah, she's doing good. She's doing all right. Yep, cottage country. Perfect. And then we have this whole area. Okay, I got my storage shed and my mailbox. Okay, so my mailbox is full of stuff that I intentionally ordered. Oh, and some mail, but you know, uh, for the builds. Sorry, I guess I'll just take that. But I didn't order any random things from Wordle's shop to open his catalog. So all of this is just, you know, good stuff that I actually want. All right, one thing that I did get that I think that we could use back here is the fence. So I got this in orange. Okay, we gotta, we can't push it after we place it. Okay, we gotta make sure it's like way in the corner. I think that's as close as it's gonna go, but I did order a bunch just to, you know, make it look like Something's going on here. I don't think that's gonna place. It will, weirdly. Okay, well, can I pull you? We're gonna have to get back into construction. Urgh, pick that up, go back out. All right, I'm gonna curve that out for a second so I can pull this in one. There we go. And then we'll just build that back up. Should it be like that? Hmm, maybe. Well, since I'm in this mode, I'm gonna get some decals out. Put them down like that. I got some oil barrels. I'm not sure what color. Okay. I mean, that's okay, right? Let's try another fence. I think you can customize the fence. Is that is that good? I can't see. Let's try that. Nope. You gotta stand on a slight diagonal, I guess. I'll try right there. Bah, no. Can I push it in? Can't push it in. Okay. Like that. Now, can I push it? I can't push it in if it's like that. Ugh. Okay. I have the tension pull rack. Kind of looks like shelving, I suppose. Let's see. A little bit, but we could probably recolor it. Oh, I think I like the, I think I like the look at this. That's not in very well, is it? No. Okay. Well, okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay. That's way in there. Change up this tension pull rack. See what colors it comes in. I think it customized the fence to have a sign on it too. I don't know if it'll show from like way back there though. It comes in the orange. I'm gonna get the fence. Ooh, it does go really high up. That's what I want to do. I want to do that. All right. Let's see how this looks. Right there. Oh, it's the wrong way. Oh, okay. Then I can't push it in. Oh my gosh, this is so complicated. Uh, uh. I guess I gotta build myself a path. Oh, oh. It's still the wrong way. Is it that way? No. Like that? Oh, that works. How come it work now? Okay, I'm gonna dig myself out this way. Pick this up. Leave those two. Come up this way. I'm gonna recolor that one. I'm gonna recolor both of them, actually. So this is gonna have a warning sign on it, and the other one's gonna have, like, that weird chemical sign on it. Trash collection rules, whatever that means. Let's put that in there. All right. Uh, I hope this works like that. And then we pull it in, plant some golden moss, push that in, curve that one out, and get back up. Okay. Uh, that, that happened. That's a thing. Okay. Go boop. And this is like a science shelf. I have a second one. I can make these. That's the thing. I kind of like them different colors. Hopefully this next fence isn't too difficult. Put it like so. There we go. And then from here, I can push it in. Okay. Wow. 
that uh, that took time. <laughs> that took a lot of time. Okay, we do have a tree standee that we could push in there. Or, you know what? I think I want to put it on this side and push it in there. Okay, it's coming. It's going. I also picked up the examination room desk that can go across like that. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of colors that comes in, but that's pretty cool. This is like the experiment zone. This is the hot zone. Mom's handmade apron. All right. I do have more fences. And I got a lab chair. EKG machine. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like a super experiment area. Probably gonna have to change the pathing for this. Hmm. I don't really have any like super awesome pathing. Hmm. Huh. I still have the the path path. Maybe we could do that. I don't know how well that's gonna look. I'm gonna put the EKG machine there. That does look good. Okay, so we'll do a bit of this and you know, like that. Put the examination room desk back. And then that's open. So we could veer this path off, you know, however we wanted to. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is like that's like his work area or something. Or we could have it like more back here, work area. I also have the lab, lab chair, <laughs> lab, lab chair. Okay, so if you came up and you came this way, okay, that would be like super, super suspicious. So maybe we should do the lab stuff over here, which uh, makes me want to move those shelves to where that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll do that. I'll do that another day but just imagine that the shelves are there i'm gonna scoop up this valuable tree so just like that that's gonna be behind the the desk that's that's my plan at least because i think i've had enough of this fiddling around with you know the the curve the this stuff this stuff like so and then i'm gonna have a slime spill mm-hmm okay you know what let, let me just let me just do that quick. Let me just do it quick. I'm gonna do it quick. Okay, I did it. I did it. It was not quick. It I it, it was nowhere near quick. All right. There we go. And go boop. Okay, that's better because then when you come around, you'll be diverted this way more. So we'll probably have like a tree there blocking the way or or something. Something. This is the experimental area. <laughs> not good. All right. We got the lab chair in here got the hospital screen which would will add a lot of privacy to this area's wall push it like that and I'll hide this area a little bit I got the IV drip very very suspicious very suspicious IV drip we're gonna have to change all of this like the trees back here are gonna have to move I'm gonna just keep that one up oh no okay whatever that's fine. This is like mon monitoring stuff. I picked up the effects rack. I thought that looked really creepy and sciencey. I got an oil barrel. I got them in, yeah, a bunch of different kind of colors and things. I'm thinking that, yeah, orange is too much. Over here. There's too much orange. I just, I don't think we're going to be working on Charlize's end of things today just because of how long this is taking me. Oh my gosh. We'll see what color this one is. Okay, yeah, that's dangerous looking. Uh, should we go down here? Yeah, let, let's get the beach kind of going. I'm gonna get these slime decals like in a lot of different places. Put that orange bucket down here. You can't put anything on them, but that's okay. I got this because red, red's in on it. Red's delivering all this stuff. I'm gonna get some decals. I'm gonna try and yeah, okay, that works. Perfect. I'm gonna get the cage curd in here. Like there, like there's a there's deliveries happening. Oh, oh yeah. I got something real cool. The amazing machine. Ooh, look at that. That's weird, eh? Okay. I think I'm just gonna stick it in the back of the house here. Get this outdoor table in. Like, kind of cut it off. I put like an electronics kit. I'm gonna put the lab experiment sets. Oh, that requires like a full table. Okay, I see. Put that there. With lab experiments of uh, this reference sheet, it kind of looks like a pipe pipeline, like pipelines, right? Right? I think so. Maybe I could get like a goo under there. 
get another oil barrel in. And then over here, we got the atomic model in. Like he's referencing this stuff as he's like working on people. Ooh. I got like a mixer for, I don't know, mixing stuff. I don't know what's going on. I got another effects rack. I think I'm gonna push it that way so you know. I could possibly get more electronics on there. Though it does look a little bit crowded. I'm gonna pick this up. Put the office materials there. Pick that up. I'm thinking this should be closer to this. Ooh. No, I don't want to be experimented on. Okay, push that in. We'll get the atomic model back here. Yeah, okay, I really like this. This is, yeah. And I got this thing called the unknown machine. You can press the button. I don't know what happens. It's unknown, really. Maybe I'll have that more on this side, like over here. So I'm gonna get the goo and the pipe down. There we go. I'm gonna get this path kind of like that. Get some of this glow just like in and around like that. Yep. And we'll get the lab chair back in. Yep. That's freaky. It's freaky. IV drip back. Yeah, I'm um, I'm starting to like this. I'm starting to like it in like a weird way, but <laughs> I do like it. Super creepy experiments. I'm not too sure what the mixer, but it, it doesn't really go, but it kind of goes. I'm gonna get an outdoor generator. Unless I want to, I want to take this. Take it this way. Let's try. Can't put anything there. Yeah, there's trees in the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna scoop this up. Excuse me. <laughs> what? Hey, yeah, I'm gonna skip that up. I'm gonna skip it up because I don't think trees are growing there at all. See if I can stick another one right there. The decoy trees, the this is cottage country trees. I'll stick the amazing sheet machine back here. Well, that doesn't really work out. It kind of does though. Yeah, that's all right. All right, maybe I'll stick the outdoor gener- Oh, you can stick stuff on top. Okay. Maybe we'll get more science stuff then. Okay. I, I didn't know you'd put stuff on top of there. That's awesome. Put the effects rack back there. I'll play some electronics kits. Yep. 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 I think I'm gonna pull this out. Boop. Oh yeah. Okay. And we'll push that in. Die it. That, that's good. I think this is good. I think this is working. I want it to be fairly clear that this is all toxic so we'll put another oil barrel in yep 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 i'm definitely gonna have to order more barrels because those barrels went really quick but we'll get like some glowing moss and this is all i have right now <laughs> i only have that much glowing moss it's not good there we go and uh don't forget that graham does have a basement okay so that's a thing we he, he might not do everything out here. Maybe I'll order some more amazing machines and unknown machines and in different colors possibly. And definitely a lot more barrels because if we're going to need a lot more barrels like all the way around this way as well. Huh. I do like it though. I do like how it's starting out. I think I'm just going to finish the path out this way we'll fine-tune the pathing and stuff and and all that get some glowing moss in this area Oop. i want the big ones there we go then we'll have something else over there maybe another amazing machine yep this is good this is good stuff all right i think that's uh all i can do for now i'm gonna i'm gonna go to a sunnier day it's too drab the mood's not right ah Oh, yeah. Okay, we gotta see it in this bright green blue sky weather. It's gonna look so much better. Definitely need more glowing moss. Oh, man. That's the hardest part of the challenge right now is collecting glowing moss. There's the suspect. There's some evil mastermind. Still kind of cloudy, but yeah, it doesn't look so, like, terrifying now. So, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I can't wait to work on the rest of this area. It is going to take a while. I'm going to need a lot more glowing moss. That is for sure. So we might leave this for a day or two and come back to it. But yeah. And I got to collect way more barrels and supplies and 
that that takes money grinding oh my gosh okay so today i want to work on something a little bit different i have been trying to collect some more glowing moss and bells and all that to get all the items that we need to finish graham's super secret science layer but uh, i didn't achieve that goal last night so what i want to do is start working on the beaches a while ago we mentioned that the runoff from the rivers that are being contaminated through the pipelines are starting to affect the coastline here and creating a serious issue with the sh shells or the what, what do you call it shell life sea life coral life i don't know the there, there's gigantuan shells happening on the beach because of graham's uh super experimental experiment experiment stuff all right so i want to start from sprinkles house and move all the way down this way because we have a couple of beachfront properties we got eloise vladimir and then the beach kind of continues down this way and it reaches all the way to stella's place and up there is a beer <laughs> is Graham's cottage and then he's got his super secret science lair going on up this way. So I figured that the beaches were probably, they're not super important, but they could be fun, right? And I've been collecting shells and all that and I have a couple of shell DIYs. It's summer now. I was hoping that we would get more summer DIYs. I just picked up a summer or not a, I just picked up my bottle it was just like an ironwood low table so I don't know I'm not too sure about that but you know I'm ready I got my snorkel on I got my I got my green kitty outfit on I'm ready I'm ready to go so let's head over to sprinkles first there we are all right so I have collected some glowing moss I got 28 but I have been crafting things as well so I got a bunch of the, the glowing moss and moss stools. That takes eight each. That's a lot. And I did collect a lot of sand dollars, which this is what uh, these take, sand dollars. And I got a couple of shell partitions. I was thinking probably we could use the, the mum cushions. And I also got these glowing stirs which I think would look pretty cool on the beach. So yeah, I thought, thought we'd start out with that. I thought that would be fun. I don't want the beach to look too, too contaminated, but I do have this like glow that I thought was kind of fun that we could put around along with a little bit of this green glow to just keep that, you know, contamination theme going. So we get the shell partition in here because these are kind of like sprinkles colors. Get the beach going like that. I get some glow on the ground. I don't want to do the toxic puddles on the beach because, you know, there's not much toxic puddleage happening, but definitely these decals. And I think they look really nice together. And then when you get the shell table on, it all kind of just blends in. It looks it looks good. I think it looks nice. It would be really cool if we had more of these shell DIYs, but but I don't. That's just how it's going to go. Uh, I might be able to fit a shell table in here. So I'm going to get these on the ground. Just kind of whatever. As long as they're in a square. The glow and moss. I'm going to get a shell table on there. Uh-huh. I'll get the mum cushions out just for some growth on the beach, I suppose. Something tells me that, that this palm tree is not working or my shovel. There we go. Boop. There we go. It should grow up. And then we'll have like the palm trees growing. I, I like the idea of having a bit of a crowded beach just because the shells are so gargantuan that, you know, they're taking over a lot of the beach. Uh, I don't know how close the palm trees grow to each other. Ah, uh, I'll put one here. Ah, there you go. So I'll get the mum cushions as well. There's a, a pipe right there. So I'm gonna get a mum cushion and some glowing moss. And then on up here, I'm gonna get some more glowing moss. Okay, not like that though. Pick this up. 
I will get the goo on this. Oh, not over there. On here. Uh, right where I'm standing. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Get that pipe down. There we go. Yeah. I'm like that. I think that's really cute. I mean, it's not cute, but it's working. So I'll get some more of this sprinkle stuff because it is glowing. Uh, I think I'll get rid of that one. Make it look a little bit more organic. Yeah. Yep. 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 I like it. Get a mum cushion. Burp. And then what I want to do is kind of get stir fragments dropped on the beach for a little bit of glow, I suppose. It doesn't seem too, too random or toxic because sand I guess is crystals and they can form little stirs I guess maybe I don't have a lot of the stirs but I think a couple here and there would work I'll definitely get some glow under them there we go I like the summer shells so I think I'll scatter some of those on the beach too because they're very bright they're fun this is a little empty right here, but that's where her walk comes in, right? Maybe we want our walk to come out this way? Probably. All right. All right. I'm just going to change this a little bit. Maybe we could put sand up here. I did get a comment that maybe she deals with uh, water and she owns like a water business and it's, it's going out of business as of late. And I thought that was really funny. I think I'm actually gonna do this cute little path, this one here. It's gray, but I think it melds better with the blue tones. So I'll just get this sorted. We'll have it come out this way to her door. And maybe we'll have like a little garden or something for her. And while I'm here, I may as well just build her a patio. Yeah, I think that's cute. Then we'll have the walk like so. Get some sand. Yeah, this is nice. Maybe get a palm tree right there and it'll boop and that'll grow up nice and cute. I want to hide this pipe so I'll get another palm tree right there. I don't know if palm trees grow by the river. Is that going to grow? No, right? We'll have to move it over. Plant it on this side. Scrape that away. Get a little bit of glow of moss. And then I kind of want to just get this beach step going. A little bit. Yep. Plant that one. Get it in right there. Get a mum cushion. My plant a weed. Maybe we'll finish it off with a shell partition. Okay, let's get some decals though. So, go boop. I'll plant another glowing moss and that'll grow up. That'll be kind of cool. It'll hide it a bit. Yeah, I like it. Okay, right. okay, pick this up and put some decals. There we go. Oh, that's not the right one. Is that right? No. This one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cute. I'm just gonna take these shells and put them on top. You know, little details. I think that's cute. I think it's really nice. Get some more glow and stuff. Oh, um, there we go. Yellow one. Yay. Cute. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's overgrown. Or it's not overgrown, but it looks like there's issues happening around here. All right, let's move on to Aloise because I do have some cool yellow growing moss things. Squeak me, squeak me. So we got that big shell table there and some mums. I was saying that would be a perfect opportunity for some big mum cushions and these yellow glowing moss balls, which I only have a couple of, but maybe I should put it by the riverside. Yeah, probably. So I'm just gonna scoop that up, get some glow under it, and place that right there. Oh yeah, that's awesome. All right. I'm gonna pull this out. I should probably order more of those, actually. Display that. Get a stool right there. Cute. I'm gonna push that back in. Yep, I like that. The little yellow glowing, glowing stuff. Maybe I'll just stick one over here too. I get a yellow tulip surprise box. Yay! And one over here, cause that's the riverside and the riverside ain't doing well. It just got one right up the river there. A pipe, that is. I think I'm just gonna casually place one there. And then we got some more yellow shell tables. Up. Oh yeah, decals. Decals first. Oh yeah, that's good. I go boop. Hey, excuse me. Or pull it. Nice. Yep, get some of that. Drop it on there. I'll plant these. Oh, not up there. I have to plant them. 
Eh, that's okay. I really like this. I really like the, the idea of these beaches. I'll go ahead and plant a coconut right there. Mom cushion. Yep. All right. Do, 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 do. It's great. I think it is great. We're gonna get another mom cushion right there. Yep. Okay, moving on. Moving right along. And we got Vladimir's place. I got pink stools and pink tables. Some pink Cosmo showers. And a few pink wind floors. Also have a pink ukulele. With some coffee. I guess we could get these decorative bottles in the game since I have so many. I gotta get like pink fishing rods. Stuff like that too. So I was thinking putting the pink ukulele on a shell table with a coffee mug. I think that's a really cute look. Get some decals in and around. I do really like these decals. I think they are bringing something something to it. Get some decals on this side. Nope, I don't want to wear it. Splay it on the ground, please. Oh, thank you. And shell table. Yep. Uh, get the beer bottles just like on the side there. I think I can change the color of those, but we're, gonna, we're leaving for now. I, I don't want to do that right now. Get some more glow. That's basically what we're doing. We're just getting glow and shells and all that fun stuff. Get some more glow. So we'll get the moss balls out now. Play that on the ground. Now if I wasn't having such a hard time collecting glowing moss, uh, I'd be putting a lot more of these moss balls everywhere. But uh, apparently I am. So I don't I don't understand this flamingo. See me? Uh, there we go. I think that when I finally get a lot more glowing moss and I have excess, I'll just craft a bunch of those mo moss balls and just like stick them everywhere absolutely everywhere corner and i did get pink star fragments which is so cool because we're color coding right we're trying to color code the, it's the idea we're trying to stay true through the color code well i'll drop a star there got these shells drop one on that we'll come around this way see if i can drop star fragment yeah we can get star fragments on the tables drop one over there and you can walk through them so they're pretty cool there we go. Yeah. Beaches. Woohoo. Get some more glow. And drop one there. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna move it out. I'm gonna move it out this way. Like so. Yeah, I think that's good. I like it. I like it. Alright. We get the Cosmo shower out. These are all bright pink. They're very Vladimir. Very, very Vladimir. I think I'm gonna push that one up. Get Cosmo shower. Oh, that's red. Alright. Get a wind flower fan. Oh, this is so cute. It's so cute. Who knew Vladimir had the cutest yard? Like, who would have thunk? Boop. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Pink. Pink. It's awesome. Woohoo! This is where the, the fishing spot I want to put is going to go, I suppose. Get a table in there. Nice pink one. Perfect. Yep. It's pink. It's pink. And then these shells are kind of pink. So we'll drop those on the table. I think this is great. Oh, you know, this turned out just fine. <laughs> Yay! Okay. And get some more shell tables. And this is kind of like Broccolo's area, I suppose. Uh, no, the shell table does not come in blue. But it does come in purple. But, uh, we could try it. Okay. I do have two blue stars on the purple. Oh, yeah, I'm really not sure if that's going to work out. But... We got it. And I got a bunch of blue glowing moss stools. I do have these two left over just in case I wanted to color them in some other colors. I got a round pillow. I'm, I don't, I don't know. Get blue kettle. That's about it, I guess. I'm gonna, yeah, let's try the purple ones. I mean, yeah, okay, purple is not blue, but it's kind of as close as we're gonna get because there is no blue shell. Get this going. And get these blue stools in. Uh -huh. Get some glow. And stool. I definitely want so many more of these. Go. Boop. I think I only have one more left. This is kind of encringing on the fishing area. Kinda. That's okay. I got one there. Boop. I'm gonna put this round pillow with the simple kettle. Pick that up. I'm picking everything up. No. Bah. Broggles kind of have in like a little camp area here. I think that would be nice. Just a nice place to relax after a long day on the farm. 
We'll have to get like a beach chair or something. I'm gonna get a uh, blue stir fragment like over here. Oh, no, not right there. Drop it right there. I like ye. I like ye a lot. Hey. And then, yeah, this is the pathway out. So I'm thinking probably a palm tree right there. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, bah, 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 bah. We're gonna need like more bush details. I think we're gonna put over here, but not today. I'll drop a couple of shells on the shell table. Well, traversing this is not easy anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna drop one right there. Cute. I'm gonna see if I can push that in. Nope. Well, that's nice. I like that. Okay, continue. This is Stella's place and she does have purple stuff. So we'll definitely have a purple one for her. I mean, it kind of goes a little bit. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Let's just do blue. Oh, I do have a brown shell. Yeah, I got a brown shell. That could work. Uh, I got some white mum. Okay, I'm gonna try that. So, boop. That's not right. Boop, boop. Yep. I'll drop the stir fragment on there. Oh yeah. I think the brown one works. I think it works. Oh, and before I forget, I do have another ukulele that I'm gonna put on there for Broccolo. Yeah, he's too cute. All right. Okay, let's go down this way. Let's get, get some purple shells. I go boop. That's white. That's not purple. That's white. I go boop. And go doop. Oh, I forgot about the decals. Okay, I will work on the decals. I'll drop a shell on there. There we go. I am gonna get some mum cushions growing down here. Beep. Oh, oh, there's Charlize. Oh, she's being weird. She's happy about the potato baby. Oh, okay. Boop. And I'll push it in. Okay. I think I got purple stirs. Yeah. I got a couple. I'll drop one right there. And over here. No, 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 perfect. All right, there we are. Yeah, I'm gonna get, need to get more mum cushions and all. That's okay. We're coming down this way. So I'm gonna get a lot more stuff out. I'll get the last of the shell tables, tulip surprises, mum cushions, green growing, glowing moss. I'm gonna get some vines, some giant vines. Oh, let's spread these out. Cause this, this is like ground zero over here. So it's a lot, a lot of stuff. We're just gonna boop, place them wherever. And this place is a little worse because you know, it's downhill from Graham's, you know, nonsense. So, you know, when it rains, things can happen. Right, right, right. Okay, to get some on this. Uh, actually that doesn't look good. That's okay. Boop, boop, there we go. Shell table, and go boop. I got one more. I don't know, oh, I go boop. Uh, I don't know why there's a camp stove there. There is though. <laughs> yep, come down this way. I think I'm gonna get another shell partition, but over here, that's the last of the shell partitions. I need to make, I need to make more. I need to make more. Anyway, like, I need to make a lot more stuff. <laughs> okay, oh, oh. Yeah, it's not easy to walk around anywhere. That's okay though. We're okay. We're fine. Oh, uh, ooh. Yeah, what's that? What are you doing there? Huh? All right. All right, uh, this cliff, I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't really want to super decorate it right now, at least. Well, I'm gonna hang this on the cliff and I've totally changed my mind about the giant vine. I, I don't want to bring it down here. I don't want to do it. It takes so much to make. I, I just, I don't think this is the area for it. It takes 25 vines to make. And I only got 25, so. No, right? Yeah, no. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that for now. And uh, we'll, uh, we might not even worry about that cliff. I'm not even sure. Might just put weeds on it or glowing moss. I'm gonna, I'll start some weeds up here. I'll get a little bit of glowing moss just to be like, yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing, glowing moss right but i'll just get like you know two surprise boxes that kind of stuff mom cushions yeah i'm not gonna worry about uh, i'm not gonna worry about that too much right now but yeah that even looks good just like that that looks fine yeah okay okay a mom cushion glowing moss stool 
another one. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on this stuff if no one's going to see it, right? And then I might need to fix that up. So I, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. But I'm going to start planting some glowing moss on the beach and dropping a couple of these stirs with some decals, of course. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm gonna even drop them on the shelves to make it look like, you know, something's growing on there. It's weird. Something's growing on there and it's weird. There we go. See, we only got 17 more glowing moss. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, right there. I'm just gonna go down the beach. Oops, I pressed plant. I'm gonna drop it though. There we go. Yep, stuff is just growing. I think that's good. I think that's great. That is awesome. I'll plant a couple more. Drop some on there. Yep. Plant one. I'll go to Sprinkles. See if she needs some love with some glowing moss. Might need, you know, just glowing moss around. But, ugh. Yeah, I got so many pipes I need to decorate with glowing moss. So much stuff. Uh, plant one there. One there. Yep. It was cute. Aw, uh, and I only got six left. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'll continue collecting glowing moss and I'll continue collecting vines and more glowing moss and probably just focus on glowing moss because that that's really what we need around here is a glowing moss. Definitely, for sure. I'll drop a stir on there too. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. Oh, I did good. I can drop whatever I want because we got five stirs, so... And we got Lily the Valley, so I don't have to worry about that no more. Put one on there. Yep. Hang these guys. I guess not. Yep. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots of vines. And they're all gone. So that's a thing. Plant one there. Buck's just like, what happened? I, d I don't know, Buck. I don't know. What a Cosmo shower. Why not? No, 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 no. Okay, fine. 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 Hey, you like reactions, right? Kind of. That... that Ew! Ew. Ugh. Ew. I'm gonna sneeze in your face now. Yeah. Ugh. Take that. Ew. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, this is the idea. And I'm still doing it, even though I don't have any more glowing moss. I'm still, you know, planting glowing moss, like, everywhere. So, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Glowing moss and vines and I don't... Probably any more palm trees around here. That's probably just what's missing. I'm gonna get more palm trees, plant them around. But yeah, that's pretty much the beaches. I think the beaches are good. Yeah, we didn't do anything to the east beaches, but uh, that's okay. It's okay. The museum is on the east beach, and I don't really want to deal with that just now. And the campsites over there, it's, it's really just a disaster on the east beach right now. But I don't really know. But Ew. Gross. Ew. Who sneezes in someone's face? Ew. Gross. Ugh. Yeah. Cute. Cute little beaches. And Vladimir's beachfront is probably my favorite. It's too cute. It's too cute for cute. Right? Right. Woohoo! Yeah. Little pink kitty and my snorkels. It's gonna, it's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be just fine. Hello, hello. Okay, yeah. I'm in the same outfit. Yeah. I was supposed to do a grind last night. I was I was supposed to get glowing mo moss and all that and 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 stuff. But apparently, oh cockroaches! Yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I got you. Oh, yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was supposed to do all that stuff. But apparently, last night I couldn't even be arsed. Why? I I don't know. I didn't even I didn't even come back on. I was just like, oh, there were. Okay, I'm gonna blame a puzzle. That's what I'm gonna do. So, I've mentioned it before here on the channel, but I absolutely love puzzles. There was a puzzle on the table, okay, and last night I was like, I'm just, I'm just gonna do a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get to the grind. I'm gonna get that glowing moss and stuff, but yeah, I didn't. I got super distracted by the puzzle. Oh my gosh. That's a disguise. The pumpkin head. Pumpkin head dogs? I kind of like this. I look awesome. Okay, yeah. So, there was a puzzle on the table and I was like, I'm just going to do a little bit of it. And then apparently, I kept doing it. And then all of a sudden, it was bedtime and I was sleepy. And I was like, oh man, I should have got glowing moth. Well, I, I, I didn't. I didn't do it. 
it was a it's a really cute puzzle it's of a like a little cute little mouse eating cheese but it's like cartoon mouse so you know all right so today <laughs> because i didn't do it last night we gotta catch up there, i got nothing i got what, what do i got nothing all right <laughs> put this stuff in storage i got my, my mailbox apparently got these things they're just taking up pocket space what should i do with those clearly my head's on backwards Ooh, it's raining i'm getting a soggy bun Ooh. Ooh. cowl no okay well we're gonna do the grind today yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do the grind the grind consists of a few things just a few if we see a money tree we scoop it up we do it hey kyle it's raining he looks so depressed it's like, I don't think I belong here, but uh, how am I going to start a band anywhere else? People are going to make fun of me. That's right. What are you doing? Hey, we finally meet again. I feel like I've been waiting in line for months. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess we're just both busy living separate lives here on Hod Podge. Well, you can have your folks call my folks whenever they want. I'll clear the calendar for you. Oh, that's so nice. See, he's busy. He's busy with his band work and stuff. All right, the grind. Oh, it's raining. There's CJ. No, no. The grind never, ever includes CJ. All right? Ever. Get get her bells, uh, order stuff, get her DIYs, collect supplies. That's the grind. Uh, Violet's up there. She's enjoying the little lily of the valleys. We got a lot of those, eh? They're nice. I guess I still have a five-star island because they, they, they keep popping up. Yeah. And we don't have to water today, which is awesome. All right. Can't pluck the heads off flowers today. It's fine. That's fine. We're going to go this way. I got this huge perk full of old money trees, which I should probably chop down. That That's part of the grind too. You know, money trees, organizing, get my axe out. I think I got to buy more axes. I, I'm behind now. I feel like... <laughs> We're doing really well on the island, but at the same time, I did nothing. <laughs> well, we did the beaches. That was fun. You know, we did get stuff done yesterday. I just didn't get anything else done. You know what I mean? All right, we're good. We're good. We're doing fine. Get some supplies. We need bells. We need to order stuff. So we need bells. Like, real bad. 20,000 bells is not enough bells. Hey. Okay. Let's get in here. We'll sell the tomatoes. Uh, nothing too much. Though that arcade machine looks cool. I don't know if we can afford it though. 20,000. Alright, see? Everything's looking up. Everything's looking up. Hot dog Andy. Seems like you're interested in an arcade mogjong game. Yeah, why not? Uh, how much is it? 64,000. Okay, we can't afford that. But that would look pretty cool for, for Graham, I think. Maybe. I'll be back. Bye. Oh, we gotta comb the beach for a bottle. Aye, aye. All right. We'll come up this way. I can see across, I think. No, I can't. All right. We check. We check. Nothing. All right. That's fine. Go back. We Lots of bugs. We're gonna pick up our shells. We're gonna make our way to Brocklow's wheat farm because that's good money. Yeah, we could dive, but it, it it's not part of the route, you know. Like, how do you how do you do a route, you know, if you're just willy nilly in the ocean and stuff, right? Right. All right. Hey, Sprinkle. What's up, girl? I got a stain on my fave outfit. Oh, that sucks. Andy, what do you do when things are just the worst? Well. Uh, what, I, I mean, like, I'll just grind. I'll just do it. i just, you know, pull my bootstraps up and keep my head down and do it. And just just get through it, right? This is what I do. Oh, okay. Some folks call it poting, but I say it's me telling the world, quit being mean. Yeah, quit being mean, world. Anyo, using aggravation can def make you feel better. See? I'm all good now, frappe. All right. Arr. We gotta grind today. Woo, beaches, beaches. Woo, where the bo bottle's probably all the way on the other end. Get my, get my stuff. Uh, some of these coconut trees just, you know, didn't work. I'll fix those. I'll fix them eventually. I think I know why. They're too close. I don't think they can be on like a curved sand. I don't know why that one didn't work. I don't know. They can't be too close to the edge. I, I just don't know. 
Traditional straw coat. I think I know that. Yeah. All right. All right. Dud bottle. Already, we got a dud bottle. That's fine. Uh, collect these and then go up to Brocklo. So rainy. We got to take advantage of the rain, you know? You just gotta. Especially when you're grinding. We're going to take all this up. And weeds are starting to pop up places too, eh? I don't know. I kind of like the weeds. Weeds are cool. Little dandelions and such. This is good bells. Good bells. And we don't have to water it. All right, pockets are full. We're gonna get some of the shells in our inventory, along with the weeds. We need weeds. They're good crafting materials, and the mum cushions take 10 weeds each, so I'm not selling any of the weeds. I'm using it for crafting, because mum cushions are awesome. I do feel like my bun's getting soggy. Uh, I still got stuff in my pockets. I have those lost items, which are super cute. So I think maybe we'll drop one over here for Eloise. Hey, Eloise. Oh, Andy, it seems like ages since the last time we talked. It must have been a one month ago. Now, it's hard not to take that personally, my dear. I'm sorry. She has a flea? Does she have a flea? Excuse me. Yeah. There we go. Flea. I can't. Oh, yeah, I can't carry anything else. Okay, I swap. I swap for that. There we go. Oh mercy, I had fleas. I didn't even realize. I thought I was so fresh and clean and fleeless. It happens. Andy, you're a tremendous owl. Thank you so much to Ugh. That's why you got fleas. You stink. You stink. Bugs don't bug me. Oh, I caught ten bugs. Nice. Aaron, to talk to people. Nice. Oh. And I got a flea. Nice. Alright. See? Everything's looking up. We're doing good. Doing all right. Boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah, I was gonna get rid of some of these books. I don't think I put anything on there. We drop that. Yeah, it looks kind of cute. Uh, I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna drop a book back here. Pick this. Drop that on there instead. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Okay. We got a flea now. <laughs> we got a flea. What are we gonna do with a flea? All right. I think I got enough pocket space to finish the harvest up. No, one left? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. The DIY that's in my pocket. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna drop it. I'll get it later. Alright, let's sell this stuff. And then we're gonna do a captain's tour and all that. And we gotta, oh, we gotta go to Happy on Paradise. See how the glowing moss is going. Yep. Harvest days are always a bit longer than all the other days. But they're worth the bells, so we can order things. 90,000, see? Yep. Should I pass on that? 64. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. You got me. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna buy another shovel and an axe, and that's it. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'll be seeing you around. Ooh, let's get that arcade machine up and out of the way. But, but, but maybe I should put my mailbox down. That's just pocket space. I don't need that right now. Right there. I'll keep going. I'm gonna go to Graham's place. We'll stick the arcade machine right there. Oh yeah, that looks pretty suspicious. Hey, cool. Hey, we're gonna go to work now. We gotta talk to Wilbur. E. Ah, so much. Look at all the Lily of the Valleys. Wow. I'm not picking up fossils. I don't. I don't know why. I should. But uh, I just ran past it. I'm not going back. Okay, I'll pick it up if I run by it after. Again, one more time. Uh-oh, Kyle found- Kyle spotted it. Oops, he doesn't know. He's just like this. A little tape recorder. I'm gonna sing for it because I'm gonna be in a magical band. Yep. Whoop. Let's go. Graham's just got countless hours of Kyle's drum solos <laughs> on record. All right, let's go to work. Hey guys, we're gonna try to find her bottle. I've run pretty much out of pokey, and if I wanna buy anything around here, I have to do more houses. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's not happening today. Let's see. Shell bed, yes. That's great DIY, what does that take? Giant clams, clay and stone? Oh, no problem, no problem, I can do that. That's, yep, I like that. All right, I'm going the long way. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not doing this easy for myself. All right, so 
for the glowing moss, I saw somewhere, I, and I don't know if it's true or just kind of a myth, but if you leave uh, the full grown ones, the littler ones will spawn back faster. I don't know if that's entirely true, but I'll leave a couple. Like, okay, there's too many in this area. I'll just, I'll take those. Uh, there's two back here, so I'll just leave one. So if they're spread out enough, I'll, I'll leave them. I'll leave one big one because apparently they'll spread more. I don't know how true that is, so we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll find out. And I'm not going to be picking the moss up every day either. Every sixth day-ish because I'd rather grab a bunch at once rather than, you know, a little bit at a time. So I'm going to leave these and we'll, we'll see how that theory goes. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm willing to try it. I only have 11,000 pokey, so it's probably not worth it. It's probably not worth seeing what's up, but I'll, I'll check. We got chips. Yeah. Mm, no. Okay, bye. And then we're gonna go again. We're gonna go to... Where are we gonna go? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go back home. Let's go. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. All right. Woo! And we're gonna go to a captain's tour, and I will not be collecting resources on the actual island because if I chop trees on my island they either have to you know be chopped all the way down or you got to use the stone axe and I don't want to use the stone axe. Hey captain hmm you ready to take a tour? Uh yeah I, 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 I'm ready I'm ready. Oh yeah winner winner chicken dinner. So yeah I'm not going to be harvesting wood because I'm not crafting axes and Timmy and Tommy do not sell the stone axe. So the stone axe hits the trees, but it doesn't chop them down, which obviously that's what I would want to use. And the flimsy axe breaks in two seconds, so I don't want to use that. So they sell this axe and the flimsy axe. Those are basically the only axes that I technically, okay, I don't technically only have access to those, but those are the ones I'm buying, so I, I'm not, I, I refuse. I refuse to craft, okay? So when we come here, we can chop some trees, and I'm not going to clear off every single Captain's Island either, because that's crazy. If it is a glow and moss vine island like this one is, I will gladly clear it out, because I will be raiding each and every inch of this island for all the vines and stuff, right? I, I just want to get up there. So I'll pass by and then we'll scoop up some bushes and place them around the island as well. I don't think we can get up that way. We'll just take a couple. We want variety in our diff. So I'm going to take them. Nothing up there. Do I want to hit the rocks? Mm, not really. But, but may as well. All right. Mount down. Where's the bottle? Oh wow, are those worth money? What the? A saw, saw stag. Okay. What the? Ah. Oh, okay. Ruined urch. Oh, that's nice. I don't think we'll be using it though. Okay. A fairly cleared old captain's island. I got all the trees, I had all the rocks. I'm just gonna scoop up a couple of these bushes. Yeah, we're gonna go back. It's still raining. It's sunny, but it's still raining. Papa. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain coming down on a sunny day? Okay, we got a couple of yellow bushes, so put one there. Probably gonna need another gird in here, but you know, that's the point. We're gonna just get some nice bushes. I got some pink ones, give those to Vladimir. Oh yeah. We should put one right beside the record or the tape recorder. They say, boop, cute. There's another one there. There's one up here. All right, pop. Day one, almost complete, almost. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all those coconuts. Ew, Vladimir is here. Eee. Let's see how much a saw sag is. Like, how much is this? 2,000, oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty good balls for one little swoosh. What do you got over here? A fan. Why is that on like display? What? Why is Vladimir? What? Do you, 
What? You want that? Seems like you're interested in- No, I'm, I'm trying to- I'm trying to- I'm trying to talk to Vladimir. Get- get out my business, Tommy. No! Well, if it ain't Andy, didn't think I'd run into you here. You kind of caught me off guard. Well, I was trying to talk to you, but then, like, Tommy was bothered- oh, Yeah, okay. What's up? The lining up here changes pretty much every day, so I feel like I gotta come check it out, even if I don't want to. Yeah, I feel ya. I'm grinding today. I get it. Okay, bye. And then we gotta do some orders. Hey guys, nope. The amazing machine is so expensive. Okay, I'm not wasting a mail order day, so I'm gonna order these barrels. Okay, and then we just check our nook malls see what we did see what we can claim see if there's anything super easy we can do no nope, not doing those all right let's go Woo! okay so today is going to be a little different oh bottle golden bathtub definitely can't make that it takes gold two gold and a square bathtub yeah no nope. nope check our mild situation sell fruit We'll, we'll probably do that when we get the coconuts from the island. And uh, we're gonna hit rocks. Yeah, I know I just passed that one up, but... Uh, and I passed that one up. But, but, we don't harvest materials here on the island. Because everything is too spread out and, you know, stiff. So today we're gonna pick the flowers. They grow back every, like, two or three days, I think. Which is okay. Popping heads of flowers. Pop, 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 you're mine. Mm, ah, ah, ah. Oh, I must have run through that one. Oh well, what can you do? And then we're gonna take a little bit of time to water these. I got miles. See, I got miles. what I do? I don't know. Oh, oh, I want that bug. Hacha. Excuse me. Hacha. No. It. There we go. That's cool. I like this bug. And it does a bucket. Alright, we already found our bottle, so... I don't have to worry about that, but I still am going to go down the beach and collect shells on our way to Brocklow's wheat farm, because we're going to have to water that too. I'm going to drop this bucket. Yeah, uh, the museum is not doing well over here. We do have to do, like, we don't have to, but I would like to. I would like to do it, you know. It, it's going. Pick up a summer shell. I think I'm just going to drop it on the beach. And then we'll just water this. I'll get that fossil. Get that too. There we go. I'm also buying my watering cans from the Nook's Cranny. I do have the recipe to make a golden watering can now because we got five stars. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, speaking of watering cans. I, I think I have more in my storage. I have one more. All right. There's a lot of Nikki cicadas. All right. Before we go to the captain's tour, we're going to put this stuff away. Oh, I got a gyroid from that island. Maybe I should bury it. Huh. Right, I'll, I'll do that when we get back. Hey, captain. What's up, dude? Let's go. Oh, I got to try the other buttons. Oh, I clap. What's this button do? Oh, I laugh. Oh, that one. Oh, no. Ah, iceberg red. Hehe. <laughs> All right, okay, no more singing. No more singing. Don't go rushing things. The island, she ain't going nowhere. All right, then. Off we be. Oh, wow. Look at her luck. I haven't been getting any of these before today. I mean, like, I have been, but, you know, not as often. Not two in a row. That's two in a row. Get her bottle. Let's see what we get. Glowing moss jar. Yes. Okay. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, that is gonna do be a well do asset for our island. Yes, okay. Glowing moss jars. That's so sciencey. I got a suggestion to maybe use those if I got the DIY. Yes, we got it. We got it. We got it, Wayne. We got it. Now this island does not have a lot of glowing moss. It does have vines though. There's only one tier. It kind of sucks. There's really nothing. Hardly anything. Come on. Come on. Ooh, there goes our axe. We got back up. I guess I'll dig up this gyroid. A money rock. Perfect. I don't think I'm gonna pick up any of these bushes this time around. If we get another seasonal, a different season island, I might, I might pick some up. Do, 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 do. Stop singing. We're going home. All right, good tour. Good tour. Someone's home. If, if someone's home and I pass by their house, I'm gonna check if they're DIYing. Oh yeah. 
Hey, girl. Huh? Were you talking to me? Sorry, I was way into the DIY zone, frappe. Nice. What are you doing? Well, I'm making a golden urn. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Thank you. Bye-bye, cutie. Cool. We're getting a lot of golden stuff. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make that. I don't, I don't think so. Is it, like, super cool? No, not really. All right. Nope. We're not gonna make that one. Money tree. Boop. Merp. I'll plant that over here. Oh, that was a blue bug. That was kind of cool looking. Hey, Buck. What's Buck doing? Buck's doing stuff. I'm gonna plant... Plant. Yeah, plant. Plant the gyroids. Is that... Do you plant gyroids or bury gyroids? Oh. Oh. Hey, bud. Andy, nice of you stopped by. How you been? I've been great. You haven't been dodging me, right? <laughs> Not that you could. I may be swole, but I'm not slow, partner. <laughs> uh, uh. Alright. Hey, guys. Sell this stuff off. Buy another watering can. And replace the one axe. I, I want to have two on me always. Err, uh, the stuff is okay. The goodbye. Whoop. If I see something that catches my eye in the window, I will go to the Able Sisters. But, you know, no, no. I don't want that, so... And let's do some ordering. I'm going to do another round of oil barrels. Uh, let's go to work. All right. Thank you. Okay. The music festival is almost here. Maybe I'll sneak over and try to see it too. Yeah, yeah. Me as well. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. We're going to get our bottle. Oh, look. Leopold. Hey. Glow in the dirt stickers. Ooh. It's not really useful for us totally, but maybe I could use it in my house. Be, that'd be kind of cool. I want to see. Oh yeah, so a couple have spawned. Er, have they spawned around the big ones? No, not really. Okay, well, I'm gonna take these vines. And... Oh, where am I going? You know what? We don't need to do anything else. So, we're gonna save and exit out of here. Whoop! Another day! Another dollar. Kyle's all and a ball and he's awesome. Cause it's another day. Another dollar. Yep. This time we're gonna have to water. Ooh. Oh, we got like three. Three Lily of the Valleys now. I don't know what to do with those. Got any ideas for the Lily of the Valley? Maybe we could just like spread them out or something? I don't know. Huh. Someone's staying at the campsite. Let's see who it is. Oh, wow. Hello. Ahoy! Roswell's my name, and traveling, playing lacrosse, and dance are my passions three. Okay. Uh, got you. I'm not that fancy pantsy. Name's actually is Roswell, though. Ah. See you around. Alright. I think I like Roswell. But we are on a mission, and we cannot take campsite visitors. Whee! And a bottle. Shell arch. I know that already. That's okay. Hey. Nuh-uh, missy. Ah. I guess we should check out what's hot. Log, bench, and a hanging terrarium. Huh. Sip, dudes. Oh, it's Sunday. We should get turnips. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, there's Daisy Mate. Hey, is the first time you buy turnips? Isn't it like always a pro? No, I, I'm no. Okay, I'm gonna buy ten. Take my money. Give me my turnips. All right, little detour to Buck's place. I'm going to your place, Buck. Andy, I'm just taking a breather. Want to sit with me, partner? I would love to sit with you, but I'm on a grind. Ooh. All right, I got I got this tip. 10 is just 10? Oh, okay, I gotta go buy more. But I got this tip a while ago. Uh, we could use turnips in the farm here as like rotting turnips because, you know, pigs eat everything. And I thought that was an awesome idea. So that, that's what I want to do. I'm going to buy... A little bit more. I'll buy five more. This is expensive. Expensive rotting turnips. Thank you. All right. Well, I think that's awesome. I think that having those like rotten turnips in the in the firm is gonna look really good, and the pigs are gonna eat them, and it's gonna be awesome. See, the grind is not always all grind. We can have some fun too, right? Got to get stuff done. There we go. All right. We got like fifty-four moss. Well, this is all the moss I have anyways, so we'll know how much we collected by the end. I wish I was an Oscar Mayer wiener. That is what I truly like to be. Cause I am a teddy bear wiener. And that is who I truly am to me. 
All right, now this is the part of the challenge where I don't remember if I went searching for my bottle or not. <laughs> so, uh, if I did already, I don't know. Probably not. Maybe not. I should keep the bottles in my pockets until the end of the day. Because if I have three bottles, that means I done did the day, right? Okay, I, I don't actually remember. Oh no. I got enough to buy the amazing machine. That's good. Mm. Oh, he's crafting? Nope. Okay, bye girls. Whoop. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I've come. We're going to do the boat tour. Ooh, a bamboo island. I did not know captain tour. This is, I've never seen a bamboo island on a captain's tour before. That is cool. Okay. Is there bottles? Oh, there's one. Yellow bamboo mat. Okay. Well. Oh. We got some coconuts, so we may as well scoop up some of these bamboo trees, right? Where are we gonna put them? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Swoop, swoop, sweep. I guess we'll pick up these two bushes. This is a bamboo shoot? Yeah. Okay, cool. I guess I may as well chop these down because I'm probably never gonna see bamboo again. And I do have a couple of bamboo recipes. Okay, nice. Got quite a few unique supplies from this island. Okay, let's go back. Yay, bamboozles. Bamboozles. I don't even know where to put them, to be honest. I have no idea. Can I, can I just plant one in there? I can. Okay, cool. Maybe we get some up here. Like a strange growth. That could be kind of cool. Oh, hey, Charlize, what's up? Hey, uh, Andy, right? Rude. Just kidding. How are you? It's been a while. Oh my gosh. I've been so heads down on new gardening ideas lately. I haven't taken any time to socialize. Charlize, you, you don't have a garden. Those are cardboard board cutouts. She's lost it. Okay. Oh, she's not moving. She, she's lost it. Oof. Will it go here? Oh, no. Bamboos. No. Bam. Bamboos. Bamboos. Okay. Well, I came back up there. I guess it's okay to have them kind of random around. Ew. Boop. Suspicious. Is it? I don't think it is. It's not very suspicious. I guess it could be if they were only up here. Bamboozles. Yay. That's kind of cool. Yeah, they're like a foreign species that Graham brought here. I'll have to get rid of the one by Broccolos, but yeah, that's the idea. Boop. Cool. All right. And I'll plant the few bushes that I picked up. And by few, I mean literally two. All right, to work. Woohoo! I changed my mind. First, I'm gonna order. Whoop. I'm gonna get the amazing machine. There's all my money. I'm gonna order a couple books because I got a recipe for a bookshelf not too long ago. I think that would be a good use of our order for the day. All right, now to work. Woo! Yay! Wee! Oh, why am I going in there? I don't know, Pokey, for this. I don't have time. I don't have time for your dialogue. Okay, bye. We're gonna go try to find our bottle. Is it growing? I'm not gonna worry about the vines or anything like that and the glowing moss because it, it, it's not regrown and I, I don't wanna. All right, vine bench. I know that. Arr. All right, well, that's it. Let's go to tomorrow. Okay. It's windy, but it's nice clear skies today. Huh. Hey. Mm. See the grind. Yep. We're doing the grind. Got the flowers today. Pop. Pop your head off. Pop. 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 We're gonna make a lot more of these. Supplies are up flowing today. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Yep. All right. Bottle. We'll check that after. So I don't get confused. <laughs> if I have three bottles, it means I did none done did good. Ew. Clever. Ew. Brocklow's home. I'm gonna water this and then we'll go see if he's grafted. Alright. All nice and watered. Woo! Hello, Brocklo. Hello. Ah, he's not doing nothing. Nothing. You're gonna be creepy today. You're gonna be a weirdo. Andy, long time no see. How long has it been? One month? That's what people are telling me. Huh, what do you mean you've been around? That's weird. I've totally been around. Oh, I understand. You've been playing while I've been sleeping. You could have just woke me up. Yeah, you're right. Okay, bye. Whoop. All right, now we're gonna do a captain's tour. Hello, captain. Hey, let's go. Oh, thank you. All right, there is not a lot here. It's not worth it. Not worth going around the island trying to find stuff, you know? Got her bottle. No oh, weird pink beetles. 
Ha. What ta? I don't really want any of those bushes. I got quite a few. I got quite a few. So we're just gonna get out of here. Okay. And then let's go to work. Before we go to work, we shall order. That is right. We need to order. Let's look at a hand cart. I'm gonna get some of these super mushrooms. And that's it. All right. To work. We Oh, the music festival's on. I don't know if there's a bottle when the music festival is on. I hope there is. Yep. There we are. There's our three bottles. Okay. Stack magazines. All right. Pear wardrobe. Interesting. Can't make that. Don't have pears. And a festival lantern set. I know that already. Well, at least we got a couple of good DIYs today. The glowing moss. Jer. That's still not totally grown back yet. Okay. Yeah. Whoop. We done like pretty much full circle, except for harvesting the glowing moss from Nabion Paradise Island. But I think I'm just gonna wait until that all grows up because, you know, you know. We'll continue getting my bells, ordering things, searching for my bottles, and getting supplies. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll have so many supplies and so much glowing moss that we'll be able to start another project and continue decorating the island. It's gonna be, it's gonna be real fun. It's gonna be real fun. We're gonna abuse the Dodo Airlines. We're gonna abuse Brocklow's Wheat and Potato Farm. We're gonna abuse Captain over here. And yup, we're gonna interrupt his singing every single time. That's just what, oh, a gyroid. Gyroids pop up now. Interesting. All right, cool. But yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep strong. I'm actually gonna do it today. I think tonight. I promise. I promise. In a bottle. Money floor. I don't need that. I already know it too. Okay. Hey. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be a grind. It's gonna be a grind. All right, Captain. You ready, Captain? You ready? We're gonna be going on a lot of adventures, Captain. Yes, we are. I'll take a rest first. Ugh. Yeah, my toesy has been running around the whole world. It feels like I've been running around the whole world. Woohoo! Let's go. Today, I want to work on Graham's super secret lair. And there he is. Oh my god, he's actually cute. <laughs> Ciao, indeed. Let's talk, bro. What kind of day will it be? It's off to a good start, I can tell you that. Oh yeah, that's code. That's code for your science lair is gonna improve today. Well, last night, I'll continue doing the grind. And you might notice this that's going on. I made a decal and it's just a, it's just an X. And what I'm going to do, because I'm a very visual person, this is going to be my blank decal. And when we get further into it, I will actually make it blank. But I need to know where I put it. Otherwise, I'm going to forget and I'm going to get real confused. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to just do that. <laughs> so don't worry. Don't worry about that pattern. It, it ain't gonna stay around. It ain't gonna stay around for too long. It's just, I'm visual. I'm a visual dude. -er. Okay. Also, I found this cool, like, blue ram set at the Able Sisters. Oh, that was really cool. I'm a, I'm a blue ram. I think that's cute. Okay. Let's go to, let's go to the super deep secret, top secret, hidden lair. Ah, ah, okay, hold on. We can't have Graham looking cute. Like, that's ridiculous. What's, what's going on? I got these. Ooh, bottle glasses. Yeah. Ooh, I put my beak on. All right. Woohoo. I know that the toxins are turning the animals bright colors. And I'm like this like pale blue ram with a duck beak. Well, it turns the animals bright blue colors, but I, I'm a daikini. It affects me completely different. All right. Ah, uh, get, get up. Hey, so I just found out that Sprinkle isn't feeling too well right now. See? See? He listens to everyone. He knows everything. He knows exactly who's being affected and how they're being affected. Look at his little face. Acting like he don't know this because he ain't recording everybody. Get up. All right, you got my attention. What up? Uh, get up. Yo, it's summer. Time to start incorporating way more mesh into my everyday outfits. Uh, get up. Get up. There. Okay. Yo, you want to chat? I don't blame you. Mr. I'm adorable for some reason. Put these on. Put these on. Stop it. I can't look at your cute eyes and be mad at you. Do my eyes deceive me or is this glass bottle glasses? Yep. Put them on. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. I'm pretty jazzed with the way I look. Can't just let you give me something this good for free. 
let's see if I have anything decent. Ah, I'll want some coveralls with arm covers. What was that? What is this? Okay, I get it. It's the work uniform. I understand. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. No more distractions. Graham officially looks like a creepy scientist again, so we're happy. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good. All right. Okay, here we are. Do I have enough objects to finish this area? Probably not. But I think I kind of learned my lesson with ordering things and running out of bells that I'm just going to, you know, see what we have, see what works, and see what we got to order more of. So I need a place for my storage shed. I'm thinking right there for now. I think that's okay. I don't think we're going to be working on his front yard. Get my Diawa bench out. Hey, hey, listen. Why is this thing so big? <laughs> I want it right there, please. That was a go. Also got my mailbox. Okay, right there. Well, perfect. We're ready. Uh, we gotta go in the mailbox first. I ordered stuff. And my oil, oil barrels. Those are important. They play an important role here. I just got extra mail too. Sorry guys, I don't got time to read your letters. Unless you give me something and I'm, I'm not worried about it. Oh, mom sent us something. Oh my gosh. Okay, got another pipe. And we got stacked bags, which are probably gonna have to recolor, but I think they're gonna do well. How's my pockets? Not great. Okay. Get my curd bird boxes. All right. So the plan is, is that we're hiding the toxic waste stuff behind the trees, I guess. So hmm. I want to see like how the positioning would go. We just like push that in. Okay. So that's about as far as it will go in that way. And we'll, we'll place that down. No, that ain't half bad, eh? I think that's pretty good. I think so. I get the stack bags out for a second because I got a bunch of more decals that I thought would look cool. Like th this one, no, no, this one looks pretty suspicious, the lime. I know it's just a gardening thing, but I, th I think that it, it looks kind of chemically. I got stuff like this. I kind of like this one, but it's a little brown, eh? Hmm, that one's too big. That one's all right. All right, I'll do a quick search for ones that kind of have the same shape as that brown one. Let's see. I'm just searching radioactive. All right. Okay, so that's that's the brown one that I got. Oh, this one's probably okay. It's pretty small. All right, let's try this instead of the brown one. All right. Also got like more decals, like this green slime. I picked up a purple slime. I thought that could be cool. Oh, and I got some picnic blankets so we can start working on the picnic areas. Hmm, that does look cool. I don't have the customized thingies starting off strong. <laughs> ah, well, that looks pretty cool. We also got this one. No, that looks pretty good too. You know what? I'm gonna try this. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Woohoo! We'll stick it in the front there. Can I push it in then? No, I can sit on it. Hold on. Ah. No, because the tree is too, right? I see that. Okay, so we get off that one there. Let's get another one. Maybe in white? Uh, I don't know. On the side. Push that in an off tile. Uh -huh. And then you can't get around that way, but that's fine. That's fine. We're good with that. I like that. I like this arrangement, I suppose. And then we just gotta get stuff on it, I guess. And under it. We gotta get things under it. I don't, I don't know. Should we pull it? Oh, okay. I'm gonna pick these things up and we're gonna do decals under it. I think maybe over here, a little further up. I'm gonna start some construction. Aw, my act went away. That's the worst part of construction. Having your acts go away? I think so. I think it's the worst part of construction. I'm gonna try the purple one. Yeah! <laughs> Get the glowing moss glow. Oh, not like that though. Maybe over here. Some more goo and glow. All right, let's set that back up. Um, oil barrel, tree standy on this side. Another oil barrel. It's kind of blocking our depot, but it makes sense that like once you, if if you had to manage to get these barrels up these ramps, you would be like, okay, I got it up the ramp. It's your problem now, 
right? Especially if you're red. So let's stack some of these bags down. Turn that way. And another bag. I like this. I do think I'm going to get some path. How close can I? That's pretty close. Okay. So I don't want that one because it doesn't go close enough. I'll do this and that. The path maybe come a little this way and that way. So, and then like so. Bring it down here this way. And we're going to curve it in and to Charlie's. Kind of. Oh, yeah. It's looking creeper. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Ah! Oh my gosh. You know, I haven't been in here since we complained about our house. <laughs> this looks like a training facility. Uh, so that makes sense because she's, you know, mind controlled by Graham. And I guess he's got her training to be in top physical condition so she can do the grunt work, the labor. Sup, Andy? Need me for something? Why are you so mean to me, man? What are you, what are you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, bud. What are you doing? What are you doing? Check it out. I'm making an iron garden chair. I already know that. Here, take it anyways. Give it to a friend or something. Ugh. You're mean. 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 Ah. Yeah, I get, you know what? I guess I forgive her a little bit because, you know, being pushed to be into top physical condition and uh, being mind controlled to contaminate the waterways on your own home island. I could see how that would make you kind of mean, but she's still, she's still mean to me. She, mm. ah, ah. All right, what were we doing? Oh yeah, toxic waste. Okay, I do have, I, I, oh, I ordered that amazing machine. Excuse me. I can't find it. Where is it? Is it in my storage? What? Where is it? Where, where is it? I got all the mushrooms. I am so confused. I ordered it. What? It was 140,000 bells. What? 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 Okay, I don't know. I don't know, man. You're gonna order that again, I guess. No way. Come on. Ah. Uh, uh, your order system is wrong. Excuse me, Tom. You took 140,000 bells from me and I got nothing. I don't have enough money. One second. You're joking. You're joking. I ordered it yesterday. You saw. I did. There's not enough room in my wallet. Hey, that should be enough. I'll pick- I'll pick that other money up later. No- Oh. Dude. Feeling tired in terms of reactions? This one really packs a punch when you're low energy. I'm not low energy. I'm just like, ah. See, you just- Oh, my eyelids are getting heavy. Zorink. Oh, Kyle. You need sleep. You got purple rings rolling your eyes. Now, if you don't mind, that micro nap actually felt pretty good, so... <laughs> okay, good night. Ugh, I'm not tired. I'm tired of Tom Nook stealing all my money. That's what I'm tired of. Ay ay ay. Okay, I'm buying it. Jeez. Now we gotta go to tomorrow. Do -do -do. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna blame Tom Nook too much because, you know, the grind the grind gets to you sometimes. And uh maybe I just thought of ordering it and I didn't actually do it. Okay, we have it now for sure. We better or else. Or else. I feel like I spent 140,000 bells though. Like I'm broke already. Like, what did I buy? Oil barrels aren't that expensive. I don't understand. Okay. There it is. The amazing machine. I was thinking we could put it, like, back here. We could pull out this thing and put it in there. See, that looks kind of cool, eh? All right. Uh, hey, Sarah, you're in the danger zone. Me not carrying a whole danger zone. Me only carrying a whole bells and carpets. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. I understand. Right, I got an effects rack that I can put back here too. Boop. There. Microscope. Huh? How cool is this? How cool is this? Ah! Okay. Also got some cardboard boxes. Hey, bud. Hey. Not cool. Let me get in there. Uh. Yeah. Cardboard boxes that we can put stuff on. I thought that was cool. But just like fill this in. The, the thing is, is we really got to block the view from this side. And I got to get something view block in and i don't know what that is yet but let's continue i don't, I don't want to put too many toxic stuff like right in front but well i want to i want to do some more over on this side uh sorry sorry you're like being like super weird i want to push this please don't jump in there we go oh we could push it like all the way back maybe we should put a barrel bind there then that might make sense all right let's do that I do like this purple stuff. It's kind of cool. Purple stuff. Yeah. 
it might look a little too cartoony, <laughs> a little bit, but if it does, I'll just change the code to a different kind of slime in the code thing. Boop. Oh yeah, nice bright blue one. Mm-hmm. Push the pipe in now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're still here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Woo. We're gonna get glowing moss. We're gonna need some glowing moss. 95 glowing moss. I think that's pretty great. It's it's still not enough, but it, it's gonna be good for now. And Sara is just driving me nuts. Get out of here, Sara. Get out of here. I gotta plant another one. Should we drop one on there? Huh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna go down this way. Let, let's try to get this place sorted a bit. I'm gonna pick this up for a second because this is kind of small, that patch. I'm gonna put one there. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm just I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. No, hey, it's okay. We could probably put a tree standy back here. It's the wrong way. Pull it out. All right. I don't know how useful that is. Maybe we could put a tree standy right where I just came up from too. All right, that might be an idea. Come back down, get the cage card on there. Yeah, and we can put stuff on it. So let, oh, let's put some toxic waste bags. Yeah. All right. Toxic waste, woohoo. All right, continue. Continue. Excuse me, excuse me. Toxic waste. I guess I could put one over here. Toxic waste. Come down this way. We're gonna get some more barrels down here, eh? And things. I can't really block this way. I can't even see it. I don't I don't even know why I'm worried about it. I got them in random colors too, so oh, it's just the same kind. That's okay. What a wall right there. Okay, that one's orange, so that looks pretty cool. Alright, push that one in and pull that out just a little bit. Get a cardboard box in here. Get another one. This is where red drops everything off, right? This is a supply depot. Probably get an one more oil barrel in. Let's see, boop. Okay, I, I don't want too many of those. Okay, boop. That one's red. That one's okay. Should probably put something on that box. And I got the stack bags, so put one there. Push, push that in half tile. Yep. This is suspicious. Should we do an oversized oh, clam thing? You cannot see where you're going. That you cannot see where you're going down here. <laughs> oh no. All right, hold on. I think I can make some partition, shell partitions. Oh yeah, and the glowing moss jars. Okay, hold on. Shell partition, glowing moss jar. I'm gonna make two of those. And you can customize it? Okay, hold on. Turquoise, blue, red, oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to do all of that. All of it, woo! Come down this way. Squeeze me. Glowing moss jar. Yep. Okay, you can't really see it, but that's fine. We're good with that. We're, we're okay. Shell partition. I put the box that way. Pick this up. Put the stack bags there. And I'm gonna take this box. There. Get the shell partition in the corner there. I put a glowing moss jar on there. Can I put a barrel on this little spot? Right there? Yeah. I put the cone down. Yeah. And then I guess I could plant a little bit of glowing moss. Like so. I'm gonna do that on the bottom here too. Even though you can't see it. I'll put the curd bird box. This area I think is done. This one. I think it's good. Okay. Oh my gosh. I, have the I put the amazing machine in my pocket. Tom Nook didn't rip me off. I just didn't realize I put it in my pocket. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Uh, yep. I, I know what's happening. I know what's going on. I, I got too many amazing machines now, but that's okay. Because, uh, yeah. Yep. You saw nothing. I'm gonna put a cone there. Boop. Yep. I did that. That was me. Should I turn it maybe? Like this way? To get in the back there? Yeah, and then we could have something else here, like an oil, oil barrel. Push that in. Get the cardboard box. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. We need more toxic stuff around this area. Did I seriously not order enough oil barrels? Like, I don't understand. I ordered so many. 
how did we only do that part? Uh, okay, uh, let me see. Let me see. This time I'll make sure I got one error. This is not enough. <laughs> It's not enough. Okay, let's do the stack bags then. That's what I mean. Like we got to figure out, you know, what things we need and uh, what we have too much of and all that. Uh, I got a lot of super mushrooms and another microscope and an outdoor table. Let's see what I got in here. I think this school desk would be okay. Tool curl, locker. All right, let's do the locker over here. I think you could probably put stuff on top of that. Should I just turn it? Yeah, I'm just gonna turn it so it looks like stuff. I do have the security camera. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's craft a couple of these glowing monsters and stick those on things. See, they're going so fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, my pockets are full. We're gonna customize them to like all these different bright colors. There we go. And let's stick them up on things. I get it up there. I think I get Kerber box up there. I can't except it says pear on it. Oh, hold on. Get the sack bakes. Yeah, the sack bakes are okay. They don't have to be colored. They're just stuff. Oh no, well, boop. Oh, get that. Boop. There we go. It's a uh, boop. I think I want another one of these things. Those things. Ex the experiment sets. That would be cool. Because I do have another outdoor table, right? I could put the experiment set on. I also got the school desk. Actually, not there. Let's put the school desk over here. Yeah. And we could get a microscope on it. Can I still sit in this chair? Okay, yeah. Okay, that works. I like that. And then another chemistry set over here. Maybe I should get another bubble machine as well. I'm gonna get a glowing moss up there. Yeah, that worked. All right, this is going, but we're running out of stuff. I got one more oil barrel, and then we gotta fill up this space with stuff. All right, I'm gonna customize some of those stack bags now. Woohoo! Yeah, we need to block this off somehow. We'll worry about that some other time. Pick this stuff up and get decals. I don't want anything in front of this pipe because I want to be able to jump out of it. Look at this glowing stuff. It's glowing. <laughs> this flower is just like, hey, what's up? Oh, I don't know what's up, but oh, whoops. Pick you up. I'm gonna give him a little glow glow. Get rid of this one. You know, put the purple there. There we go. Little fire flower. Hey, buddy, you good? Y'all want a good time? Mm -hmm. Do you like being alive? Do you like consciousness? Huh? You like the consciousness? He's good. He's good. He's having a good time. Oh, boop. All right, hold on. One in that way. Nope, nope. Eight. Nope. In like that. There we go. In like so. Oil barrel. Yeah, oil barrel. Oh my gosh. Like, are you not loving this? I'm absolutely loving this. This is so, <laughs> this is so awesome. I know. Boop. Boop. You, should I put a stack bag over here? Oh, I'll have a tool cart. That could be cool. Yeah. A cardboard box on top. It's okay. Yeah, okay. And then we got this area over here. Oh, we don't need anything there. We just put glow and moss, right? Right behind me. There. So you can get, if you jump in, you can get all, maybe one right there. Yeah, that's okay. I could put, put something right here. Like a stylish spotlight. Because Graham is, in fact, still surveillancing. Surveillance camera pointed right at the pipe, just in case. Yeah. All right. Get some more of these bags. Toxic bags. So I could put one right there. Get, are we going to get stuff on it, too? Yeah. All right. Probably going to have a couple more oil barrels here. And we'll have some more over here as well. So I got to order uh, a bajillion, bajillion oil barrels. So I'm going to come this way. I think I'm going to get a security camera right in front of Graham's house. And I do have bushes in my pocket. Uh, can I not plant it there? No. Oh, yeah. Can you... What? Are you sure? From this side? Oh, yeah. I could plant it from that side. Little bushes and stuff for Graham because this is the decoy cottage country area. You know, just I'm not doing anything. I just live in the country area. I'll plant one there. 
There we go. And then we should probably get a fence. <laughs> let's get a fence. Yeah, let's just do a little bit of Graham's front because clearly I have run out of stuff to place around here. I will collect more, I promise. And then we'll come back to it again. But, you know, this is, this is the idea. I want to see what kind of fences I can make. I can make, uh, this one. Okay. Make a couple of those. Maybe 20. Alright, I gotta pick this stuff up. Because we're making fences. I'm thinking maybe I should get the orange fence and customize a sign that says do not enter and we'll place it behind this fence that we're about to build up. Like, we'll build this up like so. Or that security camera. Hey, no, yeah. I don't think we can put a fence right there because we need to get in there, right? Come around this way. Oh, no. I will not. Oh, I will. Okay. Hold on. Ugh. Well, this isn't good. Like so. I'm going to build a fence right there and right there. And then I'm going to come around to get to see if any. Okay. I'm just going to. I'm just going to go around. Okay. Uh, can I go all the way around? Oh my gosh. Okay. Up, 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 get up, get up. There we go. Okay, so that's gonna be like his entrance way, right? And then you, it would be like, do not enter over here. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order another one of those fences, uh, maybe two of the fences. I'm gonna order another one of the lab sets. Maybe I'll order another table or something. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. All right, looks like it worked. Woo! 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 My bill. I was in my mailbox. Oh yeah, it's up there. I'm just gonna place those things, see if it works, and then I think that's it. I think that's it, cause we're running out of stuff. I need to do more grinding. Hey, I don't know how much grinding that I'm gonna be able to do today, tonight, because I gotta cook dinner. You know, it's a holiday. <laughs> but I did get the bubble machines and the lab and the fence. We're gonna have to search for one more decal. I search for do not enter. Yeah, stop do not enter and stop do not enter. Let's customize. Excuse me, I want to customize. What? Remember that? I could customize. Thank you. All right, let's put it here. Place it down. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so good. Okay, let's just shove it in the corner there. Bop. Ba da. And then I could push it in. Oh wait. Hmm. And then I should put a tree right here. Huh? Probably. All right. I'll get this fence out. Push it in this way. Get it that way. Oh, push it in this way. Let's see. Stop. Do not enter. Stop. Do not enter. That's so awesome. Okay. And then a tree right there. And it should block off quite a bit of the view. Uh, I'm just going to grab a tree from over here because we haven't worked on over here and ooh, there's one i just want to i just want to do it i just want to see i'm excited eee! all right right there tree look how cool this is oh this is so cool uh should i have the stand either or should i continue building out the fence i'm gonna build out this fence on this side and right there I'll take this and build that sideways. Push this in on the way. Get the tree standee and push it up to the fence. So it's like blocking the, the view. Another tree standee in there. Lab experiment sets. Bubble machine. And I'll push it behind the tree so you can't see it. And then turn it on. I should get the bubbles, right? Yeah, bubbles cool all right this is awesome this is awesome and then i'll figure this all will we'll make like a little path and maybe some patio furniture or something like that definitely gotta have these uh spotlights and things surveilling the area but yeah you're not supposed to be back here <laughs> let's see let's see from stella's place yeah you you can't you can't see you cannot see what's going on up there what about from over here Nope, you can't see anything. It's like super, super secret. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. 
the girl, and like you come up and you're like, oh, look, a little cottage. And you're like, wait, stop, do not enter. Why? What's going on back? Oh my lord, what is happening back here? Oh my gosh, this is super crazy. Oh, there's chemical waste. The, the stuff is happening. This is freaky. Oh my gosh. They caught on you're like, ah, Red's in on it. I knew we were shady. Yep. This is awesome. Woohoo. Okay. We are officially a third way through our challenge. I did not end up getting a lot of grinding done last night, but I did have a lovely family dinner. So I think that's just all right and fantastic. I love, I love food. I love dinners. I love family. It's all great. And despite the grinding, I did end up finding the bottom half of my sheep outfit in this fancy monocle. So I'm feeling pretty great. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, so we're going to do some crafting today and try to do some perks. And I thought that we should raid uh, Captain's tour and see what we can get from that. Some trees and bushes and things. Come on, Captain. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's a cherry blossom island. Interesting. Very nice. What kind of bushes? No, <laughs> there's no bushes. Captain, Captain, you are, you are you kidding me right now? There's no bushes? There's no fruit? So I can shake the trees and scoop them up? You ruin everything, Captain. You ruin everything. I got, I got, I got to go home. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 no, wait. There's probably a bottle. Hold on. Yep, there it is. Oh, wait, no, there is, there's coconuts. Oh, I'm hasty. Cherry blossom bonsai. Very nice. Okay, I'm not going to be making that. Here. I'm just gonna scoop up some of these trees because they're gonna be hardwoods, so that's fine. I'm glad I remembered there was a bottle. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come to the beaches. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm too, I'm too, uh, I'm too wasty. Well, I guess we'll do six. We'll scoop up six trees. Actually, we don't even need to do this. I don't know why we're doing this. Okay, yeah, you know what? You're right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm done. Come on, stop talking. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, oh, I still have my fruit. Good. I still on my ED because I just, I remembered that I have all of these money trees that I planted that I, did, I haven't done anything with and we could probably just scoop up those if we're going to be, you know, on a captain's tour with no bushes or fruits or anything like that. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, this is a disaster. So I'm just going to go ahead and scoop this up and I think maybe we should start with this little perk. I love the way I look as a ducky eating coconuts. <laughs> The simple things, okay? The simple things. Hey, well, we're off to an okay start. I got backup shovel. We're ready to go. All right, that money tree right there hasn't grown up yet. That one. So I'll leave it. We really got to start working on these little filler areas because we only got 10 days left, including today. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling rushed. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm feeling, but uh, I'm not feeling like... I'm finished the island or almost I'm not I don't feel like I'm 10 days finishing the island at this point you know what I mean try we're gonna try can't believe captain giving me a cherry blossom island no bushes what's his deal what's his problem okay right, you know what I'm gonna scoop this one up it'll say it's money in my pocket right yeah all right let's just fix this up those are the gyroids I planted but I think this is a fossil let's see yeah because this is a, a good space. This is a nice little space. I would really like bushes. Captain, ugh, I, I think I could put a tree there. Let's just try. No, right there then. And that, oh, Broccolo. He's like wide open spaces. Yay. Err. I guess I'll put a tree there. Yeah, that works out. It's kind of cute. Err. I don't think I can put one by the rocks. I'm going to try it anyways. Nope. That's such a shame. Such a shame. All right, continue this way. We got a little space here. I got a little, boop, yep. Just making it look a little more lush, you know? Nothing too crazy. Should we put a tree for Kyle? Bop. And we got this little perk over here. There's a tree stump. Nah, let's put a real tree. That was a money tree I popped down at one point. Can I put, I would love to put one here. No, right there, right there. Which makes me kind of want to move that one over. Oh, I can't move that one over. This will suck. This sucks. I can't put it there either, can I? No. It has to go there. Like, right there. Fine. I'll put that one there. I guess I'll move this one over. No, I can't. It won't go. I'll put 
a tree there and where else? Right there, can I please? Just, just let me do it, just let me, just let, thank you. I'm gonna change this path. I think that I just want this path to like n not, and then this is like a separate area. But let's go back to that part. Ah, nice wide open spaces for Broccolo to run around in. Yeah, gyroid, crumploid. Oh, I like the crumploids, they're funny. Jingleoid, nice. Oh, I got, I got my first gyroid, nice. Okay. I think I'm gonna plant that money tree and then it's just gonna grow up all nice and stuff. All right, this perk. This perk is gonna be something fun because I assessed some fossils and you wouldn't believe it, I'll finish this guy. I thought he was gonna be a turtle, but he's not. He's like way weirder than a turtle. He's like this uh, snake turtle. Snake turtle? That ain't right. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's its body, that turtle body and that's its tail. So it's like half turtle, half snake. And I thought that would be really cool to have by the museum, right? Well, okay, I'm gonna pick it up. We're gonna do some pathing. So Blathers has his little tent set up and he's actually just researching the sea life, right? So he's not really too aware of all this other stuff that's happening around the island because, you know, he's got his nose in books and he's just, very centralized in figuring out the sea life part of everything. We're not gonna worry too much about Blathers and his weird research or anything like that. We're just gonna do this. I don't know, I'm not sure. And Brocco is just having like the best time. You see a balloon? Okay, come down here, please. What the? Clay, okay. I think this is big enough to put these on. Should I extend this then? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna make this three by seven and then kind of like put them on an off tile. That'll be nice. And then this is like the platform for that. Little boop, and push it in. Aw, sprinkle. She's like, I'm just watching the science perk develop. Don't mind me. I like that. Okay, do I have benches yet? No. I think we're gonna do like hedges, I guess. I could extend this path out this way to go to the park over here. Does that look weird? A little bit. Okay, yeah, that looks super weird. I don't like that. No, no, nah. -uh. All right, I'm gonna do this path, then I'm gonna get this path, and then we'll continue it this way. And I think I'll put this in between. And it's okay. I think I have edges. I'm gonna do some edges. Okay, I only have six. I think they take weeds and sticks. Broccolo. We should say item in a second. Mm, a workbench, y'all. No. Oh, okay. What do they? What do they take? What do I need to do to make edges? Er. Oh. Okay. Weeds, sticks, and stones. Okay. There we go. We can do it now. I'm gonna make a bunch of these. Hey guys, check out what I'm doing. Hey, sprinkles, why you no clap? None of you wanna clap. Hey Brock, oh, I, I wanted to say hi. Fine. He's not interested in my pleasantries. Okay, so uh, for the trick to make the edges look nice, I like to put the light dirt under them and then they look kinda cute, right? Right Brock, hello? No. We'll probably have like a bush there and then I'll have the edges come along this way, but we, we don't have any bushes because uh, Captain apparently didn't understand the mission. I'm gonna line this way, boop, boop, ow, boop. And then we're gonna put bushes on the corners there. Okay, that works for me. There's a bin there. So I think I'm gonna put a bush there and a bush there because there's like a sidewalk here, like a back alley that comes like all the way through this side. And then I guess it could come to the museum park. Yeah, Graham. Yeah, I'm not doing your bidding today. I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, trying to fix the rest of the island. Okay, you worried about your toxic waste supplies running low? I'm sorry. Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. I don't care what you say. You don't even pay me, so meh. Also, that was the wrong path. Look, you're distracting me, freaking me out. No, I don't want to talk to you. Hey, what's the good word? I'm doing perks today. I'm not contaminating the island, all right? What do you want? Another day in paradise, or as I like to call it, hot podge. Okay, get off my back, bro. Get get off my back. Stop being so cryptic. Mm. All right, 
I could do the edges here. Yeah, you can sit there because I don't want bushes. Because Captain's evil. I'm gonna put a bush right there. Get up, up, boop, you know, boop, bop. Perfect. Should I put edges along the beach? Where are they talking? What are you guys talking about? Hey, Andy, we were just talking about which we like more, spring or fall. Uh, I like fall. I like spring. I don't know. What about you, Andy? Which season's your fave? Uh, or I'm gonna say spring. Totes agree. Spring means dancing in a field of flowers and being adorbs to the max. I like bunny day treats too, especially chocolate. Aw. You so totally only think about food, don't you? Uh, thanks for noticing. Oh my gosh, now I'm hungry. Hey, you made sprinkles hungry. Watch old sprinkles, he's gonna eat ya. He doesn't know that you're not actually made of sprinkles, okay? So I think I'm gonna put a bush there, and then we'll do, yeah, okay, let's do edges along the beach. Pick up these bugs. Blathers doesn't do bugs, okay? He doesn't like them. First of all, he's terrified of them. Second of all, easier to do sea research. Eh. And we'll get this done if I stop placing things in the wrong spots, I think. Possibly. What are you guys- what are you guys talking about now? What's going on? Ah! I wanna dance! Let it out, Sprinkle. Let it out. That's the toxins talking. You tell him. Show him what he's doing. Show him how he's affecting your brain. Hey, Graham, what kind of song would I be? You know? If I were a song? Yeah, I think I've got the answer. You'd be like the world's saddest breakup song. Dude, just because you've tapped her phone and heard her talking to her girlfriends does not mean that's an appropriate comment. What? I would never listen to a sad song, even if I did just get dump, dump dumplings for lunch, which is what I was about to say. Hey, Andy, what do you think? Uh, a catchy pop song, Graham. Stop being so freaking obvious. I guess that's not the craziest thing I've ever heard. You're right, Andy. I'm a pop diva all the way. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is pop diva a thing? You need to get outside, Graham. See, because divas are usually solo artists backed by studio musicians and dancers. And category of pop star includes boy bands, teen idols, corn... Shh, just stop. Stop your... No. Are you really trying to gramsplain this to me right now? Yeah, he is. He's kind of a jerk. All right, you don't even want to know what's going on in that apps in your brain. He's being mean. He's toying with you. It just never ends. It just never ends, does it, Graham? When will you be satisfied? Ah, uh, okay, what was I doing? What? Breathe. Breathe. It's fine. It's fine. Bop. It a bop. Ow. Bop. I can't believe we didn't get bushes. Uh, I don't. Bop. Ow. Bop. Ow. Bop. Broccolo, don't talk to Graham. Bop. Ow. Bop. Perfect. And I still don't have perk benches. I still don't have benches. Well, Broccolo, let's see what I got. Just, Graham, get out of here. Let's see what I can make. I can make this wooden block bench. All right. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I am really low on soft wood. I don't know if you can put anything on the wooden block bench. I don't think you can. Well, we're not gonna do too many anyways. All right, I think right there would be nice. Graham, go away. <clears throat> Broccoli, you're kind of in the way, but I'm not mad at you. So I'll put one there in the middle of there because that makes more sense to me, I think. Should we color it? I'm gonna see what colors it comes in. I think I like this. Let's try that. So we'll put that there. Oh yeah, that's cute. Or should we have multiple? Like one there and one there? All right, let's craft. I think I am gonna pick that one up and change the color to the the wood, multi wood stained one. Yeah, do it all to all three. Dunskies. I like these benches, they're cute. We'll have a second one over on this side because I think it's cute. One by the bin. Oh, uh, right there? Yeah. I think we need one more, like, right there. Gotta craft another one. There we go. And I'll place that down. Okay, I think this looks really nice. Err, uh, let's see what other things I got. Fossils. I got the C ones. This, that's kind of C. That's just kind of weird. I think, I think the skull's a little creepy. I don't think I want to do the skull. I do have some flowers. So we'll just place that stuff around to make it look like, you know, more of a display. Oh, boop. Mm -hmm. He's making sure that Blathers isn't getting in on his stuff. You know what I mean? Like he isn't finding out anything suspicious. All right, I'm gonna craft a stone stool for the amber and I'll put that there. 
as a little display. I guess we should have another stone stool right there. Yeah, I got a lot of stone. I got a lot of hard wood. I don't got a lot of soft wood. Uh, that's okay. It's, it's okay. So, boop, and we'll get that thing on. Okay, I think I am going to do a little bit of edges. So, I have a bush there. A bush on the corner there, I think. Uh, not there. A bush there. That looks terrible. Hold on. That also looks terrible. Okay. I'm gonna do that then. Get rid of that. And just put a bush here. Okay. I have a couple of fossils that could be assessed, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get those assessed. Hey, hey bud, assess my fossils, please. In order to open the museum, we only need 15 more exhibit items. Ha <laughs> ha ha, sucker. I don't think so. Ammonite. Don't we just have that? I'm not sure. I'm gonna take the globe and I'm gonna take this. And I think we're gonna add that to the perk. So I'll put that there. Ammonite on this side, except ooh, actually, yeah. I'm gonna turn this one the other way. Cool. A stone stool. Nope, not there. Push that in. I'm gonna put the globe on there. Come around this way. Stone stool. And get the sea globe because it's cute. Okay. Oh, hey, Brocklo. Andy, do you ever feel like just like crying? Not always, but when I do, I do. Sure you do. Everybody feels sad sometimes. If you need her on the waterworks and who doesn't sometimes, use sorrow and let it all out. And we only have 10 days left. 10 days and I didn't get bushes. I think this perk is done. Other than the bushes, I think we did done did good. I'm just gonna make like, oh, excuse me. I'll, I'm just gonna make like a cute little stone path that comes down this way, like around the perk, I suppose. Uh, and that's it. And then we're done with the perk. We're gonna move on to another perk. Put this stuff in between. All right, moving on. Moving right along. I'm gonna make another bench for that because I have so much hardwood and I think that we should use it. Alright, nice. Put the log bench and like I wouldn't say that this area is super super contaminated or anything, but you know, contaminants do spread. So get some mum cushions in. Boop. Go boop, you know, boop, cute. I'll get a tulip surprise box, and I think I'll get a red one. I mean, it looks like a cute little picnic area, but again, bushes. And then we'll probably do like a dirt path that comes out this way. So I'm thinking probably a picnic table over here. Cute little picnic table in the corner, like so, and like that. It fills up the area, that's for sure. So I think we'll probably have like a little garden along this way with some mutated flowers, maybe some regular flowers and, and bushes. Oh, I gotta get over that. Oh, I'm so sour. <laughs> yeah, I'll just place some of these. You know, a mum cushion, two little surprise box. And this is the movie area. I don't know if we should have like another picnic table this way around the... Ooh around the movie area. That might be nice. Put that around like that. Go boop. So this is just, yeah, this is just a general picnic area. I think it's cute. And we'll, yeah, we'll get more flowers and stuff. And then we got th this big area, which is going to be the outdoor movie theater. I think I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, you know, I don't really know how this works, like, at all, but I I'm sure it's great. So that, okay. This is gonna go up this side. I'm gonna cut it off and get this blanket in on top. I think that's kind of cute. I'll get this one rear and that one up. And then I have another kind of blanket like that. That's not right. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get this one back in. No, I'm gonna get this one in this way. Uh, like so, because this one has a bunch of different tassels. I'm actually gonna put it like, like that like so and then get these tassels on this side oh no not there oh so you'd have to like corner it off on this side i see i okay i see i won't do that of uh, this oh like so and then this like that oh no okay now i want to get this this big one back in this triangle though i have a feeling i'm doing it wrong i am doing it wrong 
this isn't gonna work. I get this pattern up there and this one like that. Oh, that's that is not how it works. Okay, so this. Okay, I can't figure it out. <laughs> and then this one and then that one goes like so. Okay, and then I have the corner like that. All right, I'll figure this out and that. And then that's the corner. All right. And then I kind of like this orange one on top better. So I'm going to do this. Do the tassels up on this side and on the bottom. Okay, this is making more sense. Kind of, kind of making more sense. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm doing it wrong again. I'll get this blanket in like that or this way. The tassels can't be up there, can it? No, it's too matchy-matchy. Uh. Okay, I figured out that blanket. I figured it out. I'm going to get a small one in on this side. Okay, I got that going. I'm going to get a little corner to pop out on that side. Okay, this is okay. I'm good with this. All right. We're, uh, oops. Let's get some outdoor theater things. And these little chairs. Cushions. And stick those around. I'll put a cushion over there. You know, on this one. Cute. And a boxy stool, Moroccan foot rest. I'll kind of cover the corner bit right there. Put them over here. People can sit on them and be adorable. I got Pop Panda, it's so big. It's kind of fun though. I kind of like Pop Panda. I got a little ukulele. I'm gonna push it, push it this way. Give it to these guys. Also got a football. And then I'm gonna set up the projector over here. So we'll get this mini table out. Which is cute. Pop. Is that the right way? I think so. That's the film projector. We'll get our popcorn out. This cute little teacup. And we'll push it that way. <sighs> Papa bear is so big. We'll get some beer bottles. Like so. Picnic table. I just realized this is not centered. Like, at all. Okay. We'll push that in. That's more centered? Yeah, that's more centered. I don't think I'm gonna fit the PA system or the PA speakers back exactly where they were. Okay, well then this one's just gonna be pulled out and that's gonna be our solution now and it's centered. Oh man, that was almost a disaster. I also ordered some snacks. You know what? Yeah, snacks should probably be on the table. I'm just gonna move the football then. Urgh. Oh, threads out. Threads out. Them the rules. Cute. All right, this is really good. All right, let's get uh, some snacks on the picnic tables. What the heck? was that i'm not even gonna begin to try and understand why that went so far i'll get some beer bottles on there same on this side i'm gonna get a switch i think this is great i think this is doing well we just need to get like a little bit more flowers in here and then it's perfect it's perfect this area i don't know i don't know what i'm doing here i have no idea we're moving on we're moving on uh i was thinking maybe i could put a, a little bit of a picnic area right here I don't know if it'll fit. Oh, it will. Hey, Vladimir. What's up, bro? He's doing all right. So this is like probably the more normal area <laughs> on the island, I guess, because there's not a lot of craziness. You don't know what's up until you know you get in there, right? I think so. I like that space filler. I like it. I like it a lot. I think maybe I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. Cop out a bit. Yep, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I mean, this is the 30 day challenge. What, hey, what do you expect from me? Okay, what do you expect? There we go. Like, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna put a little radio on there, some tea and a coffee cup. Oh, you know what? I think I have a blue one. Oh wait, no, not the coffee. Hey, ah, the blue. Oh, not that way. Aren't we? Come on, man. This is driving me nuts. Right there. Okay. Yawn. Nah. Perfection. <laughs> I think this is great. I think, uh, yeah. And then you collect more items and we'll, we'll stick some more stuff around. But this is pretty good for a perk. And a little outdoor movie theater. We're gonna extend the garden back here. You know, play some more of these really big items for the garden. I think this is good. And this doesn't really have to be anything. Maybe we'll just put like a couple of like soccer balls or, or something. A book. Mm hmm. Yeah, things like that. That's what I'm gonna stick around. You know what I'll, you know what I also have? I'll push that over. I'm gonna push that over and put a double sofa. 
Does this make sense? Does it? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna take the chips up. Pull that. Pull that up. Nope. Push that up. I think I'm just gonna put the chips on there. It's kind of cute. Okay. It's nice. That's it. Get my adorable outfit back on. I think we done did good. We got the theater done, the outdoor theater. We set up some perk benches all around. Just got to get bushes and some flowers and some overgrown flowers. And we set up this like really cute little museum perk that is desperately missing bushes. All right. Okay. So yesterday night, I I was doing the grind and went to the Captain's Island. I filled this place up with a couple bushes. I still need more bushes. Doing the grind for bells, for supplies, all that stuff. And I was spending my bells and I was thinking to myself, oh man, I don't think I'm gonna reach my goal of upgrading my house completely. That kind of sucks. But then I was like, wait, that's just the goal. The challenge is to decorate our autofill villagers yards. And uh, we put Violet up here and um haven't done hey sarah we haven't done anything we're just like oh she's up here i forgot old violet no if i were to kick someone off the island i probably would choose violet but we're a little late in the game for that i don't think it's gonna happen and if we do get another villager we're gonna have to figure out a whole theme and blah 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 i just don't think it's gonna happen instead <laughs> we're, we're gonna take a detour or not a detour we're gonna actually you know what participate in the actual challenge and do violets here today hey girl see her house is awesome she's got a rose bed uh, the music's not great, but, you know, she's got a rose bed. She's got violet stuff. Yeah, she's got the cherry blossom things. Uh, I'll think about it. Maybe, maybe I'll go to cherry blossom season. Uh, that That's a hard maybe. That That's a probably no. I'm gonna do your word, Violet. Oh, Andy, it's been a while since you and I had a chance to talk like this. I believe our last chat was, oh, one month ago. I have a good memory for these things, you know. We live on the same island. I guess it's quite sad, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, my bad. I, I don't really talk to Violet. Yep. All right, let's do this. Okay, okay. In preparation for this, I got rid of all the flowers that were here and I placed them all over the island. I got rid of all the tomatoes that were here and I randomly placed them all over the island, mostly around Buck's place. Uh, I wasn't planning on using tomatoes as decoration, but at this point, if I have it, I'm gonna use it, right? So <laughs> Buck's just got like, tomatoes and he's got like a serious weed problem too but you know what yeah we're no violet's place stop getting distracted andy you're doing violet's place all right let's go so i went to a captain's island and i got pretty lucky because i got all these purple and blue bushes which i thought were awesome and i picked up all the trees so i think that's kind of where we should start we should plant some trees around here and bushes and things i like the cedar trees i think they're pretty cool what is a violet's theme what is she like i don't know but okay we can't put trees why not why not put a tree go there you go you know but i don't really know much about violet to be honest i didn't really look her up or anything but she lives on a mountain and mountains have trees so we're gonna try to put trees i'm trying it's just really can't go further up okay whatever i'll fix that later i should dig holes and then plant trees maybe that would be a good <laughs> solution but clearly i'm past that I don't think we're doing anything up here. I don't think this is going to be accessible at all. But if we can see it from Violet's place, we should probably make it pretty. I definitely want to get... What are you talking about? What, what is it? What are they talking about? You can't put it there. Yeah, we got to move that tree up. All right. I'm just going to take one of these tomato. May as well water it. All right. I'll water it. There we go. Okay. Let's keep that tree up. Oh, uh, okay. Well, oh yeah. I think I get eat the tomato. That might help. There we go. Shell that away. I'm pretty sure I can put a tree like right there. I'm like 100% sure. Right there. See? I can't. Okay. And then I'm probably going to want one right there. Just just work. Just work. Okay. Perfect. Woohoo. 
we're gonna get the violet bushes around for violet. I'm gonna skip this one up because it's not violet or purple. Our theme is purple. Yeah, I know that Stella's theme is purple and Stella was here first, but you know what? That's one of the reasons why I didn't really want violet because violet's not the worst. She, she ain't, but if I had to choose between a purple Stella and a purple violet, you know I'm, I'm choosing the purple still every single time. Mwah. Well, now we got blue, which isn't bad. I could stick these blue ones in and around and we should probably go to another captain's tour and get a couple more bushes and see if we can't get more purple ones. And my whole pockets were full of bushes and trees and they're literally emptied already. You can never have enough bushes apparently. I think I can get one back there. I'm gonna try. Yep. All right. Now I can't get back there. I blocked it all off. That's okay. I'm gonna get over. We'll put some bushes on this side. Make it look nice and full up. Yeah, a lot of the flowers <laughs> dump back here because we're not going. We're we're not coming back here. No. I will plant a white hyacinth. I got white hyacinth. We're probably not gonna have enough of them either. But you know, I will plant that there. Okay. I'll get stuck. Can I get across? Sorry. My bad purpleness. So before we go to the captain's tour, probably gonna want to put some rose beds and things and figure out a nice pathway for Violet. So I'm gonna get my construction out. Woo! I think I want to do the circle thing and I'm probably going to go back and forth from the stone path to the light dirt path. If I can actually get it down, that'd be great. And then of course we're just gonna curve them off, make them look pretty. And then probably she's gonna have some sort of patio on this side maybe. I'll continue this over like so and I'll curve it off. Yeah, I was, I told, I can't believe I forgot old Violet. Am I bad? Am I a bad person? Maybe, it's a possibility. Am I gonna dwell on it too much? Probably. A nice fancy stone patio fur on this side. Some nice things in here. What kind of nice things you ask? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Sar is just like, where are you? Where are you building? Because that's where I'm going to be today. That that's Sarah. That that's her deal. All right. I'm gonna put my shed in this out for a minute because I want to get those rose beds out. I have quite a few. I'm gonna pick up four of them. And then we can also customize the Windflower fans, but I do have some customized in Violet already. Of course, we're doing Violet for all four. Woohoo! I do like the black one. Do you think we could, we could sneak a black one in? Yeah, okay, we're gonna sneak a black one in. We're gonna sneak two black ones in. All right, so if you were a giant rose bed, where would you grow? Like over here? I am gonna do the slime decal under it. I like the idea of it being like super obvious that these things are not supposed to be like this and that whatever Graham is doing is definitely causing this issue. I think I'm gonna get the purple one out in front and then probably another one in this area. I'm not sure, but I might take the rose beds out of Stella's area. Oh, come on. No, no, Mwah. yeah, I might take the rose beds out of Stella's area and just do the mums and have rose stuff be violets and mum stuff be Stella's just to have some clarity on it. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go grab those then. Just so it's not too similar, you know? Okay, I planted those flowers like five seconds ago. Why are they? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, where are these rose beds? There's one over there. I'm gonna leave that one. I, I can't be bothered. I'm gonna take this one. No, no, Charlie's. listen, listen. What? Hmm, I was gonna help you out with one of the more useful reactions today, but I kind of stumped. Sorry about that. Ugh. Hang on. Do you not know how to do apologetic? Wow, that was lucky. Sorry, I didn't teach you sooner. Sorry, I didn't know about this before. <laughs> of course you didn't know. Your memory's been wiped. I'm just gonna replace the rose bed with a giant vine. Sorry, excuse me. Get back here. Get this one. I'll do some slime. I'll do some slime. Up. And then I'm gonna put the giant flower. And that's it. I'll scoop these roses up. And I will replace them with mums. Alright. Not today though. Not today. 
I keep going. We're on our way back to Violet because we forgot she lived on the island. Do, 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 do. Okay, maybe you didn't, but I did. I did for sure. <laughs> I'll put that there. I kind of want the purple one to duplicate. There it is. So I'll put that there. With the pink ones. Pink is fine. Or else is pink too. But perfect. Uh, the red one I don't really want up there. So I'll just stick it here for now. Violet's place. And then we got more rose buds. I'm thinking probably one up here. Just like right here. So I do the slime. Boop. There's a rose up there. Maybe we should put one over here. Slime. I like it. I like the slime. Toxic waste slime. And go boop. Oh, that's a black one. Black one looks so cute. Like, not cute, but classy. You know what I mean? Should I have one over here? I don't know. The rose beds are very, very big. Really big. So, I might want, I want, might want to put one down here. A slimy slime. And rose bed. I could put one right here. Just to make the transition, you know? Make it seem less, uh, abrupt, I suppose. Boop. Hey, hey bud. Like, seriously? Chill. I'm not buying your carpets. Okay, maybe I should. No, I'm not buying your carpets. Get out of here. I gotta get, like, a little garden patch, I suppose. Let's get some of these windflower fans. Oh, yeah, they're so cute. Turn them off, though. Yep, that's the look. We're doing... Oh, yeah, this is good. This is real good. Okay, over here, too. Like, just the, the smallest little patch of garden. With the purple violet wind flower. Oh, come on. Okay, we gotta get one in here, too. Boop. Can I turn it off without picking this flower? Yep. We're gonna need more, though. I would like probably wind flowers up here. Because you can, you can see it. And if you can see it, that means it's part of violet's property. Kind of. Okay. Boop. Good. This is good. This is turning out just fine. It, it's really filling in. So over here we should have more stuff. I'm gonna go, let's go to a captain's tour. Let's see if we can pick up some more bushes and trees. That's not the way, is it? I guess I could go this way. Yeah, and then down this way. Do, do, do. Like there's so many spots that we need bushes still. And I know you just plant them or whatever, but meh. It's easier to imagine when you have it. And I'm very visual. All right, let's go, bud. Whoop. Uh, no, 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 no. No singing. No singing. Yer, we arrived. Yay. What kind of bushes are here? Oh, same. We get some violet bushes. And I got miles. Oh, miles for spending miles. All right. Okay, this is a good island for what we're doing. Trophy case. All right. Nice. Gotta scoop up some stuff. I don't know. I'm picking weeds. Where's the bushes? Where are they all at? There's only a few? Come on, man. Come on. Oh, no. There's more. Okay. Scoopy, scoopy. All right. I'm gonna debush this area and grab some trees and then we're off. I think I done did good. Let's go. Woohoo. Let's go plant these bushes. And then we gotta, like, figure out what she wants in the front. I don't know what she wants in the front. What, what would she have? Like, a nice little patio, something classy? She does have, like, this dark tone of water. That actually reminds me. I think I saw a black lily problem over by... Was it by Buck? I think. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's not a problem. There's only two. I take you. I'm gonna take them. Let's see. Did I get them? Oh, there's one. No, I really want to pick all these weeds. Oh, 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 no. Get out of here. We got the lilies. You're done. Oh, ah, come on. Focus, Andy, focus. All right, more bushes. <laughs> I'll get some. That, or I guess we'll do black lilies around. Oh, uh, well, Captain got me out of my construction. Woo, I want to put a little patch and then plant them. And then a little patch. I'll plant that one. I picked up some white roses while I was on that island. I thought those were cute. Now, I do like the Lily of the Valleys, but not so close together. Spread out a bit more. Maybe I'll put them like around the front, just so you know. Just so you know how fancy Violet is. If there was anyone who was fancy on Odd Podge, it would definitely be Violet, right? I, I think so. Some white roses. This is turning out so cute. I'm just gonna jump across. Can I? Yep, oh, I got in there. I got a white rose there. 
Excuse me. I just... I'm sorry I didn't mean what I said. Okay. Ah! Oh, I'm stuck here too. How can I get up? Oh, we can play it. Let's just plant stuff back here while we're here. Plant one there. Plant a purple bush. Why not? Why no? Don't tell me no. Tell me yes. There we go. I paint a purple bush there. <laughs> what, what is happening? I'm very stuck. Okay, we get up here. I <laughs> gotta get up. I can pick that. Purple bush. Over here too? Purple bush. Oh, I don't, I don't have any more flowers. Okay, we'll get a white hyacinth. Put one there as well. And here, we'll get the blue bushes on this side. Because you are going to be able to see this cliff from down there. Whatever is going to happen in there is not really going to be a deal, I suppose. And a plant. There was peach trees on there. Yeah, I know we could technically, you know, plant peach trees elsewhere on the island. But I think I like that to be a Stella thing. Like, exclusively, you know? Get some more of these ones in there. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? Just, just wherever it can go. Thank you. Okay. I think this is okay. Can I do one there? Yeah. All right. This is good. This is good. How do I get out this way? I'm thinking probably we're going to want fencing along this way for... So let's see. Let's get this stuff out again. I want to see what kind of furniture I can make. <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. I am not very stocked up on softwood, but this takes softwood, so I'm gonna make that. This is gonna be our fencing. I think it's okay. And then I'm gonna customize it. I am gonna try black because the interior of our house is, is pretty dark and I wanna see that. Are these iron garden chairs as well? Those come in black and white. I think I'm gonna do white. It'll pop a little bit better. And I really hope she likes this. Because uh, I haven't done any effort into getting to know Violet. You know, she just lives here. She just likes purple and she she's she, Violet and she lives here. You know, my bad. I'm sorry. All right, let's try this. I'm going to put the table in so get a chair, another one, and a third one. You know, for like tea parties and stuff. I don't even know if I have anything for tea parties. Let's see, what can we put on that table? Oh, this is kind of nice. And then we could get some cat grass around. I'm gonna try that. No tea party. Flower party. Put it on there. Oh yeah, that's cute. Cat grass? There's no room. Lies. Why does this keep happening today? Come on. All right, let's get this fence in. I can, like, this. I can pick this up. It's huge. Why is that thing so big anyway? Who we'll made that? Who made that that big? I think we should put a bush on either side of that. I'm gonna put a little bit of a fence there, and then a bush will be here, and then a bush will be over here. I have vertical bird friends in. I think I could probably make that black as well. There we go. Yep, and then we'll do the riverside with that. I think that'll be nice. Just have it lining up. Nope. Oh, look at those bugs. I want those. I want those bugs. Ta. Yep. And that one. I want you. Ta. For their buckets. I want them for their buckets. <laughs> Don't judge me. Alright. So, bop. This thing is huge. Derp. And derp. Yep. I think that's nice. And then we're gonna have to put something in front of it. Something. Something nice. Maybe a swing set? Which is making me think that this is probably going to be a garden, if I can get this out. So that'll be a garden, that'll be a bush, and that'll be a bush. Okay, all right. Swing set takes softwood. Um, okay, I want to put a swing set there, and I want to put a garden right here. So I think we're going to have to go to another captain's island, but before I do that, I'm going to get a purple flower and put it right there. I'm gonna get like a pink floor in here just to break it up a bit. Maybe a pink floor back here too. I do have a couple of pink ones that I think would look nice around. So I'm gonna add those. Yeah. Okay. What I'm gonna do is steal Brocklow's swinging bench because you know what? I don't even think he uses it to be honest. And I was thinking he could probably use something else there anyways, right? And it doesn't really go with his whole aesthetic. I was thinking maybe something else here so uh, yeah i'm just gonna take that it's mine now sorry 
Bye. Do 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 do. Maybe I'll replace it. Maybe. I don't want to do too much grinding right now. I'm gonna save that for later on tonight. Cause like, look at that. Wouldn't that be cute? It's like almost perfect, right? But not in that color. Okay. It comes in the white, red, and this darker wood. Let's try the darker wood. If not, then the white. That dirt. You know what? Yeah. That's great. Perfect. And then we'll have like a flower here. Right there. And right there is flowers. Let's see what I ordered in my mailbox. I don't even remember. Oh, I got Casablanca lilies. And a fan palm. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna take my mailbox with me. A buck. Sorry. On a mission. Bye. Woo. Go back to Violet's place. Yeah. Look. That is looking so much better. Better than I imagined, that's for sure. Just pick this up for a second. Because I want to get... I think I want to get a purple wind flower there. Also, customizing stuff costs so many bells. Oh my gosh. But we got it. We're color coordinating. Purple. All right. All right. There. Perfect. Can I get... Can I push it? There. Pick that back in. Where... Where are you going? No. In there. Thank you. I got the wooden low table. I think I want to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to use these <laughs> regular wooden tables as side tables. I, th I think that'll work out. Okay. And then let's color those. Oh, hey, Violet. Yeah, sorry. It's a little different, eh? A little weird around here. Well, it's getting a little weird. So the low table is going to go right there. And then we'll get the mini table and the mini table got yeah, the Casablanca lilies on there because I think that is just too cute. I'm gonna take, sorry, excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna take the, the cat grass and put it on the table, maybe with something else, I'm not sure. But I do have another Casablanca lilies. Is that too much or is it not enough? I am gonna get these big, big, big flowers all. It, she's in the way. You're in the way. That's the only way. It's the only way. I can't get over there. I want to put it in there because I think that looks good. Probably get another white eye essence. The cat grass is ridiculous. I don't even know what I was thinking. Another white eye essence. I'll pick this up. I should have put slime under it. She's going to get stuck over there. That's her fault. So I'll get the slime. I'll put that big flower right here. Like, wow. I'll probably get another one of these big flowers up. Uh... Should I turn it? Turning it that way is kind of nice. And then I can get some more stuff. I guess I'm just going to have to go all the way around. All the way. I'll put that over there. And I'll just worry about that top cliff a little later. And we're just going to put bushes in and around. And then we're going to call... <laughs> I'm going to call Violet's place dud after. Alright. Okay. To tomorrow for a captain's tour. Let's go. Ooh, look how blue the sky is. What day is this? June 11th. Hmm. Gotta remember that. This is a nice day. I like it. Hey, Captain. I gotta go. Let's go. Hurry up. All right. What kind of bushes we got here? Nice. Perfect. Just gonna scoop these up. Hopefully there's more purple. All right. Got my bushes. Try to find my bottle. And then we're out. There it is. Full length mirror. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, let's well, get those bushes in and call her a morning because, oh man. All right, and I got a lot more grinding to do. I'm really low on bells. I got to figure it all out. Got to start filling in areas. Got to get way more bushes. Captain, Captain's Island and all that. I don't like planting them. Believe it. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Believe it or not, going to a Captain's Island and scooping up all the bushes takes less time than buying all the bushes and going through all that dialogue with leaf and then planting all of them because when you plant a bush it goes out of your inventory it goes out of your pockets so you got to go back in your pockets do that it's just and then you got to time travel to get them to throw it up oh man oh man believe me this is the fastest way i think i think but i like it i like what's going on here I like this cute little place you got here, Violet. I mean, it's kind of fancy, which is great because Violet is fancy. Uh, we got to figure this out. This transition area, but 
I think it, it's gonna be more foresty. Maybe I'll just make a trail. I, I don't know. It's all gonna work out in the end. Cause it has to, cause this is a 30 day challenge and we only have a little over a week to do it. There we go. Okay, that's it. Let's see from over the bridge. It It's looking so nice coming up and you're like, oh, hey, what is this? Oh, this is Violetville. Hey, Violet, you like your yard? What's up? Why, you seem well, don't you, sweetie? Yeah, I just did your full yard. It's awesome. There's something to want this time of day. I always seem to get a wee bit sleepy. Oh my, what was I saying? That you love the landscaping I did? Okay, bye. bye. Well, you know, you come up here. If she's sleepy, she can sleep on a rose. She's got her swinging bench. She can sit on and hang out by the river. She's got her privacy. Those are gonna grow up to be cute little white hyacinths. You know, she's fancy and it's all purple and it's, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. All right, I'm happy with this. Can I go to bed? I wanna go to bed now. <sighs> Today's Graham's birthday. How wonderful. <laughs> Okie dokie then. <laughs> it's Graham's birthday. Well, I guess I'm dressed as for the occasion. I look bright and sunny and ready to party, right? I got this rainbow cal caterpillar, calipitter, calipitter. That don't calipitter, calipitter. That's a weird word. Rainbow calipitter outfit, and I got the Mario shoes because I know the Able Sisters sells the animal shoes, but I haven't found them yet. I'm very disappointed in the Able Sisters as of right now. But it is Graham's birthday. What do we get him? Do we get him anything? You guys, you guys got anything? An ant set? Maybe? Would he like that? Ant firm? Feel all godly and powerful that he has control over these tiny little creatures? I'm down. Okay, bye guys. Oh, wait. I'll buy a, buy a shovel. I got plans today that don't include Graham's birthday. Okay, bye. How far in time did I travel? June 20th. Oh, wow. Okay. June 20th is Graham's birthday. If you were wondering, let's get up there. Let's make an appearance and then get out. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, who do you think's in there? Who do you think is, is it? Char it better be Charlie's. What's going on? Hello? Oh, no, Sprinkle, run. Are you ready to celebrate my birthday? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. You're like participating in the local tradition of celebrating birthdays. Yeah, okay. Come on. We can't do it without you. I gotta, I gotta go pretty quick. Sprinkle, no. Sprinkle. Graham is so completely super big time fab today. Birthdays are the best. You tricked her. You know she can't deny a party. Graham. I'm so thrilled that you can make it to this exclusive celebration of my life. Your life's work, you mean? Yeah, okay. Now, the bad news is I don't have any swag for you. What do you mean? I look amazing. But I'm hoping the good news is that you have some for me. Okay, I got you. We're, we're, we're ant firm, right? Yeah, here. These are tiny creatures that you can control their lives. Hey, you have very good taste in giving me an ant firm like this. Yeah, I know. You're weird. I'm out. This is weird. Sprinkle, come with me. We gotta go. You know, we gotta go. We gotta go to the bathroom. Girls go to the bathroom together. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I can't save her. She's too deep in now. At the... Ugh, it's won't that time, huh? Well, I'm glad you could make it today. I won't forget the thoughtful gift you gave me. Ciao, indeed. Okay. Okie dokie then. Okie dokie then. I need a safe sprinkle. <laughs> Let me press this. It does stuff. Oh my gosh. Do we leave it like that? Yeah, right? Hold on. Hold on. Mwah. Oh ho ho. Aha, thank you. I would never have known to touch that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, what are we doing? Okay, I got plans. I got plans. Graham, ugh. Today, what I want to do, it, no, not that way, this way. What I want to do is kind of figure out the cliff situation. We got this cliff here, which is looking, you know, pretty empty compared to the rest of the island. It comes up this way. And yeah, okay, this is technically part of the toxic dump area, but then it comes down this way and we got this area over here and I kind of just want to spruce this place up, you know? Make a spruce it. We'll spruce it. Spruce it. Woo! Before we do that, okay, well, I'm taking the long way. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Okay, Graham, Graham's got me. Graham's got me. Willy-nilly something, something or other. Okay, rip. 
we're gonna go to Avion Paradise because I haven't been there. I decided to skip that part. Oh look. I planted bushes, leaf was here. I was like, okay, fine, I'll buy your bushes. I'm trying to get blue hybrid from this area here. It's going, I guess. Just gotta water it, I suppose. I think the blue looks like very bright and toxic and I like it. So I'm just gonna do this for a little bit. Stop ranting. Let's go to Happy on Paradise. Okay, I haven't been to Happy on Paradise because I was like, ugh, the, the stuff grows so slow and I don't know how much time I passed, but we're gonna go check it out. See if I can get some more glowing moss and vines. Hey, we're going to work and we're not working. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey Nico. If you're here to work, go see Lottie first. No, no work. No work. Just raiding the local fauna or flora. Yeah, raiding the local flora. All right, let's, uh, that's quite a bit of vines. Glowing moss on this first cliff does not look so promising, but uh, I'm gonna take all of it. Into my vines, getting my stuff. I don't think the whole leave one behind trick actually does anything. If that were the case, it would be everywhere. Oh, uh, this is not a little bad little clump going on right here. It's all right. Well, how much did we get? 30 and 15, not bad. Okay, not, not, oh wait, there's more. What's going on? 16 and 31. There we go. All right. All right, let's go back home. Bottle. Ooh, bottle. Never mind. Hold on. Glowing moss florid. Okay. Intraminesting. Thank you all. All right, real bird, let's go. Whoop. Thank you. Whee. Let's make our way to the cliff and see what we can do. I do have bushes and things over here so we can steal those. We can steal the flowers. I'm just going to come up this way. I mean, it looks pretty good from here, but I think we could add more stuff to it. Can I get up? Can I get up? Can I get up? Can I go? There we go. Oh, right. Oh, wait. I should probably get up and around. Let's get... I just want to fill a little bit more stuff in here. Maybe some glowing moss and what else? Some extra large flowers, possibly. Let's get some. I want the big... Oh, hey. I want the big one. Is that the big one? No. No, it's not. Or the white one? That's a big one. That looks good. Okay. I want this to look like super overgrown. I can make more of these, but I got so many, right? So let's just... Oh, I'm picking weeds and stuff. What am I doing? Hey, I want to get, you know, big tulips up here since we got them. I guess I'll plant some glowing moss. I think it looks all right. Can I, can I get up from here? Yep. All right. Let's clear this out. No weeds up here. I don't think. I don't know. I don't want any weeds. All right. Look, that this should be like the reddish area. I'm going to put that there for now. I got red mum cushions. I guess I should get some white ones to break it up a bit. We'll get the red tulip surprise. I got red wind flowers. We do have the red roses. I'm not sure if we'll use those, but we could also make red cosmo showers. I don't think I have too many cosmos, so I think I'm just gonna leave that. I got more vines, so I can make a couple of those giant vine things. I'm gonna block myself out, aren't I? I get the mailbox. I have more of those giant flowers, too. Somewhere in here. Somewhere. Oh, there they are. And of course, like, all these mushrooms. I'll take some super mushrooms. Those are red. I, I may as well take some one-ups as well. Hey, okay. those are my pockets. They're okay. Let's see. Oh, there. And I got the, the vine bench, which is which is also really cool. So I'm just going to make one of these for now. And we'll craft as we go. Valuable resources. You know what I mean? Valuable. So back here, I'll put another tulip surprise box. And we'll just fill this in. I'll get some glue with a mum cushion. Yeah, this is working. With a wind floor. And then what's here? Glowing moss. I'll try to put some regular weeds in the mix. No, this Lily of the Valley is cute, but... Uh, I don't know. Should we move it? There's so many now. <laughs> is there a good spot? Not really. They're over here. Oh, there's one already up there. Okay, right there. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's get a bush. Let's get some bushes in our pockets. Just a couple of these. I don't know how many I planted. I think I planted 20. Let's just get a few and then go back. 
I think the orange does so nice. Oh, no. Oops. There we go. We'll plant a bush. No. Wait, what? No. No. Not right there. Or there. What do you mean, no? There. Yep. I think the orange pops really nice on the red and stuff, so I think that's cool. Break it up with some rare weeds. Do I want to be able to get over there? Do I? No, right? I don't think so. I honestly just want it to be toxic. So I'll put another mum cushion there. Let's do something else here. This is a little too much. So if you get out of that, you should be able to walk through this way. So I definitely want to put like a flower or something. I don't necessarily want like a, a path up to this area. I do want you to be able to get up this way so you can see this kind of stuff, right? So we'll keep that clear, but add these windflower things. Yeah, this would be the path. All right, plant one. I don't know if I should put toxic barrel or anything. No, right? That's up there. Okay, get the glow. We'll try the green mushroom. Yeah, I think right there I'm going to put the red mushroom instead of the red flowers. Because I want the theme over here to be red. Because there is no red villagers. And I think it would be nice to have red stuff. So, boop. There we go. That's kind of cool. Now, up this way. Hmm. Oh, is this a spot? It is, isn't it? Would it be too much to put a red? Yeah, too much. Let's just plant some glue and moss. And then I think I will have regular weeds a little bit. Yeah. Maybe a regular windflower to match up. I think that's cool. I don't, yeah, I want you to be able to like walk through this, but not realize that it's there because it's hidden, right? Like this ramp was there already. And then it's, it's just too much. It's just too much to keep track of. So they let it go, right? Now I'm thinking maybe one of these giant flowers. The half tiles kind of ruin it. Hmm. Oh, right there. Right up. No, hey. I just don't believe you when you say I can't, you know, like lies, lies, lies and deceit right there. Uh, okay, whatever. I can't push it. Why can't I push it in? Oh, is it because of that vine? Is it, is it this? Well then, now can I do it? Why no? It can't be because of this little tiny lily of the valley. Can it? I don't, I don't know why my brain just like does not comprehend this stuff. Why? Oh, wait. I can push it in. That's as far as it goes. But aren't those half tiles? And that a f isn't this a half tile? Huh. Can I put the vines back then? No. Okay. I don't like it then. I don't like it. Hold on. I'm gonna put some goo on the ground right here. Because I think it should fit right behind this tree. I think. I still have no idea how things place in this. Absolutely no idea. It's always a trial and error for me, regardless of what's going on. Oh, but put that in there. Yep. I like that. So what's going on here? Because in, I swear this is this is a tile. That's a tile. Okay. Okay, I see. I'm gonna get this. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Are you... Are you joking? That's hard. It's a hard knock light for a caterpillar, man. I'm telling you right now. I'll put the giant vine in there. No. Over. Come on. Come on, why? Why you be this way? See, but that's a full tile. That's a full tile. I couldn't push it down, but I could push it over and then over again to get it in there. Okay. I understand. I don't understand, but I understand. I get it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put low and moss we'll put the lily of the valley back because it's adorable make sure we can still get around we can so this stuff has to be regular things and by regular things i mean stuff we can walk on yep which is gonna be weeds and flowers i did scoop up that white one i think it'll break it up a bit i'm gonna put a regular weed and a regular weed and a regular weed and this is gonna look nice when the weeds grow up so when they're a red flower okay how would you traverse this you come up go this way come up and then go that way so we could put a solid item right there 
which I think is going to be the tulip box. Yep. So we'll get some glow and a mum cushion. So this could all be filled in. This whole area can be filled in with things, stuff and things. I think I'm going to display like a regular slime patch, regular weeds. I'm pretty sure I can get a vine here. Can I hang that? I think I can hang it from down there. I think I, I can get it back. I can't. I don't know. I don't get this corner at all. I'm so confused. I think I can do it. I can. Can I do it here? No, right? I can. Why? I don't know. Okay. What about right here? Can I do it here? No, because the flower. Okay. Okay. No. Piggies. Ah! It's going. It's going. I mean, it's such an insignificant area, but it's go it's going. Should I get a rose bed in there and push that in? Because if you jump out that pipe, you would come here and then you come down this way, right? Okay, let's get the leaves out though and slime underneath. Yay, transition areas, woohoo! So there's a space over there too that we could put something in. I'm gonna scoop up this bush quick. I'm gonna get glow because I think I can craft a glowing moss ball. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, just a regular one. Just a green one. And there. Whoop. Perfect. Glowing moss. Oh, there was a bush there, wasn't it? Ah, that's okay. We'll put the bush right there instead. Get the rose bed in. Oh yeah, that looks chaotic. Chaotic! I do want to get these one-up mushrooms because I bought so many. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. But we turn it. We turn, sorry. Yep. We'll get the regular glow. This area is starting to lag. I did not think I was going to have lag on a 30-day challenge island. <laughs> What was I expecting? Ah, I'm definitely a no tile left behind kind of person and it shows. So <laughs> get some more glow because this runoff is like basically the main runoff of all the toxins, right? So th this area is not doing good. It It's not doing good at all. I get a super mushroom. And up up and turn and turn. And then I think I'm going to get another wind flower in there. Which I'm gonna go back in my storage because we pretty much used everything I took all. I'll get some more tulips, some more mums. I don't know if I should use the yellow ones. I guess I could. And we got the vines. Um, the wind flowers. I don't know if we should get a fire flower. Oh, maybe, maybe higher up though. Yeah, higher up. Look at that in there. I'm thinking. Well, there's space right here for something. But what? <laughs> you don't need to put anything there. Okay, I'll just put weeds. <laughs> Fine. Let's just see if I can plant another bush. I can. I'm gonna get this lily of the valley and move it over to right there. And then I think this little walk is gonna be just regular weeds. It'll like curve it out, I suppose. Weeds and things. Because this is gonna look a lot different when the weeds grow in. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get some more bushes and orange flowers. Plant them. We'll get some glow with a mum cushion and then a moss ball right there. Because mm -hmm. you can still get all, you jump out this. Yeah, you can't get this way, but you can get all that way or you can get all down this way. Unless we put a giant vine here, right? And then you would be able to come out and get all that way. I craft this. I think I'm going to make it a different color though. I think I'm going to make it the really bright green color because it comes in these two different greens. Dark brown. No, they're not dying. They're very much alive. Yep. And then we could do the vine bench thing growing out this way. Oh yeah. Okay. We're going to get the slime decal. So we'll put that down. Here I'm going to do glow with the vine bench and then over here. I'm going to do this kind of glow with the vine bench. And then this one's going to be turning that way, like they're sprouting out, right? And then I'm going to do an orange flower. I'm going to break that rock. Not because the rock doesn't look good there, but I want to put a tree. I want to put a tree. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to put one right there, but I think I'll be able to put one right there. Okay, let's just... Grab a quick tree. Do I have any in over here? 
Oh, they're all like hit it. Oh wait, no, we are using those. Huh. All these trees look nice here. Okay. A tree, 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 tree. Oh, I think I've run out of trees that I'm not using for actual decoration. Well, maybe this one. All right. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm just gonna take this one. I'll replace it later if I remember. That area is not done yet anyways. All right. I'm gonna try here first. Nope. Didn't think so. Slow rate up. Mm -hmm. Should we put another tree right there then? Probably. Uh, now you can't see the vine though. If that tree's there. And, and that's the coolest part about this part, is the vine. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up then. Now, that's gonna go there instead. That's better. It's just like super suspicious though. It would be cool if the tree went like maybe there instead. And then we could have like a flower. Huh. I am gonna have to plant it though, because then I think that we'll stunt it. So it's not blocking too much of that vine. To finish off this area, I'm going to put a little bit of a dirt path up just to make it look like this was once away through that way. So I guess I'm going to do like a little dirt spot there just to give a little hint that m you might be able to walk through that way. Yeah, so I'll plant that there. I think I could put a bush and if I can, I'm gonna. This is going to be for the stunty. Can I put a bush right there? There. See. At that. I can. Boop. Perfect. Here I'm gonna put a dirt patch. I think we done did this clip. I mean other than that tree. I'm gonna travel three days to grow that tree. Alright. I traveled two days instead. I changed my mind. I was like maybe it'll look good. Oh gosh it's the bug off. Oh yeah. No. 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 Oh my god. No. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? That's good. Okay, let's stunt it that way. Oh, there's apples. Mine. Gonna stunt the tree with the apple. And ba -da -ba. Perfect. Let's look from Buck's firm. Let's see how that goes. Over here, it looks, you know, grown up. We're gonna have to do the cliff up top too. Yeah. I think it's looking good from Buck's place. And then we have this side here, which, uh, might get a little bit more complicated i'm not sure probably yeah it's gonna get more complicated <laughs> it is it really is i think this is two tiles right here i don't know if we should put a vine there or not but definitely stuff i think a vine would do pretty well here maybe i'm gonna try it actually don't know if i can make another one i should probably check it don't matter over here we'll do Glowing moss, giant vine, giant vine, or we're gonna need more giant vines. <laughs> uh oh. All right, I can only make one more, which is fine. We'll get more. We're like four off from making two. I will continue getting more stuff. Ah, it'll, it's fine. <laughs> it's a giant vine. We're gonna need a pod this way so we can have a little bit of toxic waste going on right here. Just a little bit. I would like that. Or is that it? I think I'm going to do a flower, a giant flower over here. I think. Let's see if I can fit one, if it'll be nice. This might cause issues. I'm going to pull that out. No. Glow. Okay. It'll go right there. Super mushroom. Woohoo. Okay. And then giant flower. Yeah. Right here. And I think that's all the giant flowers flowers that I have. We'll have to get trees up here and more bushes. And it's always so much easier to get the trees up when they're growing already. But I'll do one over there. I'll get an orange flower. Well, you get the idea, right? The tulip surprise box. And if you jump out that pipe, you can climb up that vine and come up this way. So we're gonna have to leave like not blocked in, but that's okay. And I probably should have been working on the other cliff. I'm doing fine. I'm doing just all right. Uh oh, running out of glowing moss. E. Uh. Oh wait, hold on. I think I can hang a vine there, right there. Yep, that looks awesome. I'm gonna get some glue. Should I get a fire floor? Oh yeah, maybe. Oh, that's kind of cute. And then we'll get the glowing moss vine there. You know, I think I'm just gonna plant one of these 
the cedars, no problem. We'll get a bush, get a orange rose, or that's not a rose, that's a wind flower. I'll get a white wind flower because I picked it up. I'll get a wind flower fan. I'll do a mum cushion because this is, I think this is where it's going to end. The path. Can I get over there? I don't want to pick the flower. Okay, I pick it. I'll do an orange flower and a tulip surprise box. Woohoo! Alright, put that super mushroom back. Well, because you can jump, you can jump, right? So you're not going to get too stuck. And then if you get there, you climb up that vine. So I'm going to get a little dirt there, right? So it's like you can jump. And then I'll do a little bit of dirt on this side. So it's like pretty clear you can jump over from this in that point. We'll fill this part in. Next, so we'll do a mum cushion and a super mushroom. And then I think this cliff is good. I think we're good with this cliff. So, well, this is going to take a while, but this is pretty much the idea of what I want to do. I want to get the orange in there. I want to get red. Line up the cliffs a little bit. I got to get more giant vines and all that. Maybe some chemical waste here. You know. Uh, well, okay, let's do that quick. Oh, no. Hey. Uh-oh. I got chemical waste on my shirt. It's okay. It comes off with Tide. And don't put that back on. I'm a caterpillar. Get yourself together, game. Get yourself together. Oh, I was just getting a tree stand to yell. Ah, bubble machine. Hold on. Hold on. And, and, fragrance sticks. Okay, we're gonna do one last thing before we we finish this. Our regular toxic waste situation that we usually have. Pull that out. Tree standy. Hey. Mm -mm. Nope. Push that in. I got meter and pipes that I thought might go pretty cool in this area. I'm gonna get grass standy in front of there. Already? We're hiding it. I think that's it for that. Hold on. I will continue filling in this area in the same fashion. I will show you my progress as I make it, but ooh, I don't want to pop any of that off any of these flowers. Hold on. Do, do, do. It's getting laggy. It's getting laggy. All right. Come on this way. Eloise's place. <laughs> Eloise's place. Pick this up for a second. Bubble machine. Okay. And those are <laughs> those. Those are toxic farts. I gotta get something to hide the bubble machine. <laughs> I'll probably just do a, a yellow tulip. Yeah, okay. Every once in a while, you gotta, you gotta laugh at flagellants. Okay. Oh, you know, we got the, the lawnmower in there. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get the, the wooden table. Okay. <laughs> With the fragrance sticks on there. So you, you don't have to... You don't, it's not so stinky. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for those suggestions. Oh my god. They, they're making- Look at those toxic farts. <laughs> they're, they're making my day. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna continue working on the cliffs. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'm not biting off more than I can chew with this one. Alright. Well, as you can see, I've been working with a lot of a toxic waste. And <laughs> I remembered that you could change your skin color to fun colors. So, yeah. The toxic waste is, or contaminant, or science experiment, or whatever we're calling it these days, has really gotten to me. Really, really gotten to me. And I continued working on this area over here. All along this side and I kind of I filled up quite a bit of this and I think I finished off this little corner over here. I didn't continue to work on the contaminant site right by Charlize's place. So over here is this little transition area still needs work because I still need more oil barrels and I keep ordering them and they keep not being enough. Oil barrels, glowing moss, vines. I, I can't, I can't get enough of them. But as we continue down this way, and it, uh, it's probably not too noticeable, but I woke up a bit stuffy this morning. So I'm sorry about well, my slightly nasally voice, but that, that's just gonna happen. It, it's the weather. It's the time. It's the time of year. And look at all this pollen. Ugh. Ugh. It's getting right in my ducky nostrils. All right. So 
I finished this area off. I ran out of barrels. Okay, so I decided that back here, so back here is kind of right across from where Violet is. And there's a cliff over here. Ba -ba -ba, and I thought, you know what, I should add some stuff to this cliff because you could probably see it from Violet's place. Probably not, but maybe. I should probably check if you can actually see this. But I added some stuff and then I'm like, oh, well, you know, that should be good. I, I don't really have much. And then I came up this way to where the forest is by Violet's place or by Violet's place. And I cleared out this huge spot. Yeah, I did say that we weren't going to do anything here. I did. I did. But I changed my mind. Okay? Because I can make this. This thing. Uh, for Forbidden altar. I've made the forbidden altar. It might have been forbidden. I made it anyways. Also, I got access to this stuff. That's a that's a star. That's a that's a star. Look at it. It's glowing and it's got eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> so what I was thinking is that maybe maybe you know how we uh we have star fragments on the beaches because the sand kind of got a little contaminated and the beach life is getting a little contaminated and sand is I guess stones and stones can turn into gems and stars or, or glow. I, okay, I don't know. That's not making much sense, but it doesn't matter. We got to stir. So I was thinking that up here, we could have this secret area that no one knows about. This star, this star didn't land in the ocean and wash up on the shores or anything like that, or it wasn't cultivated by those contaminants. This star here, landed directly on Odd Podge, right into a vat of slime, became conscious, gained autonomy, intelligence, and, and and there it is. It is the star, and stars fall from the sky. So this star is not only conscious and intelligent, but it has the knowledge of what's out there, up, up in the sky, the universe. Yeah, it's a star, but it, it's cosmic, it's, it's cosmic. Am I making sense? I don't know. Okay. The idea is this star has autonomy, is conscious, and is intelligent, and landed on Odd Podge, and this is going to be like a super secret area where all of the plant life and things with consciousness and autonomy are here worshipping the star because it's so smart, and there's just gonna be like all this stuff, and, and Graham doesn't know about it because he totally forgot about this area right? It, it, it's very inaccessible. It, it's not great. And it's kind of in the corner and he's really busy and he's been collecting his research and whatnot. So he's just, he's just forgot about over here and he doesn't have any security over here or anything, but we do have a river here. So at one point, Graham set up a pipe by this river, right? Cause why wouldn't he? It's a water source, right? But he forgot about it. Okay. Everyone makes mistakes, even evil mad scientists. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> that's the plan. That That's the plan. All right. C come with me. I think we can color that altar too. Let's see what colors it comes in. Brown, black, mossy. Ooh, mossy might be it. Let's try that. Mossy. Okay. Let's see. Boom. Oh yeah. That's all right. Okay. So we need to do our regular slime thing. And I'm thinking we bring it kind of trailing out to the middle. So the star is getting a lot of contaminant power. It, the, the star, how did I get points? I didn't even do anything. What did I do? Nothing makes a smartphone manufacturer happier than a user gets the most out of the device. At least that's how Nook feels about the phone. So we're giving you miles just for using your phone. Didn't I? Didn't I already do that? Uh-oh. Everything's out of whack. Well, I'm gonna get into some construction mode. Woo! All right. And we gotta place the pipe somewhere. I'm thinking probably over here. And we gotta do our regular stuff. So we're gonna get, like, goo out. But I also wanna make the goo kind of travel this way. Uh, I don't really know how to do that with this kind of path. And by path, I mean slime. Oop, we could curve it this way maybe. Not too sure. We'd want it to come out this way. And this is the center I suppose. Yeah. So uh, this this doesn't have like a skinny path like the path path but I think it should work. We just 
kind of do that. Maybe we'll make it a little bigger and then curve it out. Something like this. Oh, that works. Kind of. And then I guess something like that. Oh, that looks good. How do we... How do we... Would that... Oh, okay. 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 This ending here. The, this part. That's going to be under the, the pipe, I think. So let's try that. This is like a really gooey pipe, I suppose. It's kind of broken. It's got a little blockage. Too much is coming this way. All right. Now how do we connect it? Like that. But then there's something going on right there. Maybe like so. We'll get this. This one's going to be the middle. I think... I think this is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> a little <laughs> over there. Okay, so we'll put the pipe in. There we go. It's looking like a really leaky pipe. It's like, nah. All right, and then I want to get the altar in on top of the goo there. Ooh, come back a little bit. There we go. So it's like directly affecting the altar. And we get the superstar on there, and then we click the altar so it glows. It's kind of cool. It's kind. It's kind of cool. I think. I like it. Alright. I ordered some fire flowers. I do have a second super stir. I'm not sure why. And maybe I ordered it twice by accident. Oh, I ordered it three times. Oh. Oops. We got the super mushrooms and the one-up mushrooms. And we're gonna see their eyes in this place because they're intelligent. They got autonomy. You know? They know what's up. They know what's going on. I do have some meter and pipes, but... I don't know. Okay. Definitely want like a circle around the the thing, like something funky's going on. So let's see if we can make like a pattern with the fire flowers and the meat, the, these duders. I, I don't know how many we have. I don't know if we can do this very well, but I'm gonna try. So we'll have one on this side to make it look like, you know, a circle. Put one out there and that side. And then I guess we'll continue it on this side a little bit. Will you be able to see it? No, not really. I'm gonna try anyways. Fire flower. Push that out. No, you're not gonna be able to see it because of the tree. We should move the tree over a bit. Just a little bit. All right, let's scoop this one up and put it right there. I do have these coconut trees too because I thought maybe it'd be a little, a little weird up here. Maybe? I don't know. That's it. There we go. Now we got the fire flower there. Do I have another one-up mushroom? I don't know. All right. I am missing a one-up mushroom, but I do have the super mushroom, which I can put in there. And then we'd have to have a one-up on this side. But again, I don't know. Does it have to be that even? Yeah, it's like a little, little circle. Ooh. <laughs> Very suspicious. Very suspicious circle. Okay. So this is the idea. They're all kind of like hanging around, right? I could have another fire flower on this side just to keep this spot open, I suppose. Yeah, it doesn't have to be super even, right? No, I don't think so. I think it's good. And then I have one more fire flower, which we, we don't have to use. Yeah, we don't have to use it. Okay, also, also, I did get some duckies because I was planning on making a little duck pond or something. And I do have an extra pig. I also have a baby panda and a mom's plushie. I could get a spooky lantern and make it seem like the pumpkins have gained consciousness too, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe I could get the piggy bank in there because it's like, you know, this one's a little smarter. The spooky lantern would have to be facing this way. So I could get it in. Maybe I could get it in over here like that, possibly. We got the baby panda that could totally join the party back there. Oh, but I'd, I'd probably want him facing the stir. Hold on, sorry, excuse me. Like so. Mm hmm. And then we'll move that back in. Yep. So there's like a bunch of little creatures. I also got this puppy. Oops. I pushed that in. Face him towards the stir, right? So there's a whole bunch of different animals that are gaining intelligence from the stir. Because of the, the slime. Yep. This is an experiment gone wrong. Oh yeah, also the ducky. I'll put the ducky in. That's it in there. Oh, there we go. There we go. They're all facing the stir. <laughs> They're all having a great time. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now what I want to do is definitely fill this area with some weirdness. Uh, maybe I want some 
coconut trees to bring a little bit of you know variety it's really weird up here i, I would be down for that i, I blocked myself in <laughs> i can't i can't get around now <laughs> no okay pick picks up we'll, we'll remember i'll remember i'll remember what's going on so i'd probably want a coconut tree right there which means i'm gonna move that one over Oops. uh probably right there and then this will have to be sand. And I'll we'll get coconut tree right there. And I'm debating whether or not we should be able to access this area through any other means other than the pipe. Possibly. Or should this be something that you just stumble across? You know, I am thinking another coconut tree up here, but maybe a small one. So I'm going to just plant one and then we'll time travel later to get it all grown up. But I think this is good. So I'm just going to, I'm going to pick these guys up we'll remember what we did so we can start getting in between the tree lines and getting some you know stuff stuff and things for the tree lines because it can't be so empty also we got to do decals under it because you know they're mystical all right we're just gonna put this stuff away and we're gonna get all our flowers and i also ordered a bunch more mushroom platforms which i thought would do really well so let's try and get this sorted. If we were to get to this area, I would think from this beach. So it's like super secret, right? So I'm going to fill in this stuff. We're going to get, you know, glowing moss and, and stuff. I'll probably get a puddle right there. So let's get a platform in there. Get some more sparkle. You know, a mum cushion. I think I blocked myself. I'm going to grab this and put it back after. But we're definitely going to get more of this overgrown stuff. Like the tulip surprise box. I don't think we're going to get a giant vine in this area. Maybe like over here, but we'll see. I'll just get this stuff in. Oh, get that. I got them in yellow and blue or I don't know. What do you call that? Turquoise? Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I like this. And you could put stuff on those mushrooms, but I'm not sure what we should put on them. So... I'm just gonna leave them like that. We could plant some flowers, regular flowers up here. Let's see what I got. We got yellow pansies and orange wind flowers. I think that might do pretty good. So I'm gonna get that out. I plant an orange wind flower. Get the bush back. I'll do a yellow pansy. And probably we need glowing moss. As of right now, I only got 50 glowing moss. And I say only, but that's pretty good. <laughs> I think so. I like that's really good considering. So we'll get the glowing moss around the pump here or the pipe. Yep. Probably get another orange flower and we'll try to just fill this place in. I want to get the mushrooms kind of evenly spread out around here. I'll pick that up. Get some glowing moss. There's a spot right here. May as well glow in moss and the mushrooms. Yep. Oh, I should get a good decal. Yeah, we gotta do decals. It's what makes it. I guess we could put, could I, could I put glowing moss on top? We could drop it. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna leave the one back there because I didn't think of it. That one doesn't really need anything on it because it's pretty hidden. So we'll do a patch of glowing moss right there. I don't, I don't know if that's a full tile, is it? Oh, it is. Okay, so we could have that there. I'm just gonna decal it up first. We'll put the tulips prize box. So this, yeah, this, this is a little bit different than the other river lines because we're getting the mushrooms in. Yep. So we'll get a couple more decals, glow, mum cushion, and then a platform. This one will have the glowing moss on it. Ah Woohoo! All right. Okay. Can I get around this way? Nope. I'm blocking myself. That's okay. We're good. <laughs> I think. Now I can't really see. I can't really see this way. Oh, there's a bush. Okay. I'm gonna scoop up this bush for a second and get around this way. And we'll plant some glowing moss. Yep. That's our idea. Glowing moss everywhere. Everywhere. That's probably why I'm running out. But, you know, what can you do? Probably that other bush right there. And then maybe we could get the palm tree. Because I do have another one in my pocket. So... We could do it. We could try. Oh, I have two in my pocket. If we don't like it, we can change it. Okay, that's okay. All right. So before that grows in, we should get something back here. 
because we're going to be stuck out. Maybe a little less suspicious, like the mum cushion. We could get another platform. I will drop some moss on there because that's not super, super suspicious when it comes to like forest line, right? So may as well come around this way. We could get more in here. Let's see. Let's see what I can get. Might as well just get some mum cushions. Oh, I do have a purple windflower. That works. And we do have a couple of the windflower fans. All right, let's try that. I'm going to do the mum cushion there. No, why not? Try it. Right here. No. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to scoop up that bush then. There we go. We'll put the bush back. I do have a the last cosmo flower that, or cosmo shower that I have. I'll get some decal and the windflower fan. Is that purple? No. Is that one purple? No. Is that one purple? No. <laughs> Wasn't one of these purple. Oh, there we go. I'm not crazy. And then I'm going to get over this side. And we're just going to muck it up because that's what we're doing. We are causing the chaos. And I love it. All right. Whoop. Tulip surprise box. Try to get a mushroom. Or the glowing moss. There we go. Over here. I'll plant some orange wind flowers. They're regular flowers, but they're pretty toxic looking. And I like that. Oh, can it not go beside the coconut tree? Right there. There we go. And I'll just get some of this and some glowing moss. And I think that's it for there. And then we just got to do this side. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's a fossil. All right. I want to get another mushroom. I think this is the last mushroom that I have. So I'll get that in there. Come around this way. And we'll do a bit of decaling over on this side. Now, if we were to get up, we would get up from here, right? Like this would, would this be where you would get up if you were to be able to get to this area? Huh. Huh. All right. I want to build some ladders. So I'll need two of these. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. Woohoo! And then we can craft the wooden ladder setup kit. And then I think we can customize it. Some bright colors. Should we do yellow? Yeah, I'm gonna try yellow. I like it. I'll make both of them yellow because it's awesome. All right, let's think about this. So, prob yeah, right here, set next to cliff and come down. And then I could put another one and then come down. Yeah, okay. I'll pick that up. Let's put the regular slime decal. Mm hmm. So it's like drip, drip, drip. Like you walk down and you're like drippy drip 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 to this side. And this is pretty close to the campsite. How do you even get to the campsite? I don't know. I kind of did this little path and then I kind of gave up because it was like, I, I don't know. I don't know how we get to the campsite. <laughs> I don't think you'd be in this area too much. Huh. Well, think about it. So come up. Maybe. Oh, I want to do this one. There we go. We'll do that drip. And then we could do... Glowing moss. Uh, I'll do an orange wind flower. Why not? And then we got to be mindful we'll not totally block in this off so we could actually, you know, get up here. So I guess I'll do a little thing like that. Down. Eh, it's kind of lame with 2A. Eh? What about this? No. I had this one. No. All right. Well, I guess we'll just do that and we'll, we'll remember not to put anything there so we can get over. Okay, but we can still do stuff here. So I'll do some that, do a tulip surprise box, a wind flower fan, and a mum cushion. Okay, cool. Now this space is a bit empty. I think I'm gonna fill with a little bit of flowers. I'll do a glowing moss and orange wind flower, and that'll fill out. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I think so. Then we're gonna have to decal the rest of this. So basically, kind of what I want is wherever the duders are, I want them to have a slime drip on them. They stepped in slime. They're causing a ruckus. And then the rest can be all sparkly. Fill this in and then when we place them and figure out a place for them, we will replace it with the goo so i i gotta push this over for a second excuse me i'm gonna do right around this one so i can put the pyramid back come with me and you'll see it's a world of animated stars and mushrooms how this happened you will know the grams an evil scientist 
Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. This is probably going to be the coolest part of the island and no one's ever going to see it. Or like random people that come are probably never going to see it. <laughs> oh, well. What can you do? Well, we'll know about it. Me and you. People that randomly come here, not so much. So it's super secret, super special, just for us. All right, let's get these duders back in. Let's see. Uh, that doesn't look too bad when it's like that. Not too bad. So we'll get the fire flower down this way and a one-up mushroom. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get goo under all of them. That plan might fall a little short, but this is okay. We'll get baby panda. Oh, hey, you went a little too far there, baby panda. Let's get him right there. No one-up mushroom. And we won't be able to put anything on that pathway. So pull this guy up. Is this on an off tile now? think so. Hmm. Okay, if we put the super mushroom on off tile as well, we'll be able to get through. So let's try that. Move this guy up. Okay. Yeah, now we can get through. We're gonna get our ducky in. Oh, that's kind of a scooch. I'm gonna push you in a little bit more so we can rub that one away. We'll get a slime with the fire flower. I'll push that one back just a bit. Get another super mushroom, which I'll pull up. Get the puppy in. I guess another fire flower, but we'll push it back. And of course the piggy bank. Oh, I forgot about the jack-o'-lantern. You know what? The, ja the jack-o'-lantern is kind of odd. It doesn't really match the aesthetic up here, I suppose. It's too many fire flowers. I think I'll just stick with another mushroom. We'll push the piggy back bank back a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna push that away and get some slime to break up that okay we can walk all the way around this and it's like pretty good and we could also get some more stuff so i think i'm gonna try and plant some of that back here or over here too i'll do an orange flower and we'll just try and fill this in even though i totally blocked myself but again okay, another orange flower cute well kind of <laughs> Kind of cute. Kind of creepy. All right, let's get back here. Plant that. I should get, I could get another oversized plant. So I'm going to do that. Because if we can, we must. So tulips prize box and then the mushroom, which we pull up one. There we go. Now back here, we can get something. Again, it's tulips prize box and a mum cushion right there. Can't get anything behind that flower because that's off tile. Hmm, and that's off tile too, I suppose. All right, so that's pretty much, it's pretty much filled up. Okay, now I have the stir fragments. I still have some stir fragments. I thought that maybe we could drop around. I think you can only drop things on a full tile. Yeah, it would seem so. And these little stirs are being spat out by the big stir here. It's giving all these guys their powers. Yeah, I'm gonna drop some glowing moss on the moss patches or the slime patches because it kind of looks like, you know, moss is growing on it, but you can still walk through it. So that's cool. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay, how do we get out? We don't. We get out this way. I just want to change that rose bed to something else because it's not doing it for me, man. It just ain't. So I'm gonna get around this way. Am I? Nope. Can I get up this way? Okay, we're okay. We saved ourselves so you can get up this way, but I don't think you can get up any other way. I'm gonna get that rose bed because I got a large mushroom platform and I think that looks way better. I'll get the mum cushion back. I guess, could I do a rose bed right here? I'm not sure. Hold on, let me check. Okay, I can do a rose bed over there. So I'll do one there, but I'll get some glowing moss on this side. And then I'll get the rose bed over here. And of course we need slime. So we do the slime with some glowing moss. Oh, oh I think I'll get the extra fire flower that I have on this side. Yep. And may as well do glowing moss. There we go. Can we even see this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We should go check. We should check if we can see this kind of stuff from down below. Okay, this is the campsite. You can see that there is a mushroom platform and you can kind of get a glimpse that there's something there, but not really. It's really quick. What can we see? We can kind of see the fire flower, kind of. And then this part is blocked off, so you can't really see. 
perfect. Yes, I love working on areas that you can barely see. <laughs> so it is super secret and that's awesome. Okay, for the campsite, I might just put some kids tents around and, and stuff, but we'll worry we'll, we'll about that a little later. And by a little later, another day, because I am broke and running out of stuff again. But I do have some stuff for the beach over here. I'll get some mum cushions, maybe a ukulele. All right, let's do some beach stuff quick. So I'm just going to display this stuff on the ground. I'm going to get the shell bed out. Shell bed's pretty cool. What if we did that? Oh yeah, that looks so much better. Okay, try to get a coconut tree anywhere. Uh, anywhere. There we go. Shell table. Let's get some of this glow over here and I'll get another shell bed. Oh, you know what? Let's do a shell table over here. We'll do the glow with the shell bed and we'll turn it again like that. So it's, you know, very hidden. And um, we'll get some mum cushions around. Boop, bop, boop. I think I'll get a shell table over here. Uh, so maybe another shell bed right there. And a couple more mums just to fill her up, right? And I think this is pretty good for this beach. I'm just gonna drop the rest of the stir fragments in and around. I don't have many. I only got two left. That's okay. It looks good. There we go. And then I guess the last thing would be to just do this one little cliff here. So we'll do the decals, a little wind floor, mum cushion, then I'll get the glowing moss around the goo. So this is a pretty easy cliff. A uh, tulips prize box. Come down this way. Glowing moss. A glowing moss there. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, we gotta do this. This area. Fill that in. But I think I'll do that later tonight. You know, maybe I'll get some more flowers and stuff. Some regular flowers maybe in here. Yeah. Okay. How do I get down? <laughs> oh. All right. All right. All right. That was, that was really fun. All right, so chances are you, you probably just say, oh, okay, the beach continues there and you wouldn't see it. But we know, we know that there is a ladder here that you come up and there is, this is happening. This is happening up here. <laughs> there is a cosmic being, the stir. I'm gonna take off my hat. Woo. All right, the cosmic stir here giving intelligence and autonomy to all of these creatures of Odd Podge because Graham forgot there was a pipe back here and it, it kind of got overloaded and spilled a lot and the star landed right there and it is officially being worshipped by all of the mushrooms and animals and they're being given intelligence and knowledge. What does this have to do with finishing the challenge? Absolutely nothing. Did I just spend an entire day on this? Yes, I did. All right, like, look how cool this looks like from the top. This is crazy. This is a, this is a place. This is a place. Woo! This is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. This has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever built. Ever. This this tops everything. Whoa! All because Graham can't take care of his stuff. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Wow, oh, hello, hello. Oh, is that Broccolo? Is Broccolo running in my yard? Where'd he go? There he is. Ah, today's a good day. Not only because of Broccolo, because I found animal feet and whiskers in the Able Sisters. And not only that, today is such a good day. Well, it's starting off to be a good day because of yesterday. But I got the DIY to make a garden bench. That is right. <laughs> We got benches, Broccolo, we got benches. Yay, are you out for a walk? I'm out for a sit, we got benches. You wanna chat, what's up? I'm gonna go real hard today. I'm gonna play hard, snack hard, and y'all eat it hard. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you do that. He's so cute, aww. All right, benches, woohoo, benches. Now, I gotta see how much supplies I have to make these benches because I literally got those last thing last night. I was searching for an island that had moss and vines. I did not find one. I said, hey, I'm gonna go one last time. And then I got the DIY for a bench. So I didn't even care that I didn't get any vines or, or moss. I still got, I got, I don't got a lot. All right, <laughs> but 
We can craft benches. It's the iron that I'm worried about, but let's see. Well, we can make quite a few. Okay, I'm gonna craft maybe four, and let's see what we can do. Ba da 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 ba da ba da ba da. Garden bench. All right. I know we can color them and stuff, but I think I like their color. We got points for that. Yeah, look at me. Look at me go. I just see someone else in my yard. Who else is in my yard? Oh, it was Eloise. Eloise! Hey! What's up? There you are, too. And looking fabulous as ever, I see. And you're as stinky as ever, Eloise. What's up? I hope you have something exciting planned for today. It can be quite invigorating to change your routine. Yeah, we got benches. Benches! Woo! All right. So, okay. I did order some of these weird public benches when I was desperate because I was desperate. But I'm thinking we'll just use the public bench in fr Ooh, excuse me, in front of the next crannier and we could still get in. So that's all right. And it matches up. It's cute. Yeah, there's one over there. Oh, hey, Charlie's. Well, you're up early. Ugh. Good morning. Good morning. This weather rocks. It feels like... Anything I do is going to turn out awesome. Uh, all right. What do you say, bud? Oh, and Sprinkles is old. What do, get? what do I do now? What talk to people? Look at me. I'm on a roll. Hey, Sprinkle. Good morning, Frappe. What's up? Sometimes when I can't wake up in the morning, I just run in circles and scream really loud for a few minutes. All right. Cool. Ah! Like that? Oh. She won't look in. That's all right. Okay, benches, benches. I guess I'm gonna put one there. Be oh, hey, because I was gonna in the first place. So there it is. <laughs> Garden bench. Also, I got a little excited and ordered tape recorders because I was like, we got benches. We can hide tape recorders buying them. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hide tape recorders buying them. Yay. Okay. Also, I think I ordered a fountain. Hold on. Somewhere in here. I think the fountain is in the Nook Mileage program? Hold on. I don't remember what I ordered other than a fountain. I guess we should check out what our presents are. Stella got us something. Apium Academy. Oh, bug model. Did Graham not give us anything for going to his birthday? Jeez, Graham. All right. Let's see. Okay. Oh, the antenna. That's right. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to break this rock. I I'll mine it first, but I'm going to break it. So I want to see if the fountain will go here and look nice with public benches. Yep. Woohoo. Well, that was pretty good rock. That's nice iron. That's nice. All right. Bye, rock. We're going to put a fountain here. Herc fountain right there. Ooh. Oh, that's fancy. It's pretty big. It is fancy though. If it was this way. Okay, we should probably change the path though. At least this path, I suppose. And then maybe make a nice circle for the fountain. Huh. Okay, but before we do that, I want to get that antenna thing that I ordered because it's cool. Hey, Sarah. Coming around to Graham's house. Graham's house. Oi, Stella, what's up? Bada bing. Days like today are just made for singing very loudly. Aw, I'd love to hear you sing. That's so cute. Okay, let's see. Along with the antenna, I got these tanks, which are super huge. I, I guess I gotta push that in one more. There we go. And I colored them that color because there's this paint, believe it's called Go Away Green. And basically companies will, or places will color things this color to blend in with the background so you don't really see them. Places like Disneyland and stuff like that. Yeah, Disneyland mostly. The little paint like lamp posts and all that in a greenish color so they don't stick out and you don't really notice them. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I think Graham would be smart enough to paint some stuff go away green. You know what I mean? And we could have some of these big 
barrels. If we come this way, yeah, we can see that there's stuff up in and over here still. Maybe we could put the antenna up here, or what is it called? Saddle, it's a satellite dish. Antenna, how big is it? Really, how big, how big is it? What, is really that big? How big is it? Hold on, there's no room there either. Oops, I got rid of my path. Oh, okay, hmm, huh. so it's huge. It's like ginormously huge. Would it fit there if I pick that stuff up? Can I push it in? Oh, I can't push it. It's so big I can't push it in. I can't even walk. But there's so much space to walk. But you can't walk this way. Well, I didn't realize that was the biggest item in the game. Oh my gosh. My bad. Okay. Well, that, that's unfortunate. I suppose, unless we put it by Charlize's place. I mean, we don't have to, but you know, I would like to have this giant antenna that I, I, I bought. That's kind of cool. We'll get an oil barrel. Can I walk here? No, it's huge. It's huge. Hey, right. well, that, that filled this area up. I'm gonna have to do like decals under it and, and things, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. But yeah, okay. Those are some things that I got. Let's, let's go back. We're gonna go back now. <laughs> I gotta go back. Sometimes they make items just unreasonably large for no reason at all. You know, like like this. This is a th three tile item. Is that, wh why? Why, why, why? I don't know. Little grapes I got. Okay, this part. We're gonna do this part. So I'm thinking we change that path to make it more substantial or permanent. Yeah, permanent. That makes sense. All right, I'm gonna do the pattern like this of the wood, and then I'm gonna continue it with the terracotta. So this little stretch is gonna be terracotta. All right, last square. There we go. I think that looks okay. Yeah, that's cute. And then we'll have something a little fancier under this. And by fancier, I just mean something under it. No, I don't know how big it is, but I'm going to do three by three and see how that looks first. I'm going to put the fountain on top. Okay, three by three seems to work. So I'm going to do four by four to have it kind of extend out a bit. And we can actually see the path rather than it just poking through. I'm going to curl off the edges. Hey, Sarah. Um, I know that you super love being around me while I'm doing stuff, but not today, honey. Not today. All right. I'll put that down. Please move. Just go away. I don't want to buy your rug. I know want to buy your rug. Go away. I mean, my villagers are supposed to be swarming me, not you, Sarah. Like, come on, man. Camera. And then because it's fur by fur, I think I could extend it all two. We could curve this off on the, the flat end. Then maybe have a little path like that up to it. Kind of. Does look a little odd. Hold on. Sarah Goy. I swear. Yeah, you sleepy? You bored of me? Then get out of here. All right. Curve that off. Then I'm going to do like so. And yeah, that's cute. I like this. Bird and bench. Oh, hoo, hoo. Yep, 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 yep. Look at this. Yep, yep. So that's a garden bench there. And then tape recorder, obviously. Right? Or is that like, way too obvious? Might be. What if we put it over there in the corner? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. That it. I'm gonna pick this bush up, put the tape recorder back there. Mm hmm. And then a bench. Right there. So I'll get. Oh. Okay, no. Oh, that's on a... Oh, okay, I see. Never mind. So, right, that bush I picked up. I'm gonna say, oh, so that flower. So, we'll do this and this and a little bit of this and a garden bench. And we'll push that in. There we go. Now the tape recorder's pretty it in, but it is there. And then the, the perk is kind of shaping up now. Should we have another bench right, right back here? Let's see. So if I go, yeah, this will be spread out exactly the same and even on each side. And I don't know how important it being even on each side is, but it could be. Okay. And then, seriously, Sarah? Seriously? Like right in the spot? 
get out of here. I don't know if I want to put a tape recruiter like right back there because you're never going to see it. So I don't think I'm going to. But I am going to place the garden bench because we will see that. And it'll, you know, make it look a little bit more professional and cute and nice. Yeah, I think this is sweet. Uh, do I know how I'm going to finish it off? No, 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 not really. But I'll think about it. Let's see. I do have, oh, I have a bistro table and some of these kind of chairs. Is that, is that something? Am I on to something? I don't want the chair in green. So I'm going to do them all three in white. There we go. Now let's see if we can put like a little bistro set right here. Right? It could be nice. Could be. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do brick pathing maybe right back here. So maybe it kind of looks like it's part of resident services a little bit. And then maybe we get rid of those edges. And that's all we separate the areas. Mm -mm. Don't even think about it. Mm -mm. Keep walking. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay. Pick this up. Yeah. I think I'm gonna pick this stuff up with the with the bush i'm just gonna stick the bush in there because you know and then i'm gonna continue this this way on to the perk over here so i think i'm gonna curve that off er, hold on okay yeah i have an ice cream case hmm Aww. put the ice cream case right there Right, and then you come this way, and Sahara just, you know, dead stares you. Get a bistro table in this way, kind of like that. Little bistro corner where you have ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna put a chair on this side and this side, and I don't know why I'm doing this. It's not part of the part. I'm not sure. <laughs> it can't be, can it? No, because it's like all blocked off, and it looks super weird. Okay, never mind. Hey. I'm gonna make little corner doublets. Doublets? Yeah. Doublets. Like so, coming out this way to the perk over here. And then I'll make another doublet. Sarah. Sarah. Seriously? I can't with you. You're rude. She's rude. She is, isn't she? All right. There and there. And this is a doublet doublet and that'll be like a cute little thing like that comes this way from resident services and that's kind of like the break off from the movie theater i guess uh we could have maybe a tree somewhere this can't be happening she can't she, this this is this is abuse I'm so confused and a tree right there and then it'll be like a cute little little block off thing. All right, I'm gonna get. What, what am I gonna get? Sorry, you're driving me nuts. <laughs> She's driving me crazy. And we're gonna go to Captain's Island. We're gonna scoop up a, a few trees and just stick them there, cause I wanna. Are you in the midst of your island designer gizmo? <laughs> Can't have you running around like that. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just want trees. Oh, thank you. all just gonna scoop up a few of these bad boys. All right, and I got some bushes, so we're going back. I got my bottle in my pocket. We'll open it when we get home. Let's go. Let's go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So coming through this way, I'm gonna put a bush right there. I guess it'll be a purple one. I got some more bushes over here, actually. I'm gonna scoop up a couple of these. I got, you know, plain bushes. They're not sprouted, so I think that'll look nice. I'll take some of these white flowers. I got blue flowers. They seem to be spreading better than those are creating anything. So, yep. Oh, sorry. Go, go, go back. I'm gonna put a tape recorder around this side. I gotta get more security cameras. Maybe I should put one like around here and we'll plant some trees. Boop. And boop. Okay. See, that kind of blocks it a bit. I guess, like, makes it two separate areas. Maybe I could put another one right here. It's like, oh, boop. Yeah. Okay. And then this is just like a little trail. Yeah, that's cute. I'll plant flowers. This is the more natural, or not natural, but the more normal area of the island. You know, you got to keep up the shroud. I'm going to put little patches on the ground to make it look a little bit, you know, like this is the... This is where you walk, I suppose. 
Pick up this mailbox tree and go boop. Yep, pick that up. And this one, I'm gonna put a bush. I don't know if putting a bush here is gonna make a difference, but it's symmetrical even though you can't see it. There we go, nice perk. A little perk with perk benches and tape recruiters and stuff. I guess we should craft some more benches, put them um, in more places. I think I can craft a fountain, I think. That would be really nice, like right here, huh? I think so. So we'll just get rid of this. I'm gonna put it right there. You know, get the bush, probably another bush right there. Okay, let's try. How are, why are you following me over here now? Go, get out of here. I, I don't understand. Where are my villagers? All right, so I need to make a drinking fountain and then a regular fountain, and then we can put a fountain here. It's gonna look super normal for the charade. Yeah, so let's see how big this fountain is, and hopefully it's not as big as that antenna thing. Okay, it's pretty big. That seems nice. And then we'll have the perk benches lining on either side because we're normal. Yep. Oh, no, this way. This way. Right now, it's this way. I guess we could put a bush. No, why not? I'm going to put the bush right there. And that's cute. And I could probably have one right there. We'll just do blue because it's nice. And then over here on this side, we shall do blue again. We don't really need to get back here at all, right? Not really. Probably, could we have a tree somewhere? Oh, okay, I'll figure trees out later on tonight. But this is the general idea of that perk there. I'll put a bush there. Oh my gosh, one purdy with Graham, you're sitting in toxic waste, girl. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I just don't know what to tell you, man. So I'll plant a white flower there and a yellow one right there and a white one and a red one and a tape recorder because these public spaces are prime opportunity for Graham to collect information, you know? So that's what I think he'd be doing. All right, let's see how many more perk benches I can make. One, because that's all my iron. Okay, so I need to get iron now. That's, that's priority. Okay, not a priority, but, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. What I think I'm gonna do is turn this little area here is in between the airport and Sprinkles place into that little bistro area that I totally failed at earlier. Yep, I'm gonna hit this rock before I break it though, cause I need iron, please. Oh, now I can make another one. Good, okay, now we can make two perk benches. Gotta get my safety element back on. I don't know if we should do the brick like we were going to do prefer. Could be nice. Well, there's Violet. Is she going to get in my way? Oh, no. She's just going to say hi. Andy, darling, have you been using reactions? Kind of. What's up? By the look on your face, I'd say you're ready to learn a new one. Well, I just so happen to have one. Watch closely. It goes like this. Sigh. Yeah, I feel that. Sighing like that is perfect for when the weight of the world is simply too much to bear, sweetie. It's also useful when someone buys the last pair of designer shoes in your right in your size right from under you. Aw, thanks girl. No, no, don't stand in my way. Get in my way. I'm on a mission. Oh my gosh, she's got a gorilla butt. She bends over, you can see her butt. I did not know that. I didn't want to know that. Now I do. Okay, I'm gonna get the tape recorder in here. You can't see it from where I am right now, but you can probably see it from over here. Yeah, you can. And then get some sand. I'm gonna plant the coconut tree and just let it grow, you know, however it wants. Get some flowers in here. I need a bush. I'll just put some nice courtesy fencing up. Get the bistro table in. Put the chairs and chair. Oh, retro ice cream case. Or we could have it this way like that yeah it's just to look at i guess okay moving on over here where we've been getting our flowers and bushes from this is where i want to do that duck pond so i think i just want to clear it out and start thinking of all that placement i don't think i'll have enough stuff so tonight i'm going to probably get some trees and things to 
fill this area in, make it look a little bit more natural. Definitely gonna have to get rid of these rows of bushes. Oh, hey, Graham. Just scooping them up. He's like, I saw you put a giant antenna in my uh, area. Yeah, my bad. Do you, do you like the tanks? Tanks doing nice? It's got nothing to say to me. Nothing. Let's just do a couple bushes. Just around. Nothing serious. Spread these a little bit. Just, uh, wherever. There's a pipe back there. Sorry, Graham. I'm te- No, I'm testing stuff. I'm, te I'm testing stuff. What's up? What's going on? Hey, how's it going indeed? What's up? Another day in paradise, or as I like to call it, Odd Podge. He's got that line on, you know, reserve. There we go. Well, this is nice and cleared up. So I'm probably going to want benches in this perk as well as duckies. And we'll probably have this pretty open, like a nice open space. Maybe we'll add a little picnic to it. Or, y'all, the ducks are going to have to get a little contaminated. Get some glowing moss out. Let's, let's see. Graham just eating his ice cream. Acting all nonchalant. Oh my gosh. All right. There we go. Just get a little glow around the pipe. Possibly over here too. Because there is a pipe right behind there. So yeah, the little ones work. And then we got to get a garden bench. So probably one right there. Yep. And then another garden bench in the front a little bit. Maybe I just craft it. We'll see. But -dum -bum -ba. I would think maybe right there with possibly a small tree behind it. We'll put a bush and another bush. Just kind of cute. Then I have some extra bushes. What should I do with that? Oh, there's no room up there. I don't know why I was going up there. That's totally full up. Let's go into Buck's place. Give him some bushes. Ants. You got an ant problem, Buck. Get one in there. And that's the next thing we need to work on. We need to work on these yards. They are not complete. Yep. There's this like all empty space. It just seems auto place. This is going to be fairly empty, but that's because it's a, it's like a little perk, right? Right. Okay. I'm going to get a little glow, glow all around the perk because this is, uh, this is a riverside. I'll show you on the map. Both rivers that are being contaminated pretty much converge around this peninsula, so it's pretty bad here. Pretty bad. Plus, there's pipes, pipes and stuff. So I kind of want the duckies like over here, I guess. I don't know what colors they are. Well, that one's pink. That one could be over here by the, the, the waist. Well, oh, this one. That one's white, so I'm just gonna have it in like so. This one. That one's white too. So turn it that way, like a little row of ducks. Right, this one, that one's blue, perfect. Cute little ducky duckies. And this one is blue as well, so he's gonna be in the toxic waste. Just gonna get some slime on the ground for the ducky. And then I'm gonna push him in, probably with this ducky too. Just so you know, those ones have the slime on them because they're contaminated. Awesome. And what's this color? That's just a white one too. Cute. What color is this one? That one's pink. All right, the pink one can go over here, like a so. <laughs> They're kind of chatting, I guess. And what color is this? Yellow. Put them um, in there. Oh, I think this is too cute. Okay, yeah, and then just imagine there's like a tree or something right there, or right here. And I'm going to get this picnic blanket out. It's going to be cute. Yep, yep, yep. Put a ukulele. We'll get the cushion. Okay, now. Now you can walk through it. You know what I you know what I forgot? The tape recorder. Right there. Oh, pull it out this way. And then turn it. Yep. Should there be another tape recorder? Oh, buying this tree. Graham, what's the point of the tape recorders if you're just gonna sit there and listen to everyone anyways? Right out in the open. Oh, we meet again. Pop quiz, Andy. Which one of these is truly me? Oh, I don't know. You're messed up. The Afro wig, the football helmet, or the fencing mask? Uh, the fencing mask? Okay, I'm basically unrecognizable in that. So what are you trying to say? That you're two-faced? I'm just teasing. It's awesome. You've got great taste. Yeah, okay. Just brush it off, bud. Oh, and then we got the cruiser bike. Cruiser bike. Job I'm going to put right there. Oh, yeah. This place is alive. This place is good. Yeah, I like this. This is cute. And then what, what are we going to do right here? Oh no. I think I'm just going to do like a little dirt patch. Yeah. With weeds. Do we need a path or anything in this perk? I'll just do like a little path out to the actual perk. You know, 
we use this place. It's something like this. Really simple. And then I'll get like mer trees or whatever over there. And then a tree over here. And then I think it's done. Yeah. I like it. Cute. Cute. I think that's all the public spaces. I think. The only thing left to do is, you know, add a look. Are you checking on your tapes? Check it on your tapes, bud. I literally just put that there. There's like five minutes of recording. No one sit on this bench. Chill. It works. I've done my job right. Jeez. All right. Yeah, I think the the only thing left would be to add a couple more trees, a couple more bushes, but I'll, I'll do that. Obviously, more tape recorders. I have so many more tape recorders. I don't even know what to do with them. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of these cruiser bikes just around to make it look a little more alive. It's looking lively. Yeah, I'll place one there. Cute. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm actually going to pull this out. There we go. I'll continue sticking tape recorders in random places so Graham can get his uh, research in. But yeah, I really like how normal the front of the island looks. It's like a charade. It's it's hiding its true nature. Can you imagine? Oh, this is nice. This is nice. And then finding Graham's area <laughs> after seeing these cute little benches and public perks and cruiser bikes and fountain areas these like humble little movie theater and then there's just like chaos happening in the back of the island oh man this is awesome i love this all right there we go good day good day adorable little toxic ducky pond now right it's getting down to the nitty gritty after today we only have five we only have five more days after today and it's like ah but i i did do a bit more filling in for this perk i planted some trees i got some more flowers in i planted the tree by this bench but now i'm thinking a full-grown tree might be a little too much and a fir tree might not go so i probably changed that to a large young Ardwood instead. This is the perk. I mean, imagine it without. See, yeah, we need to get rid of the tree. I can't see where I'm going. But imagine it without the, the X's through everything, if you can. And then down this way, where we worked on all the benches, I added some more flowers and bushes. I added some plant potters around just to, you know, fill in the area and give it a little bit more symmetry for plant potters that we have in front of the Nook's Cranny and the Able Sisters. I added some more plant potters around the entrance here. I think it's all right. I think it's very normal looking. <laughs> I think that nothing suspicious is going on in this plaza and uh, that's awesome. But today I kind of want to work on the yards for our villagers because they're kind of put together but they're poorly put together. They're color themed but they're not really personality themed I suppose. Yeah, there's a lot of blank spaces. Same with Eloise and Vladimir over here. They have their color themed yards, but they're fairly empty. Oh, okay, never mind. Eloise has got a serious weed problem. But yeah, they're fairly empty and not a lot is happening around them. So that's kind of what I want to work on today. Uh, should we see if Eloise is crafting? No, she's sleeping. All right, we'll leave her. Okay. We're gonna go start at Sprinkle's place. Yeah, we need to do stuff with this as well. This big open space. Okay, we'll we'll get to Broccolo, but that's what I want to do. Just do some yards, and hopefully the yards don't take me too long. Oh, Sprinkle's home too. Let's see if she's crafting. Nope, she's reading. Well, we'll say hi. Morning, I didn't think I'd run into you this early. You weren't in a bunch of rocks yesterday, weren't you? I could hear the clanking all day. Yeah. Well, but I was doing it on Captain's Tours, so I guess that was really, really loud. Did you get anything good? I love it when a pill bug pops up. Frappe. <laughs> She's so funny. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, Sprinkle, uh, we just went into her house, so you can tell that she's very into the ocean. She's very into the ocean life. 
and I got really organized. I emptied out my mailbox. The only thing is in there is what I ordered last night. <laughs> so everything that I have is in my storage now. That's a good sign. But I got a lot of cute stuff. I kind of want to start, you know, really getting Sprinkles' love of the ocean all into her yard. We have this nuptial bell that's kind of sprinkle color and it's cute. I don't know if we can incorporate it because a lot of the items here are pretty big, but I have some, you know, cute stuff and <laughs> we'll see what we can do with it. So yeah, she clearly loves the ocean. She's got a surfboard and everything right there. Oh, and she's got her bike. It's kind of in the way, Sprinkle. Who parked their bike right there? I think we're going to start up some construction. Woo! There we go. Perfect. Now, <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea, but sand as a lawn instead it could be really bad idea i don't i don't know stop me if i'm not doing it right <laughs> but i think i got these shell fountains like how cool is this they are this this is not gonna match up is it i feel like it's going a full tile over is it i can't do off tile on it how big is this is that two i think this is two tiles no it's like one and a half wait yeah it's one and a half all the way around Okay, see, why couldn't the spooky carriage be two, two and a half all the way around if they have one and a half items like this? Oh no. Yeah, we're not supposed to spend as much time on this. That's okay. We'll get, we'll get it done. I'll get it done, I promise. All right, I'm going to round it off and see if this little patch makes a difference if I round it off. I'll put that in there and then push it in. Okay, it might have made a difference. I'm going to get the surfboard in, you know. Maybe we'll get the plant in the corner. These vases. Uh, I think she's into vases. I think. Oh, this shell thing's gonna drive me nuts. All right, no shell thing. Push it in. Pull it out with the pot in the corner on this side. Works for me. No, I'm thinking we just continue the beach kind of look on the front here because she is very beachy because I do have some shell partitions that I think would look super cute and then I'm thinking palm tree but a small one and then we could stunt it on this tile. Let's try the fountain. If I pull it this way it kind of lines up and then there's a space here. Maybe the fan palm? Okay that's kind of cute right? We should change the colors of these things. So, get out my uh, customization kit. No one said I was prepared. Did I say I was prepared? No, I don't think I did. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm not prepared. I just have ideas. So, I'm gonna take this and this fountain and we're gonna change it to sprinkles colors. And I really like this like multi-rainbow thing she's got going on in her house. And I want that to reflect on the outside because she is totally fab. And if she had anything, she would definitely have a holographic everything because that's just how fab she is. All right. All right. So shell fountain. Oh, yeah. And the partition. This is so cute. Okay. I'm stoked for this. Palm tree. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, stuff. I think this will probably go to the third stage because third stage palm trees are pretty small. Let's see. Yeah, this is a third stage stage palm tree right there. So yeah, I think that'll do. And then we have this side. I don't know if that's on an off tile or what's going on here, but I do have another fountain. That could be cute right there. Does that push in? Okay, but then we won't be able to get through. Oh, it's a scooch. Okay, I'm going to take the fountain and put it on this side instead, like so. And then I have the shell bed, which I think is huge. Yeah, it's so big. Okay, can I fit it if I move that tree? This is way more complicated than I thought it was going to be. It's only complicated because you make it complicated, Andy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. All right. Tree. Uh, should we just have palm trees? Should she, should she have regular trees? You're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. <laughs> this, I'll put the tree behind her house. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay, we'll, we'll fit a palm tree if we can. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the beach because we're bringing the beach to Sprinkle, all right? That's what's happening. I don't make the rules. This ain't my island. Oh wait, it is. I do make the rules? Uh-oh, you're all in big trouble. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can push that in. I think that looks awesome. It's big, it's not in the way, it's big though. And I got another shell partition, which I think would just fit perfectly right there. Do we want everything the purple color or... Oh, oh, okay, hold on. We'll get the sand. We'll get the shell partition. Push that in. I still have the, the purple slime, right? I don't know if this is gonna be lame. I got paint cans. Okay, yeah, the purple slime is not working. <laughs> It doesn't work but the paint cans okay cuz like what the blue pink and yellow okay there's no yellow in this I don't know she's gonna paint that she's gonna paint she's in the she's in the middle of starting to paint this stuff okay now this area I have the what should we call it this thing but it, it will be off center we could do a little a little blanket yeah and it's got all the fun colors and everything. Oh, I think she'll like this. Okay, Sprinkles is our girl. She's totally fab, like so. Aww. Okay, we'll get the low table back, pull it out in the center. Can we still walk here? Yes, we can. And we got the nail art set because, you know, she's so totally fab. And a sewing project because, you know, that's just all she's just so crafty and she, you can't buy you can't buy what sprinkle has to offer okay she can only create it that's how fab she is she breaks the fashion zone she just breaks it all and that's just how fab she is there there's no other way around it i'm sorry that's just how fab sprinkle is i'm gonna make a little circle here for the fountain see all that works we got that nuptial bell which is literally just in my brain because it's blue purpley it's purpley yeah and then bind here i think i'm just gonna plant that white hyacinth that we stole yeah there's a pipe there but you know i think you can get out of the pipe if you go to the beach area so that'll be okay so you can get in everyone can get in and around and then i'm thinking a coconut tree right there but a small one okay a squeeze me can i have a coconut oh they both went on the other side why why you do this okay i got one oh I'll put that right there and that'll grow i think that'll grow to like stage three as well now I don't have any bushes, but I would probably put a bush right there. And then we have this area, which is really simple. It's really cute. Uh, I don't know if I have anything to fill it up with. I, I might, I might. I think I can color that bluish. I have this box shaped seat. I'm gonna get the small mushroom platform in there. Hopefully this doesn't block too much, but I got the box shaped seat. Oh, no, I don't want to sit on it. I want to push it. Oh, no, that's as far as it goes. Okay, I'm gonna get the classic picture on there. And then the last thing would be to get our cruiser bike in here somewhere. This way? In there? There we go. Okay, I think you're right. I think that this carpet needs to be a lot bigger just to fill in the area a bit more. Now, how am I gonna do that? All right, I think you stir it off with this. Oh, we'll curve it down this way. Oh man, I am so bad at this carpet. Okay. Okay, I figured it out. That took way too long. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna get this stuff back in now. Sprinkles please. Woohoo! That took that took time. That took a minute. Um from this way. I'm gonna extend the beach out. Uh, that that just makes sense, right? Just out of this old beachy, right? Alright, alright, I just filled it in. Now I'm gonna put the fence back. And then I'll get the shell partition. I'll put one of those mum cushions. I'm probably gonna, oh, excuse me. I was gonna push it in. What's with me sitting on stuff? I just can't handle not sitting on anything. <laughs> All right, there we go. I got another mum cushion. The flower basket is so tiny, but there it is. Okay, this is nice. Yay, sprinkles, please. I think this is cute. She's doing a little painting. She's totally fab. 
She's got her beach area. She's got palm trees. She's got a little sitting area over here. I have some coffee. She's totally into fab pottery. She's totally into painting fab sea stuff. And she lives on the beach. And she does her nails. And she's just fab. We got sprinkles down. We, we got her down. All right, let's continue. And I'll, I'll put more bushes and flowers and things, but not today. Today, we're just trying to play stuff. I say that like I have time. Like, I don't have, you know, five days left after this. I'll, I'll do it, I promise. Okay, we got a weed problem. We're de-weeding Eloise's place. She does not deserve this. She deserves awesomeness, you know, regardless of how bad she smells. All right? All right. The only thing that I know of Eloise is that she is super snooty from Apio in Paradise. She likes books and she smells bad and she's a yellow elephant. That That's all I got. So I'm going to put the bubble machine over here actually. So my plan would be to block the bubble machine with a bookshelf. Another bookshelf. All right. So like she's got books right because she's always and she likes to read i also got these and i got the table she's got the same kind of table over there maybe we could make it we could make these white possibly and there i'll have something like this a little little reading area i'm gonna get a mum cushion beside it i do have the yellow mushroom platform maybe it snuck its way in and a pot another pot she has a pot over here so maybe her and sprinkle are kind of friends and sprinkle made her some some pots possibly and i also have a yellow tea set but i'm not totally sure because we do have the yellow tea set on the beach there so maybe i'll take the book instead we'll put the book on there. This is probably going to be better as a white set. I, I don't really love the position of this either. Time to get out the workbench. Yeah, they don't come in yellow. So I'm going to do white. And then the lattice fencing comes in yellow. Okay, this area is where she comes out to the beach. So but she would probably come out that way, I suppose. She's going to have to because I'm going to put the... <laughs> A lot of fencing on this side just to create something a little different okay maybe she could have a path like that coming down this way and then we'll have the wooden chair the table in the middle another wooden chair the table is so high up though eh? it don't seem right i'm gonna turn the table quick i'll get the book on it and then turn it that way so it's like a, like a little reading club oh you know what we have the box shaped seat is that something she would have with the book on top? That book is huge. Okay, this book there. So she can just like write her feelings or whatever she's got going on. Her patio would probably be the terracotta, like so. And then we'll fill that in. All right, I filled it all in, but I changed my mind. And uh, Violet's inspecting that glowing moss. A Violet. I have the Nordic table which I put a runner on there this could be the table instead I could have the wooden chair just kind of chilling with another wooden chair get the book on there with the tea set and that's like our little setup we'll get the small vase over there just to fill her in I think I'll probably put a bush or something and another tree over on this side. It could be a palm tree. Yeah, I think I'm just going to plant a coconut and then I'll get more bushes in here. I'm going to get the mini wooden table with a magazine on it. Right there, I'm going to put another bush, the drying rack in there, and I'll get her lawnmower just kind of, you know, chilling on the lawn part of her lawn all right there you go i think this is nice i think i think it is you know we should probably let the flowers grow or spread out yep okay and then i'll just get one sand path out to the beach that way i think that's good that's always is front yard all nice and stuff Vladimir. all right oh hey, hey violet what's up Hello? 
There you are, sweetie, and looking fabulous as ever, I see. Thank you, I got a pineapple dress on. Yep, just don't get in my way, lady. These stone stools, some sort of garden decoration. I think I'm gonna move them back, though. I'm gonna get them over this side. It, he's very simple. He's just a get off my lawn kind of guy. You know what I mean? And not, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna get these little garden stools. I'm gonna put these little moss balls on because I think they're just gardeny. They're kind of cute, right? And then we got the bird house here. I think I can make that white though. I might do that. Yeah, so we'll get that in in white instead. Oh, oh, that scared me. <laughs> Don't judge it. Don't judge me yet. He's judging me already. Oh no. Then I get this a box shaped seat. I'm gonna try to get it as close to the house as possible because Vladimir lives on the beach not because he wants to live on the beach and next to all these stinky ferns, but he lives here because he likes fishing. Uh, that's why he's so pink, because he's not only being contaminated by toxic waste, he also has a very terrible sunburn. Where are you going? Oh, he likes it. Oh, he's taking care of it. Yay. Oh, also, he really loves garden stuff, like garden flamingos and just garden things. He really likes flamingos, and I'm thinking about well, maybe getting some garden gnomes in here as well. But I also got this key tray, right? And those are like you know, the keys to his boat. Uh, he does have a beach front here with a bunch of stuff, like beer bottles and things like that. So I figured a very simple front area would probably do. I'm not sure if we want to add fence in to Vladimir's area as well. But I got the TV tray, which has boats and stuff on it, because he likes, you know, his boats. I'm gonna get some beer bottles on there yeah, I think maybe we should do a little fence line. Now, this place is so pink already that I think I'm just gonna do this little white fence and then maybe a, another bush here. Oh, he's playing the ukulele. This pink ukulele, aw. I'll put the succulent plant on that. I think I'm just gonna change his path to only stone and then have a little bit of a front patio thing not too much he really likes his lawn yeah and then i think this is really good for his front area and then the last thing that i want to do is set up his little fishing area I, I think we were gonna put it over here so i'm gonna get some fish bait i got a fishing rod that's definitely in pink for him and a little bucket you know for fish fish stuff and then you could have his little fishing spot over there. And then over here, I'm going to put another fishing rod on this chair, just so you know that he fishes. Now, if I add the boat or if I ever found the boat, I would definitely add a boat to this area, but I can't. So he just likes flamingos fishing and, and I chocolate sprinkle ice cream, apparently. All right, guys, enjoy the beach. This is Vladimir's front yard. I think it's pretty simple and I like it. All right, now we on to a broccolo. Broccolo, woohoo. All right, so broccolo is clearly a firmer and uh, his personality is lazy and he, I guess he likes playing or toys or food. Mostly likes food, but he brews the barrier on the island. At least, you know, that's what he's doing here. It's not like he brews the beer in the sense of he knows he's brewing beer. He, he doesn't really understand that he's that he's brewing beer. All he knows is that he has wheat and sugar <laughs> and potatoes and he mixes them all up. You know, he's kind of lazy, so he forgets about it a lot. It just happens to make beer, you know? So I thought that <laughs> the fact that Broccolo brews beer is just, he's like, I made wheat and potato juice and then it went bad, but it's still good to eat, you know? At least that's what I'm telling myself. So I'm just gonna get these bottles that he's got going on around because he don't know. He just don't know, okay? Now I have this. There's a transportation stop. 
I don't know if it comes in blue. I will figure out if it actually comes in blue because this is definitely, you know, I really like that shack look. We'll get some more stack bakes and decorative bottles. They're just everywhere, you know? He just leaves them out in the sun. That that's all they <laughs> that's all they ferment. And apparently it's delicious. Apparently. We'll get one there and one there. And then I think I've officially used all the decorative bottles that I uh, that I bought. I'm also gonna get some barrels in here. Cause that is firm like and I guess the beer is beering in there. It's a, it's a casket of beer, I suppose. And I'm gonna get a beds in between with some more barrels. I'll get an a bed over here. Yup. And I think this place just transformed just from barrels and a beds. I'll get one right there and a barrel. I do have the meter and pipes. I'm gonna pull this out and get the meter and pipes. I guess this is like a, you know, like the tubing, the contrap contraptions you need to make beer, the distiller, I suppose. Yeah. I'm going to change this path in to the custom path, the path path, because I just think that's a little bit more firm fitting. I'm not going to do it in between the rows. I think that the stone path is okay there, but I'll do it over here. Just really nice and simple. No frills. All right, just like that. And that's all I'm going to do there. I'm going to get one more barrel in there with a wooden bucket on top. And that's pretty much his front yard over on this side, which I think is super cute. Over here, I think I'm just going to continue to fill it in with bushes and weeds and flowers. But back here where he's got his little tea set, I'm going to stick a smoker because yum, right? And then, you know, just some stack bags and things. I'm gonna get a go bird back here because he loves games, right? So you can't really see it, but I'm gonna pull it, push it in a little bit more. There you go. And you got, you pull it, he pulls it out when he wants to play. And then I'm just gonna get more meter and pipes. Okay. And I think I do change my mind just a little bit about over here. I'm gonna get a kid's tent where I guess when he's tired of living on the firm he just comes out here has a little camp you know I think that's cute okay I'll get more bushes and trees as we go but yeah this is uh Broccolo's front yard oh it looks pretty good it looks pretty cute okay moving on moving on to our last project of the day because Violet is done Stella is pretty much done Charlie's do doesn't really have a front yard. She kind of just has a toxic waste situation. Kyle, we did. Yeah, that's what it, I guess. I think that Bucks is going to be really easy. I do have another tractor and I was thinking, okay, we could put another giant pumpkin here and a giant vine, but I don't want to do that until all this other stuff gets put in because if this doesn't work out, then I don't want to be stuck having a bunch of materials gone. But I got a wig in there because a buck is like a rancher and that's his ranch wagon. He's a pig rancher. Does that even make sense? No, not really. Get him another chair just in case he wants to chew tobacco with company. Get some sacked bags just to fill in this area a bit. Make it look, you know, alive, I suppose. Get another one. Fertilizing and all that. Coming around this way. I think I'm gonna put another tractor right here. Just gonna cover that up. I hope I can place it in. Okay, I can. It might go that way. And then I guess I would get like a beds in between here. So I just gotta craft those up. And then we'll just stick them wherever we can. It don't go the other way. I can't put it right there. Come on, go in there. That way. All right. You gotta push it in. Push it up. Er, a bed. Get one over there. No, he's getting his A from Broccolo. And I'm stuck. There we go. Get one back there. And just, you know, around. Okay, and then I guess we'll get the giant pumpkin right over here. This carriage takes so many resources. <laughs> so many resources. Oh, this better work. And the giant vine. Okay, so giant vine, can it fit here? I gotta make sure it'll fit right there. Can it go in there? No. Okay, so it's gonna go right here. I'm gonna get my slime out. Nah, 
all those wastes pooling in that little pond there, causing a ruckus right in there. Spooky carriage? Oh wow, it fits. It fits, it fits. Or do you want the, the giant vine in front and the spooky carriage in the back? Hmm, hold on. Oh, spooky carriage? Yup. Can I push it back a little bit more? Nope. All right, I'm gonna put the slime on this side. Giant vine. Oh yeah. Okay, that's cool. I like this. I like it. This is okay. I think this is great. Okay, last touch. Last touch. I'm gonna put a barrel in there. I'm gonna push it out on an off tile. I'm gonna turn this chair this way. You can still sit in it. Snare drum, right? Cause that's country, <laughs> I think. Bucks please. All right. I think it looks pretty good. The little changes that we made or additions we made. It was pretty much done already. We're just missing that giant pumpkin over there and some A-buds, but yeah. Yeah, I like this. All right, ooh, all done for me today. <laughs> we did so much. I mean, little details here and there, but they, they will come, they will come. And I don't have resources <laughs> for them right now. But we did Sprinkles Plays, which is probably my favorite out of all of them. With this cute little like crafty area and all the pots and the light colors and then we got Louise done over here oh she's enjoying herself she's watering the flowers that can't spread <laughs> we got her little library she seems really happy about it and then we have vladimir's little garden which is still gonna add some garden gnomes and a couple of bushes too we got broccolo and his little alcohol center which uh he's completely oblivious to but uh, people like it people like his wheat and potato juice <laughs> so yeah so i got a little bit of dilemma happening here because a couple of days ago three or four days ago frida was like are you gonna do your island at night or doing during the day because at night the glowing moss glows and the stars glow and then i was like okay i can travel and play with some time and all that and see what's going on now i just have a dilemma so it is 5 a.m and 5 a.m the sky is this like turquoisey green and it looks so toxic and everything has this like little shimmer to it but it's dark and there's not a lot of shadows going on and there's just a lot of profile like in the background there it's just this dark profile of a palm tree and a shell come a little closer you can see but the glowing moss the glowing moss glows it's glowing right the stirs the stirs glow they're glowing so I'm going to come up here and show you our little secret area and show you what th this is looking like at this time of day, right? Like everything is glowing and then the sky is kind of dark and the, it, it's a little mystical and I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. But also the day will get brighter and keeps on getting brighter as time goes on. So eventually, I guess the sun would come up. Maybe I could do like 530, but... But 5.30 looks pretty much the same as 5 o'clock. It just gets lighter a bit quicker, I suppose. There's this time, right? Which I think is super cool. And then there's this time, which is 6.45. And the sun will continue to lower and it'll continue to get darker. But the stars still glow and the moss still glows, right? There's more shadows, but it the sky's not green. The sky's like a pinkish color which is kind of cool too and everything looks so nice and just happy and serene when you're not in like a toxic wasteland i'll show you the background too so you still get those kind of profiles those dark profiles as you walk away but they're not as sharp so it's kind of nicer and when you walk around the island like the pumpkin patch is a little nicer but you see it still glows right also i could do seven o'clock it'll be just slightly darker than this but the sun will still be setting and things are kind of more of a secret too when you walk up to them during these times of day and then graham's area is like super glowy and things are just happening right you know you got that sunset in the back which is super cute but the sky's not green so i just <laughs> i don't know also i did consider this time which is literally midnight the 
glowing moss really, really glows. As you can see, things are glowing. This is bright, but there's that like weird shine on the ground from the moon. I mean, I just don't think dirt is shiny, <laughs> you know? And, and things kind of look two-dimensional, I suppose, but things do glow. And then the second problem with midnight is like the orchard just looks abandoned and you know, it's not. Stella takes care of it. I mean, yeah, like look at how glowy that moss ball is, but then all of the glow patches that I've put on the ground, they kind of just disappear with that weird, like there is literally a glow patch under the stick right in front of me, but you can barely see it because of that weird shine. So I did consider, I did consider midnight. There's just too many cons for it, though it is nice and the, and the galaxy and the stars and everything, it all looks nice. Pig pen with the pigs, you know, running around. Yeah, I can see them running around early morning or late afternoon before they go to bed, but not at night, you know? There's that. And then also there is always the choice of this time which is midday the same time that we've been basically playing on the entire time i mean give or take a couple hours between 9 and and 12 ish i guess i've been setting the time i mean we've seen it all this is this is what i've been playing as right i mean the stars technically still glow and the glow and moss still glows but it just doesn't glow as much you know what I mean? So that's my dilemma. Trying to figure out exactly what time of day I should save the DA. Let me know your thoughts. You know, 5 in the morning, 6.37ish at night, or during the day. Alright, another dilemma. No, it's not a dilemma. It's, it's okay. What are you doing, Eloise? Why, hello. I take it you're done giving me the silent treatment? What was I supposed to think, my dear? You run into Walt the Island and not a writ of hello? You know, it's okay to drop by and say hi without any particular reason. I'm always happy to chat with you. I'm sorry. I didn't have a reason to talk to you then. I just said hi. I'm, so I'm sorry. Uh, we have benches now. Okay, my bad. All right, let's get in here. Woo! What are we doing in here? Okay, I finished Appion Paradise so I could get the catalog so I could access more items. But I also finished Appion Paradise. I'm alone on this one, aren't I? I know what you're thinking. Andy. This is a bad idea. You don't have self-control. I know. Each house has, what? It's a six by six. There's, there's like 32 tiles or something like that. And you have no self-control and there's four walls. And I, I hear you. I hear you. Back up. I hear you. I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna control myself. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that much. I'm not. You'll see. You'll see. Come over here, Tom Nook. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. Ah, ah, Andy, hello, hello. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let's talk homes. Of course, of course. Let's talk about them. You can discuss your own home or suggest designs to one of the other residents. Which will it be? We're gonna, we're gonna talk designs. Oh, you'd like to pitch some new designs to a resident? We can certainly arrange that. <laughs> This is a good idea. It's a good, it's a good idea. We're going to start off easy, okay? We're going to start off easy and we're going to go into Stella's house. Hey, Stella. And that what covers it. What do you think? Are you interesting Andy with your home? Oh, yes, please. I can't wait to see what my redecorated home will be like. Bada bing. See, Stella thinks it's a good idea. So we're going to do it. <laughs> All right, see, Stella's house is gonna be so easy. Like, look how cute it is already. We don't need to do anything, right? Let's do this. So my master plan is to get the tape recorders in the houses, right? Okay, not so obvious. We're gonna hide them. So we are gonna have to move some stuff around just a little bit so, you know, we can hide them or hide the, the tape recorder. It's not, it's not as crazy as it looks. We just, we just need to hide them a little bit, right? Maybe we could give her, you know, an, an extra chair, an extra chair so she can have company and stuff, right? Something really simple and cute. Just a, just, just a little, just a little reorganization, right? Just, just a little bit. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rid of that radio. <laughs> so we get the, the chair in here, you know, just something really cute. Just get a little, a little rearrangey. A little rearrangey. I, I don't know why she has a sink. 
and maybe that was a little too hasty to hide the tape recorder back there, but we can hide it. We can hide it. It'll be fine. I promise. Maybe get one of these to, to hide it a little better, right? It's just in the corner there. Maybe get her some cute little flowers. Get her a purple carpet in here so it's nice. A pink little couch, you know, just to just to hang out in on or something like that. Simple stuff. We're gonna get a wall. <laughs> Block her bedroom off. Give her a little privacy with one of those, right? We're not gonna go overboard. We can get rid of that. Get her a cute little fireplace. Because it's Stella, you know, she likes her flowers. Get her a couple of those. Maybe this bamboo sphere because it's cute. I'll move the carpet. Move the carpet over. And I don't have much, so there's not a lot that I can go through. I'm not convincing you. You're like, oh no, she's far gone. That's it. Cute little mat, rug. And that's it for that. And then we're gonna go to the walls. Don't worry, the, don't worry, don't worry. The walls are gonna be really simple. What I wanna do for at each and every house is not only have the tape recorder, but also a surveillance camera kind of just in there, back there. It's poorly hidden behind that uh, plant there, but it's surveillance camera for Graham. And then I have this decal here, glow in the dirt stickers. And I either want to get a little bit of glowing moss, you know, just kind of hidden somewhere. You know, there's a little bit there in the corner. And we'll get some glow, right? Some toxic glow, kind of close to the tape recorder. And it's just kind of hidden. And that's it. Okay? Now we're done. We are done with Stella's place. I think, I think this is good. That's it. See? I didn't go overboard, did I? Well, not really. Well, that's the Stella's house. It was so easy. That's why I started easy. Get myself in the zone. Let's do the exterior. Let's see. I might change the exterior a little bit. Oh, we got the purple roof. Oh, there's the purple door. We got these come in different colors. Purple one. See? And that's it. And then we say yes. All right. I'm done. I'm done. See? I'm done. See? All right. And now we're going to do another house. That, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. We're going to do violet next. Yep. Let's do this. Okay. Tape recorder. I'll get the surveillance camera out first and the glow stickers since I'll just get a couple of them. And then we're going to figure this out. Violet is clearly fancy. So maybe a piano. I'm going to get rid of that. We don't need that. All right, she's got this bathroom thing happening here. And I think it's super weird that I put the video camera by her bathroom. So I'm gonna move that. I mean, Graham's a creep, but I don't think he's that much of a creep. You know what I mean? Like, he's a creepy dude, but not that bad. I'm gonna move this over. And now we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the tape recorder. Okay, not right front and center. Possibly put it back here. We'll get this big plant. It's not that big, but it's, it's big enough. I'm gonna make that black because Violet's pretty fancy like that. Then I'm going to get this kind of plant. Oh, I have an idea. All right, that is not great. So I'm actually going to move this over on this side. Switch these all like so. Get the plant in there. So she's just got this like little plant corner. Or we do like so. Take the tape recorder. Stick it back here. Maybe get some cactuses. Oh, we got mama bear. Oh, mama bear is cute. Okay, so something like this, and we'll give her a mama bear with a cute little purple shirt that's hiding the ca the recorder back there. Get rid of this. Copy the wall over to this side, and I'll get a pillar and a pillar. There we go. And that's her like little quarters there. Piano? Eh, uh, you know what? No. I'll get her another one of these consoles, like so with a TV on it, get her a rose rug. So the one that's called white is kind of just purple. And then I just got to do the move the glow in moss, actually make it glow in moss. So we'll just get rid of that, copy it and stick it there. Right, I actually have these rose things. So I'm just going to get these around to make it look, you know, less suspicious, right? Little plant corner, the baby bear. 
All right, Violet's always perfect. She's gonna love it. She's gonna love it. Let's do the exterior. Violet's exterior is really nice already. She could have a black house instead. Blue roses on the drawer. And that's it. Yes, I'm done. All right, next. We'll do Eloise next. All right, Eloise, let's go. And to think she was so mad at me a minute ago. All right, see, Eloise's place is looking pretty sharp too. Just gonna make a couple of changes. Get some burr stools in here with some cute yellow things. And then we gotta find a place to hide. Oh, we could put it on top of the fridge. Oh, it's that fridge you can't put stuff on. We're gonna fix that. This fridge comes in yellow. Yep, it's your new fridge, girl. It's not suspicious, don't worry about it. I'm gonna get her a bookshelf. It just doesn't seem right. Why doesn't always have a bookshelf? I don't, I don't understand. Who planned this? Who did this? We're gonna go with the wall stuff. Get the security camera up here. Well, I think that's okay. It's not in it at all, but it's okay. We're gonna get always some stacked up books, right? Fragrance diffuser, because she needs this. It's essential. They don't have yellow ones. There's no yellow curve. Oh, there's one. Get her counter, like so. Get that fragrance diffuser over there, because it looks nicer. And then we're gonna get her glowing moss. Oh. That's an airplane. That ain't right. Now one. All right. I think that's good. Actually, you're just going to change that to the regular one. I think it'll match up better. And it does. Perfect. All right. Dunskies. Hello. I guess we could look at the exterior as well. Our house is yellow. Let's check out the doors. I think that cute, like, white door and then a reef on it. I think those are good changes. Yep. And we're done. Next. All right, we're going to do Vladimir. I don't even know what's happening in Vladimir's house. I have no idea. Why is your house a construction zone, Vladimir? I guess we'll never know. Okay, Vladimir's house might take a little bit longer. This is not a house. What is this, Vladimir? Oh my gosh. We're just going to we're just going to change some of this stuff just a little bit, like the pylons. What why? We don't need that radio. I'm going to take this. I'm going to stick it like that. It's come in different colors. Gray and black. He's got a sewer drain. Oh my gosh, Vladimir. Come on, man. Get rid of that. Clearly likes to be Andy and he's working on something. So I guess we'll get like a tool shelf out for him. Let's get this workbench because it comes in. No, it doesn't. All right, we'll do white. And we're going to stick it in there. I guess he could have his vending machine. All right, these chairs come in pink. So I'm going to give him one of those. I'm going to get him this console. Yeah, it comes in bright pink. And I think that's just good like that. I'm going to get this couch because it comes in pink. This doesn't make sense. But then again, Vladimir's house doesn't make sense. So I'm going to put the living room this way like that. He's got his vending machine. Why, Vladimir? Why? I'm gonna get this table. I guess it'll match up. Get him to watch one of these. I gotta change the walls. I'm sorry. He can't live like this. Oh, that. No, he can't live like that either. Oh, this. No. This. Vladimir, why? Pink sailboats. Perfect. And then we'll just make the floor a little artier, I suppose. Yeah. There we go. Red wavy rug. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I think I'm just going to switch this around just a bit. Put it back like that. Get a chair in here. And some fishing rods. Because he likes fishing. One there. And another one. Now, I am really tempted to get a flamingo in here. Yep, I am. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got... Oh, we got both flamingos. Okay, we got Mrs. Flamingo and Mr. Flamingo. Got these paint cans. Ooh. That one has, like, bright pink in it. Can I put stuff on this? Oh, I can. Well, okay. Get a gnome. Is there a pink gnome? No. Okay, maybe he's in here crafting garden things. Yeah, so he's just in here. That's what he's doing. He's just crafting gnomes and garden bunnies and, and stuff like that. Maybe I'll get um, a pink garden bunny and some gnomes. I'm going to get him his generic beer bottles as well. You know, he's still, he's still drinking. So that's what Vladimir's doing in here. I like that. 
he's just super grumpy and he just makes garden stuff and he really likes gnomes and flamingos doesn't like anything else you know that's why he's so cranky he's like leave me to my garden stuff there's tape recruiter does way better <laughs> hidden than eloise's place i think graham just gave up when it came to eloise it's like oh she's just like a stinky elephant she don't know what's going on okay graham's elves that took a bit longer but to be fair graham's elves was sad before we got here I'm gonna give him this red dotted accent wall too. Okay. I like this. I like this idea. I like this house a lot better. I mean, we try to stay true to it by keeping that stuff. And I guess he's like just constructing garden stuff. And that's his little hobby. That's why his lawn looks the way it does. Which I will be adding gnomes to. I order gnomes. We're just gonna do the exterior. I think I like this one better. Try the roof. Black maybe? He's a pink. Oh, and it's like a little portal. Unless we do like a pink, pink roof. Yeah, okay. I think I like this house a lot better. Okay, I'm done. Next. All right, now we're gonna do sprinkle. All right, sprinkle, cutie patootie. I don't think our house needs too much work. I think I will change the ice theme that's going on. That's pretty cute. Or what about blue? Oh, that's, a, yeah, blue. Kind of like this floor. And then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the ice stuff. Pay homage to it and give her an ice carpet. All with that. Nice summer shell rug. I think it's gonna be pretty easy to hide this recorder, like just behind her bed. And then maybe we'll bring the fan palms in on either side. Just make it like super cute. And she's like totally fab, right? So she's gonna need uh, a makeup area. So that's a lamp. What is this, a radio? That's okay. Try this curtain divider. Does that come in sprinkle colors? This one kind of does. Put it over there. I want to get the shell table in here, right? Maybe this chair. Oh, that's nice. That can go in front of her makeup thing. What colors does this come in? Oh, it comes in sprinkle blue. We can get snowflakes in here just to, you know, she likes snowflakes. And then I'm going to give her a cute little blue shovel. And this is for when she goes out in the beach and digs up sea life so she can paint them. I'm gonna get the fountain out of here. And then we'll have this little pot set there. That come in like some cute colors. That's kind of cute. This chair comes in blue. I'll put the table in the corner. I'll have the chair over here and the other chair over here. Yep, that's fab. Get the security camera in here corner and some glowing moss probably back here a little bit and that's it this is cute i like it done skis we're not doing our exterior it's perfect i am done all right next kyle you're up all right let's go normie all right so kyle's house is gonna be quite normal i don't think i'm going to give him any glowing moss He's not being affected by the contaminant because he doesn't drink the water or eat the food on this island because he's just too good for that because he's smug and I think it's gonna be pretty easy to hide this because he's just got all this music stuff anyways. I think I'm gonna change the floor and the wallpaper bit. I have this one. That seems like really Kyle. This one? Oh. The red one looks better. I like the red one. It's just like a lot warmer in here all of a sudden. We're gonna get um, a sloppy couch because, you know, he's just like this weird bachelor guy. You can get a thing. I'm gonna get him a homework set. It's like he writes his music on there. Get him some earphones, a sloppy table, you know, where he has all of his music that he uh, doesn't like because it wasn't great. So more instruments turntable we're definitely gonna get records in here and we'll get a rug i don't know what the shaggy rug yeah that works starry skies rug yeah it's kind of smug angst i suppose all right so no glowing moss but we are gonna be surveilling him because i guess he's like the control unit <laughs> for Cram's research and i think that's it not a lot of changes not a lot of changes at all we're doing good all right exterior please now i don't really like the side paneling i'm thinking you'd have like a pretty solid door i think the roofing is okay i think i'm gonna go for a black stucco and this metal iron door plate all right that's it we're done all right 
Next. Okay, now we're gonna do Buck's Place. All right, partner, let's do this. I don't mind it. It looks pretty cool. You know, he plays with trains and he's got some toy stuff. Uh, the flooring is a little juvenile. I don't think that Buck style of green. Buck might be, you know, a little, a little silly, but I think he's got his head on his shoulders. He takes care of all these pigs. Maybe not so well, but he, he does it, right? Is this good? I think that's all right. I don't know why he has a fan or the curd bird box. I don't like this jukebox either. Okay. So he's just got his train set. I'm assuming he'd have like a really simple bed. A little sloppy. Does Buck read? I don't think Buck reads. I'm going to get him a leather sofa. That seems legit. I'm going to move this stuff over so I can get the tape recorder in the corner there. Get it right in there. I'm going to get the A bed in here because I'm going to get a piggy in here. Maybe two. I'm going to turn them blue. Maybe I'll turn that one red because Buck has noticed that his pigs are turning. He's noticed and he's he's got these guys in here because he's worried about them. Meanwhile, there's the other piggies that are out in the barn eating all that stuff. He hasn't noticed that yet, but he's noticed these guys. Definitely getting a brown cow rug in here because he's a rancher. How big is this? Oh, it's pretty big. I move this one up. Get the security camera in here up there. Yeah, this is good. Buck's place. You know what? I'm gonna get this log bench. Get some wood on there and a ukulele. Get a little bucket beside the couch. I'm gonna get the glowing moss in here in the corner over here. And then I'm gonna bring it over here. And I think that's good. I think that's his Buck's house. Can I walk around? Is it good? Is it fine? I can walk around. Oh, I guess we could put a little side table for him. Or just one of these wardrobes because I think it comes in green. It does. There we go. Yeah, I think that brings it together. Oh, a straw wall. Cute. All right, Denskis. Do the exterior. We could get an orange roof and we'll orange and green. Oh, that's nice. Put some mushrooms. Oh, I forgot to put a shell reef on Sprinkle's door. That's okay. All right, next. Now let's go. Next, next, next. Okay, now we're gonna do broccolo. Come on, this is mouse. This is a mouse. There are some things I don't like about this interior. It's definitely having a slide inside and a perk bench. But other than that, it's pretty cute. It's super broccolo, right? We can get him a rocket ship. A blue rocket ship, the tape recorder in the corner, and we'll move the toys. Maybe a blue bookshelf with a Nintendo Switch, because he's adorable. He's got this little painting corner. It's so cute. I'm going to change the floor. Should try and get him a little drum so he can play drums. He's got his own popcorn machine. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Should we get some of these pipes in here? This doesn't make any sense. I don't care. I'm doing it. We got a barrel in here. Maybe a couple. Oh, pop a bear. A little pop a bear in here. Oh, come on, please. Okay. Oh, a wi willowing machine for his wheat. I'm gonna get some sacked bakes in here. Then I think I'm just gonna get his beer just in and around. Okay. Aw, this this makes no sense. It's so cute though. Like there's firm stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot about what we were doing. We are here. We are here to hide cameras. That's what we're here for. There's like a shaggy rug. Ooh, a cookie rug. There's no room. I'm putting it in. You can't stop me. Cookie rug. And a tree stump rug. Okay, this place doesn't make any sense. Sandy Beach, we screwed up on Sprinkles Place. We gotta go back. Field florin, grass florin. Oh, okay, maybe grass florin. Yeah, okay. This is cute with the little accent wall. Perfect. Done skis. Oh wait, let's do the exterior. This house is so cute, but I'm gonna make it a cabin. Got this blue roof, which I think goes a lot better. And this blue door. Yeah, that's so cute. Okay, dunce. All right, next. Charlie's. I don't think I'm gonna change much about Charlie's place, except just add the thing. Hey, Charlie's. I could do it. Oh, I'm gonna change the walls. Yeah, the white bird walls, cause that's depressing. She's just training for whatever Graham says. So I'm gonna get a bunch of security cameras 
in the corner. So there's a security camera in every corner. I'm gonna put a bench press, a pull upper for training. She got a cot, that's all right. We're gonna go to the walls. I wanna see if this is gonna look good. It's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a pattern of this goo, very, very gooey wall. All right, I'm gonna change this stuff up and make the pieces match together. All right, that should do it. There's a big goo on the wall. And Graham is not going to be recording Charlie's. He can't even handle her going all the time. So he just doesn't record her. We're gonna play in the exterior. Our house exterior is very nice and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna make it look like a shack. Does this look like jail doors? That looks like jail doors. Okay, yeah, done skis. All right, last one, We're doing Graham. All right, Graham, let's hide that basement. Oh, it's so creepy. I wanna add a couple things. I definitely wanna get rid of that bookshelf. Anything that looks remotely human. I'm gonna get just more equipment. I'm gonna get the video camera. I'm gonna put it over here because he'll like do his stuff and then he'll like talk into the camera while he's, you know, talking about his research. I'm gonna get a fax machine. Well, at least it's a printer. A brainstorming bird maybe? Or this. This looks like a little crazier. Yeah, I like that. Gotta get surface. I'm gonna get the desktop mic on here so you know you, you can record himself. Glowing moss jurors, definitely. He's just, you know, collecting samples. Office materials, chemistry set right up in front. This thing, supplies, fire extinguisher, cause you know, safety. We have this that we could put inside. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Yeah, okay, we could have that as his desk. All the office supplies and the extinguisher. We're gonna need a super evil chair because he's super evil. It's just true. Okay, fire extinguishers are getting awkward. So I'm just gonna do this. I guess we'll have like a study st or a stool. Not a study stool, just a swivel stool for his research over here. Oh, medicine cabinet. That's a good one. Get all the camera there. Glow and moss on that. Office supplies up on here. We're gonna move this, move this up. Get the medicine cabinet back there. In an eviler color, like gray. Fax machine. Fax machines are just evil. I don't know if you ever had trouble with a fax machine, but it's not a good time. Oh, and the glowing moss jar shelf. Oh, that is so good. We're gonna get a skinnier table. Ooh, evil work desk. Ooh, with documents on it maybe. Cause he's like out of control, man. Get rid of that. I'm gonna get this up there. Glowing moss shelf back there. Oh yeah, if this is not an evil lair, I don't know what is. So we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the girls down a bit so you can see them better. You know what, I'm gonna move up to this side and then I'll have the posters center like so. Oh yeah, this is awesome. That's so awesome. Get the globe, cause he's trying to take over the world. And then I think I'm just gonna fill that up with more glowing moss. Oops, I did not mean to do that much. Change some of the colors. I like the floors. I think the floors are creepy. What about the sloppy rug? Protective rug, kind of like that. Yep, okay. This is awesome. This is creepy. It's awesome. Graham is evil. He's doing experiments on people and he's recording all the evidence. Right here. Right here. He's logging in into his computer. He's got facts. He's got stuff. He's got everything. Everything in this, this, this room because he's evil. Ugh. All right. All right. I'm done. I think the exterior of Graham's house is just fine. So I'm all done. You've done your part and now it's time for me to do mine. I'll work with Graham and so we can stir. <laughs> He's in on it. Tom Nook is in on it. I knew it. Who would let anyone put that many security cameras and tape recorders all over their island if they weren't in on it? Everything should be just like we talked about tomorrow. Be sure to drop by and see how it came out. Yeah, you know, he's in on it. He's in on it. Okay, let's see all the exteriors turned out. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Okay, how's Kyle's place? Kyle's place looks good. Looking good. All right, next. Oh yeah, Violet's place looks so cute. I think it matches up. I think this looks nice. 
Next! And come up to box please. Oh yeah. Box please matches in no. It look it looks like it belongs in the orange and green area. I like it. Okay. Della's new purple door. Pretty much the same, but more purple. Love it. Ooh, Graham's in there working in his lab. Oh gosh, he's so creepy. You're so creepy. Are you gonna go sit in the evil chair? Arya? Welcome to the new chamber de Graham. Of course, you designed the place, so you know what it's all about. But with Mir, it's finally complete. That is so evil. You're so evil, Graham. Anyway, make yourself at home. Kick up your feet. You've more than earned it, indeed. Oh my god, did I just get an evil mastermind pat on the back? Ah, no! Oh no, what have we done? What have we done? Right, let's get in here. Let's see. See how Charlize's place. Yeah, Charlize's place looks sad. I might change her exterior. That it it's not as it doesn't look as shacky. It's not great. Okay, I'm gonna change that later. And I'm also gonna add a starfish reef to sprinkle and change your floor to sand probably. So I'll do that later tonight. Aw. Brock Lowe's new blue door and his flowers. Aw. His little roof. His roof's a little bluer. It's cute. It's cute. Uh Eloise's place with her new white door. That looks nice. This house. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look like a Burby house? Perfect. Vladimir is probably loving it. He's probably loving it. Yay. Okay, this is good. This is good stuff. It's good. Yay. Yay. All right. Oh, they're friends. Okay. Day 27. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, the island is pretty good. There is a couple of spots that we still need to work on. And one of those is maybe sprucing this area up a bit. It's pretty good. I think it's good. But there are some things that I want to do. I mean, I added a little path here to resident services, like a little alley cutway, because I'm too lazy to go up and around. And <laughs> I wanted you to know that. I'm thinking, yeah, let, let's just give this area a little bit more personality. So let's see what I got. Probably want to do some fencing, maybe. Not in these colors, but fencing. I got edges. Edges are nice. All right. I'm going to make room for that giant workstation. All right. Da -ba -da -ba -da. So I'm thinking just white fencing, maybe. Yeah. Oh, Buck just appeared out of nowhere. Thank you, Buck. I'm gonna make this white as well. Let's see if we can do something with this. Buck's super interested. Okay, Buck, what's what's going on? I can't see you. There you are. Andy, how you been, partner? I've been good. What's up? It's a great day for some cross training. Or putting up fences. Ew, look at that beetle. Ew. Buck, don't turn around. You'll scare it. Ay ay ay. Ooh. Beetles. Ooh. All right. Me oh, I scared it with my fence. Like, do a little bit of each one. Uh, how am I gonna do this now? Oh, oh, I know. I know. Oh, I'm smart. Check this out. No, I'm not. I'm not smart. Uh, oh, pick this up and then go back. Buck is super into my yard right now. I appreciate it because, uh, my yard is awesome. What's he saying I do? Oh, Kyle's in my yard too. That's my private beach. That's my private beach. They're okay. All right, boom. Oh wait, no. Pick that up and go bop. All right, I figured it out. I'm good at fencing. Clearly, clearly I know what I'm doing. And then go boop, and bop, and boop. That's a really interesting fence line. I like it. And it's like, this is my property. Get out my yard kind of thing. I like it. I mean, not that I don't want anyone in my yard. It's just, you know, get out my yard. Can I put fence in back here? Is that is that a thing I can do? I only have two of these ones. Huh. Wow, food. I got a pumpkin. I'ma eat it. Nom 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 nom. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Boop. I wanna build it right by my house. Is that possible? It is. Okay. And then I pick this up. And then because I only have so two of those lattice ones. I'm gonna do the rest down this way as the vertical board fence in. So boo. And then when I get out this way, I can straighten it up. So if I build like that and then I take it away, it'll be straight. See? Cool. Huh? And then I got one left ear. Bop. Perfect. 
like such a big change just for fencing. Get that apple tree back in and it's pretty. It's pretty. Okay, is this part of my yard? I don't know. Is it? Is it? Could be. I do got the vertical bird fence in. Maybe I could set it up. Can I? What's there? There's nothing there. Just, just do it. Why not? There is nothing there. What's there? Nothing. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't want to rearrange that old table. So I'm just going to sit down and get pull this stuff away. Push it in so I can stand there. And do my, my edges. Why not? I don't understand. All right. Good day. We're starting off strong. I'll get this and this and then a vertical bird fence in on that side. So I'll just pick that up because that's easy. And this is my yard. Get out my lawn. Yep. Okay. And push my picnic table back in. Oh, not so fair. Or should I pull it back? Or is this this nice? No, that goes on the sidewalk now. Okay. I'll put the log bench in. Push this down. And by sidewalk, I mean dirt path. That's what I meant. I meant it when I said it. All right. See? Yard. Yay. Now, I could put a, a gird in here, but I think this is good. I'm good with this. Oh, we need my mailbox. Can I put it back? I want to see what kind of flowers I have. Just in packets. What do I got? Red hyacinths, white hyacinths. I'm going to try some white hyacinths. I think I'll put one in this spot. And I guess that's it. Is that the only spot? Maybe one over here? Yeah. Over here? Yep. That's simple. Just gonna get my blank decal out and just display it on the ground everywhere here so those don't spread up. Cause I don't want to do flower cleanup ever again. There we go. That might be a little over excessive. I could put one right here. Can I? There we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Everything else is good. I like it. Okay. I bought some stuff from the Nick Knowledge program. I got the round street lights. Street lamps. Street lights? Yeah. Round street lights. I don't want to get too crazy with them, but I thought they were nice, you know, to make it look a little bit more city over here. I'm just going to stick a couple around, right? Like this is this city area. And by city area, I mean, oh, I forgot to put the edge back. There we go. Okay. And by city area, I just mean like yeah, I think I mean city or town center, I suppose. Yeah, town center. So I'm thinking just just a few around. Maybe one right there. I have one by Nooks. One by the Abel sisters. And I think that's it. So I'll have one in there as well. Okay, maybe the <laughs> these are a little out of place. Also, they have lamps on their things. So I'm thinking one over here. The other one here. And they're even. Okay. That's it. That's a cute little detail. I like it. All right. Gonna go over to another area that I haven't worked on at all. It's been kind of an abused area. First we had our crops growing over there. Then we got rid of it over here. Then we had buck over here. And then... It was nothing. And then I have the campsite over here. Oh, there's someone in there? I, okay, I totally skipped over the morning announcements. I, I was not paying attention. Naomi, right? Yeah. Oh, thank you for stopping by. I don't believe we met. I'm Naomi. This is such a fabulous place, darling. Oh, I hate to admit it, but I'm terribly envious of you. Getting to live in a place like this? Don't you dare take it for granted, moolah. She don't know. It's okay. She don't know. She don't know. The only other time I've met Naomi is in the campsite on my other island. <laughs> that was it. I've never seen her anywhere else. Okay, this area. This area is an area. Okay, I'm thinking Graham would have a pipe here, right? He, he would, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would. So, I'm gonna get some slime on the ground and we should probably get some glowing moss. And maybe some flowers? Okay, and we'll slowly make our way back to the campsite area. I don't know. We're gonna have to do it. I don't know what to do there, but we're gonna have to do it. All right, got my glowing moss. And we shall plant all around here. Because that's what we do. So, tulip surprise box. And then if you jump out this pipe, you can just come this way. Like so. Yep. 
All right, almost forgot about my decal. We need those. And so this side, I guess, could be blocked off. So I'm just gonna get some decals because I think we're gonna put items. I, I think like um, mum cushion there. I'll get some more sparkle and a wind floor fan. Yep. There we go. And that's just really consistent with the rest of the island, I suppose. There's a tape recorder back there. Could we stick another tree? We could if we move some trees around. We could put one there and then move this one. Oh, wait. Okay. I don't have a lot of food, do I? Do I have peaches? I got coconuts. Uh -huh. So we'll pick this boy up. I'm going to move him over here. Boop. This could be open, I suppose. I'm going to scrub that. Prefer I plant that. I'm going to get my vine supply out. I think that'll be important just to make this look a little bit more organic. Hang in the vines. I think I can get one on this side. Yep. See, that looks so cute. It looks good. I can see that there's white hyacinths here already. So I'm just going to plant that last one that I have. And now, boop. This ain't that bad. And this can be a little open, I suppose. Right? I think so. So I'll create a path that kind of curves and comes down to this circle. Yeah, something like this. Very simple. And then we could have flowers in this side. Okay, which means I'm going to XO this. Oh, not that. Just a circle. There you go. Oh, a balloon. It's been a hot minute since I've popped a balloon. Pop. What's in here? Fold-in floor lamp. What's that? Oh, that's cool. I like that. I'm thinking we should probably have a tent over here, like right up next to Violet's area. Oh, that's okay. I got back up. Get out of here, broken shovel stuff. So we'll have this in there. This, what, what's gonna happen here? You do a log bench, just kind of chilling, right? That's kind of campgroundy. Uh, glowing moss, a yellow hyacinth, and a white tulip. And then nothing on here. Over here, what do we got? I can do a white tulip. Oh, I just dropped a little big. Just, just, yeah. Okay, there. And then I'm going to do my blank design. So nothing else grows. I can't see. Like, it went everywhere except the spot I wanted it to. Come on. There you go. I'll get better at that, I think. Probably not. A white tulip. I kind of like the fossil there. I'm not opposed to the fossil. And then I'll do the yellow hyacinth. And then we'll do Philly thing. Ooh. All right. Does it work again? I think I'm I think I'm enjoying this. I think this is good. I don't think we need any more blank decals because I like I like this. No. We're gonna have a tent here, and then that's gonna be there, right? And that's it for tents. So I think I'm gonna get this. I don't know if this is a good idea, but, and maybe we'll put the kid's tent on top. That ain't off body. Eh? Yeah, that's nice. I'm probably gonna lift up this tree, put it a little closer to the tent. Boop. Do I like that? Do, do I like this? Do I? No, I don't. Okay. Actually, it is off bad. <laughs> so. I think I'm gonna do the light orange one that I had before. This one. So there. And then I'll get the this, this thingy. And see how this looks. There's no room. Are you sure? Right in there. Okay, yeah, that looks so much cuter. I'm glad I changed it. I have a little campfire, which I want right up on the tent. I know that's not safe, but we're not gonna turn it on. I think a yellow hyacinth would be cuter and maybe a little pile that goes up and then this way, which means what? So we'll have this that comes past this tent. So I'm just going to line up the river just a little bit. So it's going to come down, over, up, and then over. Let me do that quick. All right. Well, I ran into this bush, so I'll fix. <laughs> I'll continue that when we get over there. I think I'm just gonna put weeds in that spot there and then we will blank out the rest and I, I, hopefully these grow up. I, I don't know how many weeds I have left to grow. There's like a weed count and after you have so many weeds they stop growing I suppose and it, 
it's a little weird, but at the same time, okay, I get it. Because this game, this game gets laggy. I'll plant some flowers around here with some weeds. I do have that big flower. What's it called? The, the stinky flower. <laughs> I have the stinky flower. It don't fit in there. Are we sure it don't fit in here? I think it does. I think you're lying to me, game. I mean, from this side, does it fit in there? Okay, it fits in here from this side. I guess we could have a little bit of glowing moss beside it. Foliage here. We don't have any more bushes. We could go to a captain's island and pick some up. I think we would probably need some bushes. But we can do some foliage while we're waiting. And by while we're waiting, I mean while uh, I'm not going there right now. <laughs> So we'll get a mum cushion. You know what? No, no on that. Tulip surprise box. No, I don't want to shake the tree. What if there was bees in there? Girl, don't act crazy. Yellow hyacinth. And then bush. Okay, we're going to need bushes. Not right now though. We're going to continue this for a second. Pick this up. I don't know if we can decal right up to the tent. Can we? Like right there? Oh, we can. Okay. I think I'm just going to do this. We'll curve it in this way. Bring it out. Curve it all. I would say camping on Odd Podge is not exactly an easy task. You have to be really determined to want to camp around here. I'm gonna put a little dirt patch and then it, you know, it just trails off that way. So, log bench, fishing rod. Then you can sit and go fishing. It's pretty good. So, the director's chair, get the campfire back. We'll drop a pile of wood because we're camping. Where would we put the hammock? Over here, right? Over here? That's nice. We'll do the Andy Diddy water cooler. Oh, it doesn't fit. It's because I pulled this out of off tile, right? Right there. Does something fit like right in front? No. All right. So that's pretty much that. Come around this way. Get some decals in. Get a wind flower fan and a mum cushion. I'm gonna do a little bit of glow and moss with some weeds. We'll try to hang these on the cliff. Yep. Or probably over here too. Oh wait, I can't walk that way. <laughs> I blocked it off. That's right. Cause we don't we don't really want it to be like super super easy to get over here. Just willy nilly get around here. You know what I mean? I'm thinking some stone stools and a ukulele. Get my ridiculously large workbench out. All right, we'll do maybe two, two or three of these. You know, ukulele. I think over here, I'll plant more weeds. I think it's fine. I think weeds are good for you. Dandelions make excellent wine. That's what we're doing. We're just, you know, we're, we're gonna try and beat Brock Low at his game. Make some dandelion wine. You know, who knows? Oh, one over here. I'll get one closer to the edge there. So this is, you know, a nice little round wall. Ukulele in the sand. And I think that's okay. I think that's simple and sweet. And I like it. All right. Campsite. Campsite. Pretty much, right? Shall we time travel for all the flowers to grow in? And we can see all, all this little looks, all the lush and stuff? I think we should. Do do do. All right, let's see. We gotta see the campsite. Oh, hey Kyle, what's up? All right, ladies and gents, I've got something new to add to your reaction game. Let's say love is about to give you a high five and then it pulls its hand back through its hair. Who hurt you, Kyle? It happened to me and it could happen to you. So what do you do? Eat ice cream and cry while watching rom-coms? I don't know, Kyle, what do you do? You get him one of these. It's sad. Trust me, heartbreak is the tried and true way to communicate emotional agony in a pinch. Thanks for getting me covered, but oh man. Oh, the heartache. Oh, Kyle. Kyle. All right. Poor guy. Poor guy. There's, I think there's a rom-com playing. Is that rom-com? What is this? I don't know what's on, but you can bring some ice cream. Oh, it's cats. Look at the kitties. <gasps> Look at them. It's a kitty show. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah, we're doing campsite. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, see, look at the, the hyacinths and the tulips all working together to make a pretty little area. And the campsite looks absolutely terrible when no one is in it. But what can you do? Now much. 
that's just all the game is, I suppose. It don't want you to have fun, okay? It don't want you to know. Can we get up? Can we get up there? Because we gotta do back there too. I know I said something well, I would do back there. Well, listen, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna do back here. <laughs> Should we get more bushes or a giant vine? Well, let's do a giant vine. I can make one, just one. Yep, but a giant vine, yeah. Probably the last one ever. Probably the last one we're gonna make because I am not getting luck on nothing. All right, so giant vine, giant vine. Gonna get some glowing moss. Maybe over here. Oh yeah, that's good. Get a big one. Probably gonna do a white hyacinth. Get the giant vine in there. Mm-hmm, this is good. Okay, so red hyacinth over here. Yellow tulip glow mom cushion and then back here you're, you're like probably never ever 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 gonna see it so clearly i have to put stuff back here i'll do some weeds oh i'm stuck oh oh i got a plan pick that up with the mom cushion red hyacinth glowing moss yep this is like right behind the campsite. So you are going to see this if there's no camper. I know you can get campers, but I don't have any amiibos. I'm just that regular Joe that don't have any ami amiibos. We'll do wind flur fan. I'm going to get stuck. I'm going to need to get lifted out, right? I think so. Or can I go this way? No. Yeah, I'm going to have to get lifted out. Oh, well. I'll do a red hyacinth, a yellow tulip. I kind of wanted the yellow tulip back here, but we can have more than one. Glowing moss. Okay, and then I officially filled up an area we probably will never see. All right, can I get down that way? No. This way? No. This way? No. Okay, I'm stuck. I gotta call rescue services. Save me. Help me. Oof. Oh. Oh. Everything. Everything loaded in so slow. Oh yeah, one last thing. Results ain't everything. What you put in is what you get out. This island, your life, keep them tidy. See ya. Is that an insult? Is he insulting me? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. And not cute. And not just the cutest thing you ever did see. I don't think we have room for it. I want some flowers. Oh, why thank you, boys. Oh, why thank you. Okay. Now, there is one more area that we need a foliage, foliage? We need to foliage, that we need to foliage. Hmm, I, I don't think that's right. This isn't even it, I'm just getting super distracted on the way. Hold on, a glowing moss. Okay, there's two more areas that we need to foliage. So I'm gonna pick this up for quick, quick second. Let's just get glowing moss along the river here. We'll get some uh, flowers and decals in here because I totally forgot this place existed. We'll get a wind flower fan, our mum cushion, glowing moss. Uh, I guess I got a red hyacinth. What is this? Yellow tulip. I got one there already. Okay, white lilies, weeds, uh, red tulips, and weeds. Okay. Oh, wait, no, there's a bush right here, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, put a bush back. Come on this way. Uh, weeds, uh, red tulips. What do we do right here? Wait, how do we get out of that pipe? Through this way, right? So, we just do this, like so? And then like that? Is that even a thing? Okay, and then we'll just pick this bush up and stick it in front of this tree, just like so. And then what's going on here? Just, just flowers, a yellow tulip, a glowing moss and then what's in front weeds right yeah that ain't half bad i like this okay okay now we're gonna move now we're gonna go to the place that i thought of first which is right over here this area needs a little bit of love a little bit of foliage a little bit of something going on we do have a pipe here no i don't know how you would even get all of that pipe move this down you get this bush just in case, because I don't know if you're going to land somewhere weird when you come out that pipe. So I would like the bush over here. So I'm thinking red tulip there, because we don't want to block this way off, right? Then we'll do a little bit of glowing moss, 
I'll do a weed and a windflower fan. I think that might be okay. Let's get down to business and plant some flowers. Get some glowing moss. This is a toxic area. This is one of Graham's pipes. You know, there, there's stuff happening around here. Why are you planting gl valuable glowing moss where no one can see it? You can see it. Maybe. I think. Possibly. Listen, no one said I was perfect. I'll do weeds. Yeah, I I can't. I can't control myself sometimes. <laughs> All the time. All the time. I got one more tulip surprise box. Right there. And then over here, can I plant stuff? Oh, I already did. And then this area is dead. That's all spruced up. Is there any other areas that I totally forgot about that I, I don't know what's going on? This is okay. I don't mind this. This is nice. Like this. Unless we want to put weeds. I mean, we could. Why? It's fine. Is it fine? Is it? I don't know. Is it? I kind of want to put a tree right there. <laughs> you know, just, just one tree. It ain't gonna hurt nobody. Starting this island, I was like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna fill every tile because this is a challenge and that's not gonna happen. But apparently, you know, if a tree does grow there, it should be a coconut, eh? Yeah, okay. What, what was I saying? Oh yeah, apparently, apparently I cannot be stopped. It's not an option. I cannot stop myself from filling up every tile. I, I didn't fill up the whole beach either. Not really. Not really. <laughs> Kinda. All right, we gotta get, we gotta get sand there. I hope this palm tree works. That would be really cool. I don't really understand the edges of the the beach. I don't know what stops a tree from growing. It's just a little trial and error for me, I suppose. Oh, I already had coconuts in my pocket. Oh, it's okay. We got over here. This kid use what? <laughs> Nothing. It's fine. I'm gonna plant a lily and weeds just to fill it in make it nice it is nice i know it's fine i like the fossils i like that there's fossils places i think it's super cute okay yep all right okay okay so i guess we'll travel oh a bullet no i can't get that one uh, no way that's on the path of every square is taken that's why I never pop balloons, because every square is always taken and they get eaten up. Well, this spot doesn't have anything, and you're not going to believe it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm just going to put these don't grow their decals. I think that's good. Okay, we should time travel. See all those parts filled in, because we filled in this part, and this looks awesome. So I want to see how that back cliff behind the campsite will look. And those other two spots that we put together. And then I think that we're good. I think we have a couple more areas to do. We got to finish up Graham's super secret science layer. And I'm thinking or oh, working on Blathers Museum because we did not really. Oh, hey, Violet. What's up? Well, hello there, sweetie. Hey. Hope you have something excited planned for today. It can be quite invigorating and change your routine. Whoa. Are you on a super spy mission? Are you trying to check out Blather's stuff? Are you are you reporting back to Graham? What are you doing? Oh, hey. Uh, what brings you here? She, she's shocked. Yeah, she is on a secret mission. What are you doing? This weather rocks. Feels like anything I do is going to turn awesome. Uh, lies. That's just an alibi. You're like, oh, the weather's nice. I'm just on the beach. Yeah, lies. Okay. What are we doing? Oh yeah, so this area, this little beach, we did not do at all. So that's a that's a task. Graham's super secret science lair, that's a task. I think that's it. And then and then it'll be day thirty. I think we're on the road to completion here. I think we're doing really well. All right, let's time travel to tomorrow. Oh, today's Graham's birthday again. Ew. No. We have a visitor staying at the campsite. Nice. So we're gonna see what it looks like all set up. And there's a bug off. Okay, okay, shh, Isabel, shh. How lucky is that? I mean, not that it's Graham's birthday, but you know. We're gonna go see the other spots first. So this area, we, oh, Flick is here. Nice. I, I got, I, I've been catching fireflies. It's a little late for that, but I've been doing it. I've been doing it because there's so much space to put them. So that looks cool. All filled up, right? I like this. And then, oh yeah, this looks great. 
all filled up and toxic. All right, let's look at the campsite and the cliff on the back, even though we can't see the cliff anymore because there's someone staying in the campsite. Such a long trek, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, it's so nice back there. Cute. Perfect. Today is the day where we finally finish this area. And uh, clearly, Charlize is having some serious second thoughts or well, life here on Odd Podge, maybe. I don't know. What, what's up, Andy? There's something I want to bug you all if you got a sec. Yeah, one sec. I love it here, but I also want to check out other islands. I'm thinking of moving. Thoughts? Yeah, okay, maybe run that by Graham. Well, well, when you put it like that, I didn't know you cared that much. She didn't listen to a single word I said. All right, maybe I just got to cool my jets. I'm always uprooting on a whim. I should try settling for a while. She's got some serious fantasies in that brain. Just remember, I gave you an owl. Um, <laughs> dang. Okay, rub it in. Rub it in. All right. <laughs> Get out of here, Charlies. Get out of here. Okay, we're finishing this area, no matter what. I've decided. Okay, we're <laughs> gonna start off with the path here because, yep. I think we're just gonna connect it. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna connect the path. And we're gonna get this done because uh, we're running out of time and we gotta do it. There's nothing else to it. That's it. We just gotta do it. I don't know why I did that one. I knew that I said I was gonna, you know, decal this stuff. Well, I didn't. And I'm messing up on the path too. There we go. This is gonna be the path down this way. I guess we'll curve it. Oh no, we won't curve it. Why not? Oh, cause this thing is ginormous. Hold on. That way. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. And then, or, oh, that should be curved, no? Should it? No. This should be curved. Boop. A boop. And you can't see it, but I'm still going. And one last one there. Is this one? No, that ain't right. And this one. Fill her in. Is this good? Does this look good? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just have a little bit come out this way. Curve it. Curve it back. And boop. All right. And then we will do this. No, Charlie's. Oh, come on. I don't want to worry. I, want, I was going to say we'll do this after. And then we're going to go in here. Please move. Please move. Move your big glowing bear butt. Thank you. Put the tank back. We'll work on that front area in a minute. And by a minute, I mean after we're done this. So boop, boop. Boop, bop, beep, ba doop. Charlie's. There's so much room. That's where I want to be, right there. I'm going down over on this side. We're gonna all, boop. We're gonna put a little space in between. We'll see how it looks. Let's see. Mm, no, we'll fill it up. Okay, you're right. Boop, ah, uh, bop. Done skis. Yeah, take a path. Take the path. But no, don't sit on the toxic waste. Ah, <sighs> Charlie's. Okay, go, go. Get, 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 get. Should never have talked to her. Should have just let her wander around with her question mark. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up some of these sack bags because it's a little convoluted. I'm going to probably get a cage cart in there as a little delivery thing. Uh, I got this. That's a hamster cage. Yep. You're seeing that, right? That's the hamster cage. We're going to create a bird box. And we go, bop. That's another hamster cage. What is research without hamster cages? Or maybe we should put the hamster cage in here instead? Maybe? I think so. Hold on. I like that idea. Hold on. A curd bird box and a hamster cage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You thought you knew what Graham was? You don't know who Graham is. All right. I'm going to drop a stir. Why? Because I can. I can get a lot more glowing moss because I don't know what to put here. And if I don't know what to put here, it, it's going to be glowing moss. Right? Right. Also, I customized quite a few things like these decorative bottles. It looks like there's like Nikki, Nikki stuff in there. There's Nikki. So we can use those around, and those look pretty creepy. Am I right? 
also have this. Mm-hmm. That's a that's the soda bottle, except it, it's the green soda, and I put this toxic waste sign on it. Yep. I think that's just awesome. I don't know. It's so cool how you can just make things so random in this, in the, <laughs> so crazy, so crazy. All right, so this area, I, I don't think I can add anything else. So I'm going to plant some moss there because can't put nothing else. This, I'm just going to pull forward and then we're going to need some stuff up here. I know, Charlie's, it's our knock life. We're going to get the slime decal all rare right along Charlize's place because her place is super contaminated and that's just all it is. So I want to bring this up and give her a really nasty place and she's in the way again. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, excuse my manners, but get, get, thank you. Uh, and then we get this and we get this down, right? And we just kind of pull, oh, no, pull. Why do you want, why are you, why do you want to walk there? Why? What? What is here? What is here that you need to walk into? No. 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 Should have told you yes. I should have kicked you out. I should have kicked you out. Okay. She's coming back. Why is she coming back? And now she's just, okay. Okay. She sat, she sat down. And I, I'm like fumbling with the menu. <laughs> Because you stress me out, man. This is not okay. This is not how you treat King Pig Andy. Get out of here. Get, get, go away. Keep walking. Keep going. Go that way. Hey, not cool. Nobody likes it when you get all pushy. Uh. That's like the first time you use that properly. I'm proud of you. Even though you're a stomping meanie, I'm proud. I'm proud of you. Oh, uh oh. Oh, uh oh, Frankenstein has been let loose. This is not good. She's gonna have a fit over there. That's fine. Oil barrel. I'm not gonna get another pipe in here. Oh, she is so pissed. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Are you get some decorative bottles? Oh, yeah. Like, check this out. That's nasty. I'm gonna pull this out like a big goo. Maybe I'll move this burl a little closer on this side. Oh, that's a completely different one. That's okay. Brush that away. Get some glowing moss. I want the big one though. Big one. Big giant one. There we go. Okay. Am I stuck now? Stuck now. Oh, I got out. I want to see if I can fit something in there. I can. I can fit the bottled beverage, but it's just going to stay that way because I can't turn it. Oh, I guess I could if I pushed that in for a second. You're right. I was gonna use my noggin. That's all. So we got this going on, right? And then we'll get another oil barrel just in front, except not blue. I don't think I want it to be blue. Uh, what color is this one? That's orange. It's like a big slime problem. Big slime problem right around here because this, this is the dumping zone, right? Right. So, I'm probably gonna get another path. That's really big. Hold on. Like so. And then over this way. And we'll put that on the ground. The tree standee back. If we can. Can I push it in? There we go. That's good. Alright. Yeah, are you contemplating that? That's you. I don't care. Ba da da. Okay. Cardboard box. Boom. Decorative bottles. Bomb. No. This is another spillage area. Or at least I want it to be another spillage area. So I'm going to get some more glow moss on the edges here. Because it's like nasty, right? It's nasty. Okay. And then over here, I think I'm going to push that back and get some glow moss right there. Just just so you know. You got to know that the, the barrels are causing the issues. Right? You know what? You know what I'm going to do? Because this is so far in. Right? What if this tank was up this way instead of the in your is this what is this what are you doing what what's your problem come back for more huh must be my winning personality okay no no just no go away i'm trying to pull this uh, i'm gonna get into some construction i'm just gonna fill this in a little bit oh that was a lot right here and then curve 
Did that just destroy my moss? Is that moss gone now? No. No. Okay. Glow. Glow. All right. Pick this up. Goo. Mm-hmm. All right. And then moss details and glow. Excuse me. Tank. Perfect. Oh, that. The big tank. No. No. That's where my pipe goes. Charlie's. Charlie's. Stop. Stop. No, we don't got time. We don't got time. Ugh, did you not see me? Or are we gonna have a problem? I don't care. Oh, she's serious. She's gonna pout. Good. Stay behind the barrel. That's where you belong. All right, pipe. Just fix this up. Make it a little smaller. Glowing moss. It is good. I like this. Okay, this is much better. Okay, we're gonna get the tree standee. No, not like that. Oh, you know what we should do? Should we get an oil barrel over here? Like somewhere in here? Or is this like done? They wouldn't stir so many oil barrels. This is like overage. Overage? Yeah. Overage. Because there's one back here and then there's a couple over here. You know, just the regular thing. Regular stuff and things. Yeah, okay. So this is okay. We'll have the rest of the oil barrels in this area. So over here, maybe we could stack them up. Yeah. He's so soggy. Does she want me to say sorry? I'm not saying sorry. Mm-mm. You literally see me working. Okay, she at first first she wants attention by asking if she can leave, right? And then and then she sits exactly where I'm working. Like she owns the place. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, Charlie's. Uh uh. Uh to you, Charlie's. Alright, we're almost done here. Okay, we're definitely gonna have a tree standy in here. Like, right there. Can you see there? Yeah, you kind of can. Okay, let's see. Oil barrel. Another oil barrel. Got a curd bird box. We'll get some decorative bottles on there. Ooh, yeah. Another oil barrel in. I'm gonna try and get some bottles in there. Can. Oh, yeah, that's crazy looking. So, I'm gonna get rid of this. Get some glowing moss there. Get rid of this one and cap it off. Mm -hmm. And then I'm thinking oil barrel. Right? Right? This is looking pretty good. I think so. Okay. Cardboard box. She's lost it. She's absolutely lost it. Bottle beverage. Okay. Excuse me. Stack bags. Over here, we're good, right? Oh, we got another oil barrel. Where'd it go? Oh, in there. Can I get it in there, please? There we go. Oil barrel. Okay, this is coming. It's coming along. This is looking great. I think so. I mean, it's not looking great. It's looking absolutely terrifying, but come on. This is this good stuff. I get another curd bird box in here. One more. Get some stacked bags on there. Might want to pull it out, actually, and stick it in the corner over here. Hey, I'm going to come around this way. We gotta get decals in this place. Do it get so glowy and contaminated? It's real glowy and contaminated. Yep. I do have more meter and pipes. I have like one more meter in pipes. I'm not exactly sure if we should use them anywhere. I get I could use them up here. Like right in there. It it's okay. It doesn't really block much. Come back. We're gonna go back place this other stuff. So tree standy. Why is that so far up? Isn't that a two spot right there? Isn't it? Right in there? We're gonna push it in? There we go. Oh you know what? Let's get the meter and pipes over here instead. Sorry. It's gonna me. It's gonna me. It's gonna me. It's gonna me. Yeah. It's too much going on over here. Put it right there. Inside. Double double trouble. Can I get the mountain standy? No. So I'm gonna get another tree standy, and it's so all very well hidden. You know, you would never know what's going on over here, ever. You can totally see that oil barrel. <laughs> we should put a tree standy a little over the oil barrel. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Stop it, stop. All right, pick this, in this, and that. Pick this up. Oh, I don't even get it over there. So, tree standy, and then we just push it in, like so. Okay, not like so. Pull it out one. Okay, now pull it out one. Push it in, brush this away. Glowing moss, oil barrel, 
oil barrel. There we go. That's a little better. Stack bags. We have more stack bags. And then I just need to get that bottled beverage back in there. And pipe. Perfect. Gun skis. You know, oh, don't. No, we talked to Wolf Fish. Do you not see what's going in the water? Why are you getting your fishing rod out? Like, why? Why? You gonna fish in the pipe? You gonna fish in the pipe? Yeah, that's what you wanna do? Hmm? Don't you cast that line. Don't you cast it. Good. Think about it. Think about your actions. All right, let's move on to Graham's front lawn. Front lawn area. So this is the point in which we wanted to make it look really normal. I don't think that that is quite possible considering. How do I get on your own? How come I can cut? Oh, okay. So let's see what we can get in here or what we can make. What can we make to make this look normal? Maybe a little log bench, a rocking chair, maybe a birdhouse, a garden rock. Okay, we got options. But we don't have wood. <laughs> okay. We get one stack of each thing. Let's see how this goes. Because we need to do it because we're on a time crunch. Okay. Garden rock for sure. I think that's a good one. Log bench. Mm, yeah. Right, Charlize? Please. Yes, right. She's going to walk away. She's going to walk away. All right. What else can we make? Rocking chair. Well, that only takes three. That's okay. Birdhouse or uh, country fencing, maybe? Oh, the log chair. No, that's a good item. Let's see what we can do with what we got. And get the log bench in, maybe right in front of the house. Okay. Oh, eight. Stay on the ground. All right, we're gonna do something else then. Let's do the log chair. Now that is very cottage country stuff. Clearly we can't put anything here, right? Can I pull it all off tile? That's probably as good as it's gonna get right there. I'm gonna put the log bench right here. I'll put the ukulele on there because he's like, look how country I am. I got a ukulele. Oh. Actually, let's do this way with the ukulele. We're gonna get a bird house probably right back here. Just in there. Just plain like that. We could get another tulip behind here. Probably a tulip there as well. This is this a space. How big is that garden rock? Is it just one? Is it one spot? Oh no, it's two. Okay. Uh garden rock over here. Oh wait. No, country fence in. So I guess just one. Could we do another one right there? Okay, country fence in. That's working for me. Another country fence in there. Garden rock? No, why not? Okay, the garden rock is too big. Too big. Okay, country fence in. I don't know the rocking chair. We'll put one right there. Okay, but not in that color. Unless we just want to do another log bench. We could. Well, I'm gonna try this darker rocking chair first. Boop. Inside. In here. That's okay. Should we have a DIY bench up here to make it extra, extra country? I'll just have to make another one. I don't think I can. Well, I'll figure it out. Let's go. Let's go see what kind of flowers we can get. We can buy. Oh, it's so laggy. All right. Woo. -hoo. Hello. Oh, there's a workbench for sale. Can I afford this? I can. I buy. For me. There's like a samurai suit for sale, but that's probably like a bajillion million dollars. What do you got? Probably white hyacinths, right? I'll take like five of them. I would prefer mums, but okay, thank you. Bye. Coming around the town, gonna have a good time. Going back to my laggy chemical wasteland because this is odd podge. And somehow, Graham became an evil scientist and he's controlling Charlie's to flood the. Oh, I wasn't saying anything wrong at all. Hey, what's the good word? Just disguising your front lawn. What's up? Clear sky, smooth sailing, living the dream, and he so cryptic. He's so cryptic. Freaks me out sometimes. He's so cryptic. <laughs> All right. So, white hyacinth right there. Another white hyacinth right there. And another one right there. And that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Like, what else, right? Oh, that's it. It's gotta be it. Okay. Display 
and display and display. Mm -hmm. Nothing will spread, I don't think. Yeah, nothing will spread. Perfect. Now, you may have noticed I got rid of that giant antennae thing that I bought that was ginormous. I don't know, should we put it down here? Should we just like try and stick it over here? Like on this rock? I still have it. It's ginormous. Will it fit? Whoa, it'll fit right here. Yeah, right? For his research? Can I push it? Nope. I'll get some decals on the ground here. Put the glowing or the shell back. Why not, right? There we go. There's gotta be room. There we go. And then we may as well put that big flat garden rack there because we couldn't fit it anywhere else. Okay, and then we got up here, which I'm just gonna plant some myrrh glowing moss all over the cliff. And I think that's it. I think we done did it. Okay, we done didn't done didn't done do oh my gosh we didn't do the whole entire island yet but we're almost done one more thing to do bottle fruit basket i can't make that i don't have all the fruit oh my gosh going around you you gotta go around wow okay talk about a cluttered island hey girly how you doing why you look so sad ah uh, andy are things bada bing pretty good what's up nice to see your smile having fun bada bing uh, yes. Yes, I am. I'm gonna miss Stella when she's gone, or when I'm gone, or when we're done. Aw, oh, she's so cute. She could, she could never do no wrong. Unlike this one. Ew. Ew. Nasty. Alright. I think this is it. I think we, I think we did it. Yep. I really like the decorative bottles. So what I did is I got them in blue and green and then put the glow decal on them. And yeah. I think that's awesome. Like, ooh, it's it's like moldy. It's, it ain't good. It ain't good. Yep. Check this out. Check it out. It's so toxic and suspicious. And there's slime everywhere. In toxicness and science. Graham is so evil. He's even doing research on his own kind. Hamster on hamster cruelty. All right. Yep, so we got a few more things to do before we're finished, but oh, look how glowy it is when the cloud goes by. Ah, that's so cool. Okay, we have a few more things to do before I think we're finished and I've run out of tiles to put things on on the island, but we have made some seriously good progress and I am absolutely in love with this area. Get my piggy tails back on. All right, this is awesome. I love this. This, this. this is so nasty and so nicky and so toxic. Clearly, it's affecting Charlize's mood, but you know what? That's her problem to deal with. Woohoo, day 29. Wait, wait a minute. What? Why Why are the cherries pink? April 8th, 718. Oh, wait, that, that's right now. That's today. I must have accidentally set the time to real time. Oh, does this look good? What the- does it? Wait, wait, oh look, sticks. A stick. A must stick. No sticks blocking residence services. Come on, trees. Act proper. Does cherry blossom season look good? Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, I thought I figured out what season I wanted to play in. Because all the bushes around here are purple in the summer. But look at the, the cherry blossoms. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be fretting about this all night. Because tomorrow's the last day. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, it kind of, it looks good. It kind of looks good. Hold on. Let's go into the park. Aw. Oh, pillow. Maybe the trees are like turning bright toxic colors too. I mean, it's not cherry blossom season here on Odd Podge. It's just the trees are having a serious issue with the groundwater and everything because, you know, Graham and his evilness. Hmm. Oh. Okay, not this time of day though. It's a little, it's a little too cutesy, but okay. Oh yeah, well that's something to think. Well, cherry blossom season. Yeah, you only got like, what? No time? You got what? 20, 24 hours to figure it out? 
All right. All right, Andy, calm down. Calm down. Okay. What I want to do today is I want to work on this last area. This is the last area we need to work on today. And it is the beach and Blathers research area. So Blathers does not have a full museum on this island. He's just kind of here doing his research. Wanted to do research on the sea life, right? So he was like, oh, I'm going to come to an island, a deserted island, a perfect place to research sea life and, and things. I mean, he's taken his inspiration right out of Darwin's origin of species. He's like, no way, no where better to start than a deserted island right? Right. Okay. I have some things that I got for this build. They're kind of all over the place, but I got stuff. Like I got stools, like research stools, tables, desks, all in this like wood tone, classic, explore research colors. We'll see, we'll see what we can get in there. See how we can arrange stuff to make it look, you know, a little bit more professional. I mean, you know, uh, a little bit more organization happening around here, right? Right. So this is the way out. So I don't really want to block too much here. And then over here, do we have a way out technically? Or I could finish the edges here and then we just have this access, right? Okay, let's try that. I'm going to try it. I like the dirt path under the edges. It's just nice and edges and edges. And that just kind of blocks off this perk. Yeah. Okay, that's cute. He's cute. And then this is the official entryway. Technically, I guess you wouldn't even come over here. You just kind of enjoy the snake turtle statue and just chill for a bit. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to get all the construction. I... <laughs> I don't like the hard hat. Ah, I want to see where I can place stuff. Now, this is a pretty nice item. It looks pretty vintage-y, I suppose. I also got the sturdy office desk. And I think layering these, the, the wood tones are, are kind of off on everything. But I, I kind of like it. You know, just like a, just a bunch of stuff, right? Got the, the stair dresser here. I think that's cute. Or the ranch wardrobe. And we could stick that in there as like a little backdrop. Yeah. Okay. And then we would continue his office work over here. I do have the Japanese dresser, which kind of matches up with this theme. I can't push it in. Oh, because the stunt. Well, hmm, I'm going to move the stunt where I'm like just right there instead. Yeah. Let's push this in. Let's get this all the way over here. Let's see. That's nice. Ow. Bop. Sturdy office desk. Excuse me. It's a little late for that, don't you think? I'm gonna get the sturdy office desk out here. Actually, maybe we put it on this side. It go boop. Oh, they kind of, oh, they match up really perfectly. I did not know that. Okay, this is like a big, big desk. Yeah. Okay. And now we get the staircase dresser. Can I turn it? I want to turn it. I just want to... Kyle, get out of here. Uh, no. No, Kyle. No. The answer is no. Kyle's like, okay, listen. I can't live here for eternity, okay? If this island is done and you're going to save the DA and I'm living here, I don't know if I can live with that. Is this going to be a repeat of yesterday? Is he going to bother me if I talk to him? Okay, what, Kyle, what? Oh, Andy, I'm glad you're here. I know it's not my usual style to be serious, but I'm trying to make an important decision. Should I move away from Odd Podge? Uh, no. I feel like the bright lights of another island are calling me. This is the brightest island you'll ever be on, okay? Like, no, you can't go. If that's what you want, bright lights, you're in the right place. If that's the case, then I couldn't possibly leave. I couldn't abandon my Andy like that. That is right. Do not abandon Andy like that. Woo, that was close. Let's hug it out and then get back to making Odd Podge the coolest. Yep, we're just doing the finishing touches on making Odd Podge the coolest. He's walking away. Good. Charlie, that's what you do after you talk to someone who won't leave in. You'll walk away. All right. That radioactive 
spare. All right, I also got like an ironwood table. That's pretty cool. Maybe I could put it over here. Will it make this a scooch? No, it won't. We're good. POTUS. I just want to get these big items in because we can put stuff on like literally all of these. So that's pretty cool. We could get the tin bucket over here instead. Or can we turn it? Can we turn it? Hold on. This has wheels. I can make this, which is cool. Push to adding. That looks uh, a little bit, you know, unsafe, I suppose. So maybe not that there. I have the log decorative shelves, which are super cute. Though that has an owl on it ironwood table in the front how close can we get this stuff is that is that really how close i can get it or is it because it's in front of the, the entry okay it wasn't because it was in front of the entrance and then i got i think i got some more bigger items i got the nordic low table in a couple of different colors i got the log bench in a couple of different colors we got a campfire cookware all right nordic low table Oh, that's got a runner on it. Eh, I don't love the runner, but the, the table itself is pretty nice. Here, this bucket is going to be in the way. We are move it. I like these buckets. They match the bucket that Blathers has in his tent already. So that's cool. Let's see what this color. That's kind of grand, the color. I like this. We get rid of the runner. Okay. I got my cute DIY table. Newspaper print? That's kind of cool. All right, let's see. In there. Oh, yeah. That goes. Hmm. Okay. I do have the log bench, which went over on this side. Maybe I could put it up over here. Hey, Kyle. No, the idea was that you don't get in my way. See, now you're in my way, and it's telling me I can't put that there because you're literally... Okay. That's a tape recorder. Don't mind that. We should hide it. How are we going to hide it? I think I have a flower in my pocket. Oh, yeah. I do. Doesn't really hide. Maybe you put a grass standee. Does a grass standee fit there? I gotta make some. Yeah, that's right, Kyle. D is right. I'm gonna make a couple because I think that the edges are on a half tile and I think it might look good. I'm gonna try it before I get too overzealous. In it? Oh, yeah. It's it in. You can't see it. It's over there. You can't see it. Okay. I think I can put the mirror. I think if I can stand a little bit. Any excuse to use a grass standee is good in my books. See, doesn't that look good when the grass standees are like against the, the edges? Fences and edges have to be on full tiles. So, and the grass standee is an half tile. It's literally one half tile. So it's one by half. And that's what makes it just work, I guess. Because this little strip of grass is a half tile. It looks cool. It looks cool. I like it. It's my favorite item by far. Grass dandies are the best. All right. So we could probably put one over here, but I'm going to get stuck right there. Oh, wrong way. Oh, why? No, no, no. The other way. Let's say up a fuck. This way? Right in there. Okay, it worked. And grass dandies, for some reason, are really hard to turn. So it's better just to place them and push them or oh, get them in the right spot. The first try. There we go. I think it's cute. It's cute. It's nice. That kind of brings everything together really nice. All right. Okay, now we got surfaces. Or, or we don't have to use this. <laughs> we don't have to use this. We get a log bench. And that's just the same amount of surfaces, right? Also, I can make that. Yep. I also have vintage low stools. So... You know, we could be working on stuff. I don't think I can put one there. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to take this and take this. Put the iron wood table on this side. The log bench on this side. And then get the vintage stool over here. Like this is a little work area. Or he comes out and he, he sits on it. Or, you know, stuff like that. This, I like. I like all, I like the setup. So, I guess a little further down, maybe over here, or, or over here, we could have a little campfire for him. Not really safe, but cute. I like it. The only thing I kind of want to change for this area is put a carpet down, because I don't think he'd be doing research directly in the sand. So, I think we'll get this picnic blanket all and have the fringes this way. So there and probably here, like so. We'll get that back in on this side. Mm -hmm. The other desk right beside it. 
Now, I could have the other blanket over top on this side and I'll have the fringes come out this way. So we got like this double blanket thing going on and then I can get these fringes on this side like so. We'll get the ranch wardrobe back in. The stair dresser. Was it over here? No, right? No. I should remember stuff better. So, stair dresser? Okay, yeah. Stair dresser is over here with the vintage steel. Alright, yeah, you're right. The red is too much. It's not going. Yeah, like this. Okay, yeah. Everything else I think is good. This is like his main work area right there. Alright, I want to get out some stuff that Blathers is working on. Like a microscope, a scrapbook, as I said. Let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I get an essay set up there? And then the stack of books will go in the corner. Yeah, okay. I got a typewriter, you know, for typewriting stuff. I was thinking we could get the microscope in here. I kind of want to get the candle in there. It's, cu it's cute, it's classy, it's totally blathers. And we have strap books. Those kind of disappear in there though. Okay, I'm gonna pick those up and get them on top of the wardrobe there. Mm hmm So like, isn't that coming together like so nice? I think it is. All right, there is another thing that I want Blathers to be working on that kind of ties them into everything, is that he's found samples of the glow and the goo in the shoreline, and he's using his microscope to figure that stuff out. I can also make this rope fence that I I'm kind of curious about. See if that works in here. So let's try that. I don't know if I want the glow and moisture directly on there. Oh yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, so he he's definitely trying to figure this stuff out. He's very, very, very curious about it. And then I have like smaller items, like the simple stool, or I have the iron garden table in that. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, I'll have a coffee cup. Lathers would definitely be drinking some coffee. I think so. Isn't this cute? Okay, this might be a little too close now. I'll, I'll figure that out in a second, but right? right come on i'm gonna come on this side because i think that this might be cute i got this suggestion and i love it okay scrapbook on the on the little stool there like he's working on it net bug net okay and that's just like a, li a little bug net thing like he's figuring out bugs now i also can get an actual bug <laughs> maybe we'll get a flea oh i got another bucket I got uh, a firefly and I got a firefly model, but it, it just doesn't glow as much as I thought it was gonna, but that's okay. I'll have another scrapbook too and documents in this thing. Okay, let's see. Hans, oh, no, eight. Oh, I think I'll put the flea there. He caught it under some of his papers, I suppose. And then come around this way. Maybe I could get the firefly. Yeah, no, actually I don't love that try the firefly model we could get a pond skater a little closer no oh, this is okay i would like a cricket but i haven't caught a cricket so i think i'm gonna get the pond skater no 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 no, not on there over here in there right there that's cute that completes that little bucket look this is super cute i love this idea i think it's too cute i want to see if i can customize those documents you can't you can't do the labels designs okay well dirt kind of looks like brown paper i like that a lot better because i was thinking you know the newspaper print we'll see we'll see if it even fits in the build all right i'm gonna get the document stack up there love it unfolded reference sheet kind of cute i think i got another one of the the sea globes i thought would be cute right there Let's try the Nordic table. I just don't love it. I think I want one more of those, these things. I'm gonna try to make it. Try it in a different kind of wood and stick it right on this side. Mm-hmm, okay, I like that a lot better. I'm gonna get the cool globe on there. Can I get it on this side? The cool globe? Okay, yeah, it'll fit on just one side. And over here, I'm gonna get a lantern. Bring that up. I'm gonna get another lantern over here just to like brighten up the place. Maybe we'll get another scrapbook on this side possibly. 
yeah, that's kind of cute. Should we have another lantern over here? No, I think that one is good. There's a lantern there. Maybe a lantern on this side? No, right there. Just, just to check it out. Okay, this is turning. This is turning really nice, actually. I really like this. It's so cute. It's so cluttered. It's so like, I just set up shop kind of deal. So I want to try the rope fencing as well. Maybe we could build some just randomly. It kind of matches what he's got going on on the other side or in his actual tent area. So I like that. I'm going to put the fence like so. And I'll boop. Lantern. Mm -hmm. It just kind of, you know, matches up. Let's get some more. Oh, Sprinkle. Yours too cute. She's so cute. Should I block this off a bit? Yeah, it's okay. Or I don't. It works. So I'll switch this one then as I go up, up, and then get a dish up, up. Yep. Just like a little block off. A little block off. This is, this is the museum area. Technically, you can come down here, but you're not supposed to be here. I like it. And sprinkles are just so cute, girl. What you doing on the beach today? How you doing, Frappe? What's up? I am practicing striking a pose. Aw, you're doing so good. It's an important life skill. Never know when you might need a pose. All right, run around, do your poses. You did a cute little buddy. She's so cute. Arr! Sprinkle, why are you distract me so? You're too cute. The one thing that we are missing is a bit of uh, sea life, I suppose. A little bit, a little bit of sea life and a little bit of decals, I suppose, too. I'm going to get a light glow around here. You know, it's not so contaminated over here, I suppose. Not, not too contaminated. So just these, you know, little glow sparkles. And then I think we're going to have to get some shells and, and scatter them around here. And this side, should I do a bit of this rope fencing just over here? Yeah, maybe. There's a science. Sea life. Yeah, we need sea life. Oh, yeah. It's not contaminated. Hold on. I'll show you. So the museum is over here. The contaminants are coming from the northern area where all the rivers connect and they're coming out into the ocean. So the town center area is not really contaminated. We don't have a lot of pipes there either. There's like hardly any pipes. Where Blathers is, it would take quite a bit of time for the contaminants to come out the river mouths and then over to that beach area. So I'm thinking that there's not too, too much, too much contaminant happening around here but a little bit right a little bit so maybe i should put a giant shell maybe just over here but i, I don't know if i want to i don't know if i want to sprinkle i don't know if i want to do i have one i check if i have one if i have one i'll put one there oh i have two i don't want to do a shell bed do i i don't know no i don't know if we should put a tent we'll do a shell table that's cute and a shell table right there yeah that's okay and then this area is not so bad all right what do I got here? I got an anchovy and a bitterling. Let me get that anchovy out. Okay, so there's an anchovy there. I'll get a bitterling over here, right? And then I want to get diving sea creature stuff around here, right? Right, Broccolo? Broccolo, you notice something? Was that weird? Yay, are you out for a walk? What's the latest? I overslept a little bit today, but that's cool. It gave the bugs in my house some extra quiet time. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Okay, put some stuff away. Clear my pockets out. Should I put another camp raider? I don't know. Does that work? All right. Sorry, Broccolo. I gotta get my bun off so it don't get soggy. And I'm going in there. Are you ready? Rah! Oof. Hee <laughs> We're gonna go find some sea life. We're gonna chase the bubbles around. Da -da -da bubbles. Get them in the bubbles. Can you take it up bubbles? Ooh, a starfish. Not exactly what I want, but we got empty pocket space. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna try to find some stiff that we can put around, and it, it's gonna be awesome. I think I, I'm just gonna do it until my pockets are full, and that and, that, and that's it. If I can find the bubbles, I get the bubbles. Come here, Mr. Bubbles. I need you. I the bubbles. Oh, double the bubbles. <gasps> Ugh. What? What was that? 
seaweed. Nice. I've been catching all the fishies all the live long day. Can't you see the bubbles over here? But they're trying to run. Seaweed. I'm a searching for the bubbles and they're trying to run away. Yeah. Seaweed. Duck bear hot dog in its natural habitat. Trying to find sea creatures. There's one. Hey, there's a balloon out here. Hey, hey, come back, balloon. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Taunting me with your presence. Come back. Ooh, ew. Nice. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Ooh, yay. Woohoo. Ooh, a clam. Yay, Pascal. Hey, bud. Hey, nice meeting ya. Hey, man. I'm old ass gal for yours. Can I have it? Yeah, sure. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Hey, I, that's my underwear. Hey, since you were cool old the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. Pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I'll keep my eyes open for them too. I might even treat you for a scallop if I find one. Forget. Give and take, this is called give and give. That's all we all win, you dig? Now if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Feel this. If time is always running out, are we doing something to chase it away? Yup. 30 day challenge. Wrap my noodle around that. I can't. I can't. It's almost over. Yup. Today is a good day. Yup. Bye, buddy. Ooh. Ew. What is that? It's got eyeballs. Mantis shrimp, yucky. I think we're almost all the way around. Yeah, we are. Cool. We take a picture from here, can we? Oh, did you know you can dance underwater? What? Sorry, you're ruining the picture. Get out my picture. What else can you do underwater? Can you do stretching underwater? Oh my gosh, you can stretch underwater. Can you can you groove? Oh. Can I do yoga? And do yoga underwater? Oh my gosh, you can do yoga underwater. Murder, murder. You can work out. Work out. Do your water aerobics. Ah, and one. And two. And stretch. And one. And two. You can sleep underwater. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. None of that. How much how many more? Uh three more fish. Three more fish. <laughs> did you know you could use reactions underwater or in water? I did not. I didn't, this this is a first for me. Oh a pearl. <gasps> Nice. All right. Okay, one more fish. This is great. Ah, oh, man. I feel so lucky. It's a lucky, lucky ducky. Lucky ducky. Last fishy. Come here, Mr. Fishy. And a snail. Oh, turban shell. Nice. All right, let's go back. We're gonna go back. Why is Sarah here? What's going on? Why are you here? Shake it off. Get. I'm gonna get you wet. Get. I'm gonna get you wet. Go wait. Oh, wait. All right, mermaid rug. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. Yeah, my storage shed. Oh, we're just gonna put some of these away because I don't think I'm gonna do dupes. Okay, and then let's see what these things look like. I got a pearl, pearl. Woo! I got a pearl. Hold on, can I drop it on the stool? Oh yeah, look at it. I got a pearl. Maybe I shouldn't drop it on the stool, but still. What does this look like? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a big boy. Okay, big boy probably gonna go over here. I'm gonna pick this up and put it there. Push it in. Turn it. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. And get the reference sheet on top. Mm-hmm, that looks cool. Okay. Oh, no. Ew. I wanna see what this looks like. Oh, that's a big boy too, eh? Okay, okay. So I'll take the lantern up. Get this there. I think I'm gonna just place seaweed on... Oh, that, that looks kind of weird. Can I pull it? No. Okay, place... Just place it around. As well, willy-nilly. Like that. And so... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see what these other ones look like. And this thing. Oh, that one comes in a bucket. Nice. Okay. So, I'm gonna get this guy all in the bucket. And then the pearl. What are we doing with the pearl? The pearl's so cool. Hmm. Oh no. What is your deal? I don't under. How did she even get on the island? 
I am so confused. I'm gonna get some sparkle. We gotta figure out what we're doing with the, the pearl. Maybe we should just drop it on the stool, like right there. And then I wanna see what kind of things I got. We could get a fishing rod. That makes sense. A bucket. Ooh, flip-flops. And a traveler's backpack. All right, excuse me, right there. I think that's okay. I'm gonna get flip-floppies over there. And a fishing rod right there in the in the ocean makes sense. Wood and bucket. What are we gonna do with the wooden bucket? Right here, right there. Mhm. Mm this is so cool. I love this. This is awesome. A little research area. Yay. Okay. I think we need to get a little bit of glowing moss, but not the big ones. Just the little ones. Yeah. Little ones like that. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> What? Oh no, don't get up. Oh, oh he's got to eat his sandwich. That makes sense. Okay, can't put anything there. Little glowing moss. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Okay, now I want to get some shells out and I kind of just want to drop them around. It doesn't really matter what kind they are. Just to get, you know, details in here. Shells and things. We'll get glow while we're at it. You know, boop. You know, boop. Oh, I just had an idea. Okay, I have a couple of gyroid fragments. Right? Okay. And then we can put those on the coast. Right? Like they're washing up. And this is before Brewster and Blather is met. And I guess this is the f this would be the shoreline that Blather's first found gyroids because this place is whack right yeah oh yeah okay cool i honestly don't know what else to do i think i might do a couple of more ground details maybe pick some of this stuff up and add you know more carpet to it but other than that yep i love this this is this is a good final build. It is so cute and so detailed. Blathers is definitely on to what Graham's doing here on the island. He's got some evidence he's collected. This is so good. This is great. All right. Ah! All right. I will be doing a lot of final details. I will figure out what's going on on this island because I have to because tomorrow is the last day. Ah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Welcome. <laughs> to day 30 of Odd Podge. Okay, so, oh, hello. Do you know what Glee? It's one of my most favorite reactions, Andy. Watch this. So, I just discovered a great frozen parfait recipe. That's a good way to show everyone that your is full of glee. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yay, my art is full of glee. Thank you, Stella. <laughs> Oh, she's too cute. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss her the most. But today we're not gonna be working on anything. I just saved the DA like two seconds ago because I think we're done. We're done, Odd Podge. I left all these gifts for you. Yep, they are outfits so you can mix and match anything that you want and feel like you blend in to the residents here on the island. All right, so Odd Podge has been absolutely fantastic adventure. I have had so much fun on this island and really i've been having more fun than stress i mean yeah it was a lot of grinding but it wasn't very stressful it was just extremely fun and the adventure was so amazing and then i found myself last night and this morning fretting fretting stressing oh when i was gonna save the d a well that problem has been solved obviously so it's a lot 6 10 ish in the evening and i know that we did a poll and a and the morning one but i was time traveling this morning or not too long ago and isabel said hey there is a campsite villager staying on the island and just to break up the monotony i said to myself you know what i want to check out who's crazy enough to stay here on odd podge for eternity and yeah i know that when you save the da you can't actually go into the tent 
But the entire point of Odd Podge is to just let go and go with the flow. And I lost that. I lost that point when I was trying to figure out when I should save the DA. And then this guy showed up. This guy here. This is Raymond. Now, for those of you who don't know who this little sly cat is, this villager is probably the most sought after villager in all of Animal Crossing New Horizons. When he first debuted, people spent thousands upon thousands of tickets trying to obtain this little guy right here. And people went as far as to actually spending their real life hard earned money to trade for this guy and get them on their island. When I saw this guy at the campsite this morning, I thought to myself, you know what? This guy represents absolutely everything that we sought out to change by doing this challenge. Sorry, Raymond. I you are adorable. You're so well dressed. You're very, very handsome and very unique looking. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's leave him be. The whole point of building an island in 30 days for my autofill villagers was to prove not only to myself, but to the Animal Crossing community that you do not need villager hunting. You do not need to get that perfect dreamy to have fun on your island to create an amazing story and feel love and compassion and kindredship for your villagers. You, you just don't need to because we have created an island and we had absolutely no choice Well, who lived here. Even the weirdest looking purple gorillas found a spot on our island. We have bright pink grumpy bears tiny evil scientists. We have bright toxic bears. We have everything, everything under the sun. And it has been an absolutely fantastic adventure. And I hope you feel the exact same way I do when this game is so much fun, when you just let go and go with the flow. So let, let's start the official tour of the island. <laughs> We'll start off uh, in, I guess, resident services and uh, opening up the map and then seeing all of our autofill villagers and who lives here. Let's see. Well, we have me, of course, Kyle, Eloise, Buck, Charlize, Vladimir, Violet, Brocklo, Sprinkle, Graham, and Stella. So this is the 30 day autofill challenge. And if you've come this far, you know that Graham was technically not an autofill. And you know, if you think that means that I didn't actually complete the challenge, that's fine because I had a blast on the way anyways. <laughs> uh, I think we all agree that, you know, when uh, life gives you no autofill villagers, you use a free Nook Miles ticket. All right, so in the DA, you can come to the bird here. I have created some villager posts or posts by our villagers for people that come to the island and don't really know what's going on here. I made it so each villager has a little board post of their own. So when you come here, I do recommend reading that because I had a lot of fun doing that. I mean, the text situation with this board is atrocious, but uh, I did have fun with the little messages that I left there. So definitely read those. So Odd Podge, what's going on? What is happening in Odd Podge? Odd Podge, when you first walk in, looks like a pretty standard, pretty normal town. Sans all the gifts. <laughs> but you, you'll definitely pick those up. We got the Able Sisters. We got the Nook's Cranny. We got this lovely entrance from the airport. And uh, things look all right, except for some of these uh, tape recorders that you might see that we placed around because we got an evil scientist on the loose. So Graham has recently moved on to the island and he is causing a bit of a ruckus. He is in cahoots with Tom Nook and they're surveillancing everybody's moves everybody's actions because there is a science experiment. This island is not just home to all these random villagers. They are test subjects 
for Graham. It is causing a lot of ruckus here on the island. Oh, <laughs> and before we go any further, I, I also forgot to mention that we are doing the evening time because the morning for this day is early morning. Whoa. Oh, hey, hey. Nah, cool. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk your mosquito. Yuck. Well, the early morning time for this specific day is really cloudy and it looks like it's a lot to rain and we can't time travel. I can't time travel. Otherwise we'll lose Raymond, right? So I, I stuck with the, the late night. So here we are, or not late night, sunset instead. It was the second runner up on the poll. So hopefully that doesn't upset anybody. But if you were voting for the morning, unfortunately, Dav, Raymond, you're on the island. And I know, yeah, I know we, you're not going to be able to see him in the campsite when we come to the DA, but uh, we'll know. He is a symbol of the opposite of our mission here on Odd Butch. <laughs> Me and you at least. Not, not the random people. That's just for us. All right. Well, as I say, oh yeah, Graham is causing a ruckus. So since Graham has moved here, all of the plant life is starting to act a little weird. Everyone has noticed that the tulips are growing ginormously. The mums are huge. There is giant, tall Cosmo flowers and all of these pipes have recently showed up here on the island and there is this mystery glow and goo surrounding the riversides. It's not only affecting the plant life, but as you noticed, our villagers are fairly <laughs> bright, fairly toxic looking, and that has not always been. That is a result of Graham's science experiment and it is affecting our villagers. We're already in the perk here, so <laughs> we did this outdoor theater with this uh, giant teddy bear. I think it is just absolutely adorable. So the villagers can hang out and this is definitely kind of the edge of when the island starts to become a little bit mysterious because this is still a public park. It's kind of near the town center, but it is directly by a riverside and the rivers are being contaminated by this uh, mysterious contaminant or substance. The public park is a little irradiated, but still pretty normal. And then when you come over here, there's like little picnic areas that we've worked on. And I absolutely just love how everything turned out. I added a little bit of grass and everything to the area to make it look, you know, just a, a little bit more. Oh, hey, is this gonna happen? <laughs> Okay, maybe, maybe sunset in the summer wasn't a good idea. <laughs> what was I going? Oh yeah, I added weeds to make the grass look a little bit more textured and fuller, but you know, we still have the same look. And uh, let, let's talk about our villagers. Let's talk about Kyle. Okay, Kyle is not irradiated at whatsoever. Kyle is a smug villager and he's very bougie, all right? You know, he's got a band, he's cool. He doesn't drink the water or eat the food on this island. He drinks imported Italian sparkling water and imported foods, pre-made gourmet meals just for him. That's why Kyle is not being affected <laughs> by Graham's experience experiment that he's playing on all of the villagers here, here on Odd Podge. But a lot of the villagers are being affected by the contaminants. And let's, let's go check them out. Because one of the things that I set out to do, and part of the challenge was to have all 10 villagers autofills, but also decorate their yards to match their style and their personality. So this is Sprinkle's yard. Sprinkle is a peppy penguin and she loves creating things out of sea life. She absolutely adores the ocean and her interior has a lot of shells and everything. So I wanted to incorporate her fabness with the fact that she loves the ocean. So what Sprinkle does is she collects these giant shells that have been spawning all over the island because Graham's been contaminating the waters and she's painting them 
in these beautiful bright colors and she's sharing her fabulous art with all of the residents of Odd Podge. Now to go along with matching the villagers color scheme we also matched up the beaches as well so sprinkles as this light blue almost turquoise color to it she's got blue stirs because the stirs here are irradiated sand particles from the beaches so they're starting to glow because they're getting a little affected so not only is our front yard coated color coded to her style and she not only has her personality shining in her yard but uh, also on the beaches so coming by here you can spot a couple of things like the security camera and the tape recorders now i was gonna make a post or some sort of hint of finding all the tape recorders on the island but honestly i can't remember how many tape recorders i bought and i don't know how many are actually around the island so if you do come here and you find all of the tape recorders please let me know how many are actually on the island because uh yeah i would love to know <laughs> and it'd be kind of fun if you could find them all so over here is an example of one of the pipes that are contaminating the river and we have the glow the goo that is the pipes are affecting the flora around here with the giant tulips and all that and there's the giant wind flowers and that is kind of the theme that we're going for giant stuff because when we were doing the island I got the recipe for a giant giant tulip box giant peach giant vine I found the giant stinky flower I can't remember what it's called and that kind of just set it off right that's where we got the inspiration from that this is Eloise's house and Eloise is yellow so her theme is a yellow house, yellow fencing, yellow flowers, yellow bushes and that's why we're in the summer as well so the bushes will reflect their bloom because in the summer you get yellow, pink, purple and blue bushes which works perfectly because we have those kind of color animals. So Eloise in Apion Paradise wanted a, a night, a relaxing place to read. So going off that, we made her a little outdoor library or book collection. And also Eloise has a bit of a gas problem. She toots a lot. So those bubbles coming out of her house there. Yeah, uh, she's kind of a stanky elephant. I got some fragrance sticks here so it, it don't smell so so bad but our beach as well we color coordinated as well with the yellow stirs and the yellow umbrellas and the yellow shells and these yellow moss balls here that uh, are spun in everywhere creating a suspicious situation here on the island <laughs> we did do the interiors so i do see eloise is home so let's just uh, get in here so I didn't change too much of their houses, but if you want to, you can uh, look for the tape recorders that are also hidden in the houses here. We got a little bit of uh, glowing moss or goo in some of the houses. And Graham is also video taping the interior of the houses so that's kind of fun if you come here try and find all the tape recorders see if you can spot the video cameras hey eloise isn't she cute yeah so not huge renovations to the houses but you know we needed to hide uh, tape recorders and video cameras in here because uh graham needs to collect his data <laughs> right now going on to vladimir's house now vladimir's yard is my favorite yard out of all the villager yards so vladimir is a grumpy pink bear and he spends a lot of time outside he loves fishing and he loves working in his garden and he goes on a lot of boat tours with captains so they can go fishing and hanging out on the water not being disturbed or bothered by stinky snooty elephants as of late, Vladimir is thinking that his uh, sunburn or his very bright pink glow that he has going on is directly caused by his sunburns and he doesn't realize that he's being affected by the contaminants here on the island. He usually does get a sunburn 
So he's just thinking this year, oh, that sun is really strong and he's got a really bad sunburn. But we also did the inside of Vladimir's house. So Vladimir's house was kind of like this weird construction zone. I tried to keep kind of true to what he was doing around here. I kept those steel beams. What else did I keep? I kept his vending machine, but that's about it. I added some flamingos and some gnomes and some fishing rods. So I guess Vladimir likes to create garden statues or garden decor, and that's one of his hobbies. And he really enjoys crafting them and painting them and then putting his beautiful creations on display outside of his house. So let, let's continue down the beach. Everything is pink. Everything is pink except for this gnome. That gnome is way too cool for pink, but he does look fantastic in between these giant pink shells and these flamingo dinghies. And of course the stars that are scattered around uh, Vladimir's place or Vladimir's beachfront are pink to match everything up because we're decorating for the aesthetic. Now coming down this way, you might notice that everything's turning a little blue. Don't worry, it's not sad, it's just Brocklow's color theme. Brocklow is blue, therefore its color theme is blue. So I didn't really know much about Brocklow when he first came to the island, but I did do a HHP build for him. For one of my series, my sister series of Tartupaluk, I played through Happy Home Paradise for the first time. And one uh, build that I did do was Rocklo. And I do remember, did remember that he wanted a wheat farm in Happy Home Paradise. So I kind of just ran with that. And he's got a, a big wheat farm. He also has sugarcane and he has potatoes. Now, Broccolo technically brews wheat beer and vodka. No, he doesn't actually know that he's brewing wheat beer and vodka. He thinks he just makes potato and wheat juice because he is way too innocent. He stores them in barrels and he distributes them in bottles and he really doesn't realize that the fermentation process of potatoes and wheat and sugar make alcohol. So that's what he does on the island. He is the local brewer, but um, no one ever tells him that because he just says, hey, you want some wheat juice? And everyone says yes, because they don't want to break it to him. Otherwise, they might not get their brewski at the end of our day. So <laughs> they leave it alone. So we also did the inside of Brocklow's house. <laughs> there he is crafting away. Now Brocklow might be lazy and you might think that he's a little bit clueless at times, but actually Brocklow has some pretty good insight when it comes to what's going on on the island, but no one really takes him seriously because he's that silly, lazy snack time mouse that, uh, brews wheat juice. How could you take him seriously? But look at him, he's so cute. He's so cute. All right, bye Brocklow. Okay, come on, let, let us continue. Or uh, we could continue down the beach, but I think I'm gonna come up here for a second. And there is the evil mastermind that is creating all the ruckus here on Odd Podge. Hey, Graham. Hey, what's the good word? I don't know, what's up, Graham? There's nothing like summer on Odd Podge. I'm just basking it at Andy. He speaks in codes. When he's out, he just talks about how awesome everything is. Yeah, it's weird. Well, you can get a little glimpse of Buck's firm there, but I think I'm gonna take a little deer deter up. So there is a path to go up this way, but I think I'm going to come down that way. So this is an old beaten path that's no longer in use and kind of blocked off, but you can get to Graham's super secret science layer from that way. But I want to look at Stella's peach orchard. This is the first build. This is the build that started it all <laughs> pretty much. I got the peach surprise box that looked like giant enormous peaches this ju it just took off from there <laughs> these trees that grow peaches are just so contaminated because this orchard is right on the riverside here and you can see across the way there there are pipes <laughs> these peach trees are growing these ginormous peaches and they, they just can't handle it they fall right off the trees onto the ground and cause quite a mess but you know, they're, they're delicious. And Stella takes very good care of her orchard. Now, Stella's colors are pink and purple. So peaches are absolutely perfect for her. 
And here is her little, little cottage here, pink and purple cottage. We did do a little bit of renovation in there, but she's not home right now. So, but when you come to the island, hopefully she is, you can check it out. So she's just got, you know, purple fencing, pink, purple, purple bushes. And clearly there's uh, some contaminant growth up and in <laughs> over here. It's really affecting your orchard. Graham's experiment is... Uh, causing a ruckus so looking up that is graham's cottage there or you know so he wants you to believe and this whole idea came from the idea because i got the tree stand deeds as a diy so instead of having a real forest up here we had a fake forest but we needed a decoy forest for graham because he's doing all the experiments. Now, inside of Graham's house, we created a science layer for um, the idea behind Graham's science experiment is that inside Graham's house, there are little posters of Chrissy and Francine, these bright colored polka dot bunnies. No, they had a contamination issue and they got sick and their contaminant made them bright colors and have polka dots on them. So Graham is hard at work here. As you can see, he's got all of these toxic barrels and CAT scans and he's trying to recreate this contaminant so he can find a cure. And obviously no one is going to be willingly contaminated or poisoned so he can find a cure for a contaminant that gives you bright colors and polka dots. It's, it's just not on the, the, the list of priorities for, you know, the World Health Organization. So despite being illegal and despite him being um, very, very shady, he's doing it anyways. And his color scheme is yellow and green. So well, most of his equipment is yellow or green because he is yellow and he has these bright glowy ears because, you know, working with these contaminants it's all all day every day uh yeah you you, you kind of get affected by it now i got uh, a little bit of a comment or suggestion for a little bit of a retcon on graham's origin story and i kind of like it and we have the hamsters here because he's researching on hamsters so graham was once an innocent lab hamster and uh, he was mutated himself into what he is today, which gave him the motivation to become a scientist. But the mad scientist thing kind of stirred it after he got his obsession with Chrissy and Francine. Then he became a little obsessive and a little cuckoo and, and a little vengeful. And he's like, well, I'm gonna do this because it happened to me, so I don't really care. Like, live with it, you know, that kind of stuff. And I think that's pretty awesome. But he's wor are really working hard here and he's got all his contaminants all these toxic barrels here and Graham is getting all of his shipments from the back of the island. Now Red is a shady guy. I know you know this. I know this too. So Red is actually in on it. He's helping Graham get all the supplies in from the back beach off his boat so they don't have to deal with any of the Dodo airline security or any papers. They they don't have to claim any of this. They're, th this is no paper trail business here. So this is where they do most of the deliveries and dumping. There's radioactive signs on everything. There is goo. There is glowing moss. And of course there are these pipes because this is where they are dumping all of the contaminants that Graham is brewing up in his science area. So they're keeping them in these giant tanks and clearly there's been some spillage issues and mixing issues. He's got Charlie's. Charlie's is Graham's henchman. Not by choice, but you know, by default. She is so radioactive from working with all of these contaminants every single day that she is absolutely bright radioactive green. Now, Charlie's is being mind controlled by Graham. She, her brain is kind of like wiped. She's got, she's had one too many memory wipes. She's a little hypnotized, <laughs> but Graham's got her here in this training facility, which she's got security cameras on her every day. And she is surrounded by 
exercise equipment in this very, very sad training room. She's got a cot to sleep on. I mean, at least she gets coffee, I guess, and orange soda, but she's not very smart at all. Cool of you to drop in. Uh, my digs aren't fancy, but you can stay as long as you want. Check out Andy and their handmade cape, looking good. That styled look rad with a ski mask, so I have a ski mask. <laughs> uh, okay. Ain't gotta be shy with me. Uh, see, I told you. Her brain's just, uh, just ain't right. I think she just recruited me. I, no, no. <laughs> I can't be part of your, your evil, evil scientist, uh, radiation rig. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Bye, Charlize. But yeah, so Graham is using Charlize for her brute strength so she can lift all these barrels and dump all these things and just do all that broody grunt work for him because you know what? Like, I think Graham is, is like no higher than my chin and I'm pretty short. So yeah. Well, back here, this is where all the rivers are. So we created a little system here. So we look at the map where I am right now. So all the dumping that goes on up here can go all the way through the rivers, all the way through the entire island and can contaminate everybody on the island through the waterways. So we got toxic waste barrels and pipes, overgrown flowers, it, and, and lots, lots of moss up here. Just just so much moss. It's so toxic. Also, you can see that uh, some of the, the, the plant life is actually becoming animated, and that's a little terrifying, <laughs> but there are just so, so many, so many toxic ways, so much pipes, and that's how they're getting it through the island, through the pipes that, that are pretty suspicious, that no one seems to be worried about except for maybe Brocklo. <laughs> So coming down this way, this is the way that I was showing you before where it was a little overgrown. So this area is supposed to be blocked off, but Graham is surveilling this area and has security here. So if someone does come and try to get up this way, he can stop them in a jiffy with his Graham charm and just point them in the right direction. So this area is very, very toxic because there is no maintenance here. Everything can just grow wild. Oh. The, this was fun. This was a fun area to make because it was just put everything everywhere and I love that kind of decorating. Just fill every space. So let's go to Buck's place. So Buck was one of the starters on the island and when I first saw him I was like oh my gosh that that horse don't look good and we, obviously we had Charlie's. So that's kind of where poisoning the rivers came in because Buck was kind of weird looking and he's kind of a rancher and Charlie's was radioactive. So we're like, uh, I guess Charlie's is poisoning the water and making Buck look sickly. But uh, the story obviously developed from there. <laughs> I had such a fun time developing that story. But Buck is a pig rancher and he's got his pigs here. Just like every other animal on the island, they are affected by the toxins. So unfortunately, Buck has uh, had a bit of trouble keeping his pigs in the pen of late. This guy's mowing on some carrots and they're all getting loose. And th these guys are coming over here to join their friends and the, the, these pigs are the piggy banks and uh, the piggy bank comes in bright blue. So these little guys are mowing down on the glowing moss, eating that up and they're rapidly changing colors. And of course there's a pipe over there. So this is like direct contact and this uh, river just kind of ends here, but just like all rivers, they don't really end. They're, they become underground wells or water irrigation and create a nice fertile soil, but in this case, toxic soil. So it is creating these huge pumpkins, unnaturally large vegetables. I mean, it's twice the size of, of the tractor. <laughs> this is just not good. So uh, Buck is just, you know, doing his thing. He's trying, you know, he's like, my pumpkins are amazing. Why are my pigs blue? Pretty much. This is kind of odd sewing for contaminants. The idea of Buck being a rancher or a farmer is straight from 
his catchphrase, which is Perdner, and I'm so glad he's wearing his uh, cowboy hat. So he says Perdner. That inspired the ranch, and right now he's got these pigs inside because he's noticed they've been turning a little funky colors. He's trying to treat them, but he doesn't realize that the wheat that he's feeding him from uh, Brocklow's place is already contaminated. Everything is contaminated. <laughs> There's a little bit of mold going on there. He's a, he's a little bit of a weirdo, but he's not super, super bright colored because Buck is... Uh, kind of a newer resident here on the island. He came here and that's why his pigs are also just starting to turn blue and a lot of them are still pink because Buck's first season here on Odd Podge. So he's starting to turn green. He's not bright green yet. He's just starting to turn green and his pigs are just starting <laughs> to eat this kind of food. Buck is just oblivious to it. He's just like, all right, partner, I raise pigs, partner. It's hard work, partner. Farming is a great workout, partner. <laughs> so just as some um, uh, little details and fillers, we got this part here a little, a little tape recorder there too really wanted to hit home that the the goo and the contaminants were the things that were coloring the animals bright colors so these ducks that are clearly stepping in the goo are pink and blue and then over here we got the pink and blue ones and they're right in the thick of being in goo and these guys are okay they haven't rolled around in goo yet <laughs> this is a little duck perk i would never ever in a million years use the pink and blue duck as actual ducks in a duck pond or a duck perk <laughs> other than on Odd Podge apparently. We're gonna continue on. Let's go. We got we got more island to visit. <laughs> so coming up here, we were at the campsite already, but we'll go back there in a minute. We're gonna come up here and this is a Violet's place. Now I forgot about Violet until the very last minute. So our yard it, I wouldn't say has a great story, but it, you know, it, it does match her aesthetic and it does match her personality. So I, I think that I got that at least for the challenge. So Violet is really fancy. The inside her house is super fancy. She's actually got a purple rose bed in there. She's got a really luxurious bathtub and she's got purple and dirt tones in her house so i thought that we would bring that out in our yard so she's got purple and dark furniture out here she's got black fencing to bring those dark tones out we did change the exterior house to be a darker color so everything would just kind of switch in and she's a gorilla so she lives on the mountain right right <laughs> okay there she is right there her girl violet hey girl <laughs> how are you doing this day seems so short and my to-do list seems so long yeah it's almost over well we'll come back down this way we're almost almost done but this is the the campsite area and we look up the mountain there and I think I did a pretty good job of making that mountain look very unsuspicious. Insuspicious, unsuspicious, not suspicious, normal. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. This is a little beach here and of course come down this way unless uh, you accidentally end up here or you are just a very thorough explorer. We have a secret area up this way. So th this area is so awesome and it makes me absolutely so happy. So this is a bit of a sentient moment over here. So Graham put the pipe here and <laughs> it's kind of overloaded. It kind of overflowed and Graham totally forgot about this area and he has not maintained this area since he's been here and uh, the goo and the contaminants have gotten absolutely everywhere. This star landed right in the goo, declared itself king of the mushrooms and in the flowers and is absolutely sentient, intelligent, and this star is sharing those attributes to all of the mushrooms and the flowers and the animals here on Hod Podge. Hopefully that doesn't get out of control anytime soon because um, sentient stars that have mushroom and fire flowers and pig armies that don't sound good. But you know what? That's what happens when you're a neglectful evil scientist and you forget about uh, toxic waste pipes that you leave laying around the island. Speaking of, these, these pipes are a great way to get around the island if you don't know where you're going or don't know <laughs> where you want to be. Every time you jump in a pipe, you will end up somewhere different. And I think that's awesome. So, oh, never mind. That one, okay, that was just by chance that it brought us back there. <laughs> 
but you can end up anywhere. Look, now we're in the ducky perk. And we go back in. Whoa. Woohoo. Oh, see? Now we're in back, back in Graham's place. You can literally travel the entire island and you can get in and out of all the pipe. I made sure that any pipe you jump out of, you will be able to continue your exploration on the island. You won't have to worry about getting stuck. You're not you're not going to need no rescue services. You, you, you just walk out and continue your adventure or jump back in, whatever, whatever you want. It really floats your boat, but there are a lot of pipes. So you could you could jump around for quite a while and I hope you do because it, it is a lot of fun. So coming on this way, I think we got the last build of the island. This is the museum perk that Blathers has put together to display his discoveries in the ocean side of Odd Podge. So right now, Blathers is not really in his fossil stage of his research or interest. He has found this snake turtle dinosaur. I don't remember what it's called. Snake turtle dino. Oh, shooting star. Oh my gosh, they're shooting stars. That was so awesome. This is magical. This place is magical. Ah, okay. <laughs> I already saved the DA. <laughs> it's already done. There's nothing else I'm going to do. I have to wish on the stir though, okay? I hope they're shooting stirs when you come. Oh, what was I saying? Okay, so Blathers is not really in his fossil stage yet. This this is new Blathers. This is, I just set up shop. He's doing a lot of ocean res research. So he's just here on the edge and he is digging up stuff. What are you guys talking about? What's going on over here? Whoa, did I eat some bad pepperoncini or is that Andy in the flesh? Oof, maybe the pepperoncini was bad and you came back on the same day. Okay, I take it back. Maybe uh, Kyle is getting affected. Maybe it's starting to get in the air. I don't know. But this is uh, Blathers research area. All the research, all the sea life, seaweed, everything collected here. And he's found some uh, weird green substance in the shoreline that he is currently researching and looking through on that microscope. And Graham is super, super worried about Blathers figuring out what is going on in the island so he's got him under some serious surveillance but as of right now blathers isn't really a super threat because he's just starting off you know he's not a serious museum curator he you know he's got a tent on the beach right like who's gonna take him seriously all right because we are in the evening the glowing moss is just gonna get glowier and glowier as we go by it's a little late for that missy DA is done. We saved the DA. It's over. Stop it. <laughs> My lord. Okay. I'm gonna miss this place. This is, I'm gonna miss this place so much. I think, well, yeah, the last thing we gotta do is go into my house. Let's do it. Let's go into the house. So this is my house. I did a little bit of a paint job on it, but I don't think you've seen the inside yet. So the inside of the house, I did decorate to the best of my abilities. So it was one of my goals to upgrade my house completely and decorate it to the best of my abilities. Well, turns out uh, framing for glowing moss takes a lot of time and uh, is not very lucrative. So I did not end up being able to purchase the basement. I have 7,630 bells. That's all the bells I have. I mean, I could have technically grinded out some bells today, but I, I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm done. So in the living room, I do have all the posters for all the villagers that live on the island. No, I have not collected a single photo. I haven't gifted my villagers anything. So no photos, just posters, but I got all of them on the walls there. This is the bedroom. I love how glowy the bed is. If you are counting the tapes, don't forget to count the ones that are in my house. We got the bathroom, you know, nothing right home. I tried my best, it's my best of my abilities. And then I did a little bit extra to the kitchen where uh, I live off of microwaved ramen, microwaved cupcakes and coffee. I don't have a fridge. All my food comes from the freezer and then I stick it in the microwave. That's why I'm living here. That's why I am King Pig Andy. Okay, this is luxury. This is this is pig king luxury right here. And then we're gonna go upstairs and you definitely not have seen this. 
this is the upstairs. So what I wanted to do was like just create a little environment. My idea was that if you were up here, you were looking around the island and this was like the view of the island and or just the aesthetic of the island, like overgrown plants, pipes, toxins. At least that was my idea. I, I done tried my best. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, am I missing anything? I don't think so. I think we did the whole island. All right. Yay! Oh, hot podge. Oh, this was so fun. I had so much fun. Should we stare at the stars? Should we stare at the ocean while we say goodbye? Here we are. Look at this beautiful view. Well, thank you so much for coming on this amazing adventure with me. I had such a good time. And I hope that you took away exactly what I took away from this island. That you don't need specific villagers and you don't need to stress yourself out and collect nook miles and go on hundreds and hundreds of nook miles tours to have a good time on your island. You can create stories and create a wonderful island regardless of how many toxic creatures, stinky elephants, purple gorillas, and mad scientists end up there. Well, I will see you for the next adventure. And if the next adventure has begun, it'll be on the screen right now for you. And I will see you then. Cheers.